Chapter 1 Death Crisis Half past ten in the evening. There's still half an hour until the lights go out in the dormitory. Su Xia came back from the library. After a brief wash, she turned over and returned to her upper bunk. She was about to rest when she suddenly saw a courier box next to her pillow. There is no sender's information on the box. But Interstellar Express is printed in italics on the front. Interstellar Express? Is there such a courier company in China? Su Xia looked confused and glanced at her roommates, who were playing games. Could it be a prank by these guys? He opened the box, and a black bracelet and a thin instruction manual came into view. Su Xia picked up the instruction manual and read it. There was only one sentence in it. This bracelet is very powerful. Wear it, and you will experience another kind of life. So smart. Su Xia pursed her lips, not quite believing it. This bracelet looks ordinary. Nothing special. He threw the instruction manual aside, picked up the bracelet, and tentatively put it on his left hand. Suddenly, the bracelet suddenly retracted and stuck tightly on his wrist, and a tingling sensation like an electric current hit him instantly. This, Su Xia's eyesight dimmed, and she fell limply on the bed, as if she had fallen into a coma. The roommates were playing black games in the fifth row and didn't even notice his situation. Blue Star. Abandoned City. Area D3-6 of the experimental factory building on the outskirts of the city. Room 69. Streams of data flowed on the light blue curved screen. Experimenters in white coats walked back and forth in the laboratory, constantly recording the various results displayed on the analytical instruments. On the pure white round platform in the center of the laboratory, for cold mechanical arms tightly grasped a man covered in wounds. More than a dozen sharp needles were inserted into the man's body, and translucent hoses were connected behind the needles. Suddenly, the body trembled, and the closed eyes slowly opened. Where is this? Su Xiao was in a daze for a moment, staring blankly at the unfamiliar scene in front of her. No way. This is time travel? He was dressed a bit sloppily, and he didn't even have a dump truck. Could this be a dream? Su Xiao wanted to pinch herself, but her hands were firmly grasped by the mechanical arm. At the same time, wisps of light blue energy were being drawn out of his body passing through more than a dozen translucent hoses and flowing into a metal oval container next to him. Su Xia could clearly feel that something was being lost from his body. He seemed to be in a deficit after overexertion. And his body was extremely weak. A fat, bald man walked up to Su Xia and asked with a smile, Commander, how does it feel to have your psychic energy taken away? Wang San. The name of this fat man suddenly appeared in Su Xia's mind. Immediately afterwards, a huge memory suddenly poured into his mind and scenes of the past flashed by, making his brain hurt. Meteorite. Psychic. Mechanical era. This is actually a world dominated by robots. He is the commander of a human resistance organization. He was betrayed by his subordinate Wang San, and is now imprisoned in this laboratory. He is about to be drained of his spiritual energy, and then die in humiliation. Am I betrayed? Su Xia frowned and tried to digest the memory. This planet is called Blue Star and its previous technological civilization is somewhat similar to that of Earth. But just 20 years ago, countless meteorites fell all over the world, and a large amount of viscous blue liquid poured out from the meteorite impact site. These liquids containing huge energy were later named spiritual energy and replaced traditional energy. However, not long after, the robot powered by psychic energy actually became self-aware and evolved crazily with the help of psychic energy. What followed was a long war although humans have also embarked on the road of evolution by using spiritual energy. Their initial evolution speed has never been as fast as that of robots. Within a few years, mankind was completely defeated on the frontal battlefield and gave up the fight for all big cities. The old era ends and the mechanical era arrives. Most of the humans still alive surrendered, but a few persisted in resisting. There are seven large-scale resistance organizations that have not yet been conquered, namely Olua, Lucy, Mary, Longchung, Borno, Fika, and Rainforest. In addition, there are countless small resistance organizations around the world. Su Xia is the commander of a small organization. She has been active in the southwest area outside the small city of Waste Armor City for a long time, dedicated to rescuing humans enslaved by robots and occasionally sabotaging small-scale operations of robots. Thanks to the excellent matching mechanism of the southwest region, he can escape safely after taking action every time. A year ago, he rescued Wang San in a secret laboratory. Through questioning, we learned that Wang San's family members were all killed in the robot's fire, and they had a blood feud with the robot. Later, 
Su Xiao gradually trusted this fat man who looked very honest and honest, and entrusted him with many things in his hand. Until a few days ago Wang San betrayed their course of action. His organization fell into a trap and suffered numerous casualties. After reading all the memories, Su Xiao felt a bit outrageous. This fat man's parents were killed by robots. And now he's still working for the robots? Wang San, what do your parents think when you look like this? They all died at the hands of robots. Mom and dad? If you die, just die. Wang San grinned. And the fat on his face was piled together. He seems to be a filial son. Commander, we have to focus on the present and enjoy it. Why bother with a painful past? So you betrayed your compatriots and chose to be a dog for robots? What's wrong with being a dog? Wang San narrowed his eyes and asked. Some people want to be a dog, but they can't. Now that I've done meritorious service, even if I'm a dog, I'm still a dog with honor. Be a dog. Can you still create a sense of honor? Su Xiao probably has lived in peaceful times for too long. And this is the first time she has seen such a shameless person. Wang San patted Su Xiao on the shoulder and put on a smile that didn't deserve a beating on his fat face and said, Commander, I know you look down on me. You are amazing. You are very aloof. But what's the use of that? What? I will live a comfortable life with no worries about food and clothing. But you are going to die. Su Xiao was speechless. He was probably going to die. But he hasn't seen a certain island being recaptured yet. And he really doesn't want to die here. It is even more aggrieved to die in the hands of such a shameless person. Su Xiao gritted her teeth, clenched her fists, and struggled a few times. But the mechanical arm holding his limbs did not move at all. No. Martial ethics is not strong enough. He is also a psychic creature. Far more powerful than ordinary people. But at the moment, he is wearing a psychic suppressor around his neck. And he can only watch as the psychic energy in his body is drained away bit by bit. Wang San said with a smile. Give up. Commander. This is your final destination. Gone. Su Xia cursed secretly. If she had known better, she would not have put on that ordinary bracelet. There isn't even a plug-in. Did you travel through time just to die once? At this moment, his eyes suddenly stung. The next moment, a few lines of illusory text suddenly jumped out. Name, Su Xia. Race, human race. Faction, human resistance organization. Psychic power level, 3.6, weak state. TNN particle level, level 0. Remaining life, 78%. Active skills, psychic explosion. Psychic crush, jumping slash. Passive skill, armor affinity. Psychic talent 1, life burning. Psychic talent 2, death prophecy. Character description, you can obviously make a living by your appearance. And you can have a comfortable job in any city that humans have surrendered to. But you firmly refused those solicitations and chose to join the resistance organization. You tempered yourself on the edge of life and death and gradually grew into a minor celebrity. Human commander. Character panel? Isn't this only in the game? Su Xiao was stunned for a moment, almost thinking that she had encountered the game world. With a thought, he immediately opened the description of the weak state. Weak state, due to the extraction of original spiritual energy. Your true level has dropped to level 2.7 and is continuing to decrease. Please replenish spiritual energy in time. Well, he is indeed weak now. Due to wearing a psychic suppressor, his current combat effectiveness is not much higher than that of an ordinary person. Those active skills are gray and cannot be used. If he could still use psychic powers, these small metal mechanical arms would naturally not be able to trap him. Su Xia focused on those two psychic talents, and he secretly thought strangely. In my memory, this body did not awaken the psychic talents. Why does it suddenly appear now? In this world, psychic energy is the basis of evolution. Not only robots and humans, but also the cats and dogs on the roadside. And even the plants and trees in the mountains may evolve due to psychic abilities. After becoming a psychic creature, there is a certain probability of awakening one or two psionic talents. The conditions for awakening are not stable. Some people wake up as soon as they sleep while others need strong stimulation to wake up. Most talents are similar to ordinary skills, such as blasting, concussion, body strengthening, etc., while a few talents are more special, such as spiritual vision, mental invasion, mental pollution, etc. This sudden talent may be his hope of escape. Time was running out, so Su Xia did not hesitate and immediately checked the first talent. Life burning, talent introduction, krypton life blow. 
consumes one year of life in exchange for short-term terrifying power. Talent Description Are you in trouble? Have you run out of psychic energy? Are you surrounded by tons of muscular men? Burn life. Use your own life to open a new path. This talent is unique. Su Xia's eyes lit up. This skill is just right for his current situation. Anyway, he is still young and has plenty of life to burn. Burn. If you don't burn it, you'll have no chance. Immediately afterwards, he checked the second talent. Death Prophecy. Talent Introduction. You can predict danger in advance. After using it, you will see the way of your death. Talent Description. Have you ever heard of Spider-Man's spider sense? Yes. This ability is stronger than the spider sense. It can not only predict danger, but also allow you to see how you will die in danger. This talent can only be used three times a day, and the times cannot be accumulated. This talent is unique. Su Xiao was shocked when she saw the description of this talent. Can you predict death? It's cheating in the game world. These two talents, life and death, seem to be tailor-made for him, giving him the possibility to escape from here. Su Xiao looked at the two talents, quickly calmed down, and began to make plans in her mind. You can use the power of Krypton life to break the mechanical arm, and then break the psychic suppressor around my neck. Now time is urgent. The enemy is strong and we are weak. And the advantage is not mine. No delay. The longer he delayed, the more spiritual energy was drained from his body. If the psychic energy is drained, it will be useless even if he breaks the suppressor. He cannot always use kryptonite blows to escape from this experimental area with a large number of guards. At this moment, Wang San suddenly came to Su Xiao with a cart. On the cart, there was a set of black armor. Wang San smiled and asked, Commander, do you still recognize this suit of armor? Well, it's my stuff. In my memory, this set of armor has accompanied the original owner through many years of ups and downs. After continuous transformation, it has been upgraded to level 3 psychic power armor. Wang San patted the armor and said, Commander, what is the activation code for this armor? The researchers here are too weak to break through it. You want to use it? Su Xia suddenly smiled. I'm afraid you won't be able to fit into this suit of armor with your figure. Although I can't use it, I can sell it to others. Wang San was not angry. He was still smiling. He advised, Commander, death can be a very simple thing, but it can also be not that simple. I can provide you with many ways to die. Su Xia, what do you want to say? Commander, you don't want to die in such a humiliating way. Right. With that said, Wang San moved a stool and sat next to Su Xia. Maybe he was too fat and felt tired after standing for a long time. He continued, As long as you tell me the opening password, I can give you a happy death. How happy is it? How about one shot? Wang San took out a pistol and waved it in front of Su Xia's eyes. At this moment, Su Xia discovered that he could actually see Wang San's character panel. Name, Wang San. Race, human race. Faction, Human Surrender Camp. Psychic Level, Level 1.1. TNN Particle Level, Level 0. Remaining Life, 99%. Active Skill, Thick Armor. Passive Skills, None. Psychic Talent, None. Character Description, After Failing to Study for a Primary School Degree. Wang San Became a Street Kid, Relying on His Parents to Support Him All Day Long. Later, When the War Broke Out, His Parents Died from Robot Fire and he himself was caught in the laboratory. Just when he was panicking when you saved him. Later, he was caught by the robot again while performing a mission. And the robot asked him to work as an undercover agent with you. He wanted to refuse. After all, you were his savior. But the conditions offered to him by the robot were really good. I see. After reading the character description, Su Xia roughly understood what happened. This Wang San is just a street kid with no firm will. The original owner was really blind at first. So he thought he was very honest. Wang San looked at Su Xia confidently and asked, How is it? Commander, have you considered it? Su Xia nodded solemnly. Well, I just thought about it. Today is not an auspicious day, and it is not a good day to die. He he. Wang San patted Su Xia's face with the handle of his gun. Still confident, he smiled and asked calmly, Commander, do you think you can still escape from here? Well, that's a good question. Su Xia also smiled and instantly activated the life-burning talent. The next moment, an unprecedented amount of power surged into his limbs. He took a deep breath and jerked away. Click! The four mechanical arms that locked his hands and legs shattered. Immediately afterwards, a piercing alarm sounded throughout the laboratory. 
and the lights changed from light blue to dazzling crimson, as if covered with a layer of blood. Chapter 2 Crouching Dragon and Phoenix The alarm in the laboratory was extremely harsh, like the sound of death urging death. Wang San's smile suddenly froze, and a chill ran up his back. He held the pistol and took two stiff steps back. The other researchers panicked and ran towards the door. But suddenly, there was only a boom sound. The laboratory door suddenly lowered, and the access control showed a red emergency state that could not be opened. Damn it! Open the door! Let us out! A silent panic spread in the laboratory. This laboratory door can protect against level 3 psychic fluctuations. Even Su Xia cannot open it now, let alone ordinary people like them. More than a dozen researchers were leaning against the door, their bodies trembling slightly, their Adam's apple rolling, and a lot of cold sweat starting to break out on their palms and backs. Although Su Xia was alone, no one dared to take action. After all, he was once a level 3 spiritual powerhouse, and he was well known on the wanted list on the internal network of Waste Armor City. What to do? We are all humans. Commander Bayfong won't kill us. Right. But I heard that the commander hates people like us who work for robots. They didn't know Su Xia's real name at all. But because his former organization codename was Bayfong, they all called him Commander Bayfong. At this moment, the most fearful person present was Wang San. As a traitor, he knows the fate of traitors. The laboratory has been locked up. And Su Xia has enough time to kill him before the defense personnel arrive. Wang San held the pistol tightly and turned pale. After seeing Su Xia tearing off the psychic suppressor with her bare hands, his heart suddenly skipped a beat. Clang! The shattered psychic suppressor fell to the floor. In an instant, an unparalleled powerful feeling filled Su Xia's body. The suppressed spiritual energy flowed through her body again, and every cell seemed to be cheering for joy. He clenched his fists. Veins popped out on his arms, and the strong and hard muscles were like steel. If this punch were thrown, it would be able to exert at least 20 years of skill. Seeing this scene, Wang Sen felt as if he had fallen into an ice cellar. What should I do if the commander recovers? I can't die here. The glory and wealth are still waiting for me. Drops of cold sweat dripped from his plump cheeks. And he took a few steps back. No. Got a delay. Dragged the guards over. Wang Sen gritted his teeth. Threw away the pistol. And knelt down on the spot with a bang. He said tremblingly. Commander. We once fought side by side. Okay. I know. Su Xia knew that this guy was stalling for time. So she didn't plan to talk nonsense. Wang San shouted for mercy. Commander, I don't want to betray you. It's that guy Zhao Si. He was the first to rebel. He betrayed me and caused me to be caught by the robot. So I have to do this. Zhao Si? Is he still alive? Su Xia's eyes were focused. This person was also a member of the resistance organization. Wang San and Zhao Si. These two are his right-hand men his sleeping dragon and phoenix chicks. He remembered that Zhao Si was outside on a reconnaissance mission on the day they fell into the trap. Since Zhao Si did not send back any investigation information, he subconsciously thought that this guy had been killed by the robot. He's not dead. He's enjoying himself in Coral City, Wang San said with a mournful face. Since his contribution is greater than mine, he has now gone to Coral City. That city is much more luxurious than Huaijia City. Is that so? Commander, don't kill me. I'm still useful. You can hold me hostage and ask the robot to open the lab door. I can also help you contact Zhao Si and lure him out of Coral City. Oh. Su Xia's expression remained unchanged, and she replied in a neutral tone. Hearing this emotionless oh, Wang San felt completely cold. He could see that Su Xia didn't want to let him go at all. Why haven't those damn defense personnel arrived yet? The panic and anxiety in Wang San's heart became more and more serious and he felt that his heart was about to jump out. Suddenly, he found that Su Xia's eyes were not on him, but looking past him, and looking at the black psychic armor on the trolley next to him. Could it be that the commander wanted to put on armor, and break through the door? My chance has come. Wang San's eyes turned cold, and he did a quick calculation in his mind. Now the commander has just broken free from the psychic suppressor, and has not fully recovered. Moreover, a large amount of psychic energy has been drained away before, and he is in a weak state. While he is now didn't pay attention to me. Maybe I me. I can fight back. Although Wang San only has level 1.1 psychic power. Su Xia has been weakened layer by layer at this moment. Real 1.1 versus false 3.6. The formula for victory has been written. Thinking of this. Wang San no longer hesitated. If he delays it any longer. 
his chances of survival will become increasingly slim. He didn't know who gave him the courage. He took a breath, suppressed the fear in his heart, and his face became a little colder. The next moment, Wang San suddenly rose up. A dagger infused with spiritual energy alloy appeared in his hand, flashing with a deadly cold light, like a poisonous snake that chooses people to eat. Sneak attack. Wang San gritted his teeth and his face was twisted, as if he had seen the blood splattering on Su Xia's neck. However, the next second, Su Xia punched him hard on the wrist. Ouch! Wang San screamed in pain. Severe pain came from his wrist, as if his whole hand was about to break. The alloy dagger held in his hand fell to the ground with a crisp sound. This punch shattered all Wang San's hopes. He squeezed out a few tears and fell to the ground, wailing and begging for mercy. No! Commander, please think about the days when we fought together. Oh, my friend, those good days are gone. Su Xia bent down to pick up the dagger on the ground and looked at it briefly. Name, Dark Dagger. Level, Level 1 Psionic Equipment. Type, Multipurpose Dagger. Description, Produced by Studio. Well, it's a good thing. Suddenly, a few more lines of words popped up in front of Su Xia's eyes. You triggered the mission. Commander's last wish. Um, trigger a task? It's becoming more and more like a game. Su Xia thought about it and clicked on the task description. Task description. The commander was unwilling to die in humiliation. He chose to commit suicide by biting the medicine hidden in his mouth, ending his fighting life. He could no longer see the dawn of tomorrow, nor the death of the traitor, nor the death of the traitor, seeing the prosperity of the human race. Accept the task? Su Xia didn't hesitate and took it immediately. This task is a chain task. Mission 1. Kill the traitor Wang San. Mission reward. Armored Psychic Battery X1. After completing all tasks. You can get the ultimate reward. The identity card leading to Dragon City. Dragon City. One of the seven large-scale human resistance organizations on Blue Star. Is located in the southeast corner of the continent. Far away from Waste Armor City. The ultimate reward is a palm-sized silver-gray identity card. Su Xia can currently only browse the instruction manual of this ID card. The back of the card is printed with a dragon pattern, logo representing Dragon City. And the front is printed with the portrait of the current leader of Dragon City for anti-counterfeiting purposes. Huh? This avatar. Su Xia was suddenly confused. How come the leader of Dragon City on the card looked exactly like his dead father? He is a very standard orphan. Many years ago, his parents were hit by a dump truck that suddenly sprang out and both of them died. What happened to the leader of Dragon City? Can't a dump truck know that? Su Xia rubbed her head, feeling almost stupid. Full score essay, my father. The city lord? If possible. He would like to fly to the Dragon City immediately to have a look and find out why all this happened. But he is still trapped in this laboratory. Wang San, who was kneeling in front of him, was still wailing and begging for mercy. Commander, I have shed blood for the organization. And I have made contributions to the organization. Yes. Now I hope you can bleed more for the organization. Ah? Uh? Wang San was stunned. The next moment, the sharp blade slashed across his neck. Strangely enough, Su Xia didn't feel any discomfort in her heart. He looked down at the blood-stained blade and felt a lot more comfortable. Wang San's eyes widened and he covered his neck. Before he could say more words of begging for mercy, he fell down with strong unwillingness. Boom. At the last moment, he finally heard the footsteps of the defenders arriving. His life was over, compared to Wang San's pain and unwillingness before his death. The other researchers in the laboratory were overjoyed. Through the surveillance screen, you can see groups of defense personnel wearing black combat uniforms rushing in this direction. We are saved! The researchers breathed a sigh of relief, convinced they could be saved through negotiation. Su Xian naturally also noticed the situation outside the laboratory. The reward for Mission 1 has been distributed. And it is a black psychic battery. He didn't hesitate and immediately started putting on the psychic armor. The armor itself still has some energy left. And with this battery, it can last longer. Its surface was originally black. But it had experienced too many battles and was covered with large and small marks. The light gray inner color was exposed in many places. Just as Su Xia was putting on her armor, the robot outside started shouting. Surrender. Commander. You have no way to escape. Chapter 3 The Fight Between Trapped Beasts Name, Black Wolf Armor Level, Level 3 Psionic Equipment Type, Individual Combat Armor Basic Material, Titanium Alloy Basic Energy, Psionic Battery 
Human Body Psionic Energy Transmission Basic Performance Protection Reconnaissance Support Power Amplification Auxiliary Firepower Communications Adaptability to Complex Environments Surface Module Shinshin Group A9 Stealth Coating Damaged Head Module Thermal Imaging Electromagnetic Scanning Damaged Night Vision Gas Protection Nerve Stimulation Damaged Simple Translator Chest Armor Module Shinshin Group BL600 Bulletproof Armor which can deploy psychic shield, Shinshin Group HL600 thermal insulation layer, Shinshin Group CL600 cooling network damaged. Back module, Anlua Jetpack 6 jet power damaged. Right shoulder module, Black Heart Industrial EX1X girlfriend missile. Right palm module, Wally Laboratory Auxiliary Firepower Fire 3 type psychic laser. Left palm module, Wally Laboratory Auxiliary Fire Fire 3 type psychic impact. Left leg module, Black Heart Industrial Auxiliary Power. Su Xia activated the armor's built-in AI and checked the condition of the armor while wearing it. At a glance, the whole screen is filled with the words, damaged. The last battle was so brutal that it was a miracle that this armor could still be used. Soon he was wearing all the body armor except for his helmet. The shape of this helmet is very special. Thick and hard. The SH. L is cold black. The orange gold mask is coated with a honeycomb mesh membrane. And there are two small tactical gun lights on each side giving it a rough industrial aesthetic. Su Xia put it on her head, and the world in front of her suddenly changed. At the same time, he heard a mechanical female voice. Commander, welcome back. This is the AI voice that comes with the armor system. It sounds cold and emotionless. Su Xia moved briefly and quickly adapted to the armor. At this moment, just looking at his appearance, he looked like a future armored warrior from a science fiction movie. Cold and powerful. This armor can at least double his combat effectiveness. Su Xia turned her head and looked at the situation outside the laboratory through the surveillance video. In the corridor outside, seven or eight combat teams have been surrounded. The leader of each team is a psychic robot, and the remaining members are humans. The leading psychic robot was covered in white metal, but its eyes were light blue. Those eyes looked innocent and had a wild beauty. Its data quickly appeared in front of Su Xia. Name, none. Type, F3 Combat Robot, Youth Version. Race, Mechanical Race. Faction, Mechanical Deep Diver Camp. Psychic Level, Level 3.1. TNN Particle Level, Level 0. Remaining Life, 99%. Active Skills, Psychic Burst. Armor Blast. Core Stab. Self-Destruction. Passive Skill, Psychic Shield. Psychic Talent, None. Biological Description, After Gaining Wisdom. He has been thinking about a question. That is, humans have parents, but robots do not. So are all robots orphans? This robot is actually a thinker? Looking at the description in front of her, Su Xia was speechless for a while. If it were on Earth, he would definitely not believe that robots had self-thought. But this was Blue Star. At this time, the robots outside the laboratory were waiting impatiently. The leading robot of the first team issued an order. Open the door of the laboratory. Teams 4. 5 and seven will follow me to carry out the attack mission. Teams three and six will guard the left and right passages. Don't give him any chance to escape. Boss, there are still our researchers in the laboratory. The subordinates were stunned when they heard the order and immediately whispered a reminder. If you attack a fortress by force, it is easy to injure the hostages. Those 13 researchers were all held hostage by Commander Bei Fong. Hostages? What hostages? The robot said coldly. I only saw 14 rebels one of whom had a weapon, and the other 13 did not. All this, the humans in the team once again experienced the ruthlessness of the robots. In this era, being a dog is not so easy, and there is a risk of being given up at any time. Once abandoned, the abandoned child will almost always face a certain death situation. Everyone stopped saying anything, held their breath, and prepared for battle. Following the order, the sound of a contact band was heard from the laboratory door. Ding dong! The heavy door slowly rose. Many researchers inside the door were excited, and everyone saw the hope of life. Moreover, the armor commander Bei Feng at the rear seemed to have no intention of preventing them from escaping, which made everyone even more happy. Run! We are free! One of the researchers couldn't wait any longer. As soon as the door opened to a narrow gap, he lay on the ground in an awkward posture, and then rolled out regardless of his appearance. The air outside the laboratory is so fresh, so pure and seems to be a little sweet. The researcher stood up and breathed in the sweet scent desperately. Call. 
walk between life and death. Now that he was free, he almost cried. With excitement, he walked forward, ready to thank the leading robot. However, he had just taken the seventh step when a bullet penetrated his head. Seven steps to become a corpse. The leading robot said coldly, Commander Beifong is very cunning and may have the ability to disguise himself. Don't let anyone come out of the gate. There was silence in the channel. No one objected. At this time, Su Xia in the laboratory was also ready for battle. And his second talent, Death Prophecy, had been triggered. Perceiving that your life is in danger, do you want to waste an opportunity to view the death scene you may experience? Yes. In an instant, a scene of a fierce battle appeared in front of Su Xia's eyes. In the picture, he rushed out of the door, used the armor's built-in psychic shield to withstand the opponent's concentrated fire, and then fled frantically to the left passage. However, what he didn't expect was that the road on the left turned out to be a road of death. The deeper you go, the more enemies you encounter. There are powerful enemies in front of us and pursuers behind us. There is no hope of survival at all. His psychic energy was gradually exhausted, and his armor continued to be damaged, until he finally collapsed in a narrow and dark corridor. The road on the left actually goes deep into the experimental factory. You fight all the way from the D3 area to the E3 area, and are finally besieged to death. The road to salvation is on the right. Looking at the hints given by the prophecy, Su Xia's eyes gradually became cold. At this moment, the door is already halfway open. The robot-led team outside is gradually approaching. Commander, put down your weapons and don't resist needlessly. Chapter 4 You Can't Escape Some people are still alive, but they won't live much longer. Just a moment ago, the researchers in the laboratory were very excited, thinking that they could be saved. But now, the bloody reality is before our eyes. The bullet was like a bucket of cold water poured on their hearts, making them feel chilled all over. No, it's not just the feeling. They are about to become physically cooler. I have a certificate of obedience. My whole family has signed an obedience agreement. This is my good citizen certificate. Don't shoot. Our own people. Let's get out. They were so frightened that they hurriedly took out their certificates of obedience and anxiously declared that they were members of the human surrender camp. A few guys even knelt down on the ground, trembling and touching the cold floor with their cheeks to show their absolute surrender. However, what they were waiting for was not the hope of life, but the cold attack instructions of the psychic robot. The next moment, crazy firepower poured out. The originally clean and tidy laboratory suddenly turned into a scene of purgatory. A group of people were set on fire. Blood splattered, and pieces of limbs and internal organs were mixed together Picasso-style on the laboratory floor. A member of the first team was a little worried. After all, they were just combatants, not managers from above. So he asked, Boss, if someone from above asks, how should we explain the deaths of these researchers? Let's just say they died from copper overdose. All right. Everyone maintained their firepower and advanced steadily. At the same time, Su Xia turned on the power of her psychic armor to the maximum, held the oval metal jar containing part of her original psychic energy in one hand, and rushed towards the door. Boom! The boosters on the leg's armor modules activate. The auxiliary power allowed Su Xia to reach an unprecedented speed. He was like a humanoid Tyrannosaurus. Under the protection of the armored psychic shield, he withstood the opponent's powerful firepower and rushed out of the laboratory in an instant. In the vision panel, the psychic energy reserves of the entire suit of armor were rapidly declining. Warn! Warn! Under heavy firepower, the psychic shield is about to break. Warn! All the indicators on the panel instantly became popular. The enemy's firepower poured out like it was free of charge trying to eliminate Su Xia at the entrance of the laboratory. Among the ordinary firearms and weapons, there were some psychic weapons mixed in, and there was even a psychic sniper rifle pointed at Su Xia's head. With just one shot, cracks appeared in the psychic shield, which were then frantically repaired by the armor's own psychic energy. Gone! Su Xia became fierce, aimed at the passage on the right, raised her hand, and unleashed a psychic impact. The left palm armor module was activated instantly and the area in front of him suddenly saw layers of distortion and fluctuations visible to the naked eye, carrying huge energy and impacting forward. Several human guards, who faced the impact were violently knocked away and fell heavily to the ground. Their mouths and noses bleated, and they stopped moving. Then, only a boom was heard. Su Xia used the skill, leaping slash, and flew violently towards the many guards in the right passage like a cannonball. This skill allows one to leap forward and greatly enhance the power of a landed strike. One of the guards, 
who bore the brunt was unable to dodge and looked horrified. Boom! The man was cracked open by the impact, and the splattered flesh and blood stained the left and right walls red. Using this jump, Su Xia had jumped to the middle of the corridor on the right. But he only stood firm for two seconds when his back suddenly suffered a heavy blow. It was the thinker, Robot. He saw the opportunity and launched an attack the moment Su Xia landed. He rushed in with an almost crazy attitude and instantly used the two skills of Armor Explosion and Core Sting. The powerful spiritual power of level 3.1 has been brought into full play. In the deafening roar of a series of explosions, Su Xia's psychic shield was shattered. A sharp alloy dagger, wrapped in psychic energy, stabbed into the back armor module, making a tooth grinding sound. Commander, you can't escape, the thinker robot said coldly. Get away! Su Xia's eyes were cold, and she directed a psychic impact behind her with her backhand. The robot faced the impact directly, but was not knocked away. It only took several steps back, but he quickly pounced on it again. He has only one purpose. Let Su Xia die here. Su Xia's psychic level is now around 2.6. If it weren't for the Black Wolf armor and the bonus of the skill, Armor Affinity, he might not even be able to withstand the first round of fire just now. The passive skill of Armor Affinity allows him to have a high degree of compatibility with most armors to maximize the armor's capabilities. Block him. He won't last long. Notify the guards in Area C and tell them to get ready. Lock the doors to the rest of the area. He won't be able to escape today. The thinker robot's eyes flashed with blue light, and it calmly issued one command after another. The rest of the guards thought so too. Judging from the current situation, it is only a matter of time before Su Xia is consumed to death. At this moment, Su Xia's entire suit of armor only has 43% of its psychic energy reserves left. Once the original energy reserves and new batteries are exhausted, he will need to provide his own psychic energy-driven armor. Surrounded by layers of enemies, he raised his right hand and instantly activated the psionic laser of the right palm module. Buzz! The dazzling light burst out instantly, like a sharp blade, piercing the bodies of the five or six guards in front. The guard at first turned pale, slowly looked down at the big hole in his abdomen, and then fell heavily to the ground. Then, Su Xia turned around and punched. He activated the active skill, Psychic Crush, and slammed the punch onto the thinker robot attacking behind him. This skill can greatly destroy the enemy's concentrated psychic energy and is fatal to psychic robots. The thinker was shaken, and the mechanical parts all over his body rattled. A fist-shaped dent appeared on the metal breastplate, which was smashed away on the spot. Some of the guards behind him were hit so hard that they vomited blood and fell to the ground, unable to get up again. Only a few minutes into the battle, there were already more than 20 corpses lying in the right passage. The passage was filled with gunpowder smoke and the walls on both sides were filled with craters. Some parts of the wall had fallen off, exposing the inside of the alloy. Boom! There was another loud noise, and Su Xia used the third skill, Psychic Explosion, with him as the center. A powerful energy suddenly burst out, like a raging storm. There was no way for the more than ten enemies in front and behind to hide. They were all knocked to the ground and killed on the spot. There were also many injuries to enemies further away. They looked at Su Xia and were extremely shocked. They didn't expect that after having part of his original spiritual energy taken away, this legendary commander would still be so fierce. After delivering this blow, Su Xia's face turned pale, and her whole body felt a lot weaker. Ahem, in the chaotic smoke at the rear, some people vomited blood and climbed up holding onto the wall, wanting to continue fighting. But suddenly, a person lying down next to him pulled his ankle and whispered, Fall down quickly! Pretend to be dead! and lead this ruthless guy to the guys in Area C to deal with him. Hearing this, the guard trembled. He clutched his chest and collapsed miserably. I can't fight anymore. Chapter 5, I am willing to fight side by side with you. The battle continues. Su Xia has escaped to the end of Area D, and there is only the last long passage left from Area C. Behind him, the thinker robot was chasing after him with a group of guards. He ran away. They chased him. At this moment, Many guards in Area C are standing ready. They were fully armed and looked serious, guarding the exit of the passage, just waiting for Su Xia to show up. Close. The sounds of battle are getting closer. Since Su Xia would blow up surveillance cameras wherever she went, they could only judge Su Xia's location by sound. There was a new young guard who was holding the weapon in his hand tightly. Unknowingly, a lot of cold sweat broke out on his palms and forehead. Seeing this, an old guard beside him comforted him. 
Don't worry. This battle will be over soon. Coco, that man is the legendary commander Beifong. The young guard was anxious and wiped the sweat from his forehead. It is said that in the last siege, it took more than half of the troops of Waste Armor City to catch Commander Beifong. What the leader above meant was to drain the commander of his psychic energy, then broadcast it live throughout the city, and execute him to death in front of all the humans in the city. We only have one manpower in the experimental factory. Can we really stop it? The young guard couldn't help but ask. Don't worry. His psychic energy was taken away, and his psychic armor was also disabled in the last encirclement and suppression. Now it's just a combination of two cripples, fighting again and again in the D area. They are probably at the end of their strength. The old guard is confident. If Su Xiao was still in full strength, everyone present would have run as far as they could. But now Su Xiao and his black wolf armor were disabled. At this moment, Su Xiao, who was running away in a dark passage, suddenly saw the prompt of the second talent, Death Prophecy. Perceiving that your life is in danger, do you want to waste an opportunity to view the death scene you may experience? Su Xia did not hesitate. Nothing was more important than life. He confirmed immediately. Yes. Soon, a picture appeared in front of his eyes. In the picture, he rushed out of the passage. The moment he appeared, all kinds of bullets, bombs, and psychic weapons were fired at him, instantly destroying the already broken black wolf armor on his body. The entire sea area guards, plus most of the B area support guards, were all surrounding the passage exit. He fought desperately and released several skills again, causing a large amount of damage. But in the end, he was outnumbered. His spiritual energy was exhausted. And he fell to the ground helplessly. The screen ends. You need to cause unexpected damage to the large number of guards gathered at the exit of the passage. Otherwise you will be consumed. Seeing this prompt, Su Xia thought for two seconds. No. In my current weak state, even if I can successfully break out of the siege ahead, it will be difficult to fight all the way to Area A. He needed not just surprise, but massive chaos. Currently, Su Xia herself is the biggest chaos in this experimental factory. But he's not the only one who can cause chaos here. A bold plan took shape in an instant. When she was about to run out of the passage, Su Xia glanced at the metal can she was holding in her hand, and then threw it hard. Inside the jar is part of Su Xia's original spiritual energy that was extracted. On the outside of the jar, there were tied some grenades that Su Xia had found from the enemy's corpse. It was very quiet outside the passage. The serious atmosphere was mixed with a little tension. Everyone didn't even dare to take a breath and stared at the exit. Suddenly, a black object flew out, breaking the silence instantly. Fire! All the firepower that should have been poured on Su Xia was hit on this psychic jar filled with grenades. Boom! The violent explosion was deafening and shook the entire area. Destructive spiritual energy blasted out. Smoke filled the air. Debris flew everywhere. And a group of guards, who bore the brunt were directly beaten into a sieve. Many guards were stunned by the explosion. They felt like their heads were buzzing. The whole world felt like it was spinning. And some even had strong tinnitus. Su Xia took advantage of the chaos and rushed out. Grabbing two usable weapons on the ground. With full firepower. Before the stunned guards had time to react. They were greeted by the second wave of death. Su Xia didn't like fighting and ran away after reaping a wave. Soon, the pursuers arrived from behind. His. Seeing the tragic scene at the exit of the passage. The pursuers in area D took a breath of heat. It's so miserable. So miserable. On the floor. On the walls. And on the ceiling. There are bloody paintings done by the guards of area C using blood and debris. But it's not over yet. The shocked voices of the other guards soon came through the public channel. Damn it. That commander released the experimental subjects in Area C. What? Which experimental subject? All experimental subjects. Huh? Soon, the area fell into unprecedented chaos. Most of the so-called experimental subjects are terrifying psychic creatures that are delirious and extremely violent. Even if only one escapes, it will be a headache, let alone a group of them. The once safe and bright factory building is now full of wandering monsters. If you are not careful, you will be attacked by a monster hiding in a dark corner. Lock down the entire factory. Activate maximum security protocols. Not a fly can escape tonight. I don't believe it. With so many of us, can't we still retain a semi-crippled human commander? The thinker robot roared, and the blue of its eyes turned into a terrifying crimson. He looked at the chaos in front of him, and then at the sunken fist mark on his chest, and his whole body was extremely angry. At this time, 
Su Xia had already fled to the middle of Area C. Call. He glanced at the monster wreaking havoc behind him and breathed a sigh of relief. Releasing the experimental subjects is actually very dangerous. In the memory of the original owner, there were many laboratories around the Waste Armor City. The creatures in these laboratories were extremely dangerous, and one could be entangled by them if not careful. Fortunately, Su Xia was lucky. Moreover, he not only released the experimental monsters, but also rescued some members of the human resistance organization trapped here. Among them was a young man named Luan, who turned out to be a member of his Beifong organization. Commander? You are still alive! After seeing Su Xia, Luan's eyes turned red instantly. Young people are always emotional. And he thought he would never see Su Xia again. Su Xia nodded, patted the young man on the shoulder and said, It's me! Cheer up! Let's fight out together! At this time, a few more lines of words popped up in front of his eyes. You triggered. Commander's last wish mission 2. Rescue young Luan and ensure Luan's safe arrival at the gathering place of the resistance organization. Task reward. Primary psychic potion X3. I didn't expect that the second ring mission would be triggered so soon. Su Xia's power is limited after all. He looked at the other rescued people and asked. Everyone. Are you interested in fighting out with me? In this area of Waste Armor City. Commander Beifong is quite famous. The others responded immediately. Commander, I am willing to fight alongside you. Me too. Me too. The people in these resistance groups are very excited. They had no weapons. No ammunition. But the enemy is there. Su Xia led them all the way from Area C to Area B. And made a big fuss in Area B. Releasing a large number of experimental subjects and trapped members of the resistance organization. Then they moved towards Area A and continued to cause trouble in Area A. There were countless battles along the way, and every few minutes, you would encounter guards chasing and blocking you. There are more and more helpers, and Su Xia feels a lot more relaxed. Among the people he rescued, more than 10 people were psychic powerhouses who had embarked on the path of psychic evolution. The time came to 11.15 in the evening. The group finally broke through the last layer of blockade, and after eliminating a few enemies, they worked together to break through the closed door of the factory. Boom! The heavy door collapsed. The fresh night breeze blew away the dust caused by the collapse. The wilderness of freedom is now in front of everyone's eyes. A bright moon hung above the wilderness. And under the moonlight were countless wild grasses blowing in the wind. Farewell! Cage! At this moment, everyone had a smile on their face. But at this moment, Su Xia suddenly felt a little heavy in her head. He shook his head. His vision suddenly went dark. And before he could say anything, he fell heavily. Everyone was shocked and surrounded his body. Commander, what's wrong with you? Commander? Commander? Chapter 6 Why does this game promotional video look familiar? Now how to do? Everyone surrounded the unconscious Su Xia. And everyone had no idea. They wanted to escape with Su Xia. And they would go wherever Su Xia went. But now Su Xia has fallen. A group of people instantly lost their backbone. Commander may be too tired. Maybe he will wake up after resting for a while. But he seemed seriously injured. Someone present knew some armor technology and removed the Black Wolf armor. The system of this armor can record Su Xia's body data before she fell into coma. But no one knew the password to open it. So the armor was dead in their hands. Fortunately, although Su Xia's face was pale, her pulse was still steady and her heartbeat was strong. She seemed to be in a temporary coma. What should I do? Do you want to give the commander artificial respiration? A strong man with strong muscles volunteered and took a step forward. Commander is still breathing on his own. Don't come here. Let's go to the Oasis camp. The doctors there will definitely be able to save the commander. In the vast wilderness of the southwest region, there is a concentration of resistance organizations. That place is called Oasis, and it's very secluded. Among the more than 60 people who escaped, only three knew the specific location of the Oasis camp. Just do it. Run away quickly. Those people are about to catch up. Everyone made up their minds and immediately began to flee toward the southwest. A woman with psychic powers held Su Xia in her arms and ran as fast as flying at the front of the team. Now, school, dormitory, Su Xia was in a daze for a moment. The dim and blurry world in front of her eyes gradually became clear, and the familiar voice of her roommate's blacklist sounded in her ears. He rubbed his brows and sat up from the bed blankly. How is this going? Travel through time but not completely. Could the leader of Dragon City really be his father? The experience of those dozens of minutes just now was like a dream. 
and all the details in the dream are still vivid in my mind. The lights in the dormitory were turned off, but the computer screens of several roommates were still on. Su Xia took a look outside and determined that it was a familiar dirty and messy dormitory. He closed the bed curtain, turned on the small desk lamp, and began to carefully observe the bracelet on his left wrist. How on earth are you going to use this little thing? The bracelet has shrunk and is stuck on his wrist. There is currently no way to remove it. There is only one button on the entire bracelet, which looks very simple. Click! Su Xia pressed the button lightly, and the screen of the bracelet lit up slightly, flashing a flash of blue light. Immediately afterwards, a string of data appeared on the screen. Name, Su Xia. Race, Human Race. Faction, Resistance Organization. These data are exactly Su Xia's character panel in another world. Before Su Xia could take a closer look, streaks of light blue light suddenly shot out from around the screen, intertwining in front of Su Xia's eyes, slowly forming a picture. In the picture, a group of people are running away in the wilderness under the moonlight. They were the people Su Xia rescued before, and he himself was unconscious, being held by a woman at the front of the escaping team. Seeing this scene, Su Xia understood. What just happened was not a dream. I did travel to another world, and it was a conscious travel. But what are the triggering conditions for the travel? Can you only travel once? Or travel across time at will? Just when Su Xia was confused, a dark blue option appeared at the bottom of the screen of the bracelet. Would you like to travel again? Below this option, a series of comments appear. Note, you can travel back to this world at any time. Note, previously, the bracelet was in a semi-activated state. So you did not receive returnable information in another world. Now it is fully activated and can be used with confidence. Note, the hosting mode has been activated. Using this mode, your body in another world will regain consciousness. But the language behavior of this body will be managed by the bracelet. The bracelet will feedback the information of the other world to you in real time. And you can take over body control at any time. Right. Travel. Different world. Hosting mode. Su Xia stared at the bracelet. Thoughtfully. This bracelet is obviously not a technological product of the Earth. With today's Earth technology, it is extremely difficult to land a man on the moon, let alone travel to another world. Su Xia pondered for a moment, then focused her attention on the light blue projection screen in front of her again. Can that little guy Lu an escape capture? How about I go back in time now? Su Xia couldn't help but feel worried when she looked at the people running for their lives on the screen. Once Lu dies, his mission too will fail, and possibly the entire. Commander's last wish. Mission will fail as well. Those robots won't give up. They will probably use more than half of the troops in Waste Armor City to hunt them down. And they may even call in those wandering mercenaries. The next escape journey will be extremely difficult and full of crisis. If he was not unconscious, he planned to take the group of people to escape to the Oasis camp. In his memory, this camp was rich in supplies. Hidden and safe. Enough for him to return to his full strength. Then, he is going to kill another betrayer, Zhao Si. These traitors reminded Su Xia of the difficult years when China was in war a few decades ago. And there is a high probability that Zhao Si will trigger the mission. At this moment, a roommate suddenly whispered, Come out! What's coming out? The last wave of promotional information for Looking up at the stars Is about the human race. What? Make me healthy. The voices of several roommates were filled with excitement. It felt like the last time the national football team scored a goal. They were not so excited. Su Xia felt strange. Looking up at the stars. Isn't this a Chinese dish? This is a dark dish that is quite famous in the culinary world. With doubts. Su Xia opened the curtains. I saw five roommates gathered in front of the same computer. The computer screen was dark. With a loading bar in the center. After a while. The loading ends. Pictures gradually appeared on the dark screen. The first thing that appeared was the dim sky. And then the camera slowly moved down. And the dry and cracked earth came into view. Civilization turned into ruins. Steel was stained with rust. And a sense of desolation and dilapidation drifted in the wind among the ruined cities. The life of the entire world seems to have dried up. The pipelines transporting resources are covered with withered grass. And the collapsed traffic lights are covered with dust. A vicissitudes of voice slowly sounded along with the progress of the promotional video. Robots destroyed our home and my hardworking people became refugees. Um, why does the background of this world sound familiar? Su Xiao blinked, turned over and jumped off the bed, and then gathered around the computer. Soon, the first clip of the promotional video will be finished. The camera slowly moved to a desolate and abandoned corner of the city. 
A soldier who had long since turned into bones lay in this corner. Behind him were the ruins of the old era. And next to him was the whimpering wind and sand. The gun he held in his arms was already rusty. A thin vine climbed up the gun body and climbed up around the rusty barrel. A small white flower swaying in the wind bloomed at the muzzle. Why did the NPCs in the promotional video of Chapter 7 look so familiar? The computer screen went dark. And the first promotional video ended. The roommate who controls the computer clicks on the promotion page of the game's official website. At a glance, this subpage has dozens of promotional videos. If the quality of each item is so high, then the game company must have spent a lot of money. A total of 12 human race promotional videos were released today. The one just now was just an introduction. Which one should we watch first? Roommate Lady Few asked. Don't worry. Just read it one by one. Another roommate, Lee Si Hua, said. Su Xiao lives in a six-person dormitory. Except for him. The other five people in the entire dormitory especially like to play games. The person sleeping under his bed was named Li Difu. And the person sleeping opposite was named Li Si Hua. The head of the room is named Yuan Xu Xue. In addition, there are a pair of twins. One named He Ju and the other named He Li. Li Difu clicked the mouse. And another human race promotional video began to play. The title of this promotional video is The Beginning of Troubled Times which is a record of the early days of the war, when the human race resisted bravely and fought fearlessly. Looking at the promotional images, Su Xia's face became increasingly weird. He looked down at the bracelet and thought to himself, How come the background of this game world is exactly the same as the world I traveled through? Is that really a game world? But every character Su Xia came into contact with in the other world was so real that they couldn't be seen as a bunch of data. With the current technical level of these game companies on the earth, they are completely unable to achieve this kind of realism. Even Wild Cousin cannot give this feeling. Su Xiao raised her head and glanced at the name of the game company. Blizzard Entertainment? What the H L is this? Copycat Blizzard? Defu? Was this game company just established in the past few years? Su Xiao asked her roommate. Why have I never heard of this company? Yes, it was established two years ago. Li Defu nodded. This company used to be just a small studio. But the quality of the games it produced was quite high. And its reputation in the gaming circle was much better than that of some companies. This is there, this is my first time trying a large online game. Under Lee Defuse narration, Su Xiao gradually learned about the company. The games produced by this company always face a problem. That is, they have good reputation, but do not make money. This situation is not uncommon in the country. Some big companies have money and technology. But they just can't make good games. Small studios that can make good games have either been forced to disband due to various reasons, or they have been delaying production and releasing promotional videos every once in a while to maintain basic popularity. Just because of lack of money, the game, looking up at the stars, has been delayed many times. Many players have become numb with waiting and no longer have any hope. But just in February last year, this game company suddenly released more than 10 promotional videos for the game, looking at the stars, at once. Each of them was extremely exquisite and revealed its wealth and wealth. At that time, half of the circle was excited. I stayed up all night and watched all the expansion packs and world backgrounds. The quality was really high, Lady Few said with emotion. How does it compare to 2077? 2077 is just a post. Room Chief Yuan Shuxu sighed, feeling quite resentful towards 2077. At the beginning, the game geeks in the dormitory had high hopes for 2077. But the greater the hope, the greater the disappointment. Looking up to the stars is different from 2077. I believe in Blizzard. They can definitely make this game a success. Thanks to the long-term accumulated reputation. Blizzard Company has no negative comments so far. Yuan Shushua said. Tomorrow night at 8 o'clock is the time to launch the server. Looking at the starry sky. Will be available on mobile phones and computer platforms at the same time. It can automatically adjust the image quality according to the configuration of the device. Moreover, Blizzard Company has also launched a VR service. VR? Is it the kind of mobile phone VR glasses? No. This time it's VR that can really make you immersive. A complete set of VR equipment is quite expensive. And most individual players cannot afford it. But Blizzard has actually established game hives all over the world. They have been throwing money around like crazy during this time. Throwing out money like running water renting or buying buildings in prosperous areas of various cities, and then transforming the interiors of these buildings into separate VR rooms. Each of the rooms are equipped with the world's top single-person equipment such as 
Huawei running platform, and full body touch suit. A few years ago, this small studio was like a beggar on the street, with poverty visible to the naked eye, Li Difu said in an envious tone. But now, their boss seems to have struck a gold mine and is throwing money around like crazy. We don't even consider the issue of repaying the cost of the game. Just in Jincheng, where Su Xia is located, Blizzard Company has built tens of thousands of experienced hives. One of the renovated buildings, just opposite the entrance of their school, will be open tomorrow. Moreover, such a game room only costs 5 yuan an hour, which is so cheap that one wonders if there is something wrong with the company boss's brain. Fortunately, these rooms can only play, looking at the stars, and are not allowed to sleep in them. Otherwise, the internet cafe owners would be crying. Brother Sue, don't you even know about the game high that is so popular now? Li Difu asked incredulously. I haven't heard much about it. Su Xia shook her head. Hey, look at you. I have spent the whole day in the library, and my whole body has become gloomy. Come to the game world to experience the sunshine and happiness. If you don't want to play this kind of interstellar game, I can help you install it. Girls, real dot. Let's talk about this later. Everyone was watching the promotional video and chatting about game-related settings. The second promotional video introduces the gathering place of human resistance organizations, and the main images are focused on those seven large organizations. The third promotional video is about the living environment of the human surrender camp. Under the management of robots, many human cities have restored normal life order. For ordinary people, as long as they can survive, it doesn't seem to matter who the leader above is. Moreover, robots have implemented a new concept of ruling people with people and have launched acting mayor and other positions in many cities, allowing humans to manage humans. The fourth promotional video is composed of many clips. These segments focus on small resistance groups around the world. Some of these organizations live in the dark underground. Some shuttle through the ruins of cities. And some wander in the wilderness for a long time, persisting in fighting in extremely difficult environments. When she saw the last clip, Su Xia's expression changed slightly. At the beginning of the picture, a warrior wearing black armor rushed out of the laboratory. Boom. Explosion. Focus fire. Combat. Psychic impact. This. Why does it look so familiar? Isn't this who he is? And it happened just an hour ago. The vicissitudes of life in the background began to introduce again. Beifong, a legendary commander, led his organization to fight in the southwest area of Waste Armor City for many years. He is a hero in the hearts of many people. Chapter 8 Second Account A few days ago, this commander was betrayed by his subordinates, unfortunately arrested and subjected to inhuman torture. Today, he dragged his seriously injured body, put on broken armor, and faced countless ferocious enemies. This may be the last battle of his life. As the picture changed, tragic music slowly sounded in the background. No matter how you look at it, the commander's hope of breaking out of the encirclement is really slim. He is like a microcosm of the entire human race, fighting desperately in the darkness where no light can be seen, using his burning life to expound his lofty ideals. The roommates were all fascinated, and even their breathing became softer. Armor and combat can always ignite the Chuyuni soul of these gamers. The promotional images were cropped, condensing dozens of minutes of battle into a few minutes, retaining the most essential parts. Soon, the tragic music became louder. Boom. On the screen, Commander Beifong once again defeated an enemy. His body seemed very tired, but his pace became more determined. Although they couldn't see the face under the armor, several roommates guessed in their hearts that it must be a resolute and fearless face. More and more people are following him, and everyone is willing to fight for his lofty ideals. Commander, I am willing to fight alongside you. When they heard this sentence, goosebumps rose up on the arms of several roommates. Excitement and excitement intertwined in their hearts wishing that they were one of the followers of the commander. Not long after, the scene came to an end. After fighting again and again, everyone finally came to the exit. With a roar, the door suddenly collapsed. The outside world, full of vitality and hope, appeared in front of many rebels, and also appeared in front of many players in front of the screen. But suddenly, the background music stopped abruptly. The powerful commander, who seemed to be omnipotent before suddenly fell heavily, while everyone watched in shock. At this moment, he was only one step away from the exit. The picture gradually darkened. Damn it. It's gone now. Li Difu stared and clicked the mouse vigorously. Is the commander still alive? Why don't you give us a result? 
need the numbing drops. This is too appetizing. The quality of this, farewell to the cage, promotional video is obviously much higher than the other ones. From the beginning to the end, it has been holding everyone's heart tightly. The rhythm is full, and there is no slack. Until the end, there was still a suspense left. But Su Xia didn't feel passionate or excited. He only felt a chill down his spine. The entire process of his escape was actually recorded by the game company from various perspectives. Something's wrong. Nothing about this is right. How come a small studio that was so poor a few years ago suddenly became rich? They are frantically building game hives all over the world. And even the richest man in the world cannot afford the huge amount of funds required. Right? Defu, do you have any investors in this game company? Su Xia asked her roommate. No. They just don't want to accept those investments and don't want to be interfered by investors. So the previous development progress was so slow. Is that so? Looking at the beautiful promotional images on the computer, Su Xia felt an inexplicable worry in her heart. Where does the money come from to build gaming hives? The huge cash flow involved will inevitably attract the attention of financial departments in various countries. But this company is still alive and well. Questions were swirling around in his mind. Perhaps only by returning to the game world and finding someone who was exactly like his father could he get all the answers. Defu, is there anything special about this game? Yes. It is said that the world in the game has already begun to run on its own. Lee Defu nodded. This company said that they will not interfere with the operation of the game and will let players explore the world. And it is said that the publicity we are seeing now in the film. Some scenes are taken directly from the autonomously running game world and are not deliberately CG. That's it. Yes as long as the game company is willing. They can now intercept a dozen more autonomously running screens. The signature of this game is autonomous operation and real world. Brother Sue, how are you doing? Li Difu asked. Would you like to register an account and join us to open up Wasteland in the game? This, Su Xia already has an identity in that world. Will registering a new identity account affect the identity of the commander? He hesitated and asked. Can an individual open multiple accounts? Yes. After all, every game has a situation where the account is disabled, Li Difu replied. And a studio like ours needs to open a large number of small accounts to gain resources. The game company will consider our feelings for the sake of balance. Studio? Eh? Brother Sue, don't you know? Li Difu was surprised. Our dormitory established a game studio very early. And we can earn some living expenses every month by building bricks in the game or training as a player. How much money can I make in a month? Two to three thousand. Maybe five or six hundred if divided into each person's hands. Although it's not much. It's enough to improve life. When it comes to studio operations, Lee Defu has quite a lot of experience. Since they are still in school and have insufficient equipment, they cannot compare with those large studios that earn tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands a month. But they are already very satisfied with the status quo. Su Xiao listened very carefully and felt a little move without realizing it. Money is a good thing. In this world, some people are born in Rome, and some people are born as mules and horses. His own family and that of several other roommates were poor and poor. Their parents were either divorced or died early. There were only two fathers among the six people in the dormitory. Now that he has an NPC-like identity, maybe he can cooperate with his roommates to get some good stuff? These roommates are all experienced gamers. With their help, it should be easier to go to Dragon City in the future. Seeing that Su Xia was moved, Another roommate Healy said solemnly, Brother Sue, you need to leave that sinful place in the library. That's right. I feel like you've been in the library for too long and you become numb. His brother Heju also said the same. But I haven't played much games before. Su Xia was calm. He had never even played the most popular games such as Glory and God. The head of the room, Yu and Shushua, waved his hand and said confidently, Don't worry. We can't compare to you in terms of reading. But in terms of games, we brothers can walk sideways in this dormitory building. After you enter the game, you don't have to do anything at the beginning. All you have to do is lie down and wait for it to fly in its. Okay. Okay. Let me try. I'll send the game's official website to the group. Brother Sue, please register an account first. Lee Defu opened a dormitory group called Six Strong Men and copied the official website link to the group. Su Xia clicked on the link and started to follow the step-by-step -step tutorial to register an account. Soon, he completed filling in his identity information. By the way, what are you going to call your game nickname? Su Xia suddenly thought of this question. This is easy. 
Yu and Xu Xu have pulled Su Xia into the game studio's group. And the group's name was actually Biki Castle. Su Xia quickly saw five extremely outrageous nicknames. SpongeBob SquarePants. The King in Yellow. Big Star the Blind Fool. Squidward the Great. Mr. Krabs the Deep One. And Boss the Ancient One. A group of elementary school students. Su Xia shook her head and changed her name to Evil Bubble. Lady Fu said. Brother Su. These nicknames of our studio are very popular. We must go online at 8 o'clock tomorrow night to be the first to occupy this name. I see. You must never go to the library. Rest assured. After getting ready, Su Xia turned over and returned to her upper bunk. He planned to return to another world and complete the commander's last wish. Mission as soon as possible. So he closed the dark bed curtains. Open the bracelet and press, yes, under the option, whether to travel again. Immediately afterwards, a familiar sense of electricity came. This time, it didn't sting so much. Instead, somewhat comfortable. Blue star. Wasted armor city. The night wind blows on the ground. And the bright moon hangs high. In the wilderness, a group of more than 60 people were running away. At present, everyone's position is not safe. They are still on the outskirts of Waste Armor City and may be discovered by the patrol team of Waste Armor City at any time. Suddenly, a red light flashed in the distant horizon, followed by a harsh and sharp sound. It's a flare! Damn! Those people found us! Chapter 9 I said you can't escape. Su Xiao woke up amid a turbulence. The pain and fatigue all over his body immediately surged up, making him feel even more uncomfortable. This body is really tired and bruised. You must have a good rest after arriving at the oasis camp. Tick. A drop of warm water suddenly fell on his arm. It's beads of sweat. Su opened her eyes and saw a woman with short hair. It was this woman who had been holding Su Xia and escaping from the experimental factory to here without slowing down at all. She is a strong psychic with an excellent figure, weak colored skin, and she obviously exercises regularly. Her legs are slender and toned. She is still breathing steadily after holding Su Xia and running so far. But there are only a few drops of sweat falling down her chin. On Su Xia. Name, Zheng Yu. Race, Human Race. Faction, Human Resistance Camp. Psychic Level, Level 2.1. TNN Particle Level, Level 0. Remaining Life, 89%. Active Skills, Psychic Clone. Ghost Shuttle. Passive Skill, Strong Will. Psychic Talent 1, Healing. Psychic Talent 2, Mind Control. Character Description, When She Was 6 Years Old. The war brought chaos and famine, and also took away the lives of her parents. From then on, she began a wandering life. And after a few years of wandering, she joined the resistance organization. Well, it feels pretty good to be held. Su Xia felt that there was a warm force flowing into her body from the woman's palm. With the help of this power, the pain seemed to have eased a lot. Is this a healing talent? Put me down. I can act on my own? Commander, are you awake? Zheng Yu's eyes flashed with joy. You are too seriously injured. So let me hold you. No need. It's just a fatal injury. The most serious wound on Su Xia's body was caused by the thinker robot. At that time, the robot broke through the psychic shield and then used the skill, Core Thorn, to directly pierce the black wolf armor and hurt Su Xia's lungs. If it were an ordinary person, he might have sent it on the spot. Suddenly, a few lines of words flashed before Su Xia's eyes. It turned out to be another mission. Get the mission. Stabilize the morale of the military. The news that you have escaped from the laboratory has spread. The mechanical city lord of the Waste Armor City is furious and has mobilized a large number of soldiers to search for you. There are dangers at this moment. And the road ahead is long and there is no hope. Some of the escapees are not psychic creatures and have already felt tired. You need to cheer them up. Please leave this girl's warm embrace. Stand up. Show a strong posture and help some confused escapees regain their confidence. Task Reward 1. Primary Psychic Potion X1. Mission Reward 2. Psychic Battery X2. Task Reward 3. 3 minutes full status card X3. At this moment, another signal bomb exploded on the horizon behind. The pursuers found traces of their escape and were chasing them. Without further ado, Su Xia immediately said, Let me down. I need to act independently so that everyone can feel at ease. Commander, are you really okay? Um. Well, Zheng Yu didn't say much. She immediately stopped running and put Su Xia down. Seeing this, everyone behind them stopped. Seeing Su Xia wake up, 
Everyone was surprised and gathered around to ask about his physical condition. I'm in good health. Don't worry. Just follow me. I will take you to the Oasis camp, which is a very secluded gathering place. Commander, we are planning to go to that place. Yes, but we can't go in this direction. Su Xia said in a deep voice. There are a lot of patrols along the way from here to the edge of the city. We need to take a detour. In Su Xia's mind, the original owner's memory of all the topography and landforms in Huaijia City and its surroundings was retained. Precisely because he knew this information so well, the original owner was able to escape capture many times. Su Xia looked around and asked solemnly, Do you believe me? Commander, of course we believe you. Yes. Needless to say, we will go wherever you go. It doesn't matter even if we die fighting with you. This is our honor. Everyone responded one after another, already giving their lives to Su Xia. Su Xia nodded. Okay, rest on the spot for a minute, and then continue to set off. At this moment, far behind, a powerful team composed purely of psychic robots is being assembled. The leader of this team is the thinker, robot. He suppressed the anger in his heart and shouted sternly. Don't count on those trash humans. Commander Beifong is extremely cunning. Those trash-like human soldiers are no match for him at all. We can only rely on ourselves now. On the side, Luo Li, the human city lord of Waste Armor City, twitched the corner of his mouth, hearing that his people were being called trash. As a city lord, he did not dare to object, because he was just a human acting mayor who was pushed to the front by robots. Just a dog with a little more power. Dogs do not dare to bark at their owners unless they are forced to do so. The real power in the entire Waste Armor City is concentrated in the hands of the Mechanical City Lord. And the thinker, Robot is the direct subordinate of the Mechanical City Lord. At this moment, Luo Li could only fully cooperate with the actions of the thinker Robot and add some opinions of his own. Sir, several patrol teams have discovered some traces. The signal flare just now was sent by them. The soldiers responsible for the search have rushed over and are preparing to form an encirclement before dawn. Just your rubbish human soldiers? The thinker robot snorted. Commander Beifong ran away long ago before they formed an encirclement. Ah, yes, you are right. So what do you think we should do? Luo Li did not refute and nodded repeatedly. The middle-aged man kept a smile on his face and bowed slightly. The thinker robot said coldly, I will personally lead the team to hunt him down. Commander Beifong is mine. Then I wish you a safe journey. Within 72 hours, you will see the head of Commander Beifong. The thinker robot expressed a cold expression. And at that time, your useless soldiers may still be wandering in the wilderness like headless flies. Ah, yes, you are right. At this moment, Su Xia, who was leading the team to start again, suddenly frowned. In front of his eyes, the prompt for the second talent death prophecy popped up. Perceiving that your life is in danger, do you want to waste an opportunity to view the death scene you may experience? Is his life in danger so soon? It is now 11.57. And this is the last prediction of death today. Su Xia did not hesitate and immediately selected, yes, to check the specific situation. A prophetic picture immediately appeared in front of his eyes. Thinker? On the screen, a group of white robot soldiers were jumping off a strange-looking flying vehicle. The leader of the team was the Thinker robot. And the fist mark on his chest was still there taking advantage of the flying vehicle. Thinker actually successfully stopped Su Xia's team. He twisted his neck and stared at Su Xia with his cold blue eyes. Commander, I told you you can't escape. Chapter 10 Your Legend will end in my hands. This guy is really haunted. I chased him all the way in the experimental factory. And now I chase him into the wilderness again. If the Thinker was a girl, Su Xia might be moved. But he's just a grumpy robot. In the prophecy screen, the flying vehicle had twin engines and twin propellers, and was completely black, giving it a strong and heavy metallic feel. It reminded Su Xia of the CH-47 Chinook helicopter on Earth. A total of 20 psychic robots jumped down from above, and then stood behind the thinker robot. The alloy on their appearance is covered with white paint, and blue psychic liquid flows in their bodies. Each one is more than 2 meters tall, with expressionless faces, and pairs of blue eyes that are extremely penetrating in the dark night as if they have no emotions. The killing machine. These robots are walking psychic weapons. During battle, the alloys covering certain parts of their bodies will fade away layer by layer, revealing the deadly muzzles or sharp blades inside. Both sides talked some trash and then started fighting. If there were no other distractions, this battle in the wilderness could go on for a long time. 
But this is the territory of Waste Armor City. As soon as the battle started, the other surrounding search teams received the news and rushed towards this direction. In the end, everyone was surrounded and died one by one. Your team dies collectively. Your head was cut off by the thinker robot, made into a wine glass, and used by him for a long time. This escape journey ended in tragedy. Perhaps fleeing in ignorance is not a good choice. Why not try to take the initiative? Made into a wine glass? Does this weird thinker robot hate him so much? Su Xia touched her head and felt her scalp getting cold as she thought about how it was filled with wine. Fortunately, that beautiful scene should no longer appear. He deliberately kept the EX-1 missile codenamed Ex-Girlfriend, which was prepared for enemy armored vehicles or flying vehicles. A small city like Waijia City simply cannot afford a few helicopters. And the loss of anyone will make the city owner heartbroken. Commander, you seem worried. Zheng Yu asked softly. Is it because of the pursuers behind you? Well, I happen to have something to discuss with you. Su Xia stopped and turned to face everyone, putting on a serious look. His brows are slightly furrowed and his eyes are deep, which is his special expression for talking about big things. He coughed twice and then said, This is not the way to go. The enemy has a special vehicle that can run faster than us on two legs. He will catch up with us soon. Commander, do you mean we turn around and fight with him? Asked a sturdy middle-aged man. Fighting is necessary. Su Xia did not deny it immediately. Commander, I am willing to fight to the death with you. Luan, the young man standing next to him, had a resolute look on his face and a very firm tone. Su Xia glanced at him. You died in the battle. What will happen to my mission reward? Don't say such unlucky things. He waved his hand and pointed into the distance. You go first. I'll go meet those guys. Don't worry. I'll catch up soon. Commander, you? You? Hearing this, Luan's eyes turned red, and he burst into tears again. It was obvious that the commander wanted to stay behind and give everyone hope of escape. He thought of the old people in those TV dramas who, when facing danger, resolutely said to the young people, You go first. I will be there soon. And then never came back. When he thought of this, Luan wiped the corners of his eyes and said decisively, Commander, I want to cut off the rear with you. Yes, count me in. I'll stay too. And I, all men are mortal. Everyone misunderstood what Su Xia meant. And everyone shouted that they wanted to stay and break up the family. Su Xia was speechless and held her forehead. He was going to carry out a sneak attack and was going to run away after the attack. How can you carry out a sneak attack with so many people? He pursed his lips and said, Everyone, I just plan to destroy an enemy vehicle and attract some attention. This kind of open area is suitable for me to act alone. Trust me. I haven't dealt with Zhao Si yet. How could that traitor die in this age, Lish place? Really? Don't worry. The human race will not lie to the human race. Commander, if you unfortunately die, I will name my child after you. Su Xia felt tired. After some persuasion, these guys were finally allowed to move on. Before leaving, they left the explosive gadgets they grabbed in the experimental factory to Su Xia, including two psychic bombs. Su Xia quickly put on the black psychic armor and brought a bunch of goodies with her. Like a flexible steel beast, she quickly blended into the vast wilderness under the moonlight. The armor still has 13% energy, and the energy battery rewarded from the previous mission can replenish 20%. Enough for Su Xia to fight again. An interception operation has begun. At this moment, the rear, the loud roar of helicopter propellers echoed against the night sky. Boom! 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 In the cabin, 20 psychic robots were silent and motionless with their eyes closed, like puppets without emotions. Compared with human soldiers, these robots have stronger advantages in order, physical strength, execution and other aspects. The thinker robot was cleaning his dagger, a psychic weapon that had pierced Su Xia's back armor. It has cut off the heads of countless rebels. This time will be no exception. Commander Beifong, your legend will end in my hands. Boss, Lord Luoli hopes that we will not act too hastily. The robot in charge of contact said. He feels that we are flying too far forward now and may fall into a trap. Trap? The thinker robot snorted coldly. He looked down on the human city lord from the bottom of his heart and said coldly. Tell city lord Lu that Commander Beifong is very smart. He doesn't dare to stop and fight. He knows that once they fight, they will be entangled. So they will just act like it keeps running away like a bereaved dog. Boss, Lord Lu Li is worried that your anger will affect your judgment. 
He hopes to get the human soldiers on the ground to cooperate with our actions. No need. Those humans on the ground are just a bunch of burdens. Boss, City Lord Luoli wants to talk to you personally. Turn off the communication. Oh, the liaison officer did not dare to disobey and immediately cut off contact with City Lord Luo. At the same time, City Master Luoli, who was behind, silently took down the communication device. Beside him stood a holographic projection of a robot. This robot's name is Unlawn. He is the mechanical city lord of Wasted Armor City and the person behind the entire Wasted Armored City. His real body is sitting in the center of the city. City Lord Luoli faced Unlawn, bowed slightly, and said humbly, Sir, this subordinate of yours who likes to think seems to have been affected by anger, and he was injured by Commander Bei Fong in the laboratory before. Now the injury is not healed yet. Don't worry. It's not a big problem. And Lon looked calm and confident in his subordinates. Even if he is seriously injured and needs to suppress his anger with one hand, he can still kill the commander. Chapter 11 Self-Destruction Under the moonlight, a roaring helicopter flew over the wilderness. The human soldiers below all showed envious expressions. Waste Armor City is too small, and its economic level is very poor. It is usually reluctant to use this kind of mechanical monster. After the war, the development of many cities stagnated, and refugees were everywhere, starving and dying everywhere. Many people chose to become soldiers just to have a full meal. During tonight's night operation, a large number of human soldiers were not even equipped with night vision goggles, and relied on a tactical flashlight to look for people in the middle of nowhere. Similarly, the resistance organization led by Commander Beifong did not fare well at the time. With a shortage of equipment and supplies, it is precisely because of this excellent matching mechanism that the two sides can fight back and forth. Brother, look, could the dark figure in front be Commander Beifong? No, that's just a stone. What about that one? That's a dead tree. Similar conversations happened many times that night. Fatigue and boredom were wearing down the patience of these human soldiers, and many began to cope. Everyone felt that Commander Beifong should have fled far away, and only a fool would stay to fight or deal with him. At this moment, in the helicopter cabin above everyone's heads, the thinker robot became a little impatient and urged. Why are you flying so slowly? At this speed, when can we catch up with Commander Beifong? Boss, Commander Beifong's armor should have technology to evade thermal imaging and light detection. We must carefully search every area below, even if his armor can evade it. Can the old, weak, Sick and disabled and his team evaded. The thinker couldn't help but ask. What are you thinking about? With Commander Bathing's character. Can he abandon it? Is your team acting alone? Boss, I'm just afraid that the commander wants to fight back. If you think too much, does Bathong dare to come to me? As soon as he finished speaking, a scream suddenly sounded in the night. Call out. Beautiful tail flames cut through the night sky. The X-1 missile came out and headed straight for the helicopter in the sky. The driver was startled released the interference bomb urgently, and then performed evasive maneuvers. But the missile was not attracted by the decoy bomb. It identified its target and slammed into the fuselage. Then, there was a boom, and the entire sky was illuminated for an instant. Everything happened in a flash of lightning, and the many human soldiers below stared wide-eyed. Damn it! Brother! Look! That rock just shot a missile! That's not a stone! Then it's Commander Beifong! In the sky, like a fireball, the helicopter spiraled down and hit the dry ground hard. The huge roar was frightening. The raging fire roared on the wreckage of the helicopter, and sharp fragments flew everywhere. Many human soldiers around them fled in fear for fear of being affected by the explosion and debris. Looking at the scene, Su Xian nodded with satisfaction. Well, my ex-girlfriend was really nice. Su Xia did not relax, turned on the psychic shield, and rushed towards the burning wreckage of the helicopter with a pile of explosives under the gaze of many human soldiers. If it were an ordinary person on the helicopter, it would have been sent by now. But the vitality of those robots is extremely tenacious. They are not afraid of pain and death, and can continue to fight even if only half of their bodies are left. There may be people alive in the helicopter wreckage. Be sure to remember to last hit. Su Xia understands this truth well. Above the fire, thick smoke rose. An extremely angry roar came from the flames. Commander, do you really dare to come? Su Xia replied in a relaxed tone. Well, it's a bit cold at night. I'll come over and make a fire. Not only did you not surrender, you actually dared to attack? I don't have French blood. Why should I surrender? You deserve to die. The thinker robot roared and used the skill 
armor explosion. There was only a bang. And the metal frame of the helicopter wreckage was instantly broken. And a violent shockwave spread in all directions. Boom! A twisted and burning metal plate was violently knocked away. Immediately afterwards, a blackened metal arm stretched out from the fire. The white paint on the surface of the robot had been scorched black. He looked like a fierce ghost, with scars all over his body. Even the alloy palm of his left hand was broken into half. He stood up from the wreckage with crazy anger. Except for him. The other robots in the helicopter were unable to fight anymore. Broken bodies. Charred circuits. Scattered parts. Flowing psychic energy. Etc. A pile of liquid and mechanical fragments mixed together. Forming an abstract picture of death in the flames and smoke. In the distance, a human soldier shouted. Master Robot! Do you need help? The thinker was furious. Shut up! You! The bottom of the food chain! Have no right to speak, human soldiers. The thinker stared at Su Xia, his twinkling eyes turning scarlet, stepping on the burning wreckage, and walked out step by step. He yelled, Come on, commander, let's fight head on. Okay, here I come. Su Xia stopped approaching, and the distance was almost the same now. He took a deep breath, turned on the power of his right arm armor to the maximum, and then threw it violently. Those small explosive gadgets were bundled together and thrown out, like an iron ball in the firelit wilderness, quickly hitting the thinker who was walking out of the sea of fire. The thinker's face changed suddenly. He instantly activated his psychic shield, jumped back, and said angrily, You are despicable. Boom! The explosion was deafening, and the wreckage of the helicopter completely disintegrated after the explosion, turning into pieces of burning debris that scattered around, even igniting some surrounding vegetation. The thinker was thrown backwards by the violent explosion, and then hit the ground heavily, with metal parts all over his body making a rattling sound. A lot of psychic liquid swayed from his broken palm, emitting a faint light blue fluorescence under the night. Damn it! Damn it! The psychic shield shattered, and the thinker fell to the ground and roared wildly, not because of pain, but because of this series of failures and blows. And Su Xia took action again. His eyes were like lightning. He wore black armor and walked through the sea of fire. Then he jumped high into the sky, looking like a predatory mechanical beast in the night. Active skill. Jumping slash. He turned himself into a weapon and violently hit the thinker. The violent impact caused the alloy in front of the thinker to shatter. The psychic liquid to splash. And even some of the internal circuits to be exposed. He couldn't feel any pain. His face was twisted. And he attacked Zhu Xia crazily. You die? At this moment, the blazing fire around him was devouring everything. And he was like a demon from H. L. The two fought in the fire. Their fists, feet, shoulders, elbows, etc. were turned into weapons. And they hit each other crazily. Every blow made an ear-piercing sound of metal collision. But Su Xia finally took advantage of the sneak attack and now had the upper hand. The thinker's body was covered in cracks. And several of the lines in his body were torn off by Su Xia and the muzzle of the gun buried in his body was bit by Su Xia. No! How could I fail? The thinker's eyes were red. Extremely unwilling. He is not afraid of death. Only afraid of failure that should not happen. In this crazy moment, he thought of his last active skill. Self-destruct. Chapter 12 for Ivor. The machine tribe is a very strange race. Many warriors value honor more than their lives. After reaching a dead end, they will think of their last skill self-destruction. Self-destruction would be more appropriate. A one-time killing blow, burning all the energy in the body and releasing the power to destroy the world is equivalent to turning oneself into a bomb. The thinker robot has given up thinking. He couldn't lose this battle. And he couldn't accept losing so miserably. He can't afford to lose. He wants to drag Su Xia to die together. But just when he had this idea, Su Xia's second talent, Death Prophecy, sounded the alarm. It was past midnight and this was his first chance today. Perceiving that your life is in danger, do you want to waste an opportunity to view the death scene you may experience? Yes. Su Xia didn't hesitate and immediately checked the screen. In the picture, the crazy thinker robot gave up all defense and offense and locked Su Xia tightly with its metal limbs. His scarlet eyes actually started to flicker, as if he was performing some kind of countdown. Su Xia immediately became alert and thought of the last active skill in the robot's panel. Sure enough, the thinker suddenly shouted crazily. For Ivor, the Eiffel is the name of the master of the mechanical race. After shouting he exploded. Su Xia was the first to bear the brunt. 
The psychic shield was instantly shattered. The mechanical armor shattered and disintegrated. And her whole body was about to burst. Due to the protection of the armor. You were not killed on the spot. But you were seriously injured and fell to the ground. Losing the ability to move. The surrounding human soldiers will escort you back to the urban area of Waste Armor City. The mechanical city lord, Anlan, personally took action and knifed you one by one in front of the entire city's humans. If you have ever eaten BJ roast duck, please think of the scene of a piece of roast duck. His. Seeing this way of death, Su Xia's scalp went numb. He didn't want to experience the feeling of being cut into pieces by a thousand cuts. If he is really caught, he could only give up this body and travel back to Earth. But the identity of the commander is very important in this world. You can pretend to be an NPC and work with your roommates to make money. So you can't give up easily. Although he created a new game account called Evil Bubble. In his eyes, that account is just a trumpet account, which he can practice casually and use as a warehouse when necessary. Su Xia gritted her teeth and immediately struck preemptively, punching the robot in the abdomen. Clang! Shattered metal shot out, and blue psychic energy splattered. The punch hit hard into the abdominal cavity, breaking several wires and even smashing two internal modules. The thinker robot knows that time is running out. This is his last chance. He must self-destruct. His eyes turned red and he shouted, Commander, let's meet in H. L. You think beautifully. At this moment, Su Xia suddenly took out a psychic battery from the left rear of his armor. This was a reward from a previous mission. He had been reluctant to use it. But now he had to use it. He shouted, There is energy hidden in the back. What? The thinker didn't react in time and saw Su Xia holding the psychic battery and then punched him hard in the abdomen before he could lock Su Xia with his metal limbs. Su Xia suddenly flew forward and kicked him. Boom! The armor module's leg boosters exerted force, instantly widening the distance between the two. At this moment, the thinker was almost no longer human. With his metal limbs crooked, his facial features smashed, and a big hole in his abdomen, turning him into a broken mechanical monster. Su Xia did not hesitate, activated the mechanical module on her right palm, and aimed it at the psychic battery in the thinker's abdomen. The next moment, lasers burst out. Boom! Shocking noise. A storm suddenly blew up in the blazing fire field, and metal debris and psychic liquid were the main components of this storm. Su Xia turned on the armored psychic shield to maximum power, and ran in the opposite direction. The raging mechanical fragments were like sharp knives cutting repeatedly on the surface of the shield. On the panel in front of her, all the data had exploded, especially energy reserves. When the explosive storm finally subsided, the entire armor only had 2% energy left. Once the energy is exhausted, Su Xia needs to use the spiritual energy in her body. In the distance, all the human soldiers watching the battle were stunned. The explosion stirred up a lot of dust. And with the fire blocking it, they could not see the central situation clearly. Hack! What happened? I don't know. Is that robot master still alive? There is no harm. He must still be alive. At this moment, the central area of the explosion. Su Xia stepped on the debris and walked step by step to a mechanical head. To be precise, it was half a skull. The skull made of alloy was shattered to only half, revealing the many circuits and devices inside. But what is surprising is that this thinker has only half a head left. But he is still conscious. There was a problem with his vocal module. And his voice became extremely hoarse. Mixed with some electronic noise. And intermittent. No. How could I fail? This shouldn't be my ending. What do you think your ending will be like? Su Xia bent down. Reached out to pick up half of the head. And asked calmly. The thinker was unwilling and replied hoarsely. I. I. But before he finished speaking. He suddenly became silent. Light blue rays of light suddenly shot out from his broken mechanical eye sockets, intertwining in midair, forming an illusory figure the mechanical city lord, Anlan, and Lan's face looked quite ugly. Not long ago, he had said, Don't worry, to the human city lord Luoli, but he didn't expect to be slapped in the face now. This really undermined the prestige of the superior. He held back his anger and said to Su Xia, Beifong, please spare his life. Su Xia asked calmly, Why should I let him go? I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. For example, from now on, until 6 o'clock in the morning, I will ask everyone to stop the search. This time is enough time for you to escape from the suburbs of Waijia City. The conditions don't seem to be as good as I thought. Beifong, don't push yourself too far, Anlan said coldly. 
if I now order all the human and mechanical soldiers in the abandoned armor city to join the hunt and dispatch all armored vehicles and helicopters, you won't have any chance. Maybe you yourself you can escape, but the rest of your team will die this night. Yeah, that makes sense. Now the enemy is outnumbered, and we are outnumbered. And the advantage does not lie with our own side. If you were in a wilderness area outside the city, you might be able to get around slowly. But this is the territory of Waste Armor City. Su Xian nodded. Ask your soldiers to stop chasing. As for this head, I will temporarily hold it hostage until we are completely out of the scope of Waste Armor City. At that time, I will put this head in the border area. I think you should. There's a way to find it. Very good. Bei Feng. And Lan looked indifferent. Next time we meet, you won't be so lucky. I will end your life with my own hands. Chapter 13 Positioning Shame. What a shame. The most difficult thing to accept in the world is having your head held by an enemy. The thinker was extremely angry. But he had no ability to resist. With only half a head left. He couldn't even self-destruct. Ah. He roared in pain. And due to a problem with the sound producing component. He actually roared out an electronic sound. Su Xia's eyes lit up and she immediately asked. Can you sing? Let's listen to one. Thinker. Pain. Anger. Despair. All the words of negative emotions combined were not enough to describe what he was feeling now. Su Xia carried this head full of negative emotions and chased after everyone. There may be a positioning device in this head. Su Xia did not intend to take him with her to move with the team. He planned to explain the situation to everyone and then split the troops into two groups to meet at an agreed upon location. The surrounding human soldiers received orders and did not stop Su Xia. Some of the searching soldiers had already begun to evacuate. At this moment, the entire escape team was in a very low mood. The distant explosions, thick smoke, fire, etc. all indicate that the commander is engaged in a battle with the opponent. And the battle is extremely fierce. The commander is still injured, and the armor's energy is low. Can he really come back? I think we may have lost a noble leader. Some people are not dead yet. But they are already being missed. Without the leadership of the commander, the entire team seemed to be missing its soul. Everyone stopped talking and continued to escape, while missing Su Xia. This long escape journey seemed to have no end in sight. And there was still endless night ahead of the night. That oasis camp was just too far away. Everyone is experiencing unimaginable fatigue mentally and physically. And their steps are becoming heavier and heavier. However, the moment Su Xia appeared, the whole team immediately became excited. Seeing that familiar figure, young Luan was so excited that he wiped away tears and shouted, Commander, are you still alive? Of course. I said I will come back alive. Humans don't lie to humans. Su Xia smiled and shook the thinker's head in her hand. Thinker. Shame. What a shame. Seeing this incomplete mechanical head, the entire team was ecstatic. The excitement and joy washed away their fatigue, and the flame of hope was rekindled in everyone's heart. With the leadership of the commander, we will definitely reach the Oasis camp. Yes, even this guy was killed by the commander. What else can stop us? Everyone's emotions were high and their confidence was surging. Several lines of prompt suddenly popped up in front of Su Xia's eyes. The mission, stabilizing the morale of the military, has been completed. You show your strength. Mission rewards obtained. Primary Psychic Potion X1. Armored Psychic Battery X2. 3 Minute Full Status Card X3. Task rewards can be withdrawn at any time. The Psychic Battery is what Su Xia urgently needs now. So that the armor can continue to fight. As for the three cards, Su Xia clicked on them and looked at them. Name, 3 minute full status card. Grade, no grade. Type, special status item. Description, applicable to psychic creatures of level 3 and below. It can help you escape from residual health, weakness, dying, etc. And instantly have full strength. But it can only last 3 minutes. Don't think 3 minutes is not enough. For some men, this time is already a long time. This card is very suitable for Su Xia now. He originally had level 3.6 psychic power. But part of it was drained in the laboratory. Although the superficial level is still 3.6. The real combat effectiveness is only 2.6. Just like the false capacity power bank sold at the train station. If the energy source of psychic energy is refined. It can be divided into several types. There is something called original spiritual energy. Which is developed in the human body. It was this kind of spiritual energy that was taken away from Su Xia. He is now similar to those masters in martial arts novels who had their inner strength sucked away. There is also a kind of alienated psychic energy 
which is cultivated in the body of the Zerg. Many beasts in this world have evolved through psychic energy, and eventually a race called the Zerg emerged. Alien psychic energy can be extracted from the glands of the Zerg. The robots use what is called primitive spiritual energy, which is the spiritual energy that originally emerged from the ground. Of course, it all comes down to psionics. There is not much difference in essence between these three kinds of spiritual energy. After being purified, they can all be used as energy sources. Therefore, droids often capture Zerg and members of human resistance groups, extracting their psychic energy as energy reserves. Although the surface level of 3.6 has not been reduced, the feeling of emptiness in the body makes Su Xiao uncomfortable. He needs to catch up. Without thinking much, he immediately took out the potion in the reward. Name, Primary Psychic Potion. Grade, No Grade. Type, Rare Special Item. Description, Used to supplement original spiritual energy. Has a weak effect on level improvement. And can make ordinary people become psychic creatures. There are also several types of psychic potions. The common one is called Temporary Psychic Potion. This potion contains many impurities and is not pure enough for the body to fully absorb. It can only be used as a temporary supplement. It is similar to the blue potion in the game and is mostly used in emergency battles. Fortunately, the potion rewarded by the mission does not have the word temporary. This is what Su Xia needs now. He did not hesitate and immediately injected the potion into his body. After a while, he sensed it carefully. It's strange. I don't feel anything. I'm still feeling weak. One potion is simply not enough. Su Xia needs more and higher level potions. He shook his head and began to tell everyone about the next arrangements. Everyone. The Mechanical City Master of Waste Armor City made a deal with me. We should be safe before 6 o'clock in the morning. Just as she was talking, Su Xia suddenly glanced at the mechanical head in her hand. Could there be a listening device in his head? Thinking of this, Su Xia pursed her lips and then kicked him away. Pick it back when you need it later. Ah. Uh, the thinker roared angrily in midair. He would rather die than suffer such humiliation. The rest of the team members were amazed at the tenacious vitality of the robot, which could still scream so pitifully with only half its head left. Su Xia glanced at the head that fell to the ground in the distance, and then began to make a plan. Everyone, we need to split up. Commander, are you acting alone? Well, that robot head might be tracked. Su Xia drew a simple map on the ground, planned two routes, and determined the meeting place and specific time. Time is precious. After 6 o'clock in the morning, Huijia City will continue to search for everyone. After the explanation was made clear, the two parties parted ways. Su Xiao watched everyone leave, then picked up the thinker's head and embarked on another escape route. Su Xiao guessed correctly. There was indeed a positioning device in this head. The command center of Waste Armor City. City Lord Luoli stood in front of a large screen with a serious expression. On the screen was a map of Waste Armor City and the surrounding area. On the map, a flashing red dot is moving rapidly. Chapter 14 Wandering Mercenary For robots, death may only be temporary. Data is something that can be copied. So Luoli couldn't figure out why Enlan made a deal with Commander Beifong. He thought for a moment, and then asked Enlan respectfully, Sir, the advanced robot will upload consciousness data to the storage center every month. If he unfortunately dies in battle, just find a new body for him. Why? Negotiate with Commander Beifong for him? Well, it can be resurrected. But only the person he was a month ago will be resurrected. And Lan's projection stood in front of the big screen with his hands behind his back and a calm expression. He said calmly, I hope he can remember the humiliation during this period, which will be helpful for his evolution. With the help of psychic energy, robots have evolved human emotional thinking. But this evolution is not complete and manifests itself differently in each mechanical individual. Thinker robots are arrogant and irritable always letting anger consume their reason. And Lon likes this subordinate's abilities, but not his personality. Humiliation can make people grow. What blocks his path to evolution is not his psychic level, but his emotional thinking. Understood. City Lord Luoli nodded. But sir, what should I do with Commander Beifong? Let him escape from the area of Waste Armor City. On the big screen in front of the two of them, the little red dot was rushing towards the border between Waste Armor City and the wilderness at an extremely fast speed. Once Su Xia escapes into the vast wilderness, it will be impossible to hunt him down. It's just a little bug. He can't make much trouble. And Lan still acted confident and calm. Tell the news to the city lord of Coral City. He knows what to do. The traitor named Zhao Si is a good one. Chess pieces. If you make good use of them, 
You can make Beifong fall into his own trap. Coral City is to the southwest of Waste Harbor City, and there is a large wilderness between the two cities. Oasis Camp is hidden in this vast wilderness. Both Wang San and Zhao Si betrayed the Beifong organization. Wang San is now in decline. But Zhao Si is still enjoying himself in Coral City and squandering the money he gained by betraying his compatriots. Understood. I'll contact Coral City right away. Publish another reward and let the wandering mercenary organizations in the wilderness hear about it. Anlan calmly ordered. The reward is one million cash and a box of primary psychic potion. Sir, is the target of the reward the escape team? No, it's just Commander Bayfong. The rest are dispensable. Yes, I'll do it right away. The wilderness is a great place. You can put anything in it. There are human refugee organizations, resistance organizations, wandering mercenary organizations, etc. here. Some unknown areas may also hide the terrifying nests of the Zerg. The wandering mercenary organization is a very strange existence. Small organizations only have a few or more than a dozen people, while large ones have hundreds of people. Almost all members of the organization are lawless. Many of them are former criminals. Even if they are not criminals, most of them like violent or extremely bloodthirsty. They often rob weak towns around the city and cause all kinds of bloody tragedies. Occasionally, they will also collect money to do dirty work for others. Neither the human resistance camp nor the machine race camp recognize the existence of this organization. Of course, it's just superficial disapproval. The manpower of the resistance camp is weak and they rarely go head to head with these wandering mercenaries. As for the mechanical trot camp, at first, they wanted to completely eliminate this organization. But later, the robot did an analysis and found that leaving these dangerous and violent organizations roaming the wilderness is not a bad thing. Wherever there are people, there is bound to be violence. And it is difficult to completely eradicate this kind of organization. And when there is violence, there will be fear. Humans in the surrounding towns will feel scared and need protection. Robots can reasonably rule in various towns on the grounds of providing protection. Later, the robots learned to be clever. They would first destabilize a certain area and plunge it into chaos, and then occupy it under the pretext of protection. This trick has been tried and tested time and time again. Sir, the reward has been announced, City Lord Luoli said respectfully. Well, very good, and Lon nodded slightly. But those wandering mercenaries in the wilderness may not be able to stop Commander Beifong. I'm afraid. What are you afraid of? Once Commander Beifong recovers from his injuries, with his reputation. He will definitely be able to easily raise a team. Lu only expressed his worries. By then, the southwest area of our city will be unstable. Don't worry. If he dares to come back, I will do it myself. Unlawed, a level 4.1 psychic individual of the machine tribe, is the number one person in the entire wasted armor city and is the only level 4 psychic strongman in this area. Strong strength provides support for his self-confidence. The difficulty of squeezing Beifong to death will not be much greater than squeezing to death an ant. He said coldly, but I can't move for these two days. A new era is about to begin, and I need to stay here and take charge. New era? City Lord Luoli was confused. The characteristics of titanium particles have changed. A second evolutionary path may be about to appear. People above are worried that something will happen. At first, a large number of meteorites fell into the blue star. The viscous primitive psychic solution flowed out of the interior of the meteorite promoting the evolution of many creatures. The outer SH. L of the meteorite is a special metal that has never been found on Blue Star. This metal is named titanium, and it is currently only used to make alloys. At this moment, the Earth, the school dormitory, several roommates are gathered in front of the computer, discussing the background and related information about the game. Looking at the stars. On the official website of Blizzard Company, the name of version 1.0 of this game is displayed Age of Titanium. Su Xiao was walking through the bushes under the moonlight. The journey was not peaceful, because the thinker's head in his hand kept talking. When things have reached this point, the thinker's arrogance has been completely shattered. He doesn't want to go back in such humiliation. He just wants to die. He said in that staccato electronic voice, Kill me. I have no use for killing me. Su Xia shook her head. Look around. My friend, you are not useless. You can also be used as a negative example. Thinker. He was finally silent for a while. It was rare for Su Xia to find peace. So he hurried on. The route he chose was longer than the route taken by the rest of the team. And he occasionally encountered some ferocious beasts on the road. Time passed by minute by minute. 
and it was four o'clock in the morning before I knew it. Su Xia finally arrived at the border of Waste Armor City. Walking a little further outside, you will find the vast and free wilderness. According to the agreement, Su Xia needs to leave the thinker's head here and let the city lord's people take it back. He said solemnly, Oh, my friend, I think we need to part ways. Thinker, damn you for this. Don't miss it. We will meet again eventually. After saying that, Su Xia kicked him away. Chapter 15 The Traitor's Cry At 6 o'clock in the morning, the city lord's people found the thinker's head under a dead tree. Many beasts have pissed on this mechanical head and marked it. The thinker was heartbroken and remained silent, allowing these people to take him back. At this moment, Su Xiao was galloping in the vast wilderness. The free wind of the wilderness flowed around him. Along the way, you can see many traces of human civilization, including decaying roads overgrown with weeds, abandoned and collapsed human towns, and many vehicles with only rusty SH. LS left. Without the war, this area would never have been a wilderness. The time soon came to 7 o'clock in the morning. It's time for breakfast. Su Xia chose a hidden place to hide, handed the body over to the bracelet, and then traveled back to Earth. After quickly solving the problem of eating, drinking, and diarrhea, Su Xia returned to bed and traveled back to Blue Star. This commander's body doesn't feel hungry yet, so he continues on his way. At half past nine in the morning, Su Xia finally arrived at the agreed upon location. This is still an abandoned town. Houses have collapsed. Civilization has collapsed. Weeds and vines cover the cement masonry. And some small animals have built nests here. Now we're just waiting for them. Su Xiao looked at the time and was not in a hurry. Most of the team on the other side are ordinary people. And a few are injured. They need to rest and their movement will be much slower. He handed over his body to the bracelet and returned to Earth. In the dormitory, several roommates were still sleeping. They firmly believe that sleeping until noon can save money for breakfast. So they play late every day. Su Xia sat on the bed, turned on her computer, and began to browse the world background knowledge of. Looking up at the stars, the game will be officially launched at 8 o'clock tonight. The current version is called Titanium Era. The background of the game is very simple. The titanium metal that fell on the earth is not hard, but is very fragile. It turns into extremely fine particles when pressed lightly. The researchers named these particles titanium particles. How can such a fragile metal protect psychic liquid from breaking through the blue star's atmosphere? Su Xia pursed her lips and then looked down. But the alloy mixed with titanium metal is extremely excellent. Titanium alloy is commonly used by the mechanical clan. Almost all titanium metals have been collected together by the machine tribe. Recently, a human researcher was exposed to pure titanium particles without protection. He felt vaguely uncomfortable. So the machine race conducted research on him and found that he actually possessed powers far beyond ordinary people. Strength. A new evolutionary route has appeared. Blue Star is about to transition from the Psychic Era to the Teon Era. According to the game introduction, at 8 o'clock tonight, all the titanium metal collected by the mechanical clan will suddenly explode and turn into tiny titanium particles, which will be scattered around the world in the wind. These titanium particles will fall on living organisms and symbiotically exist with them, giving them extraordinary power. Once the organism is killed, part of its titanium particles will be transferred to the organism that killed it. Isn't this just killing monsters and gaining experience? Su Xiao gradually understood. He rubbed the corners of his eyes and continued looking. Both players and NPCs can take the two roots of psychic evolution and TNN particles. But psychic powers are very precious and are almost always with NPCs. But titanium particles are different. This is an evolutionary path that both NPCs and players can enjoy. As long as you go to the wild and kill monsters, you can obtain the titanium particles from the monsters and achieve evolution. Titanium particles have another convenience. It does not need to go through layers of purification like psychic energy. It can be absorbed directly. Well, it's looking more and more like experience points. Su Xia thought for a while. It seems that psionic energy is a high-end route, while titanium particles are a civilian route. Although there is no conflict between the two roads and both can be taken. Civilians cannot obtain psychic potions at all. In this way, ordinary people in my team who do not have psychic powers can also evolve through titanium particles. They only need to kill wild monsters. But if two people have the same titanium particle level, the one with psychic powers will definitely be stronger. Although the protagonist of the new era is TNN particles, Su Xia has not reduced his emphasis on spiritual energy. He dragged the mouse and read through the rest of the information bit by bit. 
The time came to half past ten in the morning before I knew it. Blue Star. The wilderness area southwest of Waste Armor City. Everyone finally arrived at the agreed upon abandoned town and saw Su Xia, who was waiting. Luan immediately waved and shouted happily. Commander, we are here. At this time, Su Xia on Earth suddenly felt her bracelet tremble. He immediately raised his arm to check the latest news. Your team has arrived at the agreed location. Do you want to travel back to Blue Star? Yes. The familiar stimulation of electric current came immediately. Su Xia's eyesight dimmed and she fell backwards on the bed. When he opened his eyes again, he saw the people walking towards him. No one is missing. And they are all still alive. However, the injured people were a little weak and their injuries had worsened. They needed to go to the Oasis camp to find a doctor as soon as possible. Commander, look what we found. Luan excitedly held a light gray radio and placed it in front of Su Xia. Radio? Or solar radio? Su Xia frowned. Where did you get it? When we were passing through an abandoned town. We found this in a room that hadn't collapsed yet. Have you checked it? Don't worry. This radio is absolutely safe. Luan pressed the switch. Then turned the button to adjust the channel. Some human voices were mixed with electronic noise. Making it very noisy. Through inquiry. I learned that the radio was broken. But a young man in the team repaired it. This young man's name is... Wang Xiaochui. He is a level 0 0.9 psychic creature. His psychic talent is... Mechanical affinity. And he is good at repairing and manufacturing various mechanical gadgets. Soon. Lu had received the information they wanted to hear through the radio. Commander. Listen. Both Coral City and Waste Armor City are looking for us. And these warrants are for everyone. Including wandering mercenaries in the wilderness. Well. It seems that we have to face some troubles next. Su Xia sat casually on a stone and listened quietly to the sound coming from the radio. Everyone also sat down one after another and took a short rest. The wanted message is played on a loop and can be heard every once in a while. The evil commander Beifong escapes from prison. He does all kinds of evil. He is extremely cruel, crazy and violent. He likes to eat fresh human blood. He doesn't like women yet and is only interested in certain beasts. Su Xia. This propaganda is a little too much. The city owner of Waste Armor City provided a bonus of 1 million and a box of psychic potion. And the city owner of Coral City provided an additional bonus of 1 million and a half million. The bonus was quite generous. And Su Xiao wanted to cut off her head and send it to them. After this wanted message, there is a personal statement. It turned out to be that Trader Zhao sees. My name is Zhao Si. I used to be a member of the evil Beifong organization. I was young and ignorant at that time, and was tricked into this evil organization. After entering, I found that all the people in this organization were evil people. I suffered inhumane torture there, and it was like living in H. L. every day. I could only eat half a steamed bun per meal, and was forced to do a lot of labor. They often asked me to pick cotton. Chapter 16 Lame Wolf Cotton? If you can't think of a crime, you just have to pin one. Right. Lewin who once belonged to the Beifong organization, was very angry. The young man clenched his fists and wished he could break into Coral City now and find out the traitor and teach him a lesson. On the radio, the traitor Zhao Si was still talking. He blamed the Beifong organization for almost all the bad behaviors that humans can think of. And his voice was slightly crying, as if those painful experiences were real. Finally, he made a request to Su Xia. Commander, surrender. Stop struggling. Your sinful life should have ended last night. So why linger on? Commander, I know you definitely want to get rid of me. After all, I have joined the Bright and Righteous Machine Clan camp. I will not escape. I will wait for you in Coral City. Commander, this guy wants to anger you and lead you to Coral City. Zhang Yu heard Zhao Si's intention. I know. Su Xiao looked calmly in the direction of Coral City. The expression on her face unchanged. Let that guy be arrogant for a few days. After he went to the Oasis camp, recovered from his injuries, repaired his armor, and was fully prepared, he would then find a way to get rid of this disgusting traitor. Let's go. Keep moving. We should be able to reach the Oasis camp tonight. Su Xia stood up and patted the dust on her body. I can't wait for the legendary Oasis camp. An injured member said happily. Actually, it's just a small gathering place. Nothing special. Su Xiao led everyone and told the story of what the Oasis camp looked like in her memory while moving. At the same time, he also took the time to get to know all the members of the team in detail. The entire team consisted of 67 people. 
including 15 psychic creatures. One of the two people who have reached the second level of spiritual power is Zheng Yu, who was holding Su Xia before. The other person is called Cheng Pingin. He is a very handsome young man who is very strong. He has level 2.3 psychic powers at a young age. His psychic talent is called strengthening, which is said to make any part of the body harder. Zheng Yu, take a few people to the front for reconnaissance. Su Xia began to give instructions. Pingin, you also take a few people to the back and notify me immediately if there is any situation. Yes. The two of them are very experienced and do not need Su Xia to say too much. The remaining 13 psychic creatures are considered the backbone of the team. Each one has different special abilities, such as Wang Xiaojue, who can make various small mechanical items. Yu Shan Chan, level 0 0.9. Talent is precision sniping. Yang Xiao is level 1.2. And his talent is speed reading. Wu Yan, level 0 0.3 inch. Among them, some joined the resistance organization because of their ideals, and others because their families were killed by robots. Of course, there are also weirder ones. There is a young man named Yofu. He has no lofty ideals and his family is living well. The reason why he ran to the wilderness to join the resistance organization was because his family discovered that he had stolen his sister's clothes. Yu Yofu sighed. Oh, Commander, I don't have any freedom at home. Only freedom is in the wilderness. Here I can wear whatever I want. Or even wear nothing at all. Su Xia, after understanding everyone's abilities, he arranged for a few more capable people to conduct reconnaissance, and then continued to talk about the situation in the Oasis camp. Although the camp is full of resistance groups, there are occasional gaps and fights often occur. So there are a lot of things to pay attention to. Yang Xiao, who has the ability to read quickly, asked, Commander, is there a library in the Oasis camp? Su Xia shook her head. No, just a small bookstore. Yu Shan Shen asked, Commander, is there a shooting range? This is true, but bullets are precious, so use them sparingly. Su Xia patiently answered each question and observed everyone's character. These people are the team behind his organizational reconstruction. Traitors like Wang San and Zhao Si cannot appear again. It was very difficult when the Oasis camp was first built. There was no electricity, and we could only rely on candles and flashlights for lighting. Later, more and more people joined in the construction. Food, fresh water, firearms, medicines, etc. Various resources are gradually becoming abundant. As Su Xia told, time passed by minute by minute. In the vast wilderness, a small team of dozens of people seemed very small. I walked for two or three hours without encountering another living person. Su Xia's description of the Oasis camp also came to an end. Now there are more than 10 resistance organizations using the Oasis camp as a temporary gathering place, including my previous Beifong organization. We can exchange supplies there. And there are even lots of permanent residents. It has actually developed to this extent. Everyone was surprised that the Oasis camp already had the prototype of a small town. Well, many people settled there, got married and had children. Su Xia nodded. For the next generation, the camp has also established a small museum to display photos and commemorative items of events experienced over the years, such as the old generators used and the candles used in those difficult times. Of course, no one uses candles now. Yes, I am using candles, Yu Yofu said. Is there any problem with your electricity supply? No, I just feel comfortable dripping it on my body. Su Xia remained silent and moved two steps to the side, away from this guy. At this moment, Chung Pingin, who was conducting reconnaissance in the rear, came back. He frowned and brought back bad news. Commander, we are being targeted by a wandering mercenary organization. Which organization? How many people are there? How is the equipment? They are lame wolf mercenaries. Their equipment is average. They are not as good as the guards in the experimental factory. But they are quite numerous. There are 120 lame wolf mercenaries in total. The members of this organization are basically serious criminals. They commit burning, killing, looting, and everyone has blood on their hands. They are notorious in this area. Moreover, the boss of this organization has an old grudge with Su Xia. A year ago, the lame wolf mercenaries were still called wild wolf mercenaries because they did not observe in advance. They ran into the Beifong organization when they went to rob a small town. The two sides fought and the wild wolf mercenaries were directly crushed, suffering heavy casualties. Even the boss fled in a panic after leaving behind a broken leg. Since then, 
The organization has been renamed Lame Wolf Mercenary. After a year of development, the organization has recovered a lot. They had vehicles. A few off-road vehicles galloping at the front like bloodthirsty greedy wolves. And the rest of the members followed closely behind. At this time, Lu Lizy, the boss of Lame Wolf Mercenary, was talking to City Lord Luoli. Lu Lizy blew out a smoke ring and said calmly, City Lord Luo, it seems that your people are not very good. After chasing for so long, they still failed to catch Commander Bei Fong. Instead, I took advantage of him. Taking advantage? Luoli said in a displeased tone. Do you think Commander Beifong is easy to deal with? It's okay if City Lord Luo prepares the bounty. I'll come over to get it tonight. Chapter 17 Warm Wine and Kill the North Wind 2 p.m. In the wilderness, the two groups of people got closer and closer, and the atmosphere gradually became tense. 60 people versus 120 people. Our side is at an absolute disadvantage. You triggered the mission Thunderstrike. Accept the task? Su Xia received the task prompt. Yes. The mission description jumped out immediately. Get the mission, Thunderstrike. Task description, use the power of thunder to crush the confidence of the lame wolf mercenaries and lead the team to complete the counterattack. Task reward, distributed based on task completion. Task completion status, is it the number of enemies killed? Or is it time to defeat the enemy? Su Xia's heart moved slightly. And she took out the two psychic batteries that were rewards from the previous mission. And quickly put them on the armor. Zheng Yu stood beside Su Xia. Her beautiful eyes were very calm. She looked into the distance and said, Commander, it is an honor to fight alongside you. This is also my honor. Su Xia nodded in response. Commander, how should we fight this battle? Cheng Pingan looked determined, holding a weapon in his hand, mentally prepared to cut off the rear and die in battle. He said, I can lead some people to stay behind and entangle the opponent. Commander, you can lead the rest and move forward. No need. Just fight quickly. Su Xia's second talent, Death Prophecy, did not issue a warning, indicating that he was fully capable of saving his life while wearing armor, and could escape even if he was defeated. But the same cannot be said for the rest of the team. If caught in a fight, the entire team could suffer heavy casualties. So this battle must be fast. A thunderous strike. Su Xia changed the battery and said, You guys stay here. I will test their strength first. At the same time, the leaders of the lame wolf mercenaries in the rear were also discussing. The boss, Lu Lizy, said, My leg was broken by Bei Fong. This time, I will make him pay with blood. Brothers, we must try our best to capture Bei Fong alive. I will make him suffer all the pain before dying. How about tricking him into surrendering first? The second child suggested, No, the chance of him surrendering is very small. The last time Huijia City captured him alive was all due to luck. If he hadn't been knocked unconscious, he would definitely have fought until the last moment. Several people were very confident and believed that victory was inevitable. There was news from the City of Waste Armor that Commander Beifong had half of his spiritual energy drained away, and his armor had not been restored. He had been on the run all night and had been fighting continuously, and he was extremely weak. The news was given by Enlan, the owner of the Machinery City, in this area, and Lan's words are a guarantee of credibility and there will be no problems. Only, it is easy to kill Commander Beifong, but it is difficult to capture him alive. While several people were talking, they suddenly noticed that the small team in front of them had stopped. Commander Beifong, who was wearing black armor, actually walked towards them, as if he wanted to defeat the lame wolf mercenaries by himself. He didn't run away. Several people found it incredible. Lu Lizy asked his subordinates to stop the car, then opened the car door, got out of the car, and walked to the front of the team. He said loudly, Beifong, we meet again. Well, do you want to drop the other leg this time? Su Xiao was not polite and directly hit Lu Lizi's sore spot. Lu Lizi was angry. Do you think you are still the commander of Beifong? Everyone in the Beifong organization has died. Now you have a group of old, weak, sick and disabled people under your command. And you yourself are just a lost dog. So what? Either surrender or die here with the people in your organization. Lu Lizy looked angry and raised his hand fiercely. Behind him, hundreds of members of the lame wolf mercenaries immediately raised their weapons, their cold muzzles pointing forward, ready to launch an attack at any time. The third son of the lame wolf mercenary also stepped out of the car, patted the car door hard, and shouted loudly, Beifong, please give me a pleasant word. Surrender or not. At this moment, 
Behind a hill in the distance, a young man nervously wiped the sweat from his forehead. Neither Su Xia nor Lu Lizi expected that there would be a third party nearby. The wanted notice jointly issued by the Waste Armor City and Coral City can be heard by the wandering mercenary organizations in the wilderness. And naturally can also be heard by other organizations. Song Zhong is the leader of a small resistance organization. With only 30 people in his organization, he took over this organization from his father. Before he died, his father told him, Be careful and do not actively participate in any conflicts. Therefore, Song Zhong has not dared to directly conflict with the Waste Armor City. Most of the time, he is only responsible for delivering supplies to the Oasis camp. But, this morning, after hearing the wanted news on the radio, Song Zhong made a decision that went against his father. Commander Beifeng is my idol. I want to support him. He guessed that the commander would come to the Oasis camp. So he picked a possible route on the map. Song Zhong originally only planned to try his luck. But he didn't expect that he actually discovered Su Xia. But the situation was not what he imagined. It's the lame wolf mercenary. Damn it. This is going to be really bad. Song Zhong was nervous and anxious and didn't know what to do. The few people in his organization have never experienced combat. If they go out to help, they are courting death. The people under him also knew how much they weighed. And they all advised. Boss, I think Commander Beifeng can feel your heart. This heart is enough. But you must not get involved. Yes, while the commander is still confronting the cripple. Let's retreat as far as we can. Boss, it's time to moisturize. Listening to what his men said, Song Zhong took a few deep breaths. This is a time of hard decisions. If you rush out at this time, you may be able to be a hero for a few seconds. However, he will then be beaten into a sieve, fall to the ground dead, and go directly to see his deceased old father. A close subordinate advised, Boss, there are too many lame wolves, and all of them are evil. Commander Beifeng has no hope. Even if we are included, there is no hope. Song Zhong naturally knew that he was feeling very uncomfortable. He waved his hand and said, you go ahead. I want to stay and bury the commander's body. Boss, the commander's body will be taken to Waste Armor City by Lame Wolf to collect the bounty. Me. Song Zhong was extremely uncomfortable. Could it be that he couldn't even do anything? At this moment, both sides were at war with each other. Looking at Su Xia's broken armor, the Lame Wolf was full of confidence. But how to capture Su Xia alive is still a problem. Suddenly, the third child had an idea walked to the front of the lame wolf organization and asked loudly, Beifeng, let me give you a chance. How about you and I competing alone? How to say, if you win, we will let your people go. Lao Sen yelled, but if you lose, you will follow us to Waste Armor City. Okay, this is a good suggestion. Su Xia smiled. He saw Lao San's character panel. The opponent is a level 3.4 psychic creature, which is indeed very strong. If Su Xia didn't have the mission reward cards and psychic batteries, he would definitely not be as matched in his current weak state. But now, he is confident. On the lame wolf mercenary side, the boss Lu Lizi is equally confident. In the entire organization, the third child's psychic level is second only to him. But he joined the organization a little late. So he has not been the second in command for the time being. He patted the third child on the shoulder and said, Third brother, remember to save his life. I will torture him slowly. Don't worry. Boss, I'll just chop off his hands and feet, and that's it. Okay. Big Brother will warm the wine for you. Chapter 18, We Will Not Retreat. Chung Ping and frowned, not quite understanding Su Xia's intention. The guy opposite called Jun is a level 3 powerhouse. With the commander in his current state, why did you agree to his invitation to fight? Brother Chung, you have to believe in the commander. Lu En was full of confidence. That thinker also had level 3 psychic powers. But he was still killed by the commander. That's because the commander took advantage of the sneak attack. And the commander's current physical condition is not very good. Chung Pin on clenched his weapon with a trace of worry on his face. He took two steps forward and whispered to Zheng Yu. When you see that the situation is not right, you take the commander and leave. I will stay behind and I will find a way to blow up their vehicles and buy you time. Good. The short-haired woman was very decisive and agreed immediately. Young Luan also took two steps forward and said with confidence, Brother Chung, think about what happened last night. At that time, no one believed in the commander, but the commander still came back. I wanted to follow the commander to cut off the rear last night, but the commander didn't allow it. Chung Pingan explained, At that time, 
I didn't know what the commander was going to do. And I was afraid of dragging him down. So I didn't go with him. But now the situation is different. And now both sides have made it clear. This young man has a clear mind. If he followed last night, he would indeed be a hindrance. After all, the other party's life detection could detect him. Chung Pingan added, Luan, if something happens later, you must retreat together so that the commander will be willing to retreat. Why? Luan wondered. Can't you see? The commander has been protecting you consciously or unconsciously. You are always at the center of the entire team during the advance. Why would the commander do this? Maybe it's because you are the last remaining member of the original Beifeng organization. Chung Pingan guessed. Maybe it was because he wanted to protect you that the commander let us stay here while he went to test the other party alone. Commander. Luan's eyes turned red and he was moved to tears again. The commander was so kind to him. But he couldn't repay him. Not even offering him his body. After all, he was a man. Of course, Su Xiao was just doing it for the mission reward. At this moment, both sides on the field are already in place. The third son of the lame wolf mercenary clapped his fingers with a cruel smile on his face and said loudly, Beifong, today next year, I will present a bouquet of white flowers on your grave. Are you so considerate? Thank you. Su Xiao also smiled. I am different. I will bring a group of puppies to your tombstone and let them take turns peeing to mark it. What are you doing? The third child showed anger, picked up his weapon, and rushed towards Su Xia. From behind, the boss Lu Lizi shouted, Third brother, the wine has warmed up. Okay, I'll be right back. The third child raised his weapon high, with an imposing manner, but Su Xia still stood still, holding a short sword in her hand. If the thinker robot were here, he would definitely scream in pain because this dagger belonged to him and had pierced Su Xia's armored back module for him. Su Xia looked extremely calm. This battle cannot get into a fight. He needed a thunderous blow, which would directly shatter the confidence of the entire lame wolf mercenary. Call. Su Xia breathed out lightly. The next moment, he moved. Boom! The armor is at full power. Full status card in three minutes. Life burns. Jumping slash. He was like a cannonball. Soaring into the sky and then falling high, like a black meteor that was burning crazily. What happened? The third child was shocked for a moment. How could Bei Feng still have such strong spiritual energy fluctuations? Is it just posturing? But the next second, the surprise on his face turned into horror. Brother, save me! The third child shouted the last words of his life. Psychic armor can increase Su Xia's combat effectiveness to another level. Three minutes of full status cards temporarily restored his spiritual power, from level 2.6 to level 3.6, which was higher than his opponent's level 3.4. Even the large and small injuries on his body were healed. Even more powerful is life burning, which is a bug level psychic talent at the same level as death prophecy. Under the influence of various frontal amplifications, Su Xia used the skill jump slash, which greatly strengthened the landing blow. Concentrate and reach the top. Click. Lao San's weapon shattered and his head fell to the ground. The blood-stained head rolled several times on the ground. And panic and panic seemed to remain in the wide-open eyes. A gust of wind with the smell of blood blew by. And the surrounding area became quiet. The members of the Lane Wolf Mercenary Organization froze on the spot. As if they were petrified. Unable to believe what they saw before them. A level 3.4 psychic powerhouse was instantly defeated. What kind of peerless fierce man is the other party? Is City Lord and Lawn possessed? Boom. Lu Lizy shuddered. The wine glass in his hand fell, and the wine spilled all over the floor. At this moment, he remembered the fear of having his leg broken by Commander Beifong a year ago. He couldn't help but take half a step back. The broken leg seemed to be aching again. Why is Beifong more powerful than a year ago? Wasn't his spiritual energy taken away? Is the news given by City Lord and Lon false? Impossible. City Lord and Lon has personally met Beifong. With his status, there is no need to give false information. Behind the hill in the distance, Song Zhong was so shocked that his eyes widened, and he searched in his mind for a long time. Unfortunately, he was really uneducated, and in the end, he could only spit out. Hack! Many of his subordinates beside him also said, Hack you! How is Commander Beifong so strong? Let's abandon the boss and go directly to the commander. Keep your voice down. The boss is right next to you. Many team members were also shocked. Just a moment ago, Chung Pin On had arranged the people who would break up with him. And these people were also prepared to die. At this moment, 
Chung Pinon was dumbfounded. Commander, were you pretending to be weak before? But it should be impossible to fake that kind of extremely weak coma. Luan excitedly waved his fist and said loudly, Let me tell you, how can the commander fight an unprepared battle? He will win. We will win too. Yes, we will win. Wang Xuchui immediately echoed loudly. We will win. Must win. Everyone's emotions were high, and the previous anxieties and worries were swept away. At this moment, Su Xia, who had killed the powerful enemy, did not stop, holding a dagger in his hand and with murderous intent. He activated the armored leg module booster and charged towards the lame wolf mercenary organization of more than a hundred people alone. One person rushes into battle. This scene made everyone in the rear excited. They shouted victory and followed Su Xia to attack the enemy. Lu Lizi's face turned pale, listening to the shouts of killing. He felt as if he had returned to the small town where he suffered a tragic defeat a year ago. His subordinate asked anxiously, Boss, shall we retreat? We us. Lu Lizi's Adam's apple was trembling and his forehead was covered with cold sweat. We will not retreat. We will attack in the opposite direction. Chapter 19 Harvest The defeat came so quickly. No one in the Lane Wolf mercenary organization expected that one moment they were hunters. But now they have become prey. The opponent's commander was really terrifying. Like a god who could not be defeated. No one could withstand a single move in his hands. Su Xia, wearing black armor, approached a fleeing member of the Lane Wolf and then punched him fiercely. Click! Bone shattered and blood splattered. The member fell to the ground on the spot and became fertilizer for the wilderness. Next year, the flowers and plants in this area should be more colorful. Su Xia didn't stop, looked for the next target again, and continued to punch a child. The members of Lame Wolf were all frightened. They all wished they had eight legs and just wanted to escape from this ghost place as soon as possible. Lu Lizi sat in the passenger seat of the off-road vehicle and kept urging the driver. Hurry up! Hurry up! Beifong is about to catch up! Boss! Those people running for their lives in front are our own. We can't drive too fast. Otherwise we will easily hit them. The driver argued. When did he care about this? Lu Lizi cursed angrily and reached out to grab the steering wheel. He said angrily. Give me the steering wheel. Just step on the accelerator. Okay. Okay. The driver agreed solemnly. Then stepped on the accelerator hard. And the data on the dashboard continued to soar. This off-road vehicle instantly surpassed the other vehicles. And after knocking over several members, it ran to a relatively forward position. But suddenly, there was only a bang sound. The vehicle had a flat tire and lost control instantly. It rolled over at high speed and rolled over ten times before it came to a stop. Countless glass shards and metal residue were left along the way. Behind him, team member Yu Shanshan smiled and raised his rifle at Su Xia. Commander, I hit. Good. Su Xia praised. Psychic talent precise sniping. Although this young man only has level 0 0.9 psychic power, his role and threat on the battlefield are much greater than those of the others. As long as he can find a place to hide, he is a ghostly death that is everywhere. The off-road vehicle was completely broken and twisted, like a bastard lying on its back. Unable to turn over again, Lu Lizi's painful cry came from the car. No! My love! What's wrong with you? Wake up! Spouse? Su Xia was confused and quickly came to the place where the car overturned. Through the broken glass window, you can see Lu Lizi holding a large lizard and crying bitterly. The pain on his face cannot be faked. Su Xia dragged the injured driver out of the driving seat and learned the reason after a brief inquiry. It turned out that after Lu Lizi broke his leg, something went wrong mentally. He doesn't like mechanical prosthesis and hopes the broken leg can grow back. So he began to study lizards. After all, lizards have the ability to regenerate their tails. However, after more than half a year of research, the results of regeneration of severed limbs were almost zero. However, he became obsessed with lizards. He even announced that he would marry a lizard not long ago and began the development of lizards. The world's great wonders. Su Xia shook her head and sighed, then kicked and broke the glass window of the passenger seat where Lu Lizi was. Lu Lizi held the body of the lizard, stared at Su Xia resentfully, and shouted, Beifong, even if I become a ghost, I will never let you go. I'm really sorry, but the existence of ghosts has not been confirmed yet. Even if I am, Lu Lizi's anger surged. His eyes were red, and his teeth were almost broken. Immediately afterwards, a chi sound was heard. The muscles in his hands soared, 
and he actually crushed the lizard carcass in his hands, then smeared the blood on his face, and shouted angrily, My dear, watch me avenge you. After all, he is also a third level psychic creature. He is the strongest combat power of the lame wolf mercenary, and will not sit still and wait for death. But Su Xia directly used the second. Three minutes full status. Card. With the support of the armor. It didn't take long to knock Lu Lizy down and trample his other leg. Ah. Lu Lizy screamed and lay half on the ground. His eyes full of despair. Of his two legs. One was broken and the other was also broken. Su Xiao looked at him condescendingly and asked calmly. Where are the supplies of your organization hidden? Give me a specific location and I can consider letting you go. Lu Lizy yelled crazily. You have a beautiful idea. Even if you kill me, I won't. Boom. Su Xia stepped on his head and exploded it. Exploded bone residue and bloody brains splashed to the ground. Dying the surrounding withered grass red. Seeing this scene, the driver next to him trembled. His pants were immediately wet with some kind of warm liquid. And he was so frightened that he peed. What evil people fear are evil people who are even more evil than themselves. Su Xia turned to look at the driver and asked again. Where are the supplies of your organization hidden? If you want to live, just say so. If you don't want to live, I can satisfy you. But I won't die so comfortably. Is it so comfortable? The driver's lips trembled as he stared at the bloody place. This can be called a comfortable death. But what can be called a painful death? Su Xia added calmly. Before the war started, I saw an ant nest nearby. There were many little ants looking for food diligently in it. Maybe I can break your hands and feet and throw you next to the ant nest. Don't tell me. I'll tell you. Thinking of the miserable situation of ants crawling all over the body. The driver felt his scalp numb. Driven by fear. He quickly told the location where the lame wolf mercenaries were hiding their supplies. It was an abandoned town not far from here. All their supplies are hidden under the town. Where there used to be an underground parking lot. Which stores food. Clean fresh water. Medical supplies. Firearms and ammunition. Psychic weapons. A small amount of cash. Etc and even a small box of psychic potions. In fact, it doesn't matter if the driver doesn't tell. There are still some lame wolf mercenaries alive. And there will always be someone willing to tell. At this time, this organization was running away desperately. Just as they fled to the foot of a small hillside, a team suddenly rushed out of the hillside. Members of the team shouted garbled slogans. Come on! For the commander! Commander! We love you! Um, where did this bunch of weirdos come from? Could it be someone from the enemy? Su Xiao looked in that direction, feeling weary and ready to fight. The battle is almost over. What are these people doing out here? So far, Su Xiao is naturally the one who has killed the most people, followed by Yu Shanshan who is holding a rifle. Even Chung Pingan's record cannot compare with him. Of course, some members of the lame wolf mercenaries were killed by their own cars. A reminder that the task was completed popped up in front of Su Xiao's eyes. The mission, Thunderstrike, has been completed. By burning your life, you crushed the lame wolf mercenary organization, which was all evil people. Mission rewards obtained, armored psychic battery X1, titanium particles X1000, skill, alloy storm X1. Task rewards can be withdrawn at any time. Chapter 20 Last Wish Mission Titanium particles? Before the new era came, the mission reward was actually 1000 pills given to Su Xia. Su Xia tried to take out these titanium particles, but her hands were empty. Instead, her body felt strange. As if something had come in. You have fused 1000 titanium particles. Your titanium particle level is increased to level 1, 0 slash 1035. It seems that the next upgrade requires 1035 titanium particles. Su Xiao waved her fist. Feeling that there was not much increase. And she did not gain any strange abilities. Maybe you need to upgrade a few more levels before you can feel clearly and stronger. He activated his psychic armor and quickly rushed to the fighting area. After killing two members of the lame wolf mercenary who were stubbornly resisting, he found Song Zhong. Su Xia could tell at a glance that Song Zhong was the boss of this small organization that suddenly appeared. Because he was waving a small flag with the word, North Wind, written on it. Name, Song Zhong. Race, Human Race. Faction, Human Resistance Camp. Psychic Level, Level 1.1. TNN Particle Level, Level 0. Remaining Life, 98%. Active skills, quick escape. Pretending to be dead. Passive skill, living quietly. Psychic talent, none. Character description, Song Zhong is a go-down master. 
He is low-key. Proficient in various escape techniques. Always puts life first. Will never take the initiative to conflict with others. And will never take the initiative to participate in any conflict. After reading the panel, I can confirm that this is a friendly person. Song Zhong also saw Su Xia and said with excitement, Commander, I can finally see you up close. Huh? Real person? I've only seen you from a distance a few times before. I can only see your photos or your dolls on weekdays. As he spoke, Song Zhong rummaged around in his pocket for a while. He actually took out a thumb-sized doll. This doll was wearing black armor and looked exactly like Su Xia's black wolf armor. Song Zhong said excitedly, Commander, I grew up listening to your legend. I have regarded you as my idol since I was a child and have always followed your example. Growing up listening to my legend? A series of questions popped up in Su Xia's mind. His body is also quite young. Not that of a middle-aged man. Whose legend is Song Zhong listening to? Is there something wrong with my brain? At this moment, Chung Ping and dragged a seriously injured member to Su Xia with a heavy face and whispered, Commander, he can't do it anymore. I want to see you before he dies. Zhao Qin. Su Xia recognized this team member who was covered in blood. This team member does not have psychic powers. But he is very brave and has been fighting on the front line. There was a big bloody hole in his stomach, which penetrated from front to back and was beyond saving. Zhao Qin's face was pale. His voice was weak. And he said intermittently, Commander, I'm going to go first. Do you have any other wishes? Su Xia squatted beside him and asked softly, My family are all in Coral City. I hope my wife can remarry and find a good man. Okay, I will convey it to you. Although going to Coral City would be throwing yourself into a trap. Su Xia still made a promise. Just because you can't go now doesn't mean you can't go in the future. You triggered the mission. Zhao Qin's last wish. Task accepted. Task description. Convey Zhao Qin's last wish to Zhao Qin's family. The commander's last wish mission has not yet been completed. And there is another last wish mission. Before Su Xia could get up, another member covered in blood was carried over. It turned out to be Wang Xiaojue, who was good at mechanics. The blood condensed on his tattered clothes. He clutched his abdomen and said tremblingly, Commander, I can't do it anymore. I, I, Xiaojue, what unfinished business do you have? Su Xia held Wang Xiaojue's blood-covered hands. Commander, my girlfriend is in Waste Armor City. I hope you can help me tell her. Let her find a good man. No, that's not it. Wang Xiaojue shook his head with difficulty. Please tell her that I have always liked her mother. Su Xia was silent. How to convey this? Wang Xiaojue held Su Xia's hand tightly and asked. Commander, you will convey it to me. Right. Yeah, I can. Su Xia finally agreed and could not let the team members leave regrets before they died. But, after a while, Wang Xiaojue still held his hand firmly. Su Xia didn't receive any task prompts, which made him feel strange. He immediately let go of Wang Xiaojue's hand, lifted off Wang Xiaojue's tattered coat covered in blood, and asked, Xiaojue, do you feel a stomachache? Yes. Commander, I was shot several times in the stomach. I may not live long. Wang Xiaojue nodded repeatedly. Xiao Mai, you were not shot, but a shrapnel scratched your stomach. The wound was large, but it did not damage your internal tissues. Ah? Wang Xiaojue trembled, raised his head with difficulty, and glanced at his abdomen. As Su Xia said, although the wound was large, it did not even damage the internal organs. As long as it was healed in time, it would be no problem. Does that mean he won't die? But he even said his last words. Very shameful last words. Said in front of everyone, Wang Xiaojue looked pale, took Su Xia's hand, and asked, Commander, can you kill me now? Su Xia, just stay alive. This battle is over. The lame wolf mercenaries left corpses all over the place. And in the end only less than a quarter of them escaped. As for our own side, despite having the advantage and pursuing the victory, 17 people were still dead, including two psychic creatures. Everyone dug a big hole, buried the bodies of their teammates in the ground, commemorated them, and set off again. Most of the people alive were injured. Luan was also injured. During the battle, Su Xia and Chung Pingan had been protecting Luan intentionally or unintentionally. But even so, Luan was hit in the arm by a stray bullet. Fortunately, it's not a big problem, and you can get treatment at the Oasis camp. Su Xia took everyone to the town where the lame wolf mercenary hid his things and found some medical items there. 
The injured were simply bandaged. Everyone ate something. Rested for a while. And then continued on the road with the loot. On the way, Song Zong asked Su Xia, Commander, will you rebuild your Beifong organization? Probably so. One person cannot defeat the mechanical race. It requires the unity of countless people. However, the real situation of this world is, the entire human race has reached the edge of the cliff and still cannot unite. In many old-fashioned science fiction works, the most science fiction is not the dazzling high technologies, but the Earth Federation that can unite all mankind. Moreover, in addition to the mechanical clan, Another hidden danger is now gradually taking shape. The Zerg race reproduces at an astonishing rate. Each individual possesses psychic powers and can devour all resources around the insect nest at an almost crazy speed. Su Xia thought of the upcoming players. Well, maybe we can think about how to use these immortal guys. Chapter 21 Alloy Storm Commander, will you continue to fight against the wasted armor city? Song Zhong is like a primary school student whose mind is full of problems. One after another. Su Xia happened to have nothing to do. So she patiently answered him. At the same time, he took a look at the alloy storm. That was the mission reward. This is something he bought by burning his life. So it shouldn't be weak. Name, alloy storm. Grade, no grade. Type, active skill. Description, after learning. You will have the ability to manipulate metal. The specific degree of manipulation depends on your personal ability. Note, this skill cannot exist at the same time as armor affinity mechanical affinity, metal sense, and other skills. Manipulate metal? Is this the legendary skill specifically designed to deal with the mechanical race? But after seeing the note, Su Xia felt cold. He now has a passive skill called armor affinity. Why do active skills conflict with passive skills in this barren game? Just looking at the skill descriptions. I can't see any conflicts. Does having these two skills at the same time make the owner so powerful that it affects the balance of the game? He tried clicking to learn but was quickly prompted. You have learned armor affinity and can no longer learn metal storm. Do you want to delete armor affinity? The armor affinity skill allows Su Xia to have a near perfect match with most psychic armors, allowing him to fully utilize the performance of the armor in battle. For those unfamiliar with armor, it can become a liability rather than a help. But Su Xia doesn't have to worry about these problems and he can upgrade and modify the armor as he likes without having to worry about the strangeness after the modification. This passive skill is very precious. But for armor operators, it is a magical skill that can save someone's life at a critical moment. Su Xia cannot give up this ability. If the alloy storm is not as strong as he thought, then he will have to find a place to cry silently. But the skill description of alloy storm is really tempting. Su Xia is already an adult, and he wants to have both. I still have a player identity. Maybe I can let the player account learn? Su Xia was thoughtful, thinking about the opening of the server at 8 o'clock tonight. Let's wait until tonight. At this time, Song Zhong next to him asked another question. Commander, do you think there is a high chance that our resistance will succeed? What do you think? Su Xia asked. I feel a little lost. Song Zhong didn't know what he thought of, and suddenly sighed. Why do you say that? Commander, you also know that in the early days of the war, our human race had the advantage. We almost won the victory several times, but we missed the opportunity due to various reasons. Well. I know something about it. In the memory of this body, there is a lot of information from the war. The Terrans did come close to winning on several occasions. The first time was the closest to victory. 99% of the entire mechanical race was wiped out, leaving only the last small part stubbornly resisting. But at this critical moment, several large arms-related companies interfered and delayed the good opportunity. The war with the mechanical tribe made them a lot of money. How could they watch the mechanical tribe be completely wiped out? Commander. We had so many advantages at the beginning, but we still failed. Song Zone sighed. My father told me before he was alive that there is no hope of resistance. I just need to be patient in this life and get through peacefully. But I especially admire heroes like you who fight. Aren't you also a member of the resistance organization now? It's different. I just secretly get some resources. I never dare to go head to head with the abandoned armor city and coral city. Um, Su Xia was thoughtful. This is an era that needs heroes. There are many young people like Song Zhong. As long as they find ways to ignite the hope in their hearts, they will follow the footsteps of their predecessors and realize the heroic dream hidden in their hearts. Su Xia asked seriously, So, your ideal is to overthrow the Machine Clan and become a hero? Actually, it's not just about overthrowing the Machine Clan. Facing his idol, 
Song Zhong has calmed down a lot after experiencing the initial excitement and excitement. He looked into the distance and began to speak freely. Commander, I want to build a new world without oppression, without exploitation, and where everyone is equal. You want to send away the old times? Yes. What's the use of such an old era? It can't even defeat a group of robots. As early as 20 years ago, before psychic energy appeared, countless people were thinking about how this era would end. Many things have solidified, and the whole world looks lifeless. People are being squeezed to become more and more like machines, while machines are becoming more and more like humans. Commander, psychic energy has indeed brought us more advanced technology and allowed us to create more perfect robots. But advanced technology cannot destroy the world. Only greed can. This young man's thinking is very simple. He firmly believes that that era of equality will definitely come. Maybe it seems too far away now. But it will definitely come true in the future. Even if it takes a thousand years. It's a good idea. Su Xia didn't say much and gave this forward evaluation. Oh, I can only think about it. Song Zhong scratched his head. I inherited my personality from my father. I cherish my life so much that I can't achieve great things. If I come to meet the commander today, I have already violated the instructions my father gave me. Establish safety rules. Don't underestimate yourself. People will always change. Su Xia seemed like a kind elder, slowly solving the young man's troubles. Strangely enough, he himself was actually only in his early 20s. After integrating the memory of the original owner, the whole person seems to have become more mature. In this way, time passed slowly, and it came to 7 o'clock in the evening. The group finally arrived at the Oasis camp. This camp is located in a vast forest, with beautiful environment and excellent privacy. There are towering old trees in the forest. The light is dim, and everything looks the same. Without a special guide, many people will get lost in it. Even those who have been there several times will easily get lost. Most of the buildings here are made of local materials, made of wood and mud. The low-rise houses are connected together, and some roofs are covered with moss and grass as if they are integrated with nature. It is said to be a temporary camp, but it has actually developed into a normal village. There are specialized pharmacists, builders, mechanical repairmen, etc. here. It is rich in resources, and you can spend time here from birth to death. There are many people in the camp, and most of them are here for a temporary rest or to exchange materials and information. The moment Su Xiao walked into the camp, countless eyes focused on him. It's him! Commander Beifong! He actually escaped from the robot's laboratory. Amazing. A living legend. Chapter 22 The Crisis Explodes. It's finally safe. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief. After running away and going through many battles, everyone was exhausted mentally and physically, relying on one breath to hold on. Su Xiao looked around and warned. Don't relax too much. Stay vigilant at all times. Commander, don't worry. It's absolutely safe in the Oasis camp. Song Zhong was full of confidence and made an invitation gesture to everyone. Since he often travels to and from the Oasis camp and needs to store and transport various resources, his organization has a long-term station in the Oasis camp. As long as the warehouse and the garrison is cleared out, the huge space will be enough for everyone to rest. At this time, someone in the camp shouted loudly, Commander Beifong, is it really you? Su Xia nodded. It's me. You are a legend. Please accept my respect. Thanks for the compliment. Commander, you will be a role model for my children from now on. Someone else shouted. Thank you. Su Xia kept smiling and responded to those who spoke to him one by one. He escaped from the robot's laboratory, took so many people with him, and fought bloody battles all the way. This experience is enough to be made into a movie. Some teachers came to Su Xia, hoping that Su Xia could tell the story in full. Commander Beifong, I want to write your legendary story at the back of the textbook so that children can learn about it. No problem. But I'm too tired now. Let's talk tomorrow. Facing various invitations, Su Xia politely made an appointment with each other. In this area, connections are also a resource. If others smile at you, you will naturally respond with a smile. But his current health is really bad and he is covered in injuries. Any further delay may cause unnecessary trouble. So he does not plan to receive anyone tonight. In addition to the body, the armor also needs some repairs. The resources such as medical supplies, medicines, psychic equipment, firearms and ammunition obtained from the Lane Wolf Mercenary Organization need to be distributed in time. These resources were obtained by everyone's hard work. And Su Xia cannot monopolize them. Commander, this is my organization's camp. 
Song Zhong led everyone and stopped at the southeastern location of the oasis camp. In front of everyone, there were several rows of cozy cabins and several huge warehouses. Song Zhong let everyone stay here temporarily and then asked his men to lead the injured people to find doctors. After settling everything, Su Xia also planned to go see a doctor or pharmacist. But at this moment, the manager of the oasis camp came to the door. Xiong Wei, a middle-aged man with a psychic level of 3.1, is the third generation manager of the oasis camp. Although he is not the strongest in the oasis camp, he has good management skills and can take good care of every organization that comes to the camp. So he is quite popular. He did not come alone. There was a pharmacist and a mechanical repairman with him. Ha ha! Commander, we meet again! Xiong Wei is very strong, with a full beard, like a huge black bear. And he is very enthusiastic. The Beifong organization occasionally comes to the Oasis camp to rest or exchange supplies. So Xiong Wei and Su Xia are old acquaintances. I heard something happened to your organization before. And I thought I would never see you again in this life. I didn't expect you to fight it out. You are indeed a legend. It was just a fluke. Su Xia sighed cooperatively and then invited a few people into the room. After a few pleasantries, Xiong Wei began to explain his purpose. Commander, I hope you can stay in the camp for a while. I need your prestige. No problem. Su Xia originally planned to recover from her injuries here, so she immediately agreed. Xiong Wei continued, After I heard that you were coming, many departments in the camp came to me and asked me to communicate with you. I hope you can show up in each department. Okay, but I need to practice for a while first. This is simple. Xiong Wei smiled and said, Commander, you should know that there is a spiritual hot spring behind the camp. As long as you go in and soak for a while, your lost spiritual energy will be restored. That thing is precious. No matter how precious it is, it can't compare to your prestige. As long as you recover as soon as possible. Xiong Wei needed Su Xia's reputation. So he used precious spiritual hot springs in return. The pharmacists and mechanical repairmen he brought were also top-notch in the camp. The mechanical repairman's name is Xu Cheng. He is also a level 3.1 psychic creature. His psychic talent is the same as Wang Xiuqui and Su Xia's team. He has machine affinity and can manufacture and repair mechanical equipment of level 4 and below. Su Xia had asked Xu Cheng to help upgrade her armor before. So she was no stranger to him. The pharmacist's name is Su Yun Song, who is also an old acquaintance and has nursed Su Xia's body before. Mr. Su, how is business lately? Su Xia asked. It's okay. Thank you, Commander, for your concern. Su Yun Song's wizened face slowly squeezed out a smile full of wrinkles. He was already very old and didn't even have a few teeth left. But the potions he made were extremely popular in this area of the camp. In terms of influence, this old man is worse than Bu Su Xia. The new generation of young people will respectfully call him Grandpa Pharmacist. And the older generation also respect this pharmacist very much. Mr. Su, I have a lot of new injuries. Su Xia still planned to ask him to take a look at her physical condition. While talking, he habitually tried to check Su Yun Song's personal dashboard. But suddenly, an inexplicable chill spread all over his body, making his skin crawl. What happened? Perceiving that your life is in danger, do you want to waste an opportunity to view the death scene you may experience? Die! Su Xia was slightly surprised when she saw the annotation in front of her. After surviving all 9 or 81 difficulties, I finally arrived at the gathering place of the resistance organization. How could the prophecy of death be triggered here? Yes. His expression remained unchanged and he remained calm, chatting with several people while viewing the death scene. In the picture, there is still this cabin, but Xiong Wei has left. Xu Cheng also took the black wolf armor to his mechanical workshop, promising to complete the armor's repairs tomorrow. The only old men left in the room were Su Xia and Su Yun Song. Su Yun Song invited Su Xia to go to his place to check the injury. Su Xia in the prophecy followed the old man to his pharmacy. However, while checking the injury, Su Yun Song's hands, as dry as tree branches, suddenly developed hard dark brown carapace. His back became rickety and curved, and the surrounding skin cracked little by little, with several bloody limbs sticking out. His lower jaw and upper jaw were split and cracked. Sharp fangs grew out of the bloody mouth, and his stomach began to growl crazily. Swell. Zerg. The bugs have actually infiltrated into the oasis camp. These bugs are social animals. And as long as one appears, it means there is already a group in the area. Chapter 23 Saving Oasis Camp. Danger? Extremely dangerous. Who would have thought that in this peaceful and peaceful human camp, 
there would be terrifying bugs living there. In the prophecy scene, Su Yun-san let out a low hoarse scream. The sharp exoskeleton limbs suddenly pierced Su Xia, and a bloody mouth bit Su Xia's neck fiercely. This is the nature of the bug. He likes we pray. You were sucked dry by the bugs and died a tragic death. News of your mysterious disappearance began to spread in the camp. This bug is extremely powerful. It is not recommended to start a war now. Please find a way to recover from your injuries first. Make peace with him. And then slowly investigate the situation in the Oasis camp. Extremely powerful? How strong is it specifically? Su Xia, who is on the verge of death, would definitely activate his talent, life burning, and fight to the death at the cost of his life. But he still couldn't break free and couldn't even let out a scream. This is completely a one-sided crushing. Only by recovering to level 3.6 as soon as possible and wearing complete armor can Su Xia be able to fight. Su Xia found a description of this insect in her memory. Skeleton parasite can parasitize various organisms and read the memory of the parasitized organism. It has strong camouflage ability. In an insect nest, this parasite not too many. There should only be a handful of people in the camp being parasitized. These bugs are evolving crazily. They look stupid in appearance. But the intelligence of the advanced bugs is not weaker than that of humans and machines. You triggered the mission. Save Oasis Camp. Accept the task? Su Xia had no choice but to accept it. There is no way to run now. So we can only stay in the camp and look for opportunities to make a comeback. The insects are eyeing him. Once he gets wet, he may not even be able to leave the forest. And he will become a meal for the insects. Get the mission. Save the Oasis Camp. Task Description. You discovered traces of the Zerg in the camp. And the danger of death is always there. Once the insect wave breaks out, the entire camp will be destroyed and disappear in the long river of history. Please find the parasitized creatures in the camp. Find the Zerg nest in this area. Completely destroy the nest. And kill all the Zerg. Task rewards depend on completion. There must be an insect nest in this forest. This insect only dares to sneak up on me now. Which means the insect nest is not ready yet. Su Xia thought for a while. But the forest is too big and vast. And normal people can walk in it. It won't take long for you to get lost. And even if the entire oasis camp's people are asked to search for the insect nest, the hope of finding it is not very high. And it may even lead to their death from the insect nest. Su Xia needs a lot of help. These helpers must be unafraid of death. Unafraid of getting lost. And have a natural sense of adventure and death. Well, gamers, the question now is, how to get these players to listen to him? All this may only be known after the official launch of the server. At this time, Xiong Wei asked, Commander, how are you feeling? Why don't you let Mr. Su take a look at you now? I'm in good health, and the injury is not serious. Su Xia declined politely. Many team members are receiving treatment from the doctor. I plan to visit them first, and then go directly to the psychic hot spring. That's good. I hope the commander can recover soon. Xiong Wei said with a smile. It's getting late, so I won't bother you. I'll have a good chat with the commander tomorrow, and have a few drinks together. Okay, Mr. Xiong. Walk slowly. Su Xia immediately stood up and sent Xiong Wei outside the door. As predicted, Xu Cheng left quickly and returned to his mechanical workshop with the broken black wolf armor. Su Yunsong extended an invitation and said in an old and hoarse voice, Commander, you feel that your body is very weak. Come to me for treatment tonight. I have recently prepared several good healing potions. Thank you for your kindness, old man. But my team members still need me. Su Xia refused again. In a few days, when things have stabilized, I will come back to see the old man. Okay, then I'll prepare those potions first. A smile appeared on Su Yunsong's old face. From a normal person's point of view, this smile is quite kind, and it is completely impossible to tell that he has been controlled by insects. He turned around, moved very slowly, and his back was a little stooped. He was wearing a gray robe and walked towards the pharmacy step by step. Along the way, many children greeted him. Grandpa Pharmacist. Good evening. Grandpa. Su Yunsong glanced at these fresh and tender lives, slowly lowered his head and licked his chapped lips. Behind, Su Xia made no move and kept staring at Su Yunsong's back. This guy's profile is pretty weird. Name, Su Yunsong? Race? Camp? Psychic level? A series of question marks. Even the name is followed by a question mark. If all the parasitized people were this kind of strange faces, then Su Xia would only need to spend some time to find them one by one. Not far away. Yun Luan, whose arm had been bandaged, 
said H. Lo to Su Xia. Commander, look at my hands. He smiled and shook his bandaged arm. Well, get well soon. A few lines of text jumped out in front of Su Xia's eyes. Commander's last wish mission too has been completed. Young man Lu had arrived at the gathering place of the resistance organization. His vital signs are normal. Mission reward obtained. Primary psychic potion X3. Task rewards can be withdrawn at any time. The primary potion is not very effective on Su Xia. In the memory of the original owner, this primary potion was aimed at psychic creatures below level 3. On the way to escape, Su Xia took an injection. After all, his real level was only 2.6. He thought it would be useful. But the effect was minimal. Immediately afterwards, the third round of tasks automatically appeared. Commander's Last Wish Mission 3 Task Description Kill the Traitor Zhao Si Task Reward Primary Psychic Potion X5 Intermediate Psychic Potion X3 Skill Eye of Falsehood Zhao Si is in Coral City, waiting for Su Xia to surrender. Su Xia's identity cannot be removed for the time being, but this does not mean that his other identities cannot be removed as well. He is still a player. You can use your player account to go to Coral City first to check out the situation. It was already 7.40 p.m. And there were still 20 minutes until the server started. The bracelet suddenly sent a message. It is detected that your roommate is calling you. Do you want to go back in time immediately? Su Xia did not travel immediately, but ran towards the back of the camp and came to the outside of the room where the spiritual hot spring was. Xiong Wei had already greeted the guard, but Su Xia was not stopped. Commander, please come in. The guards treated him with great respect. Su Xia looked at the panels of these guards made sure that their panels were normal, and then entered the room. In the center of the room is a steaming hot spring pool. A small piece of meteorite fell here. Although no psychic energy emerged from this area, hot springs containing a large amount of psychic energy emerged, which was of great benefit to psychic creatures. Chapter 24 Server Launch Bikini Castle conquers another world. Warm, comfortable, and warm all over. Su Xiao lay in the hot spring and closed her eyes with contentment. Every cell seemed to be cheering, and her whole body seemed to be soaring. Wisps of spiritual energy flowed into his body, slowly expelling the feeling of weakness, allowing him to gradually regain strength. The guard outside the door suddenly asked, Commander, can we come in to see your legendary muscles? Su Xia, what is legendary muscle? Why should a man admire another man's muscles? Isn't building muscles just for girls to see? Su Xia refused. No, just stay outside. At this time, the bracelet sent another reminder. It is detected that your roommate is calling you. Do you want to go back in time immediately? Su Xia didn't hesitate and immediately clicked yes, handing over the body to the bracelet. Bedroom. There are still 13 minutes until the server starts. Su Xia! Su Xia! Please don't sleep. If you go back to sleep, you won't be able to get the name of Evil Bubble. Room Chief Yuan Shushu has shook the iron bed vigorously. You guy! You went to save the world last night! Yet? Well, it can be regarded as the first step toward saving the world. Su Xia stood up unsteadily and rubbed her brows. In the eyes of several roommates, he slept all day today and didn't even eat lunch. Room director Yuan Shushu has said anxiously, How come you guys almost lost your way at such a critical moment? Cheer up quickly. For the sake of the game. For the money. Everyone's chain is off. Su Xia was stunned. Did the other roommates also have problems? He immediately asked the room chief, and then understood the situation. Today at noon, roommate Li Siwa's girlfriend broke up with him. And now everyone is confused. Emotional issues are something that everyone can't get over. In addition to Li Siwa, the twin Ti Shi and He Ju are not in good condition either. Two hours ago, they suddenly learned that their fathers were not the same person. For ordinary people, this kind of news is undoubtedly a bolt from the blue. But the two brothers, He Li and He Ju, have very strong psychological endurance and they can still hold on. Since their mother was in the performing arts industry, the two brothers had many strange experiences while they were still in their mother's womb. Another roommate, Lee Defew, has no emotional or family problems. But at two o'clock in the afternoon, he played a game of Interstellar, and the human urbanization faced the Zerg Spring Ditch. He played the game for four and a half hours, almost bursting his bladder, and his eyesight dropped to the point where he was close to blindness. There are six people in the dormitory, and five of them are out of sorts. Brothers, cheer up! You and Shushua began to cheer him up. This game is very important to our Biking Castle studio. 
and there must be no problems in the early development of Wasteland. Understood. The other roommates replied weakly. On the eve of the war, the morale of the army was unstable. Yu and Shushua said helplessly. I just read the game information again. After entering the game, you must pay attention to something called Psychic Potion. This thing can help us open up a route for psychic upgrades. Now in the game forum, it has been spread here that psychic energy is a high-end upgrade route. And titanium particles are a civilian upgrade route. There were only a few minutes left before the server was launched. And Yu and Shushua took the trouble to explain many details. Also, those NPCs in the promotional video may be the main NPC characters in the game world. And they may affect the development of the main line of the game. We must find ways to build a good relationship with them. Don't worry. We understand. Several roommates are all experienced gamers. How could they not know this? As for the place of birth, after a simple discussion, everyone unanimously decided to choose Coral City as the place of birth. There are two ways to be born in this game. One is to be born randomly into any gathering place in the game. And the other is to choose a city planned by the game company for each region. The city where Su Xiao lives is called Jincheng. Blizzard Company has planned more than 10 cities including Coral City and Waste Armor City for gamers in the Jincheng area. And they can choose freely. And secret gathering places like the Oasis Camp were divided into random columns. In the eyes of NPCs, players are refugees wandering around because of the war. The time soon came to 7.59 p.m. There is only one minute left before the server starts. The six people in the dormitory were all standing in front of the computer staring at the countdown on the screen with their eyes wide open. There was no one in the dormitory next door or across the street. Those guys had all gone outside the school to experience the world's top VR services provided by the game Hive. But everyone in Su Xia's dormitory can't enjoy it for the time being, because the game Hive is an independent room, which affects their communication. As he disappeared at the last second, Yu and Shushua shouted excitedly, It started! Hurry up and register your nickname! His hands began to fly across the keyboard, creating afterimages. The others were not idle either and began to follow the process to create characters. Everyone was very lucky and got their own nicknames. Immediately afterwards, the computer screen suddenly dimmed, then slowly brightened, and a vicissitude of voice sounded. This is the era of machinery. Cold metal defeats everything. But, in every corner of the world, the fire of human civilization continues to grow. In the gray shadows, the Zerg creatures are whispering. This was a cut scene. The scene was very grand. Creatures of three races were fighting in a desert. Blood flowed into rivers and debris flew. However, the killing scene was quickly swallowed up by the boundless sandstorm. After the cut scene ended, it was time to play the normal game. Each account has been real named in advance and can only create characters of the same gender as itself. And, looking up at the stars, there won't be that greasy otaku using a voice changer to pretend to be a cute girl. Su Xia was born in an orphanage in Coral City. As soon as his character opens his eyes, he sees a kindly old dean. The old dean stood in front of him and said with a smile, Su Xia, my child, you are an adult and your body is strong enough. It is time to leave the orphanage and face the challenges of the outside world. Hey, you didn't call me by my game name. Su Xia looked at the four characters, Evil Bubble, above her head and felt a little funny. In the dormitory, Yu and Xu Xiu asked, Brother Su, where were you born? An orphanage. Su Xiao looked at the name on her character's clothes. It should be in the city. And it's called Black Heart Orphanage. I am also in an orphanage. My orphanage is called Terminal Orphanage. Li Difu said. Me too. Li Sihua also said that he was born in an orphanage. The six people in the dormitory checked and found that everyone was in the orphanage. Six Orphans. Chapter 25 Zhao Si appears. The game forum is quite lively, and many people have uploaded game screenshots to the forum. In addition to orphanages, small towns, villages, refugee gathering places, etc. around the city have all become novice villages. As long as you choose to come to the city on your own, the start will be relatively normal, and then you can freely explore the map. But some players who chose to randomly come were unlucky. Some were born directly in the Black Heart Factory, and were whipped by the owner of the Black Heart Factory with a whip as soon as they opened their eyes. Go to work! You damn slaves! The factory owner yelled viciously. Oh! My god! Working in reality is already very tiring! Why do you have to continue working after entering the game? The unlucky player wailed feebly. At this moment, five of the six orphans in the dormitory have already started to take action. 
Coral City is a large city with a population of over 1 million. It is relatively stable under the rule of the machine tribe. And the economy is showing signs of recovery after the war. I'm in the southwest area of Coral City. Where are you? Yu and Shushu asked. Let's see I'm in this area too. Me too. The landing positions of these five guys were actually very close. Li Difu asked. Brother Su, where are you? I don't know. I haven't left the orphanage yet. What's going on? Li Difu was confused. Brother Su, do you not know how to leave the novice area? Just control the character and walk out. You can talk to some NPCs along the way and ask them if they have any tasks. The other people in the dormitory are all game veterans. They have robbed banks in Los Santos and killed chickens in Skyrim. They are very familiar with this kind of open world. They were all worried that Su Xia, a newcomer to the game, was too cautious and would miss many early opportunities. Su Xia explained, Don't worry. I'm not that mentally retarded. But our dean still won't let me leave. His current situation is very special. He and many players who were born in the Black Heart Orphanage did not leave the orphanage. Instead, they were placed in the hall of the orphanage and had to listen to a speech. Some players wanted to leave the hall, but they were caught by the guards of the orphanage. Su Xia's body is too weak to tell the level of the guard at all. In front of the hall, the kind old dean said with a smile, My children, you are about to face the cruel outside world. Before you leave, I think you need to know some truth. For this reason, I ask here comes the famous man next to the lord of the city. He is a warrior who endures humiliation and a hero who abandons darkness and turns to the light. He is Mr. Zhao Si. Let us welcome him together. After saying that, he started to applaud with a smile on his face. The guards in the hall also applauded, creating an atmosphere of warm welcome. At the same time, many players present received a mission. Get the mission, the first step of genius. Mission level, F- -dash. Task description, Zhao Si used to be a member of the human resistance camp. But not long ago, he betrayed his organization, gained countless glory and wealth, and successfully entered the management of Coral City. He will lead you the first speech in my life. Task reward, Titanium Particles X100. Zhao Si? Su Xia's heart moved slightly. She unexpectedly met this traitor here. There is really no place in life where we don't meet each other. At the same time, he noticed that the player account's tasks had level descriptions. In the hall, the lights are bright and the floor tiles are so clean that they can reflect people's reflections. A pair of expensive black leather shoes stepped on the floor, and the hard saws made a dull sound when they collided with the floor tiles. Looking up, they saw a very decent suit. The owner of the suit had a sleek slick back hair and wore gold-rimmed glasses. With a smile on his face and the attitude of a successful person before everyone. Good evening fellow students. He opened his hands as if accepting someone's welcome. The old dean and many guards immediately began to applaud desperately. But most of the players didn't react at all. They looked around and didn't take this guy seriously at all. This is a game world. No matter how powerful you are as an NPC, players will not take it seriously. Only Su Xia and a few other people applauded. Pa Pa Dash. Hearing this voice, Zhao Si's eyes lit up and he took a closer look at Su Xia and several others. Yes, a very sensible young man. Dear students, the outside world is very cruel, and you may be deceived in various ways. Today I will briefly explain this point. I plan to explain it from three levels. At the first level, I will divide it into nine levels. Stage. Zhao Si cleared his throat and started the speech with a voice full of emotion. At this moment, many players here remembered the fear of being dominated by the middle school principal. The outside world is so beautiful and novel. Countless players have posted their experiences and feelings on the forum. But everyone present can only suffer here. Time passed by minute by second. And after more than 10 minutes, some players couldn't help but complain. What the HL? How long will this NPC talk? Others covered their ears and wailed. Oh, my God. If I keep listening to this, I might die. If you die now, you will die. If you make great plans, you will die. Why don't you just rush up and chop him down? Complain. Curse. Yell. This group of players is lawless. With all kinds of sounds mixed together. Noisy and chaotic. Like a vegetable market after get off work. Cough. An embarrassed expression appeared on the old dean's face. And he turned his head slightly. Pretending not to hear anything. The guards were dispatched and took away the two players who attacked Zhao Si. They didn't know where they would be taken. The expression on Zhao Si's face was not natural. 
although he barely maintained a smile. Everyone could tell that he was in a bad mood. Fortunately, Su Xia, who was sitting in the middle seat, was still smiling, nodding and applauding from time to time. This gave Zhao Xi some comfort. This young man is pretty good. I'll ask him his name later. Zhao Xi thought to himself. After more than 10 minutes, the long and painful speech finally came to an end. At the end of the speech, Zhao Xi opened his hands again and said, Everyone, if you understand, please give me a round of applause. Clap your hands. Someone immediately cursed. Many players present received 100 titanium particles, and the upgrade progress bar jumped forward by one tenth. After the dean opened the door, everyone ran out in a swarm as if they were exhausted. With Yu looking back, Su Xiao was very calm and stood up slowly. Zhao Xi immediately stepped down from the podium and called Su Xiao affectionately. Young man, what's your name? Su Xiao replied. My name is Su Xiao. Su Xiao? What a name! Zhao Xi immediately praised him. The old dean also came over and said, Ha ha, Mr. Zhao has good vision. In terms of character, Su Xia is the best among this group of orphans. This is natural. I can see it. Zhao Xi still smiled. He took out a business card from his pocket and handed it to Su Xia. Young man, if you encounter difficulties in the future, you can come to me directly in the office building in the city center. Chapter 26 You have to be careful about the guy named Bei Feng. The content of Zhao Xi's speech was indeed very boring. It was nothing more than repeated propaganda about how evil the resistance organization was. But the players are all rebellious by nature. So how can they listen to it? He put the business card in Su Xia's hand and said solemnly, Young man, you may meet some strange people in the future. They will try their best to trick you into resisting the organization. If you meet such a person, you will definitely contact me and don't go astray. You are still young and have an immature worldview. So it is easy to be deceived. Jealousy said earnestly. In the wilderness outside the city, those resistance organizations are like parasites. If we don't get rid of them, we will never achieve peace. I understand. I understand everything. Su Xia nodded calmly. Especially, there is a guy named North Wind. Speaking of Bei Feng, Zhao Xi's tone seemed particularly heavy. His current mission is to spare no effort in promoting how brutal and terrifying Commander Bei Feng is. And he gives several speeches every day. Perhaps after a while, the city lord will directly hand over the entire propaganda department to him. This is the benefit of being a traitor, betraying the organization in exchange for the trust of the mechanical tribe, and thus reaching the top in one step. Bei Feng already has a very high reputation in the resistance organization. This time he escaped from death, and his prestige has increased a lot. The process of his escape has been rumored by many people to be so magical that he is almost deified. But you have to remember that he is just a brutal and terrifying leader of a resistance organization. Yeah, I remember. I'm just telling you this. Maybe you can't feel it. But just last night, Bei Feng brutally killed 13 researchers in the laboratory in order to escape from the laboratory. How innocent those researchers were. Speaking of those researchers who died tragically, Jiao Si sighed repeatedly, and there was even a trace of tears in his eyes. This acting skill can definitely compete for an Oscar. Although they were all lies, he told them so many times that he began to believe them. Now that the two sides are in opposition, it will inevitably be a life and death situation when they meet. So no matter how hard it is to smear them, it is not an exaggeration. The wages of avarice is death. He never had a bad conscience about betraying the organization. In this hacked up era, conscience and dignity are both extremely ridiculous things. Mr. Zhao, aren't you worried that Commander Beifong will deal with you? Su Xia asked curiously. Ha ha. Let him come. Zhao Si disagreed. Coral City has set up a dragnet. As long as he dares to come, the lord of the city will let him know what it means to come and go. And I will broadcast his execution live in the city. You must remember to come and see it when the time comes. Okay. I will definitely be there then. That's it. Young man, the outside world is waiting for you. Zhao Si patted Su Xia on the shoulder. I have a hunch that maybe we will meet again soon. Okay. See you later. Su Xia nodded. Put away the identity card Zhao Si gave him. Turned and walked out the door. Zhao Si stared at his back and couldn't help but sigh. What a good young man. Knowledgeable and sensible. This is the kind of talent our Coral City needs. Su Xia. At this time, almost an hour had passed since the server started. This means he is an hour slower than a normal player. After the initial novelty wears off, many players have begun looking for tasks or seeking to join an organizational force. 
in the dormitory. The five roommates successfully met in the southwest area of the city and joined a regular mining farm in the area. From the mine owner, they received the first mission in the game. The middle-aged manager said, Brave young people, there are some strange creatures appearing under the mine. Our employees are very scared. And the city lord soldiers are all lazy fools who are not willing to help at all. Are you willing to eradicate those creatures? Biology? Yes. Of course I do. Just like that. Wearing the white clothes of the orphanage and carrying iron rods and steel pipes picked up randomly from the roadside. The five Beachbud brothers went to the mine. What they faced was a monster called Mutant Gopher. Each of these gray rats is as big as a wild boar with rough skin and thick flesh, sharp teeth, and a long tail as hard as an iron whip. They have no psychic powers, but they have titanium particles, and their levels are randomly refreshed between 1 to 3. In the current version, the highest level of titanium particles is level 60. The highest level of psychic power is level 6.0. Bang! Yu and Shushu have picked up the steel pipe and hit it hard on the head of a level 1 mutated gopher. The big rat hissed, and the health bar on its head was reduced by only 2%. It was still full of vigor and vitality. It swung its tail and pounced on Yuen Shushua. The idea is tough. Brothers, come together. Yuen Shushua shouted. This monster was more difficult than they thought. It was only level 1, and it almost wiped out the five-man group. After killing monsters, the titanium particles obtained are pitiful. Each person was only allocated five titanium particles. If you do it alone... You can level up by killing 40 level 1 rats. Lee Few calculated. But we are a team of 5 and need to kill 200 rats. Just now, we almost killed the team by killing just one. This is a crappy game. There is no team experience bonus. What do you do with planning? Oh, forget it. Let's upgrade first. Complaints are complaints. But several people have become obsessed with this game. There is no other reason. The sense of reality this game gives people is too strong. On the city streets, every NPC is just like a real person. They all have independent AI, which is completely different from the NPCs in other games that only repeat a few lines. It is worth mentioning that the monsters in this game do not expend money and equipment, but you can use some of the monster's limbs to exchange for money and equipment from merchants. There is a merchant at the exit of the mine. You only need to provide 10 gopher ribs to exchange for a level 3 novice weapon, gopher sword. Provide 10 gopher furs and exchange for gopher cloak and gopher jacket. Wait for novice defensive equipment. If you are lucky and encounter elite monsters with psychic powers in their bodies, you can exchange them for more good things. In short, killing monsters is also a metaphysics that depends on luck. The equipment grading in this game is similar to that of some ancient games. It is temporarily divided into seven levels, white, green, blue, purple, orange, red, pink. Come on. Let's find a way to get a new bee's equipment tonight. What about Brother Sue? Brother Sue, have you left the orphanage? Several people thought of Su Xia, a game newbie, and asked questions one after another. Su Xia replied, Well, when I first came out, I was wandering the streets to see if I could find a profitable career first. No matter how majestic he is in the game, he is still a poor guy in reality. Subcareer? Brother Sue, the game company has not yet released a specific introduction to the subcareer. It seems that it is still in the free exploration stage. It is said, that it will not be officially opened until the main player level reaches a certain condition. Chapter 27 How to Kill Zhao Si The game, looking up at the stars, has quite a few suckerers. Professional miner, armorer, mechanic, pharmacist, master breeder and more. 360 lines. As long as they can make money, they have been made into a side career by game companies. Even if you are a cook, you can become a master of cooking in the later stages and create delicious cooking that can restore blood. However, the official website of the game only gives the name of the subprofession and does not mention the specific requirements. It does not say how to have a subprofession. It is all up to the players to guess through various gossips. Selling medicine should be the most profitable. Su Xia thought of old man Su Yunsan's pharmacy in the Oasis camp. Not only do pharmacists make money, they also earn a good reputation. It's almost the same as another subprofessional. Physician. Of course. The two subprofessions have different focuses. The pharmacist is more like those weird alchemists in the Middle Ages, who used all kinds of weird things to mix potions, while the doctor is more modern. Brother Sue, do you want to sell medicine? Roommate Lee Few asked. Then you can only become a pharmacist. Yes, I think so too. 
We just saw several pharmacies on the road and asked about them. But the owner said we were not qualified. In the game, if the NPC says that you are not qualified or strong enough, it probably means that you have not yet met the conditions to trigger the plot. But Su Xia knows that this world is very real and cannot be viewed with common sense. Director Yuan Chukcha said, It's not just pharmacists. I just looked at the forum and people have asked about other professions. Almost none of them meet the requirements. At present, there are only a few professions such as miners and lumberjacks. You can directly ask for them. The NPC takes up a job. And after taking office, it will have a trainee mark. These guys are indeed professional game geeks. Killing monsters and browsing forums at the same time. And Su Xia completely wasted an hour in the orphanage. Do you know which is the best pharmacy in Coral City? At present, it should be Dad's Pharmacy. Lee Diffu sent a rough map to Su Xia. In the southwest area of Coral City where we were born, this pharmacy has the best reputation and the highest popularity. Many NPCs I know that Dad exists. But this pharmacy's apprenticeship requirements are also the most stringent. Any request? You must provide a precious potion formula that interests the shop owner. And then, you can be accepted as an apprentice by the shop owner. This requirement is indeed harsh. Where can players get the potion formula at this stage? The shopkeeper's dad is an old man with a very weird temper. Many players have tried that pharmacy. But they were all kicked out by their father. And none of them could change their profession to a pharmacist. Brother Sue, don't waste your time. You can pursue the profession of pharmacist later. Now come and fight monsters with us. Yuen Shushu has sent Su Xia the location. If you don't want to fight monsters, you can also find the manager of the mine here. Get a job as a miner and go mine down there. If you're lucky, you can dig out some precious things. Well, I'll go take a look first and come back later. Su Xia temporarily declined the kindness of several roommates. According to the map set by Li Difu, Su Xia walked along the edge of the road towards Dad's Pharmacy, marked on the map. Along the way, you can see many players who have just entered the game, as well as a large number of poor refugees. The city size of Coral City is similar to that of third-tier cities in the real world. But when you look around, the sky and the earth are gray, with ruins and broken walls everywhere. Debris from bricks and floors can be seen everywhere. Many buildings have tilted or collapsed. There are bomb craters everywhere that can penetrate people. And the roads are also full of large and small sh. L holes. The war left many areas of the city in ruins, with ragged children playing in the ruins, the cold remains of planes and tanks becoming places to play, and adults lamenting in makeshift shelters. All this can easily make people think of a certain country in the Middle East in reality. The main line of the first phase of the game seems to be reconstruction, and many players have received the task of rebuilding the city. Dad's pharmacy is located on a fairly neat street. This place was not affected much by the SH. LS and most of the surrounding houses were normal. When Su Xia saw the pharmacy sign, a player was at the door of the pharmacy, trying to find a job as a pharmacist. The player said loudly, Boss, I want to become a pharmacist apprentice. A cold voice came from the shop. Go and get a potion formula, and Dad will consider letting you become an apprentice. Player, only by becoming an apprentice pharmacist can I possibly get the formula. Voice in the shop. Then you become an apprentice. Player, but I need the recipe to become an apprentice. Then go get the formula. The player cursed and walked away. Su Xia's heart moved slightly. But she didn't go over to look for trouble. In the dormitory, Su Xia put down the mouse and no longer paid attention to the trumpet on the screen, but started the time travel function of the bracelet. A numbing sensation of electricity came, and Su Xia's eyesight dimmed, and she leaned forward and lay on the desk on the bed. This current feels more and more comfortable. When I open my eyes again, I was in the hot spring room of the oasis camp. The room was quiet, and the spring water was still as warm. Su Xia asked, Brothers outside the door. Has anyone been here just now? No. But Mr. Su passed by a few times. And every time he passed by, he seemed to look at us intentionally or unintentionally. Ah, oh, that's good. Su Xia rubbed her brows. The sense of crisis getting stronger and stronger. Su Yun Song. This old guy. Can't wait to eat him? Commander. Some strange people have appeared in the camp. Do you want to come out and take a look? Okay. I'll be out in a minute. The strange person is naturally the player. Players can cause a lot of problems at Oasis Camp. Su Xiao was about to get up. But a message suddenly popped up in front of her eyes. It has been detected that you have another body in Coral City. The connection has been made. Do you want to determine the main body 
and the clone immediately? What does it mean? Su Xia clicked OK, and then got the detailed information. His two current bodies are both real in the game world. It is necessary to determine which one is the main body, and which one is the clone. Once determined, he can control both bodies at the same time. But only the main body can be upgraded. Not the clone. The clone can only share the strength of the main body. The current default identity is the commander identity. Clones can't be upgraded? What kind of weird restriction is this? Su Xiao also planned to find a way to give the low-level psychic potion to the trumpet. But now she got a reminder that the trumpet could not be upgraded. Not only the psionic level, but also the titanium particle level cannot be upgraded. As he continued reading through the details, he realized why. Since my body is an NPC template, I can issue tasks to players. As long as I want, I can directly send the tasks to my alt, quickly cultivate countless high-level alts, and destroy the balance of the game. So the system treats my the trumpet has restrictions and cannot be upgraded. Okay, that sounds reasonable. But it's just a bit frustrating. The only good news is that Xiao Xiao can borrow the power of this body at any time. The trumpet can borrow power, so to speak. Su Xiao raised her eyebrows and suddenly thought of a good way to kill Zhao Xi. Chapter 28 Have you heard his story too? Let the trumpet have all the psychic powers temporarily. Then take the risk to kill Zhao Xi. And then return the psychic powers to the commander's account after completion. The result of this is that the trumpet will definitely be caught in the dragnet of Coral City. But the trumpet is a player account and has immortality. The only problem is, will the kill of the trumpet be recognized by the mission? Su Xia pursed her lips and temporarily suppressed this idea in the back of her mind. According to the prompts in front of him, he set the commander account as the main body, allowing the player account to become a clone. If one day his commander identity unfortunately dies in battle, the clone will become the new master. Set up successfully, the two bodies are successfully connected, and you can control the clone's actions at any time. The memories, items, spiritual energy, etc. you possess can be transferred between the two bodies at will. But the total amount remains unchanged. Su Xia's mind moved and she controlled the clone. The scene in front of her suddenly changed and turned into a street scene in Coral City. This clone is currently in a state of poverty. Not even a handy weapon. Nickname, Evil Bubble. Race, Human Race. Faction, None. Psychic Level, Level 0. TNN Particle Level, Level 0. Remaining Life, 100%. Active Skills, None. Passive Skills, None. Psychic Talent, None. Character Description, Ordinary. Su Xia tried to borrow a little bit of spiritual power from the commander's account. The body suddenly felt more powerful, and the spiritual power level changed from 0 to 0 0.1. At the same time, he got a tip. You have psychic powers. You trigger the awakening condition. You have awakened the psychic talent. Tenderness of death. Click to view the talent description. Seeing this prompt, Su Xia felt happy. It was good news that the trumpet could also awaken psychic talents. He immediately checked the description. Gentle death. Talent introduction. The poisons you create will have an additional medicinal bonus. Talent description. Let the enemy die faster. Reduce the fear and pain when dying. It is the last tenderness of the god of death. This talent is unique. Su Xia's eyes lit up. This was simply a talent born to be a pharmacist. When he returned the body's psychic energy to the commander's account, the psychic level dropped to zero. And the talent turned gray indicating that it was temporarily unavailable. Now, we need to find a way to get a potion recipe for this body, and then start the journey of making money. He immediately returned to the oasis camp, walked out of the hot spring, put on his clothes, and opened the door. Soon, he saw a group of players with nicknames above their heads. But it seems that only he can see these nicknames, and other NPCs can't see them. The players did not enter the camp for the time being, but were gathered together on a flat land behind the camp. Xiong Wei. The person in charge of the Oasis camp frowned and was worried. He asked the many camp guards to keep an eye on these players while he paced back and forth on the outside. After seeing Su Xia, Xiong Wei immediately breathed a sigh of relief and hurriedly stepped forward and said, Commander, you are finally out. I have been wanting to find you, but I was afraid of delaying your recovery. What's wrong? A lot of strange refugees suddenly appeared around our camp. They appeared completely out of thin air. Xiong Wei pointed at the surrounded players. The strangest thing is that some of them even disappeared out of thin air. It's really weird. It's so weird. I've never encountered this situation before. Commander, you are well informed. Have you seen it before? Yeah. 
It's really weird. After chatting, Su Xiao learned the cause and effect. At first, only a small number of players showed up. And people in the camp thought these players were all refugees. But later, more and more players appeared. Some people even saw players appearing out of thin air and thought they were dazzled or a ghost. Su Xia thought of the orphanage where she was born and thought strangely, in the eyes of the old director of the orphanage, we did not appear out of thin air, but we have lived in the orphanage since childhood. But now we are adults and need to make a living on our own. But the players here in the Oasis camp appear out of thin air. How is this going? Could it be that the memory of the old dean was changed by the system? Xion Wei said worriedly. Commander, I tried to ask them, but their words were always mixed with a lot of strange language. Is that so? I'll try. Su Xia's expression remained unchanged, and she walked to the flat ground behind. At this time, the players who were surrounded felt puzzled. Why did these NPCs gather them together? Aren't NPCs just tool people who provide tasks? Su Xia chose a player who looked more honest and asked, Young man, tell me, where do you come from? The player looked weird and said, You are really weird. I am? Don't you know? A bunch of obscure and unusual language was mixed in his words making it impossible to get any useful information at all. Su Xia understood. All information related to specific content such as Earth and Game will be harmonized by the system. In this way, everyone in the camp will not know that they are living in a game world, so they will feel strange or even scared by these players who suddenly appear. Later, Su Xia asked the player to try another method. Young man, can you draw your hometown? My family is. You? This player was quite patient. After complaining for a few times, he squatted on the ground and started drawing a world map of the earth with a branch. But soon, his expression changed. Why can't I control my hands? He held his right hand holding the branch tightly with one hand and tried to forcefully draw a map of the world. But no matter how he drew it, what he drew was a mess. Su Xia stood aside quietly and witnessed the whole process. The system master is very thoughtful and has blocked any method of revealing information about the earth. Finally the player realized the problem, threw away the branch in his hand, stood up and sighed. It's not that I don't want to tell you, but doesn't allow it. May I have your name? My surname is Lin, and my name is Lin Shan. What about you? My name is Bei Feng. Bei Feng? It looks a bit familiar. Lin Shan felt like he had heard this name somewhere. He scratched his head, thought for a few seconds, and suddenly slapped his forehead, thinking of the game promotional video that had just been released last night. Is that you? Are you Commander Bayfong? He asked excitedly. Were you captured by a robot before and escaped recently? Hey, have you heard of the legendary story of the Commander? Xiong Wei next to him took two steps forward. Certainly, Lin Shan was excited. Commander Bayfong in the promotional video was so handsome. He was dressed in armor. Decisive in killing. Brave and resourceful. Such a character was destined to live to the end. This NPC will most likely affect the development of the main line of the game. As long as you follow him. Will you worry about not getting any missions in the future? When he thought of this, Lin Shan immediately imitated the tone of the team members in the promotional video and said sincerely, Commander, I am willing to fight side by side with you. Chapter 29 Horror Shadow How come such weirdos have heard of the commander's story? Xiong Wei's eyes flickered, and he silently raised Su Xia's level by one level in his heart. He and Su Xia have a mutually beneficial relationship. The higher Su Xia's prestige, the more beneficial it is to him. In fact, Su Xia didn't expect that the promotional video would have such a big impact on the players. At this time, Lin Shan asked excitedly, Commander, do you have a task for me? Good guy. You're welcome to start asking for tasks just after we met. Su Xia was about to refuse. After all, he hadn't understood the task mechanism yet. But a series of prompts suddenly popped up in front of him. Facing new players. Brutally destroying them may be a good choice. You can issue tasks to players. You can get a certain amount of TN particles every day to reward players who complete tasks. The amount is based on your own combat effectiveness. You can also distribute your own TN particles and other owned items as rewards to players. In front of Su Xia, the titanium particle quota provided by the game system appeared for him. The current quota is 5,000. It's a pity that he can't use these titanium particles himself. The trumpet is also restricted. Since it can only be used by players, we must cultivate some confidence. Looking at these guys in front of her, Su Xia thought a lot. The current Oasis campground is no longer safe. 
The hidden Zerg crisis is just one of them. Players will communicate with each other. It won't be long before outside players will know about the existence of the Oasis camp. If outside players join the mechanical camp, the news will be known to the mechanical tribe. The rest of the rebel gathering areas are facing the same situation. The arrival of players directly breaks the original balance of this world and brings the next war one step closer. The human race can no longer tolerate development and must face war head on. Huge pressure and urgency hang over the entire human race. And these players, who are not afraid of death, are the key factors for victory. Thinking of this, Su Xia put her hands behind her back and asked Lin Shan in an extremely serious tone. Lin Shan, are you willing to fight for the human race? I do. Lin Shan immediately changed his expression to a serious one. He originally planned to deal with it and cheat the mission early. But suddenly a strange sense of honor and epicness arose in his heart. Seeing this, Xiong Wei walked up to Su Xia and asked in a low voice. Commander, what do you think we should do with these weirdos? Let them move freely. Su Xia had no choice but to say this. The players are all lawless, and there are no restrictions at all. It is better to clear things up than to block them. And we can only guide them slowly. At this moment, a guard hurried over and said in Xiong Wei's ear, Boss, that child may have been killed. Xiong Wei's expression suddenly changed and he asked, Why do you say that? The guard replied, We only found a bloody shoe. What happened? Su Xia asked. It's Ba Xu's child. Xiong Wei was filled with worry. When we had dinner tonight, the child never came back. Ba Xu was a little worried and asked me to help look for him. But now, Ba Xu, Xu Cheng, is the mechanical repairman who repairs Su Xia's armor. Xiong Wei took the shoe from the guard's hand and handed it to Su Xia. The entire shoe was stained brown with blood and was almost torn in half by some strange force. It was hard to imagine what happened to the child. Where did you find the shoes? Su Xia was alert, thinking of the Zerg hidden in the camp. This is the nature of bugs. They prefer weak prey. Injured people, as well as underage children, are weak in the eyes of bugs. Commander, only you, me, and a few guards know about it now. Xiong Wei lowered his voice. I suspect it might be these weirdos who did it. But these weirdos look weak. And the child, he carries the self-defense mechanical weapon that Boss Xu gave him with him. And no normal adult can hurt him. Take me to where the shoes were found. Su Xia's face was heavy, and she clutched her blood-stained shoes tightly. The old guy Su Yun Song was of a very high level, and had strong self-control. He had to hold back several times when he passed by the hot spring room. It probably wasn't him. But it's hard to say about other bugs. Low-level bugs have low IQs, and low self-control. The place where the shoes were found is in the forest in the southeast corner of the camp. We left two people there to guard them. The guard led the way for the two and said as they walked. The sky was dark. And it was okay to have lights in the camp. But it was pitch black in the forest, and you couldn't see your fingers. Towering trees covered the sky. And even the moon couldn't be seen when looking up. The crisscrossing roots locked in moisture. And the soil underfoot was moist and soft. Making it easy to leave footprints. This area was originally very safe. But because of this sudden bloody incident, it became more frightening and weird. There seemed to be deformed monsters that chose people to eat in the surrounding darkness. The group of people gradually moved away from the camp, and the world behind them was swallowed up by the cold darkness. After more than 10 minutes, several people arrived at the top of a higher slope. Here, you can clearly see a pool of residual blood. The shoes were found here, and there is nothing else, the guard said. The surrounding low shrubs have broken marks, which may be some kind of large animal. But we did not find the animal's footprints. Only these, he squatted down, illuminated the ground with a flashlight, and pointed at the triangular depressions on the ground. These depressions, deep or shallow, are imprinted in the soft soil and extend forward into the unseen depths of darkness. Along the way, sporadic blood stains can be seen. Seeing these triangular depressions, Su Xia raised her vigilance to the extreme. She was almost certain that they were bugs. These are the traces of movement left by the insect's sharp exoskeleton limbs. By the way, why are you alone here? The guard suddenly asked. Didn't I leave you two behind? Where did the other guy go? That guy was brave enough to follow these triangular traces, said the man who stayed behind. At this moment, a scream suddenly came from the darkness in the distance. Ah, uh, hearing this voice, everyone was shocked. Xiong Wei and Su Xia looked at each other, took out their weapons at the same time, and ran towards the place where the screams came from. The death prophecy did not give a warning indicating that the enemy in the darkness did not have the ability to kill Su Xia. At the same time, 
Xiong Wei loudly ordered the guards at the rear. Everyone in the camp should pay attention and do not enter the forest tonight. As for those weirdos, those weirdos don't matter. Su Xia added. They are not afraid of death. Let them do whatever they want. Good. Xiong Wei nodded and was about to add two more points. But suddenly, a terrifying figure jumped out of the darkness at an extremely fast speed and took away Su Xia beside him in an instant. What the H L? Xiong Wei was horrified and stood on his head with hair all over his body. He just felt something flashing in front of him. He didn't even see the specific appearance of the other party. And then Su Xia beside him disappeared. Gone. Chapter 30. Pesticide. Commander, where are you? Xiong Wei held the flashlight tightly, feeling highly nervous, and his back was soaked with cold sweat. The level 3.1 psychic energy in his body was indeed powerful but it was not as good as the feeling of having the legendary commander Su Xia beside him. Without Su Xia, his sense of security suddenly dropped significantly. A few seconds later, there was a sudden explosion in the darkness of the jungle on the right. Boom! Psychic Blast. Su Xia's strongest active skill. If it is close, ordinary people will be directly shocked to death. And psychic creatures will not feel easy either. In the darkness, countless plants and trees were shattered and scattered. Broken branches and leaves flew everywhere. And soft soil and moss were also blown everywhere. Commander, I'm here to help you. Xiong Wei gritted his teeth and quickly ran towards the location of the explosion. He did not have complete armor. But his legs and arms had separate mechanical exoskeletons. He was running rampant in the jungle like a violent wild bear. But when he arrived, he only saw a large crater blown out by the psychic blast. And a piece of blood was spilled in the black crater. Su Xia and the mysterious enemy were already fighting further away. What shocked Xiong Wei was that the blood turned out to be green. What creature has green blood? As the manager of the Oasis camp, although Xiong Wei's knowledge is not as good as Su Xia's, he can still be said to be well informed. He instantly thought of the race hidden in the darkness the Zerg. It shouldn't be. The Zerg breed in remote corners of the wilderness. They usually don't take the initiative to attack the mechanical and human races. How could they sneak into the Oasis camp? This doubt flashed through Xiong Wei's mind for an instant. But it was too late to think about it at this moment. Time was running out. And facing this terrifying creature, he couldn't let Su Xia fight alone. Commander, the SH. Alas of these bugs are extremely hard. So be careful. Xiong Wei shouted a few words regardless of whether Su Xia could hear it or not. His head was covered with sweat, and he was anxious. Following the sounds and traces of the battle, he quickly rushed to the fighting area. There was a mess along the way, and the surrounding flowers, trees, and even the small animals resting under the soil were not spared. Hiss! An extremely hoarse and shrill scream suddenly sounded. The insect seemed to be seriously injured, and his voice was full of pain. Boom! Another psychic blast. What follows is a leaping slash. Xiong Wei saw a strange creature suddenly jump out of the jungle in front of him, and then hit the ground heavily. No, that's not a creature. Under the illumination of the flashlight, Xiong Wei saw Su Xia among the lightning flints. And at the same time, he also saw the insect pierced into the head by Su Xia's dagger. Su Xia held the dagger tightly, and actually used the skill to jump up with the struggling insect. Crack! This heavy blow to the ground completely penetrated the insect's head with the dagger. But it wasn't over yet. The insect's vitality was extremely tenacious. He just screamed a few times, and then started to fight back with its sharp limbs. The appearance of this insect is really terrifying. It has a pair of slanted triangular eyes full of fierceness. A deformed mouth that is split all the way to the ears. Rows of sharp teeth dripping with sticky solution. And four protrusions sticking out of its back. It has a twisted limb. Four limbs on its abdomen. And a tail covered with hard bone spurs behind it. What's even more frightening is that this insect is still wearing a broken guard uniform. This is also a fear parasite. Parasitizing a guard. But his level is not high. Not as good as the one that parasitized Su Yin Song. And his self-control is not strong enough. After sneaking into the camp, he always wanted to eat something. Today, Su Xia's arrival has completely stimulated this insect's appetite. In his eyes, a creature like Su Xia, which contains powerful spiritual energy but has fallen into a temporarily weak state, is a big moving tonic. The bug couldn't help it. So he used his simple mind to come up with this plan to lure Su Xia. The scream in the jungle before was caused by him on purpose. But what he didn't expect was that at the moment of the battle, the feeling of weakness Su Xia gave him disappeared and turned into a complete level 3.6 psychic creature. She kept suppressing him and beating him. 
in a very short period of time. He was severely injured. Beast, you still want to eat me? Su Xiao was furious, her face full of murderous intent. He punched away the limb that the insect was attacking, and then punched it hard in the abdomen. This bug is an exoskeleton creature with a hard black carapace on its back that is difficult to break. Now that Su Xiao was not wearing armor, she was just a body of flesh and blood. She could only gather spiritual energy on her fists and punch her soft belly one after another. The insect struggled wildly, screamed miserably, and spit out countless green puss with extremely foul odor from its bloody mouth. Crack! Su Xia took out the dagger and stabbed the dagger into the insect's lower abdomen with her backhand, and then tore a terrifying gaping hole in its abdomen. The intestines and intestines flowed all over the floor along with green pus, exuding a disgusting and disgusting smell. The insect's resistance began to weaken. His head was penetrated. His abdomen was torn apart. And what little life he had left was rapidly passing away. Xiong Wei rushed forward and pressed the insect's tail tightly, preventing him from any possibility of escaping. After more than ten seconds, the insect's limb stopped moving. But there was still a gurgling sound in its throat. After a few more seconds, there was no sound at all. Xiong Wei patted its tail cautiously, and then asked, Commander, is this insect dead? Not yet. He should still have a dying blow. What? Xiong Wei was surprised. He could still fight back after being like this? As soon as he finished speaking, the insect below actually started struggling as Su Xia said. He roared crazily, as if he was living a second life. And several sharp limbs kept attacking the two of them. If you are not prepared, you may be killed together by his temporary counterattack. This light return did not last long. After another moment, he stopped moving completely. Commander, is he dead this time? Well, he is indeed dead this time. Su Xia could confirm because he received a reminder. You killed the Zerg level 3.1 psychic creature, Ogre. You obtained Titanium Particles X2500. Your current Titanium Particles are upgraded to level 3, 185-1945. The Titanium Particle level has increased again. But Su Xia still doesn't feel too obvious about getting stronger. As a result of this battle, the surrounding area was devastated and no area was intact. Call. Su Xia let out a long breath and stood up from the insect's body. This body has been fighting since it escaped from the laboratory. And it is still fighting when it comes to the camp. There is no part of it that is not in pain. Xiong Wei held a flashlight in his hand and was about to take a closer look at the insect's body. But he was suddenly startled. He saw that there was a terrifying scar with blood flowing on Su Xia's abdomen. Commander, you are injured. Well, it's just a fatal injury. Just get used to it. Chapter 31 Weakness and Disguise On Su Xia's abdomen, there was a wound scratched by the tail of an insect. The flesh and blood were turned out and dripping with blood. The entire wound was 17 centimeters long. An ordinary person would have collapsed long ago. Xiong Wei quickly stepped forward, supported Su Xia, and said, Commander, sit down quickly. The people in the camp should be here soon. No, I can't sit down. Su Xia waved his hand, his face twitching in pain a few times. But he had to stand. He took a deep breath and said seriously, Mr. Xiong, give me your coat. You can't let someone know that I'm injured again. Some people? Xiong Wei was shocked. He was so smart and understood what Su Xia meant instantly. There are other bugs in the camp. He looked in the direction of the camp and felt a little chill in his body. Just one bug caused the legendary commander Su Xia to fight so hard. How should we deal with other bugs? In terms of superficial strength and prestige, Su Xia is the strongest in the entire Oasis camp. No other organizational leader can compare to him. Although there are several third-level psychic creatures in the camp, once a fight breaks out, at the same level, bugs and machines are stronger than humans because they have more tenacity and are less afraid of death. More importantly, bugs are social creatures. Once you find a few scattered ones, it means there is a bug nest nearby. Commander, can you still hold on? Xiong Wei is a smart man. He knows that he must stay calm at this time and not let the bugs sneaking into the camp see anything unusual. He immediately took off his coat and asked Su Xia to put it on. At that time, it was said that Su Xia's clothes were torn to pieces by the burst of psychic energy during the battle, which was really unsightly. Don't worry. I just need to rest for a few days. Su Xia put on Xiong Wei's coat, but the wound was still bleeding, and the clothes soon became red. Upon seeing this, Xiong Wei took out the dagger and cut his shirt on his abdomen with a stab sound, and then made a shallow but obvious scar. 
the gash would explain the blood on his clothes. At this time, more than ten flashlights appeared in the distance. The people from the camp finally arrived. After seeing these horrific traces of battle along the way, everyone's hearts were in suspense, and they couldn't help but worry about the safety of Su Xia and Xiong Wei. Are the commander and boss bear fighting a wild beast? What beast can be so fierce? In this scene, I believe it is a massive attack by the machine race. Before everyone in the camp arrived, Xiong Wei quickly took off the broken guard clothes from the insect. We cannot let ordinary people know that the bugs have used their parasitic ability to sneak into the camp. Otherwise the entire camp will fall into turmoil and unrest. An unstable camp may cause those bugs to spring into action. Seeing Xiong Wei's series of actions, Su Xia asked, It's not easy to manage a camp. Right. Oh, it's really not easy. But just get used to it. It's all for the sake of the human race. Xiong Wei sighed and folded the bloodstained guard uniform. He planned to take it back to the camp and promote the guard as a positive image, saying that he died fighting the Zerg. When everyone arrived at the scene of the final battle and saw the terrifying insect corpse, they all took a breath of air. Many people have never seen a real Zerg since they were born. Seeing it with their own eyes now, the terrifying and deformed appearance really frightened them. If they meet in the wild, just this appearance can make a timid person lose half of his combat effectiveness. After all, the mechanical race is almost all humanoid, and most of them are blue and white in appearance. With beautiful bodies, fighting with them won't cause too much psychological pressure. But this thing is too scary, like it ran out of a horror movie. Uh, someone cautiously stepped forward and knocked the insect on the head. Boss Bear, is this the Zerg creature mentioned in the information? Well, what do you think? Xiong Wei remained calm and asked this subordinate. The subordinate said bluntly, I feel like this guy should be very powerful. Yes, it is indeed powerful. Xiong Wei nodded calmly. But Commander Beifong is even more powerful. He easily put this thing away without even taking a breath. As expected of a commander. The subordinate's tone was respectful, and he looked at Su Xia with admiration. But soon, he saw the blood stains on Su Xia's clothes and couldn't help but ask. Commander, are you injured? No, that's my blood. Xiong Wei patted his belly. I wanted to help the commander, but I'm ashamed that I got a cut by the tail of this little bug. It's not a big problem. I can just go back and deal with it casually. The commander's clothes were torn in the fight, so he is wearing mine for now. Everyone's eyes were immediately drawn to Xiong Wei's belly, and they discovered the wound. Xiong Wei said it was no big deal. Let's go. Drag this body back, and give Boss Xu an explanation. Oh. Ba Xu is a miserable man. Losing a child in middle age is the most painful thing in the world. The lights were brightly lit in the camp, and many people came outside the machine repair shop, constantly comforting Xu Cheng. Some players are also communicating from a distance. What's going on? Why are all these NPCs gathered together? I heard that the repair shop owner's child died. How did you die? Killed by a monster. It's a terrible death. Is there any mission to kill monsters? There are many tasks in the camp but most of them are small and boring tasks such as picking wild vegetables, cutting down trees, and carrying stones. There are some small wild monsters of level 1 to 3 in the forest, but they are too troublesome to kill. This world is so real that many players don't want to enter the dark forest at night. When Xiong Wei appeared in the camp with the insect corpse, many players' eyes widened. Zerg? How come this kind of monster appears in the early map? Is there a bug in the game? Don't think too much. It should be a battle between NPCs and has nothing to do with us. This insect corpse is really eye-catching. Many players came over and took photos with the bug using the game's screenshot function. The residents in the camp took their children into the house to prevent them from seeing such a terrifying thing. Please give way. Please. Xiong Wei shouted a few times, led Chengzi through the crowd, and walked step by step to Xu Cheng. After hearing the news about the child, Xu Cheng's wife cried until she fainted. This middle-aged man silently guards his wife. His hair is gray, and his eyes are red and swollen. He looks much older, and most of his energy has been lost. The entrance to the pharmacy not far away. Su Yun-san was motionless, standing quietly like a corpse. His cloudy eyes moved slowly, scanning the insect's body, and then stopped on Su Xia's body. The Zerg's talent allows him to smell Su Xia's weakness. But why can such a weak Su Xia kill the level 3.1 Erger? Although that insect is stupid, it is not bad at strength. A wisp of doubt surged up, slowly suppressing the greed in Su Yunsong's heart. Chapter 32 A Commander, who is strong on the outside but capable on the inside. What Su Yunsong didn't know 
was that Su Xia had already used the last full status card. This is a cruel world. And death is everywhere. After lying in the hot spring for more than an hour, Su Xia barely recovered to level 2.7. There is still a long way to go. He and Xiong Wei walked to Xu Cheng's side and comforted him in a low voice. Boss Xu, my condolences are with you. Thanks. Xu Chum lowered his head and his voice was hoarse. Xiong Wei placed the insect corpse in front of him and stood aside silently. But corpses have many uses. The carapace can be used to make armor. The glands can extract psychic energy. The brain can be used for research. And the rest can also be used. In some cities, there are even rich people who use special parts of insects to make wine. The corpse of a high-level insect meant a small fortune. Normally, anyone who gets this body would be happy for a long time. But Xu Cheng's eyes were dim, and his heart was full of sorrow. He asked hoarsely, Mr. Xiong, please bury this body. I don't want my lover to see this thing when she wakes up. It will only make her more painful. Well, Xiong Wei didn't say much, bent down to pick up the insect's tail full of bone spurs, and dragged the body out of the repair shop. Later, Xu Cheng implored everyone to leave. It was getting late, and everyone understood that the middle-aged man needed to be alone. So they left one after another after comforting him. But Xu Cheng stopped Su Xia. Commander, the jet power of your armor has been repaired, and the mechanical modules of the left and right arms can also be used normally. Please come to the studio behind and try it. Good. Su Xiao looked calm, realizing that Ba Xu might have something to say, and immediately followed him to the studio behind the repair shop. There are many metal parts, mechanical semi-finished products, armor components, etc. placed in the studio. In addition, there are boxes of bullets, artillery SH, LS, psychic bombs, and other highly lethal items in the corner. Commander, are there more bugs in the camp? Commander, Please don't lie to me. Xu Chung walked to a set of black mechanical armor, held the corner of the table with both hands, suppressed the sadness in his heart, and lowered his head to ask. Well, that's true. Sure enough, I have heard people say that Zerg are social animals. Thinking of his dead child, Xu Chung felt sad. But the current situation forced him to cheer up. The murderers are still watching in secret, and the entire camp is facing unprecedented danger. Commander, you are the most powerful person in the camp. Do you have a chance of winning? Ba Xu should have the answer in his heart. Su Xiao lifted up her coat, revealing the terrifying scar. If there is a chance of winning, the entire camp should start killing insects now, instead of ending it hastily. I see. Xu Chun lowered his head, feeling powerless in his heart. The child's death brought him not only sadness, but also a desire for revenge. He wanted to get rid of all the bugs in the camp, but the enemy is too strong and even the legendary commander Beifong is not sure. Once an infestation breaks out, everyone in the camp may die, including his beloved wife. Can we just watch the camp fall? Commander, how long will it take for you to return to your strongest state? Why do you ask? I can upgrade your psychic armor to level 4 to provide you with the best technology and firepower. Xu Cheng's eyes turned red. But level 4 armor has great requirements on the user. Commander, if your the body is too weak, and may not even be able to withstand the explosive power of the armor itself. Okay, I will recover as soon as possible. Su Xia nodded and did not give a specific time. Judging from his recovery speed after soaking in hot springs, it may take two to three days, but he is afraid of an accident along the way. Boshu, when can I come and pick up this set of armor? Three days later, Xu Cheng's time was accurate. Before then, Commander, you can use the mechanical modules replaced by the old armor. These modules can still be used, but they do not meet the requirements of level 4 armor. Xu Chung didn't lie to Su Xia before. He had indeed repaired the armor's back mechanical module. In addition to the back module, the mechanical modules on the left palm, right palm, left calf and other parts can still be used normally. But these items are all manufactured to level 3 armor standards. Su Xia can temporarily use these separate modules, which is better than nothing. Once he fully recovers to level 3.6, and puts on complete level 4 armor. He won't have to worry about those bugs anymore. Xu Chung handed the drawings of level 4 armor to Su Xia and asked Su Xia if she had any intention to change it. Overall, level 4 armor will be larger than level 3 armor because it needs to increase firepower, place more missiles, and add more complex functions, such as stronger life support systems, underwater protection, poison gas protection, radiation protection, etc. Wait. After looking at the drawings, Su Xia shook her head. 
boss you. Just follow the instructions above. I have no objections. Okay. I'll do my best. Level 4 armor is the limit of Xu Cheng's ability. He needs to use what he has learned throughout his life. At the same time, in a hidden wooden house, a meeting about the survival of the camp was being held. Xiong Wei sat at the head of the long conference table with a heavy heart and recounted in detail what had happened before. The participants were all key managers of the Oasis camp and before joining the meeting, they all cut their palms to determine whether they were red human blood. The insect's body was not buried but was lying on the long table. The chandelier on the top of the secret room swayed slightly. Under the pale light, everyone's face looked unhappy. Boss Xiong, are you sure? This bug is so strong? Someone asked, didn't you say that Commander Beifeng easily solved this thing? I said that for the sake of the stability of the camp. Xiong Wei sighed, how is the commander doing now? The commander was seriously injured in the previous siege and was tortured in the laboratory for a period of time. After escaping, he continued to fight all the way. The situation is very bad now. Xiong Wei looked complicated and spoke quite conservatively. In fact, he felt that Su Xia might not have the strength to fight anymore. He saw the large and small injuries all over Su Xia's body. From her back to her front, there was not a single piece of intact skin under her neck. It felt like it was a miracle that Su Xia was still alive. Are there really more bugs in the camp? Someone expressed hope. What if this is just a lone bug? Xiong Wei slowly shook his head. Don't deceive yourself and prepare for the worst. Hearing this, everyone in the congregation breathed a little tighter. The hideous and smelly insect corpse on the long table was like a mountain, weighing heavily on their hearts. Not even Commander Beifong can do it anymore. Chapter 33 These Insects No one knows that in a hidden corner of the camp, the bugs sneaking into the camp are also communicating. In addition to Su Yun Song, there are four living bugs in the camp the weakest of which has level 2.9 psychic powers, which can be said to be the leader of the entire camp. The death of a companion did not make them feel angry, but they just felt a little weird. Augur is dead. I heard the sound. It didn't take more than three minutes from the outbreak of the battle to the end. Su Yun Song said calmly, Xiong Wei can't keep where are. The only one who can do it is Commander Beifong. Three minutes. Several insects looked at each other and felt that this time was too short. The darkness and forest environment are beneficial to bugs. Their eyes can see more than humans. Even if the opponent is too strong, they can still find ways to use the jungle terrain to delay time or wait for an opportunity to escape. Unless Commander Beifong was at his best. And regardless of the risk of injury, he kept fighting in close quarters and clung to Urger. I smell the weakness of the north wind. A bug named Airy has a sharp voice and longing in his eyes. He licked his lips and said, you can't fake this kind of weakness. Maybe he has used up his last trump card. Let me try him. Don't act rashly. It's not yet time to take full action. Su Yun Song shook his head slightly. That adult has not completed the breakthrough yet. Be cautious. Just attract Bei Fong into the jungle and kill him. Edgar thought so too. So he died. You old guy is so cowardly. A Rui stared at Su Yun Song closely and said unceremoniously. I'm always worried about this and that. When will it be possible? It will take a few more days for that adult to break through. Su Yun Song's tough tone was still for this reason. Of course, he also has some selfish motives. What if Beifong really uses up all his last cards? They all have their eyes on Beifong, the big walking cake, and don't want Beifong to be eaten by the other party. A Rui sneered. The Lord asked us to test the strength of the human race. Not just for complacency. If you want to die, then go ahead. Su Yun Song looked ugly, snorted coldly turned around and left. When are we going to accomplish anything with such a group of mentally retarded insects? Wrong. Damn it. I forgot. He is a bug himself. It's so uncomfortable. In the corner, a Rui stared at Su Yun Song's leaving figure with a gloomy gaze. And pieces of hard brown armor appeared on his arms. After Su Xia left the machine repair shop, she did not go to the hot spring for the time being. Instead, she went to the garrison area where Song Zhong's organization was located. A lot of supplies obtained from the Lame Wolf mercenaries were still piled in the warehouse. Su Xia needs to distribute these gadgets to the team members who are fighting all the way. Food, fresh water, etc. will not be distributed. If you want to eat, you can come to the warehouse to get it. Su Xia said to everyone, I have reached a cooperation with Mr. Xiong, the administrator of the Oasis camp. There will be no shortage of food and medical care in the future. The supplies will be left to Zhang Yu for safekeeping. She has the ability to heal 
and has learned some medical knowledge before. Do you have any objections? No comment. Everyone agreed in unison. Their voices harmonious. On the side, Zhang Yu smiled, crossed her hands in front of her, bowed slightly to everyone, and thanked them for their support. As for the weapons and ammunition, Su Xiao left it to Chang Pingyin to distribute. This young man's fighting ability is not weak, and he has a strong view of the overall situation. During the escape process, he proposed to cut off the rear several times, so he is very trustworthy. In order to deal with a potential insect crisis, Su Xia took several psychic weapons and special psychic ammunition. When it came time to distribute the rest of the supplies, everyone took what they needed. Yang Xiao Tu, who has the ability to read quickly, took away several books. Wai Yu Yofu took away some torture tools and a few candles. Finally, there are psychic potions. Everyone found a small box of precious psionic potions in the warehouse where the lame wolf mercenary hid supplies. There were 15 primary psionic potions and three intermediate psionic potions. After discussion, Su Xia took away three intermediate psychic potions and distributed the rest to some team members who were in urgent need. That's it. I still have things to do. So you guys should be prepared during this time. Su Xia reminded vaguely, a new storm is about to appear and the camp is no longer safe. Commander, there are some people in the camp who want to join us. Chang Pinon suddenly reported and gave a list. He explained, Most of them are for your name. Do you want to agree? Pingin, you make your own judgment. Su Xia directly delegated the power. Take it as long as you think you can. Come to me after you finish it. Good. Chang Pingin was very touched by this kind of trust. He looked determined and promised that he would not make any mistakes. After doing all this, Su Xia left the station and went to find a pharmacist. Su Yun Song is not the only pharmacist in the Oasis camp, but he has the highest status and qualifications. The pharmacist Su Xia found was named Wu Xiao Tian. He was quite young and could only refine second level potions. Xiao Tian, long time no see. Su Xia didn't know whether the commander's body could survive the hive crisis, so she wanted to develop the clone as soon as possible. Commander, why did you come to my place? Wu Xiao Tian looked happy and hurriedly moved out a stool and asked Su Xia to sit down. Like many young people, he admired the legendary North Wind commander. Shout Yan, I urgently need a potion formula now. Needless to say, commander, just take it. Wu Shout Yan immediately took out his best formula. This is the second level pharmaceutical formula ecstasy, which is effective for creatures with second level psychic powers and below. It can make enemies he fell into a coma within a short period of time. I can't take it for free. Su Xia didn't want to owe others any favors which would make him feel very uncomfortable. But Wu Xiaotian insisted on giving it away and kept pushing the formula into Su Xia's hand. After the two sides exchanged words, Wu Xiaotian had no choice but to say, Let's do this. Commander, can you help me teach the group of ground rats behind my house a lesson? They make so much noise every night that I can't sleep. Okay, I'll be right back. Su Xia got the mission, Whacking Mole, which required killing more than 20 moles and the reward was the potion formula. These gophers are scattered all over the forest. They have no psychic powers. Their titanium particle levels are between level 1 and 3. Their combat effectiveness is similar to the mutated gophers that a few roommates are fighting. There is a group of hard-working players who are fighting these gophers on the outskirts of the forest. There are very few players in the deeper parts of the forest, which is too dark. Su Xiao walked towards the area where monsters were spawned and put on some mechanical parts of the old armor as she walked. After seeing Su Xia, one of the player's eyes lit up. This player is Lin Shan. Previously, he had sworn to fight for the human race. He hurried over with a hopeful look on his face and asked, Commander, do you have a mission for me? No. Oh. Lin Shan scratched his head, wondering if he was not strong enough. In the distance, several of Lin Shan's teammates shouted, Xiao Shan, come quickly and kill the monsters. What are you talking about with that NPC? Lin Shan replied, I want to see if I can get a better mission. We are currently clearing up Wasteland. There will be no good tasks. Don't waste time. All right. Lin Shan sighed and planned to go back. Su Xia suddenly asked, How are these ground mice? Oh, it's too difficult to kill. Lin Shan answered truthfully, It took a long time for a few of us to work together to kill one. In the end, we could only get a few pitiful titanium particles. I don't know when we can upgrade. Haven't you got better equipment yet? Not yet. I have to gather 10 pieces of mouse skins before I can exchange them with a the merchant in the camp. 
Lin Shan sighed. I only got three pieces. I'm quite busy tonight. Well, I'll come in and pick up some things later. Pick something up? Lin Shan didn't know why and looked at Su Xia doubtfully. The next moment, his eyes widened. Under his shocked gaze, Su Xia suddenly flew up, like a steel monster, and slammed into the monster area in the distant forest. Chapter 34 How Did You Meet This Boss? Boom! The force of the impact mixed with the psychic impact, and the entire earth trembled. The players who were struggling to kill monsters were shocked and raised their heads. Heck! What was that black shadow that just flew by? Which god is going through the tribulation inside? A loud noise came from the deeper monster area, and those who didn't know thought it was the machine clan coming. The players were not afraid of death. They boldly walked towards the direction of the explosion, and soon saw a scene that shocked them. It was a deep pit with a pile of broken gopher corpses. To them, these ground rats are all boss-level monsters. It's okay to encounter level 1 monsters. But once they encounter level 3 monsters, the entire team is in danger of being wiped out. But at this moment, a man wearing half-body mechanical armor was killing people wantonly. Awesome. One punch to kill a ground rat is easier than killing a chicken. Where did this fierce man come from? This man's armor looks familiar. When you say that, it sounds familiar to me. He seemed to be the one who fell. Many players have seen the promotional video. And now that they have been reminded, they have started searching in their minds. Su Xia's armor at the moment was not complete. She only wore a small part of it and didn't even wear a helmet. It was somewhat different from the image in the promotional video. So many people didn't think of it for a moment. But some people with good eyesight still recognized it. It's the human commander. That's right. It's him. It's him. Some players started recording immediately, while others turned on the screenshot function. This is the character in the promotional video. And no one on the forum seems to have encountered other promotional video characters so far. Lin Shan also came to the scene. He was so excited that he couldn't help but rub his face and looked excitedly at Su Xia, who was like a god of war in the field. So much! What the commander mentioned before about picking up things was clearly picking up the corpses of these ground rats. So many corpses were enough for him to replace a complete set of novice equipment. At this time, Su Xia was receiving reminders one after another. You killed the level 1 jungle gopher and received 25 titanium particles. Your current titanium particle level is level 3, 210 1945. You killed the level 1 jungle gopher and obtained 25 titanium particles. Your current titanium particle level is level 3, 235 1945. It is indeed too slow. It feels very slow for him to sweep through and kill like this. Players will have to wait until the year of the monkey to level up. Su Xia needs higher level monsters. But he doesn't have much time to scan the map now. 20 ground rats were quickly decapitated. But Su Xia did not stop and cleaned up the surrounding area, uncovering a hidden rat nest. After doing all this, his titanium particle level could be raised to level 4 and a half. He stopped next to the rat's nest with an indifferent expression and waved to Lin Shan. Lin Shan couldn't wait any longer and shouted, Come on! Next comes the joyful work of collecting corpses. Game companies have done a good job in this regard. Players can reduce their discomfort by adjusting the blood level of the game, and even change the color of the blood they see in front of them. Some timid players have changed their blood to green, paint, color, etc. Seeing Lin Shan so happy, the other players were a little moved, but due to Su Xia's presence, they could only watch him collect the body. Several of Lin Shan's teammates hurriedly posted messages on the team channel. Xiao Shan, how do you know this boss? Does this big guy still need a pendant? I can hang it on his thigh. It's not impossible to hang it on other parts. Lin Shan's mouth twitched when he saw the words in the team channel. From the perspective of a friend, he can indeed introduce these guys to Su Xia. But he was afraid of causing Su Xia's resentment. After all, Su Xia is a legendary commander and must be very busy. How can she be in the mood to meet a few ants who have just entered the game world? Lin Shan felt that he was just getting a bargain. As the commander looked down upon the corpses of these gophers, some players bravely stepped forward and tried to talk to Su Xia. Commander, I have heard of your legendary story, and I want to join your organization. But Su Xia's answer was very direct. He said with a straight face and seriously, Young warrior, your body is not strong enough yet. Please practice for a while and come to me again. All right. Some players left in frustration. But there were also players who refused to give up and tried dialogue again and again. During the conversation, Su Xia discovered more functions of NPC templates. For example, 
he can freely adjust the intimacy level with a certain player. Currently, the intimacy level with all players is zero. He can also sell the items on his body. But he currently only has a few psychic weapons. Bombs, potions, etc. Besides these are the modules of these old armors. This set of three level armor modules cannot be sold until level four armor is obtained. Su Xia put the three primary psychic potions obtained in the previous mission in her personal store. And then set the intimacy level to 20 before purchasing them. So that these players could get addicted first. When a player saw the contents of the store, he couldn't help but exclaim, Damn it! Psychic potion. It really does exist. High end upgrade route. As long as you have psychic power. Even if it is only level 0 0.1 psychic power. It is possible to awaken a psychic talent. One more talent means one more skill. Once you get lucky and awaken a certain talent that is incredible, the value of this account will skyrocket. And it may be sold for a sky-high price. All the players present were excited and stepped forward one after another to see the true appearance of the psychic potion. Looking at these hungry guys, Su Xia took half a step back speechlessly. If he threw a potion out now, these guys might not start a fight on the spot. Or it might even turn into the most tragic bloodshed since the server started. Some players couldn't help but ask, how can I increase the intimacy level? Can I accept him as my adoptive father? Su Xia. He glanced at the nickname above the player's head and found that his nickname was Strong General Lu Bu. This guy seems to be from the same studio. And there are legendary figures such as General Xing Durong and General Pan Feng. Next to him, Su Xia's purpose of taking action this time has been achieved. And many players are aware of his existence. He said to Lin Shan with a serious face, Young man, Remember what you said? Fight for the human race. Yes, I will definitely live up to my oath. Lin Shan immediately stood up straight and made a vow. Su Xia nodded with satisfaction. Yes, not bad. After that, he directly raised Lin Shan's intimacy level by five points. After doing all this, he no longer stayed, left the crowd with a single jump, and then walked toward the pharmacy alone. Seeing this scene, many players' thoughts changed and they couldn't help but secretly guess. Is it okay to just promise the commander to fight for the human race? This small idea began to take root in the hearts of many players. Although Su Xia has left, legends about him are still circulating in the forum. The first appearance of Psychic Potion caused an uproar on game forums, and more and more players began to desire this high-end route. At the same time, screenshots and videos of him easily killing monsters have also been uploaded to game forums allowing many players to appreciate the power of NPCs for the first time. One of the posts with a weird title has been ranked among the top five most popular posts. Shock! Why do hundreds of gophers scream in the middle of the night? Chapter 35 Dad When you click on the post, you can see Su Xia's war god figure. I have never seen anyone kill a mouse with such a momentum. This boss is so handsome. He's even more handsome than in the promotional video. He can kill cockroaches with great momentum. Do you have his character panel? What level of NPC is this? There are screenshots below. See for yourself. Someone has long released screenshots of Su Xia's character panel. But at this stage, the player level is too low and his detailed data cannot be seen at all. At a glance, the panel is full of question marks. Commander Beifong appeared so early. He was the first NPC to appear in the promotional video. He must be a character who affects the development of the main line of the game and he also has psychic potion in his hand. So he has to find a way to hug this thigh. While the discussion on the forum was in full swing, Su Xia had already obtained the potion formula and transmitted it to the clone. The commander account stayed in the hot spring room and continued to soak in the hot spring. The clone went to find his father with the formula. Su Xia borrowed some psychic power from the main body, adjusted the clone's psychic power level to 0 0.1 to ensure that the psychic talent could be used, and then knocked on the door of Dad's pharmacy. Dong dong dong. Who? An old voice came from the store. Su Xia said sincerely, Hello. I want to become a pharmacist apprentice. Get a potion recipe. And Dad will consider making you an apprentice. Already got it. Huh? The Vermilion store door slowly opened. A skinny old man came out. He is not tall. With thin cheeks. He wears a pair of old-fashioned small round glasses without temples. His gray hair is messy. His brown shoes look like they haven't been taken care of for a long time. He is wearing indigo trousers and a jacket. Yellow vest. Name, Dad. Race, human race. Camp. Psychic level. Tianan particle level. 
Character description, a weird old man. Just call me dad? It would be too hasty. Su Xiao looked at the long list of question marks, and knew clearly that this father was also a hidden boss. The race is clearly human. So there is no need to worry about insect parasites. Dad took the potion formula from Su Xiao's hand, raised his glasses, glanced at it casually, and asked casually, Have you awakened your psychic talent? Awakening! Su Xiao nodded, feeling that something was going on. Tell me about the effect. All poisons produced can have additional effects. Yes. Come in. Dad calmly threw the formula of ecstasy to Su Xia. Then turned and walked back to the pharmacy. Is this done? Su Xia put away the formula. She didn't expect it to go so smoothly. She immediately followed her father and walked into this mysterious pharmacy. As soon as he walked in, he smelled a strange medicinal smell. Various bottles and jars were randomly placed on the old shelves in the store. Some jars were filled with deformed animal parts. Others were filled with precious herbs. And there were also some things that Su Xia could not recognize. On the surrounding walls, there are many animal head specimens hanging. On the counter were a dried pufferfish and a lizard. Dad casually threw a few basic formulas to Su Xia and said, Learn it yourself. If you really don't understand, ask again. Okay. Su Xia nodded immediately. He was a player account, and there was no way he could not learn it. As long as there is a recipe, he can learn it in seconds. Dad likes peace and quiet, so don't make a scene in the store. No problem. One more thing, Dad added casually. I have two students. One is called Hong Bafu, and the other is Lan Bafu. You can talk to them more. I see. Su Xian nodded repeatedly. Dad's two students are very interesting. The one named Hong Bafu is good at making healing potions, while Lan Bafu is good at making temporary psychic potions. These two guys were tinkering with new potions in the corner. Their faces full of concentration. By the way, there's one more thing. Dad stretched out his hand and gestured. Dad doesn't like robots. I understand. I don't like it either. It seems that this old man is from the neutral camp. Although he lives in a city ruled by robots, he has not turned to the mechanical tribe. After finishing his lines, Dad returned behind the counter and made himself a cup of coffee leisurely, ignoring the students. Well, the enviable leisurely life of old age. Su Xiao went to the corner and got to know the other two apprentices briefly. Both of them were very enthusiastic and welcomed Su Xiao's arrival and helped Su Xiao clear out a personal medicine refining space for him. Afterwards, Su Xiao began to look at the three potion formulas given to him by his father. Healing Potion, Elementary, Level, First Level Medicine, Description, Healing Items, Materials Required, Level 1 Worm Liver, Red Dates, Longan. Carrots. Temporary Psychic Potion. Elementary. Level. First Level Medicine. Description. Temporarily Replenishing Psychic Energy. Materials Needed. The first one restores blood. And the second one restores psychic energy. The last one is poison. Primary Poison. Level. First Level Medicine. Description. Life Again Medicine. Materials Required. Zerg Venom Glands. Blood or Powder. Grass Black. Black Cat Hair. Effect. Effective for creatures below level 1 psychic energy or level 10 titanium particles. Invalid for machines. All the items needed to refine this poison can be found in dad's apothecary shop. But things are not free. You need to write an IOU to your father. When you have learned a lot in the future, you can make money by selling potions to repay the IOU. Su Xia clicked on learn and learned all three potions and ecstasy. Immediately afterwards, he started looking for materials in the store. The Zerg Venom glands are here. He found soaked level 1 Zerg Venom glands in a jar. The first thing to be refined is naturally poison. Su Xiao wants to see how powerful this clone's talent, gentleness of death, can be. Behind the counter, Dad took a sip of coffee, raised his head, and glanced casually at Su Xiao's figure looking for materials. He raised the small round mirror on the bridge of his nose and reminded lightly, Don't be too impatient. It has only been a few minutes, and you want to make a medicine? Do you really think it is so easy to become a pharmacist? It's just a try. Su Xia replied with a smile. Only through practice can you get true knowledge. Humph. Remember to pay the IOU. Dad looked away and blew the hot air on the coffee gently. Young people today are becoming more and more confident. Which is not a good sign. In the corner, another apprentice, Lan Bafu, said with a troubled expression. Brother Su, why don't you get familiar with the formula again? These materials are very expensive. This guy was very confident at first. 
but he failed more than 20 times on the first day, and his subsequent failures were even more numerous. He still owes his father a huge sum of money, and he probably won't be able to pay it off in this lifetime. Chapter 36 The Old Man Who Bullies His Apprentice Dad's Pharmacy In the corner of the store, Su Xia's personal operating table is filled with various instruments and materials. Wearing gloves, he carefully used the key to take out a little bit of blood or powder. Followed the principle of one tilt, two delivery, three upright. Carefully put it into the bottom of the test tube, and then made the test tube stand upright. Hong Bafu and Lan Bafu both stopped their movements and carefully observed the operation of the newcomer Su Xia. It takes a long time to learn and become familiar with a recipe, even if it is just a basic formula. A normal apprentice cannot master it in a short time. But Su Xia's operation seemed to be very skillful. The ratio of various materials was neither too much nor too little. And every step was very safe. The two of them couldn't help but wonder. Could this newcomer named Su Xia be another potion? An undercover agent said by the store. Right. In fact, there is a one-click synthesis button on the player panel. When this button is pressed, the player will enter a cutscene and see their character skillfully mix potions based on various materials. The success rate is a little higher than that of NPC beginners. In addition to this one-click synthesis, players can also choose to do it yourself and actively control the character to match potions, which has a higher success rate. Su Xia chose to do it herself. When he started to act, his limbs were extremely coordinated. There was no nervous hand shaking, and the entire operation was smooth and smooth. As a top student, he found it not too difficult. Just like a chemistry experiment, when he almost made a mistake at a certain step, Lan Bafu's finger tapped on the table next to him, reminding Su Xia. Hearing this voice, Su Xia's eyes moved slightly, and she nodded slightly. Except for this accident, the rest of the process was nearly perfect, and a fresh poison was quickly produced. Affected by the tenderness of death. Talent. This poison is 11% more toxic than normal. You can really succeed in one attempt? Lan Bafu swallowed his saliva. Brother, are you really not the undercover sent from next door? Although he reminded him, he didn't expect Su Xia to succeed in the first attempt. No, maybe it's just luck. Su Xia smiled and shook the small medicine bottle in her hand. The liquid inside turned turbid and dark red. When facing the enemy, you can directly smash this small bottle out, causing the negative effect of poisoning the enemy, reducing the enemy's combat effectiveness, and causing the enemy to continue to lose blood. Huh? Dad stood up from behind the counter and let out a light sigh. He put down the coffee in his hand, walked to Su Xia, raised his glasses and said, Let me take a look. Teacher, look. Su Xia handed over the small medicine bottle. Dad took the bottle, sat casually on the glass cabinet next to him, put the bottle in front of his eyes and looked at it carefully. Then, he actually opened the mouth of the bottle, put the bottle of poison to the tip of his nose and smelled it. Lan Bafu complained in a low voice. Teacher, what you are doing is wrong. Can't you put your nose to the mouth of the container? You should gently fan the mouth of the bottle with your hand. And this is a bottle of poison. Dad raised his eyebrows and asked seriously, Are you the teacher or am I the teacher? Do you want to fight with Dad? Lan Bafu shrank, lowered his head and whispered, You are the teacher. You have the final say. Humph. Dad snorted twice, stretched out his hand, and slapped Lan Bafu on the head. He returned the potion bottle to Su Xia and said calmly, It's barely okay. But that's it. It's no better than the first dose of poison refined by my father. Don't be arrogant or complacent. Otherwise you won't be able to bear the consequences of future failures. Strike. I remember it. Teacher. Don't worry. Just remember. Never doubt what dad says. The father looked indifferent. Then turned and walked towards the counter. The old man didn't seem to care about Su Xia's learning progress. But from an angle that the apprentices couldn't see, the corners of his mouth turned up slightly. In the corner, Hong Bafu and Lan Bafu began to discuss their experiences with Su Xia. The level of the two pharmacists is not weak. They can make third level potions. And they are enough to be called master outside. But perhaps because they were reluctant to part with their father's pharmacy. Or because they owed their father too much money. Neither of them started their own business. But continued to be apprentices to their father. As for the level of their father's refining medicine. Neither of them knew it. Dad was able to refine fourth level potions when he was very young. Hong Bafu looked admiring. He was a chubby fat man who occupied half of the corner space alone. At our age, 
Dad has long been a guest of various forces. Now he lives in seclusion here. Even the robots are very polite to him. Compared with their father's legendary life, both of them felt a little frustrated. After listening to what the two said, Su Xia's mind moved slightly, and she was sure that she was in the right place. This old man may be the strongest pharmacist in the entire Coral City, or even in a dozen cities around here, but his process of recruiting disciples was a bit too hasty, and he didn't even ask about his origins. What if he was really sent as an undercover agent? Are all strong men so willful? At this moment, Su Xia suddenly received a notification from her bracelet. It has been detected that your physical hunger on Earth is high. Do you want to return immediately? Seeing this news, Su Xia was shocked. Only then did he remember that he didn't even eat lunch today. In just one day, he has become the kind of person who plays games until he forgets to eat. Fallen. He immediately excused himself to learn another recipe. Ended the chat with the two of them. And hurriedly returned to the real world. Su Xia got out of bed and took out a box of Cantonese biscuits from her cabinet. The atmosphere in the dormitory was as usual. It has been two hours since the server started. And several roommates are still fighting in the mine. Except for Lady Few. The other four guys did not adjust the color of the blood. So their computer screens were all so bloody that they had to be mosaic. This guy Lady Few made the blood white. So the screen was filled with white viscous liquid. Making it look even more mosaic-like. How are you doing? Su Xia asked. Standing behind Lady Few while eating biscuits. It's difficult. I guess I have to fight until 2 or 3 in the morning to level up. Lady Few's eyes were slightly red. But his fighting spirit remained undiminished and his spirit was still high. Brother Su, have you read the forum? He asked while killing monsters. What are you looking at? Just now. A character from the promotional video appeared. It was the commander. Oh, I saw it too. Su Xia had expected it. So it was not surprising. This was the effect he wanted. The room director next to him. Yu and Shushia. Sighed. Oh, the novice map of the Oasis camp can only be reached by random arrival. Those guys are really lucky. I heard that there is already a guy who has been recognized by that NPC. He just took a lot of loot by himself. How envious. Gaming opportunities are rare things to come by. And several roommates in the dormitory could only sigh with envy. Lady Few suddenly remembered something and asked. By the way, Brother Sue, why haven't you come here yet? Did you encounter trouble on the way? No. Su Xia shook her head calmly. I joined the pharmacy and won't be here for the time being. Oh, what did you join? The Apothecary? Chapter 37 The Burning Town Lady Few took off his headphones and looked at Su Xia in surprise. He thought he heard wrong and asked again. Brother Su, you joined the pharmacy? Then you became a pharmacist apprentice? Well, that's right. Is it that dad's pharmacy? That's right. Su Xia nodded slightly. Took out a piece of Yu Liyu from the biscuit box and chewed it slowly. At this time, on his own computer screen, the clone of Evil Bubble was in the pharmacy, with his head lowered and motionless looking at the formula of the second level poison, Ecstasy, in his hand. Li Difu was shocked and couldn't help but get up and ask, Brother Su, how did you do it? I just went and asked. And then the father agreed to accept a disciple. Su Xia shrugged, saying that she didn't know. Huh? Hearing this answer, Li Difu was confused for a moment. Does this kind of thing depend on character? Oh, by the way, Su Xia seemed to suddenly think of something. Before he accepted me, my father said that I was handsome and had a good temperament, which reminded him of himself when he was young. Oh, can it still be like this? Li Difu sat down blankly and rubbed his plump face. It really makes no sense. Why are handsome people so popular in the gaming world? The other roommates also took off their headphones and cast surprised looks at Su Xia. The five veterans of the game had been shopping around for a long time without encountering an opportunity. But Su Xia, a newcomer, came across it as soon as he arrived. Is this the legendary luck of newcomers? Beginners can always win money playing cards. And novices can always catch big fish when fishing. Several people's moods were somewhat complicated. But soon, the director of the department, Yu and Shushia, discovered the business opportunity. Brother Su, can you make the lowest level of healing potion now? Can. How much does one potion cost? Let me see. The materials required for a primary healing potion are simple. Except for the small piece of Zerg liver. The rest of the materials are quite cheap. And the price is fixed at dad's place. The cost of a primary potion is actually only about 5 yuan. When Su Xia told several roommates about the price, they were so shocked that they all said, 
Holy shit. It's so cheap. Well, they are all ordinary materials. Brother Sue, do you know how much the primary healing potion from the merchant is? How many? 30 game coins. Lady Few hammered the table with heartache. Those profiteers recycle monster corpses for a very low price. A mutated mouse corpse can only be sold for three coins. We worked hard to kill the monsters for most of the day. I can't change a few blood-restoring medicines. And I wouldn't bear to use them under normal circumstances. Most of the time I just sit on the ground and slowly restore my blood. Well, the price is indeed too much. Su Xia thought slightly. Although there was a possibility of failure every time she made the potion. It would not be so much more expensive than the cost. The official game website has opened the exchange of real currency and game currency. Which is a normal 1-10 ratio. The initial mission of Bikini Castle Studio is to generate money, and then provide the game currency to those players who need it at a more favorable price. But, the current conditions for land reclamation are too difficult. The game currency earned by the studio is not enough for itself. Brother Sue, don't do anything now. You must improve your proficiency in refining medicine. Yu Shushio said. Don't worry about your level. We will help you upgrade later. Just lie down and eat titanium particles. That's it. Your soccerer is the most important thing now. That's right. Li Difu also said. Our studio has many old customers. And they have all joined the game. We will not worry about sales when the time comes. The birth of a subcareer directly changed the early positioning of the studio. Several people were worried that Su Xia would be dissatisfied. And said that they would definitely let Su Xia get the maximum share. And they would only make some hard-earned money from promoting customers. Su Xia had no objection to this and agreed on the spot. After finishing his meal, he crawled back to his upper bunk. After all, it was uncomfortable to be separated by a computer screen. Su Xia thought for a while, closed the bed curtain, then activated the bracelet and traveled directly. Anyway, whatever happens in this world, the bracelet will remind him. The pharmacy was still so quiet. A strange medicinal smell lingered in the tip of the nose. Su Xia took a few deep breaths, then cleaned her workbench, preparing to try to make healing potions and temporary psychic potions. But at this moment, Dad suddenly called the three of them over. Dad has a task for you to do. Teacher, please tell me. Hong Bafu, as the oldest student, stood in front of the three of them, lowering his head respectfully. You guys send something to Stone Town. Dad picked up a small box from his feet and opened it. Inside was more than a dozen potions of different colors. He patted the box and said, This is what Shirtujilua Pharmacist asked me to make. You three brothers should go for a trip and don't get lost. Yes, we will definitely deliver it. Among the three, the Hong Bafu has 1.8 level psychic power, and the Blue Bafu has 1.6 level psychic power. With Su Xia's apparent level 0.1, their combat effectiveness is not weak. Stone Town is very close to Coral City, so there should be no accidents along the way. The three of them said goodbye to their father, hugged the box, and walked out of the pharmacy. They took an old tram and passed through the old city at a gentle speed. The night was dim outside the car window. Most of the local residents had already rested. There were still some hard-working players carrying out reconstruction tasks. The blurry lights were like fireflies left behind by the war, flickering on the ruins below. Everything looked calm and peaceful, as if the war was far away. After leaving the main city, they changed to a rusty old long-distance bus. Apart from the driver, there were only three of them in the car. The roads in the suburbs are dilapidated, with weeds growing wildly in the cracks. Many of the S.H. L. craters left after bombing were simply filled with soil. So the journey was very bumpy. Just when they were about to arrive at Stone Town, a burst of fire suddenly jumped into the eyes of the three people. What's going on? Why did Stone Town catch fire? Hong Bafu squinted his eyes and looked ahead. It's those damn wandering mercenaries. The middle-aged driver's expression changed. I can't go any further. Do you want to get off here? Or do you want to go back with me? Wandering mercenary. Su Xia was confused. Stone Town is under the jurisdiction of Coral City and is very close to the main city of Coral City. How dare these wandering mercenaries do this? When they thought of their master's instructions, the three of them got off the car without hesitation. Uncle, please wait for us at a distance. Hong Bafu took out two bills and showed his pharmacist identity certificate to the driver. Seeing this, the driver gritted his teeth and said, Okay, I'll wait for you behind. Don't make me wait too long. The driver didn't dare to stay here for fear of being targeted by the mercenaries. So he drove some distance back. The three of them continued to move forward. 
heading towards Stone Town. When they approached with the medicine box, a picture of purgatory on earth suddenly came into view. Fire. There was fire everywhere. The entire Stone Town was burning, and thick smoke floated under the night with a pungent smell. The wailing of the old man, the screams of women, the cries of babies, all kinds of sounds were intertwined in the fire, mixed with gunshots and arrogant laughter. Just at the entrance of the town, a ragged woman held her bloody child and cried in despair. The three of them were about to step forward and ask a few questions. But suddenly, a laughing mercenary rushed out from the other side with a flamethrower on his back, and the blazing fire released instantly swallowed up the woman and her dead child. A shrill scream of pain came from the firelight. Chapter 38 Rise Up A living person struggled in the fire screaming like a ghost. But the instigator was laughing wildly. Ha! Die! Die to me! There was a crazy smile on that twisted and ferocious face. Like a mad patient who had just escaped from a mental hospital. Seeing this tragic scene, the two brothers Hong Bafu and Lan Bafu were stunned. Their eyes widened. And they couldn't tell whether this was H, L or the world. What are you doing? Hong Bafu yelled. The anger in his heart overwhelmed the shock. And he rushed forward to rescue the woman. As a pharmacist, it is his job to save lives and heal the wounded. But the crazy mercenary didn't reply at all. He looked like a violent man who was in high spirits. His eyes were filled with scarlet bloodshot eyes. And he pointed the flamethrower at the running Hong Bafu. Little fat man, try grandpa's barbecue. He laughed arrogantly, his mouth full of blackened teeth, with fresh flesh and blood remaining between the teeth. With the sound of boom, the fire spurted out and the raging tongues of fire rushed towards the great beatitudes with deadly high temperature. Hong Bafu's eyes were red, and he gritted his teeth. You damn guy! His fat body was actually very flexible, and he jumped to the side to avoid the fire. At the same time, he held several turbid potions in his left and right hands, and his body rotated rapidly, like a spinning top, continuously throwing out the potions in his hands. Boo 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 dash! Several potions left faint after images in the firelight. The mercenary couldn't dodge and was hit one after another. Taking several steps back, the glass test tube containing the medicine shattered, and the turbid solution inside spilled all over him. He laughed a few times and wiped the solution on his body casually. Ha! Little fat man, you only have this ability. Come here and let Grandpa take good care of you. Before he finished speaking, he suddenly felt uncomfortable breathing. Cough. Ahem. He clutched his neck. His face flushed. His eyes widened, and he fell to the ground with a thud. His respiratory tract seemed to be burning with fire, and his inhaled and exhaled breath became extremely hot. Every breath he took was excruciatingly painful, and the pain was becoming more and more intense, spreading to his lungs little by little. He looked uncomfortable and could no longer laugh. You damn fat man! What kind of medicine did you give me to cough? His body slowly developed, and finally he lay on the ground in a rickety posture and his entire lungs seemed to be burned out. The sound made by each breath can make people think of a shabby old bellows. Ho ho. This kind of pain is simply more unbearable than being cut into pieces by a thousand cuts. Although Hong Bafu is only good at making healing potions, he is also a third-level pharmacist after all. And he can make poisons anyway. This is a troubled world. And many thugs kill everyone on sight. So you must be careful. As he always carries some poison. He ignored the painful mercenary, and walked to the burning woman. After too long of delay, the woman had stopped struggling. Although there is still a faint breath of life, there is no way to save it. Feel sorry. Hong Bafu sighed softly, took out an exquisite silver pistol from his waist, and ended the woman's life with one shot. Su Xia and Lan Bafu walked forward and remained silent. The crackling sound of the fire echoed in the ears. The wailing and screaming in the town continued, and the faint cries for mercy could be heard. At this moment, more than a dozen old motorcycles roared out of the town and surrounded the three people. The man at first looked fierce. His face was full of scars, and one eye was gray-white, and he seemed to be blind. He glanced at the half-dead mercenary lying on the ground, then at the three people surrounded, suddenly turned over and left the motorcycle, and asked fiercely, Who hit my man? I. Hong Bafu was very responsible and walked out directly without any fear on his face. The man sneered, Bad man. Who gave you the courage? Who gave you the courage? Hong Bafu asked. This is the jurisdiction of Coral City. How dare you wandering mercenaries come in? Are you from the city? Pharmacist? The man's face showed a joking look. Do you think the city lord will care about this? What do you mean? 
Look what this is. He took out a document from the bag tied to the motorcycle and threw it to Hong Bafu. Hong Bafu caught the document and took a quick look, with an incredible look on his face. Su Xia and Lan Bafu came forward to take a look, and they were quickly shocked by the contents of this document. This, it turned out to be a robbery permit. It was clearly written on it that the mercenary organization named Blood Red Mercenaries was allowed to plunder the surrounding problematic villages and towns, as appropriate, and there was a personal signature of the human city lord of Coral City at the end. The education Su Xia received from childhood made him seem incompatible with this broken mechanical world, not to mention the human traitors, bloody experiments, and refugee trafficking that were in the memory of the original owner. Su Xia has gradually accepted them, but this license to plunder really exceeded his cognitive level. The city lord of Coral City actually issued this kind of license to those extremely vicious wandering mercenary organizations, allowing them to legally rob in various small villages and towns. What kind of rubbish world is this? How can ordinary people live? The city lord signed his name generously, indicating that he was not worried about being known by ordinary people at all. And he stopped acting. Doing so will not help the rule, and will only make the residents of these small villages and towns live in constant fear. However, the wandering mercenary organization in the wilderness will gradually grow and become more and more fat. Pay attention to this permit. Look carefully. You can't just choose the target of robbery. It must be a village or town with problems. The man sneered. This town is full of people who resist the organization. I'm just helping the city lord. Just clean up some of it and get some rewards along the way. How dare you assume that they are all members of the resistance organization? Hong Bafu asked while holding back his anger. Fat man. My words are the truth. He lit a cigarette, took a deep breath, and flicked the ashes away. Then, he took back the license and said calmly, Since you are a pharmacist from the city, I will keep your lives. Otherwise, it will be difficult for the city lord to explain. Keep the box of medicine in your hands, and then you can get out. After that, he took out a shotgun from the motorcycle and pointed the cold muzzle at the wailing subordinate covered in poison. After a bang, a bloody hole burst out of the man's brain and he fell limply to the ground. He put away the shotgun, closed his eyes, and took a deep breath of the smoke and blood, with a look of enjoyment on his face. Then, he opened his eyes, and looked at the three of them coldly. What? Why don't you get out? Chapter 39 Alloy Storm I can also leave your lives here, but it will be more troublesome to explain to the city lord. Just say that you insist on blocking it. I think the city lord will be considerate. He sneered a few times, and stared at Su Xia, and the others indifferently with his only remaining eye. Hong Bafu gritted his teeth, raised his head and looked at the one-eyed man for a moment. Feeling a great pressure, this person is stronger than him. Moreover, several mercenaries around him have psychic powers. These murderers do not hide their psychic fluctuations. As the oldest student, Hong Bafu must think about the lives of Lan Bafu and Su Xia. Although there is a lot of anger in his heart, he can only endure it now. He clenched his fists, suppressed his anger and said, Let's go! Uh-huh. Lan Bafu's character is more reserved. Although he is a little angry, he does not want to fight against these vicious mercenaries. Su Xia said nothing and remained silent. He seemed a little timid and followed the two men silently. The one-eyed man licked the corner of his mouth and said to Su Xia, Little guy, it's right to be a tortoise. Only by talking less can you survive. Su Xia remained silent, but borrowed more spiritual energy from the main body and read all the information about the one-eyed man. Name, Shun Ze. Race, human race. Faction, wilderness wandering mercenaries. Psychic level, level 2.0. TNN particle level, level 3. Remaining life, 99%. Active skills, super defense. Tearing slash. Passive skills, none. Psychic talent, precision sniper. Character description, he was once a comedy actor. But he was unwilling to live a mediocre life so he dedicated his wife and daughter to the boss of the original Blood Red Mercenary and became a loyal dog and then slowly climbed up, climbed into the position of master. According to the description, this is a man with no bottom line. He was able to let the three people go because he was afraid of the city lord. Pharmacists who can settle in the city have some connections. Once they die or disappear, it will cause a lot of trouble. As for the box of potions entrusted to me by my father, we can only stay where we are. In this way, the three brothers had to leave without even seeing Shirtuj and Lua pharmacist. That pharmacist Luo is probably in serious danger. The night wind blew gently, 
and the grass on both sides of the road undulated like waves. Su Xia and the other three returned along the road and saw the old-fashioned bus waiting in the distance. The driver was probably a little anxious, nervous and ready to run away at any time. After seeing the three of them, he finally breathed a sigh of relief. He greeted, Don't say anything. Get in the car quickly. Well, I'm here to help you. Uncle. Hong Bafu and Lan Bafu got into the car one after another. But at this moment, Su Xia suddenly said to the two of them, I'm feeling a little uncomfortable in my stomach. I need to go to the grass to sort it out. You two brothers, please wait for me in the car. I'll be back soon. Be careful. It's too dark and there may be wild animals in the grass. Hong Bafu warned. I understand. Don't worry. After Su Xia finished speaking, she hurriedly ran into the grass on the side of the road and soon disappeared. Burning Stone Town. The killing continues, and the screams and cries may continue throughout the night. The old mare's hands and feet were broken, and he was dying, covered in blood. He fell on the flower bed in the center of the town, helplessly watching the whole town turn into a sea of fire. Chin Zhe dragged a screaming young man to the old mayor and asked with a smile, Old man, is this your grandson? No, 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 please, please let him go. The old mayor was in great mourning and begged sadly, with tears rolling down his face. He struggled desperately, trying to get up and hug his crying grandson, but his hands and feet were broken, and he could only plead on the ground like a pitiful reptile. The smile on Chin Zhe's face became more and more ferocious and he stepped on the old mayor's head. Old guy, watch out! He pulled out his long knife and slashed across the young man's neck. The boy twitched a few times and then stopped moving. The hot blood splashed into the old mayor's cloudy eyes. He was despairing of all hope, and his desperate tears of blood slowly flowed into the burning earth. Chin Zhe laughed loudly, licked the blood-stained long knife, and threw away the boy's body. On the side, several mercenaries said with smiles, The boss is mighty! The boss is domineering. Chin Zhe laughed. Okay, keep playing. On the central road of the town, a laughing mercenary was riding a motorcycle and dragging a pair of bloody men and women with a rope behind the motorcycle. A child chased behind him and cried, Mom and Dad. The shouting was heartbreaking, and his eyes were already red and swollen from crying. Several mercenaries onlookers laughed and applauded to cheer the child. Run faster. Run faster. You're going to catch your parents. Ha ha ha. They cheered, raised their goblets with blood-stained hands, and drank merrily under the flames. Liu Yu, the only pharmacist in the town, was also dragged out by a mercenary. He is dead. When these cruel mercenaries insulted his pregnant daughter, he was so jealous that he rushed forward crazily, only to end up with their bodies separated. Gulyalu, pharmacist Luo's head rolled down beside the blood-stained flower bed. He refused to close his eyes and stared at the dark night sky. Death spreads along the fire in this small town. Madness, chaos and killing can be seen everywhere. And mutilated corpses are everywhere. If there were players with weak psychological quality here, they might not be able to bear it by now. If nothing else happens, this town will become history before dawn. But, a young pharmacist left and returned. Su Xia grew up receiving systematic education in a peaceful era, which is different from those who grew up in troubled times like Hong Bafu and Lan Bafu. Whether this is a game or the real world, these wandering mercenaries deserve to die. Previously, Hong Bafu had to think about Su Xia and Lan Bafu. Su Xia naturally had to think about these two people. So she let them go first. With a sullen face, he walked step by step into the town that was stained red with blood, borrowed all the power from his main body, and learned the skill, Alloy Storm, that was obtained by burning his life. After learning, all the metals in this area seemed to be alive calling him to fight for him. At this moment, Su Xia was sure. This skill is very powerful. Ridiculously powerful. Chun Zhe stood in the center of the high town, saw Su Xia, and said with a smile, Isn't this the timid little guy? He didn't dare to say a word just now. Why is he here alone now? I remember there was still some unfinished business. Su Xia's face was indifferent. She slowly walked to the center area and looked directly at Chun Zhe's one eye. Around them, more than a dozen members of the bloody mercenaries looked joking. Someone was playing with the firearm in their hand, deliberately pulling the slide so that Su Xia could hear the sound of loading. Someone else pulled out a dagger and used the silver dagger to reflect the firelight, shining the reflected light on Su Xia's face. Chen Zhe laughed loudly, lifted Yao Luo's head in front of Su Xia, 
and asked, Little guy, what else have you not finished? Chapter 40 The Extremely Evil Person The firelight flickered, reflecting the shadow of sin in Su Xia's cold eyes. You triggered the mission. The evil one. Task accepted. Task description. Fight violence with violence. The wandering mercenary organization in the wilderness is so rampant that every member's hands are stained with blood. It has become a cancer that must be eliminated. Please seek justice for those who died. Task reward one. Card that permanently increases all character attributes by 1%. Task reward two. Three minutes full status card X2. Mission reward three. Active skill. Metal explosion X1. A gust of hot wind blew by, carrying the smell of blood and burning. In the swaying firelight, the shadows of each mercenary were distorted and out of shape. Suddenly, a piece of cold thunder flashed in the sky. Then, there was a dull rumble of thunder. No wonder the night was so dark. It turned out to be raining, and the ink-like clouds covered the sky, making the whole world feel depressed. Chen Zhe sneered. Little guy, why don't you speak? A mercenary watching the show next to him echoed. This guy either has a brain problem or is just scared. Go and see him. Okay. A cruel smile suddenly appeared on the mercenary's face. And he held a sharp dagger in his hand. Intending to draw a few bloody marks on Su Xia's face. But before he could get closer. Su Xia moved. A powerful psychic wave that made all the mercenaries present feel palpitations erupted instantly. The next moment. The dagger that was supposed to stab Su Xia suddenly broke away from the mercenary's hand. Turned around and stabbed into the mercenary's eye. Ah! The mercenary screamed, covered his bloody eyes, and fell to his knees. With a thought in Su Xia's mind, the dagger suddenly spun like a drill. Blood and brains splashed, and a bloody and terrifying hole was drilled out of the man's brain. This scene instantly shocked all the mercenaries present. They stopped laughing when the killings came upon themselves. Chin Zhe stared angrily and roared angrily. Damn it! You dare to kill my people? Don't you want to live anymore? She! The dagger on a certain mercenary's leg suddenly flew out automatically, piercing his thigh and severing the femoral artery. He collapsed to the ground in horror, pressing the wound tightly. But the blood still flowed like a fountain. Ah! Save me! I'm going to hacking die! Su Xia's face was cold, and she didn't say a word. The mercenary's cry of pain was his best answer. Shin Zhe became even more angry and shouted, Follow me! I'm going to cut this bastard alive today! His face was fierce and level 2.0 psychic energy waves erupted from his body. From all over the town, mercenaries, who heard their bosses roar rushed over one after another. They were all fierce and red-eyed, like hungry wolves that were pouncing on food. The blood and killing crazily stimulated their nerves, and the screams of innocent people made the madness even more violent. The dozen or so mercenaries watching the show were the first to take action. Either kill or be killed. They have long understood this truth. But... Just as they were rushing towards Su Xia, the seemingly angry boss behind them, Shen Zhe, quietly took two steps back. Boom! More than a dozen burning houses around him suddenly made a deafening explosion. Those old electrical appliances, metal furniture, metal tableware, etc. all exploded and disintegrated, turning into tiny pieces of metal debris that flew out of the sea of fire under Su Xia's guidance. These bloodstained metals were burned hot and red in the flames like messengers of vengeance crawling out of H, L, whoosh whoosh dash. Hundreds and thousands of reddish debris gathered into a torrent, like the dazzling Milky Way in the summer sky, shining with deadly beauty in the night. The dozen or so mercenaries were the first to bear the brunt and were violently penetrated. Dozens of tiny bloody mouths burst out all over their bodies. They instantly turned into bloody men and fell to the ground screaming in agony. There was a guy who was good at sniping, hiding in a tree in the dark holding a sniper rifle, trying to kill Su Xia. But the next second, a huge piece of iron fell from the sky, cutting him into two pieces with a click. Ah! His upper body fell from the tree, and his intestines and intestines flowed all over the ground with blood and steam. The remaining half of the body was stuck in the tree. My intestines! My intestines! He screamed like crazy. His eyes were bloodshot and he tried desperately to get the intestines and intestines that were stained with mud and rotten leaves back into his stomach. Just to the side, a mercenary changed his bullets, carried a submachine gun, and rushed towards Su Xia while screaming. The sniper yelled crazily, Brother, don't leave. Help me fish out the intestines. Wait me back. The man looked ferocious, with a fierce look in his eyes, and the submachine gun in his hand was spitting out bullets. 
but countless small metal fragments rotated rapidly around Su Xia, turning into an airtight defense that blocked all bullets. Before the man could get close to Su Xia, two of his legs were sliced off by a sharp piece of iron. His body kept moving forward, with a look of pain on his face, and he fell heavily to the ground, rolling forward several times. On my legs! He struggled, his face twisted crazily, and he desperately crawled to where his two bloody broken legs were. Next to him, another mercenary rushed towards Su Xia like crazy with a box of explosives in his hand. The man with the broken leg shouted, Brother, don't leave. Help me pick up the leg. Wait me back. The mercenary responded with a hoarse voice without looking back, like a mentally ill patient who had lost his mind. But as soon as he finished speaking, countless hot red metal fragments broke through the explosive box in his hand. Boom! Debris of metal and wood splattered everywhere. There seemed to be a terrifying rain of blood in the sky, and tiny blood clots, scraps of flesh, and bone residue were blown everywhere. A larger piece of rib fell into the fire, and soon a strange meaty aroma emitted. Surrounded by countless metal fragments, Su Xia seemed to have come from purgatory. Her eyes were cold, and every step she took was filled with blood. More than thirty mercenaries have fallen, some dead, and some not dead but worse off than dead. They were also screaming and wailing, just like the innocent town residents before. Shin Zhe took several steps back. His face turned slightly pale, and he didn't even dare to look at Su Xia anymore. But he still pretended to be angry and yelled desperately. He is going to stop. He is injured. Come with me. Whoever kills him first, I will give him half of the supplies in the warehouse. My wife can also use it for him. Kill. Kill. The bloodthirsty nerves of the mercenaries burned crazily under the night. The wind was getting stronger and stronger, and it was about to rain. The raging flames began their final madness. The swaying firelight twisted the shadows of every mercenary into monsters. Chapter 41 You Don't Keep Your Word Tick A drop of icy rain fell from the sky and fell into the blazing flames. The rain finally started to fall. This parched land, after being soaked with blood, was moistened by rain again. Thunder roared in the sky, and shouts of killing continued on the ground. In just over ten seconds, three more mercenaries fell beside Su Xia. Their eyes were wide-eyed, and blood was pouring from their throats. They were already dead. The coolness that comes with the rain is extinguishing the madness burning in the hearts of these mercenaries little by little. It's not good. Behind him, Chen Zhe wiped the rain off his face. His eyelids twitching. He can survive to this day, and climb to the highest position among the blood-red mercenaries because of his persistence. As long as all his powerful competitors are dead, he will naturally become the boss. The Su Xia on the opposite side was too powerful. With psychic fluctuations close to level 3, and the ability to control metal, like an invincible god of death, Chen Zhe only likes to be cruel to weak people, and he doesn't dare to use his sword against strong people like Su Xia. Escape! This is all he has in mind now. These guys can also distract him. Now is the best time to escape. As long as I escape into the wilderness and squat in a haystack, he can't find me alone. Chen Zhe can even give away his wife and daughter. So naturally these subordinates in front of him are nothing. As long as they can escape, sooner or later they can form another team and continue their happy days of robbery. He made up his mind immediately. Just run away. But he had just taken two steps back when pieces of sharp metal fragments blocked his way. Call out! One of them flashed across the air as a faint shadow, running towards Chen Zhe at a fatal angle. Chen Zhe was horrified and quickly used the skill, Super Defense, to condense a layer of light blue psychic energy on the body surface as protection, which was somewhat similar to another skill called Psychic Shield. Stab it! The iron piece passed through the psychic defense and pulled out a long string of sparks. A little cold sweat broke out on Chen Zhe's forehead. It was obvious that Su Xia had been staring at him. He gritted his teeth and said to himself, This is not the place where I should be buried. I will definitely be able to escape. At this time, Su Xia still had to deal with a group of desperate mercenaries. To deal with him again, she would have to focus on two things. And she might not be able to stop him. Chen Zhe tensed up and pulled out the knife he carried with him. The blue light in his right hand flashed. And he slowly wiped the blade, giving the active skill, tearing cut, to the blood-stained long knife. Then, he slashed forward, the blade swallowing blue light and splitting the metal fragments blocking the way. But as soon as it was broken open, more metal fragments surrounded it. More and more. Tick tock. Tick tock. The patter of rain poured on Shinzei's face, chilling his heart. On the other side, 
The mercenaries, who were still alive gradually woke up. The madness brought about by blood and killing is only temporary after all. They are also afraid of pain and death. After fighting for so long, they couldn't even get close to Su Xia's body. The only way to fight was to die. The corpses lying on the ground were the best proof. Some guys stopped rushing forward and began to seek an escape route. But they were shocked to find that the surrounding outlets were blocked by metal fragments. After a while, under the influence of cold fear, someone suddenly dropped the weapon in his hand and knelt on the ground begging for mercy. Their pitiful pleading postures were exactly the same as those small town residents before who humbled themselves and begged for mercy. But they didn't let the residents go. So Su Xia didn't intend to let them go. He said coldly, Go kill your boss, and I will consider letting you go. What? Chun Zhe's heart skipped a beat, and a chill ran up his back. These damn mercenaries are all like him. They like to bully the weak. Show no mercy when wielding the butcher knife against the weak. And even take pleasure in killing the weak. At the moment, compared with Su Xia, he is obviously the weaker one. The fighting suddenly stopped. The area fell into an eerie silence for a while. Countless metal fragments flew in the center of the town. Surrounding the entire area. The place where everyone stood seemed to have turned into a life and death prison. And only the living could get out. The mercenaries, who are still alive face a choice. Should he continue to fight Su Xia and die in pain at Su Xia's hands? Or wait his weapon at the former boss? Well, this choice doesn't seem that difficult. Someone suddenly yelled. Boss! Give your brothers a way to survive! And I will burn incense for you next year! Damn it! Chen Zhe roared, having already guessed the result. Next, in a cage surrounded by pieces of deadly metal, a rather exciting doggy -dog, dog show was staged. In the small town, the residents who were still alive helped each other out. Those crazy and arrogant mercenaries, before are now killing each other in front of their eyes for a way to survive. Kill! Kill well! These guys deserve to die! Standing on their destroyed homes, people finally couldn't bear their suppressed emotions. Some people burst into tears. Dad? Mom? These evil people have received their due retribution. Perhaps the world is so chaotic that many people don't know whether evil people will receive evil retribution. Other evildoers don't know. But now these are indeed being punished. Many living town residents looked at Su Xia, trying to remember Su Xia's appearance. But pieces of broken metal flew from the air, gathered in front of Su Xia, and turned into a cold metal mask, covering his face. After a while, the fight in the metal cage finally came to an end. After all, Jin Ze is a second-level psychic creature with very strong combat power. As the boss, he carries many destructive weapons. After paying an extremely heavy price, he killed all the mercenaries who besieged him. His face was pale. One of his ears was torn off. His left hand was shattered. And there were several extremely horrific scars on his abdomen. I'm still hacking alive! Chen Zhe yelled. Then slumped down and strands of warm blood flowed out of his body and flowed into the cold rain. He was so weak now that any psychic creature could kill him. Su Xiao wore a mask, stepped on the stagnant water, walked step by step in front of Chen Zhe, and looked at him condescendingly. Chen Zhe smiled miserably and asked, Who are you? There is no one like you in Coral City. Are you from somewhere else? Is this question important? It's very important. Chen Zhe covered the wound. I want to know who killed me. I can't die in an unknown way. Tell me where your organization hides the supplies and I will let you go. Su Xia raised her right hand, and countless metal fragments gathered around them instantly, separating the two from the outside world. Are you serious? I am a very trustworthy person, Su Xia said calmly. My name is Li Difu. After you leave, you can inquire about my credibility. That? Chin Zhe's eyes flickered. Obviously he still had some doubts. Su Xia didn't have the patience to wait for him to think about it, and said directly, I will leave a metal mark on you. If you lie to me, I can kill you no matter how far away you are. Give me an answer in three seconds. Wait. I said. Chen Zhe answered hurriedly. If you don't tell, you'll die. But if you tell, there's still a slight chance of survival. He immediately told the location where the blood red mercenaries had hidden their supplies. The place was in the wilderness. Very hidden. And was two or three hours away from here. Very good. Su Xian nodded slightly then picked up a rifle from the ground and pointed it at Chen Zhe's head. Chen Zhe's expression suddenly changed and he shouted, You don't keep your word. Well, if I kill you, no one will know that I don't keep my word. Chapter 42, Neutral Camp. Make friends. Li Difu. The dying Chen Zhe roared. Heavy rain fell from the sky. 
and there seemed to be a few gunshots mixed in the rain. Pieces of flying metal pierced Chen Zhe's body, fixing his body in a kneeling position, making him kneel at the entrance of the town forever. You have completed the mission. The evil one. Rewards have been issued and can be withdrawn at any time. Su Xia took away the box of medicine, sent the medicine to the main body, then stepped on the stagnant water and left without looking back. Behind them, some town residents bowed to Su Xia, while others knelt down to thank Su Xia for killing their enemies. After walking out of the town, Su Xia quickened her pace. This battle has been delayed for too long, and the two brothers Hong Bafu and Lan Bafu are probably getting anxious. Just when he was about to take off his mask, a deep voice suddenly reached his ears. The voice said, Friend, you have stolen my mission goal. What mission? Su Xia stopped and looked through the eye slits of the metal mask in the direction of the sound. It was a man shrouded in black robes. His head lowered, his face obscured by the shadow of a black hood. The man in black robes stood in the grass and seemed to be integrated with the environment in the rain at night. It was impossible to spot him without looking carefully. Two hours ago, I accepted a mission. The man in black robes said solemnly, The mission requirement is to remove Chen Zhe's head. Killer? Su Xia became interested and looked at the man in black robe carefully. In his eyes, the black robe man's panel data was clearly visible. Name, Yimo. Race, human race. Faction, neutral camp zero point tavern. Psychic level, 2.7. TNN particle level, level 5. Remaining life, 99%. Active skills, ghost thrust. Life perception, fast movement. Passive skill, disguise invisibility. Psychic talent, walking in the dark. Character description, she is a ghost walking in the dark. She is good at assassination. She acts silently and has a high risk factor. Never expose your back to her. Neutral camp? Su Xia's heart moved. According to the game expansion pack, there are many people in this world who don't want to resist, but also don't want to be ruled by the mechanical tribe. So many neutral organizations have appeared. If you can make good use of it, the neutral camp will also be a big help. Chun Zhe's head is still on his neck. You can take it if you want, Su Xia said. No. Friend, the mission has failed. EMO suppressed his voice and used a voice changer to deliberately create a low and hoarse feeling. You are quite principled. This is the principle of the tavern. Not mine, Yemo explained calmly. Friend, have you heard of the Zero Point Tavern? Have not heard. It seems that you are a lone ranger. Maybe you can consider joining a force. Yemo stretched out his hand under the black robe, raised his hand, and flicked out a card. The black card spun rapidly in midair, splitting the heavy rain curtain and was finally caught firmly by Su Xia. The card is made of metal, and its surface feels very delicate. On the front is a wooden wine barrel, and on the back is a dagger. Yemo said calmly, Friend, if you are tired of living alone, you can call the contact number on the card and become a member of the tavern. And the tavern will provide you with tasks. Assassination mission? Most of them are assassination missions, and you will get a generous bounty. Um, Su Xia's mind moved slightly. He was no longer sleepy when talking about money. In life, no one is running around for a few tails of silver. Yemo added, If you don't like assassinations, you can also come to the pub and have a few drinks and just make friends. Okay, I remember. Although Su Xiao likes money, she does not relax her vigilance. According to the data given on the panel, this tavern is a purely neutral organization that does things for money. Judging from the tone of the black robe man Yemo, many people should know about this organization. Therefore, there was probably a mixed crowd in the tavern. And people from all forces were probably inside. Friend, I look forward to meeting you in the tavern. After Yemo said that, he hurried away, rushing to the location of the next mission target. Su Xia did not act in a hurry, but waited for a while, observing the surroundings through the panel data. After confirming that the guy had left, she took off her mask and walked into the grass on the side of the road. After walking for a while, I finally saw the old bus. Both the Hong Bafu and the Blue Bafu were too anxious to go. The darkness and heavy rain obscured their sight. They stood on both sides of the road, shouting Su Xia's name and searching anxiously. Su Xia, where are you? Brother Su, can you hear me? If Su Xia is lost, they will both have uneasy consciences for the rest of their lives. When Su Xia walked out of the grass, both of them were relieved and breathed a sigh of relief. Brother Su, where have you been for such a long time? Lan Bafu pulled Su Xia over, reached out, and touched his forehead. 
and then carefully looked at his whole body to make sure he was not injured. My stomach feels uncomfortable. I have been squatting for a long time. Su Xia smiled and explained. Lan Bafu blamed. We have called you for so long. Why don't you reply? I walked a little far and didn't hear much. Su Xia pointed to the darkness in the distance. After all, it would be embarrassing if you guys saw me having diarrhea. So I ran a little further away. The heavy rain blocked the sound. So this explanation seemed to make sense. Even if it hadn't rained, Su Xia could still explain that she had hearing damage. They are all men. What is there to be embarrassed about? Lan Bafu muttered. Fortunately, Su Xia came back intact, with no arms or legs missing. So the two of them felt relieved. Hong Bafu pulled Su Xia over and poured a primary healing potion into him without saying a word. It's easy to catch a cold after being caught in the rain. Brother Su, you are weak. Just take a few more potions if you have nothing to do. Oh. Su Xia smacked her lips, feeling a little heartbroken. A primary healing potion can be sold for 30 game coins. So it was a waste for him to drink it like this. However, after taking this sip, my whole body did become warm and comfortable. Maybe it was warmed by these two brothers. Both of them are good people in the traditional sense. They are like elder brothers and take great care of his junior brother who has just started. The middle-aged driver urged. Get in the car quickly. The rain is getting heavier and heavier. And it will be difficult to go back later. Thank you for your hard work. Uncle. Hong Bafu looked apologetic and pulled Lan Bafu and Su Xia into the car. The car door closed. The old engine roared with vicissitudes of life. And the three of them staggered off. Su Xia sat by the window and quietly admired the rain outside the window. There were too many murders this time. And when I return to the real world, I have to watch a few episodes of SpongeBob SquarePants to slow down. Chapter 43 8 Million Bounty With nothing to do on the road, Su Xia began to check the rewards from the mission. The extremely evil person. The first reward is a card that can permanently increase all his attributes by 1%. The clone couldn't be used. So it was still transmitted to the main body. This improvement is currently of no use. It feels average after use. But in the future, when various increases are added up, the effect will be considerable. The second reward is the 3 minute full status card that Su Xia currently lacks most. This time, only two were given, which allowed him to barely cope with ordinary dangerous situations. The third reward, Metal Explosion, is a skill book. Name, Metal Explosion. Grade, No Grade. Type, Active Skill. Description, Let the metal in the designated area explode, causing a certain amount of damage to the enemy. The specific damage depends on the individual's ability. This skill matches very well with the alloy storm he is learning now. Even the names are similar. Su Xia learned it without thinking too much. The clone had two active skills, and its ability to save lives was greatly improved. Afterwards, he handed over the body to the bracelet and returned his consciousness to the main body. In the hot spring room, the water mist is steaming. Su Xia took out the box containing the medicine and opened it. More than a dozen colorful medicines suddenly appeared in front of him. They are all fourth level potions. At a glance, the dense explanations instantly occupied Su Xia's field of vision. These potions are all made by my father and are extremely precious. The price of each potion can astonish ordinary people. Three poisons and matching antidotes. Six temporary status enhancement potions. And three healing potions. It seems that they were all prepared by Pharmacist Luo to protect the town. Unfortunately, he met misfortune before he could use them. Su Xia sighed and closed the box. These potions gave him a little more confidence in dealing with the bugs in the camp. Not every insect can be as patient as that old guy Su Yin Song. Su Xia suspected that there might be other bugs planning to attack him. So he had to be fully prepared. This body's psychic energy has been restored to level 2.7 and is slowly climbing towards level 2.8. Su Xia's suspicion was quite correct. Outside the hot spring room at this moment, there was a shadow. The bug named, Airy, had dark eyes and stared at the hot spring room quietly not knowing what he was thinking. The main body continued to soak in the hot spring room. And Su Xia's consciousness returned to the clone in Coral City. It's one o'clock in the morning. The three of them finally returned to Dad's pharmacy. Teacher, we are back. Well, just come back. Dad hadn't rested yet. He wore a pair of small round glasses, made a cup of coffee, and sat quietly behind the counter. While in the car, Hong Bafu had already contacted his father and told him about the town. After learning the news, my father's face remained calm. He just drank two more cups of coffee and said to several apprentices, The world is too chaotic 
and everyone may die. You made the right choice. Go to bed early. You should be able to do it tomorrow. Saw Stone Town on the news. Yes. Teacher, you should also go to bed early. The three of them answered in unison. Dad nodded slightly, then turned and went upstairs. In the prior plan, the three apprentices were supposed to rest in Stone Town tonight and not return until the morning. But the plan didn't change. Dad seemed to be waiting for them on purpose. He waited until they were all back safely before going upstairs to rest. The pharmacy has two floors. The first floor sells medicines, and the second floor is a rest area. Each apprentice has a separate room. Even Su Xia, who is just starting out, has one. Dad didn't ask him if he had any other place to live, or even if he had family, and assigned him a room. This room is not big. It only has a bed, wardrobe, and desk, which fills the whole room. In the room on Su Xia's left are the Hong blessings, and in the room on the right are the blue blessings. He, a newbie, slept in the middle. Brother Su, go to bed early. Tomorrow morning, I will tell you what you need to pay attention to when making healing potions. Hong Bafu said standing at the door of his room. Okay. Thank you, bro. Su Xian naturally had no intention of sleeping. But she still managed a few words with a smile on her face. More than ten minutes later, the entire pharmacy became completely silent. And the father and the two brothers fell asleep. Su Xia could even hear slight snoring coming from the two rooms on the left and right. He slowly opened the window, stepped on the windowsill, and jumped down gently, like a flexible monkey. He landed in the alley behind the pharmacy. Call. Su Xia took a few breaths, adjusted her breathing, and then left the alley quietly. After walking some distance on the street, Su Xia found a public phone booth. He took out the tavern card and dialed the phone number on the card. Soon, the call was connected. Through a simple chat, the other party learned that Su Xia was a newcomer. So he pointed out the location of the tavern for Su Xia. That place is not far from Dad's pharmacy. And it is not hidden. It looks like an ordinary bar from the outside. You need to show a special invitation card to enter the real zero-point tavern hidden underground. The other end of the phone said, If there is no invitation card, you only need to prove that you are a psychic creature. You are welcome to join the zero-point tavern. Okay, I get it. Su Xia hung up the phone. He is not worried about the conspiracy on the other side. The clone can be resurrected. This is his biggest advantage. It's a pity that the clone cannot be upgraded and can only borrow the power of the main body. Otherwise, he would really be invincible. Su Xiao walked into a small alley, put on a metal mask, and walked in the winding alley for more than 20 minutes, and finally saw a bar at the end of an alley. This is it. The old bar sign glowed dark red. Entering the bar, the noisy voices and music drowned Su Xiao's body. The interior of the bar is very old. And the tables, chairs, lamps, etc. all look shabby. The air was filled with the smell of vomit, bad perfume and alcohol, like a garbage dump that had been fermenting for several days in the summer. It smelled extremely unpleasant. Su Xiao walked directly to the bar and showed her card to the waiter. Take me underground. Please follow me. The waiter was smiling and very respectful, leading the way for Su Xiao. After walking through a long and narrow passage, an elevator appeared in front of Su Xiao. He followed the waiter into the elevator and waited silently. The elevator went down to the first negative floor. Ding dong. The elevator door slowly opened. And the real zero point tavern appeared in front of Su Xia. It is much quieter than the bar on the ground. The air is fresh and the decoration is elegant. Light blue is the main color here. The bar is located near the elevator exit. Surrounded by many soft sofas. Walking inside is a spacious rotunda. In front of the hall is a huge screen. Many members were sitting in front of the bar or on the sofa communicating in low voices while drinking. Others were standing in the hall, looking up at the tasks flashing on the big screen. Welcome. A familiar voice suddenly sounded next to him. Hoarse and deep. It was EMO. The man in black robe. She was leaning beside the elevator exit, holding a glass of red wine in her hand. She smiled lightly. Friend, I knew you would come. Su Xia asked. Why? She said. I smell poverty in you. Su Xia. Poverty seems to be an innate temperament that followed him from the real world to the game. He couldn't refute, so he had to ask. How profitable is your business? Friend, you can go and see the person with the highest bounty right now. Yemo pointed to the hall. That person's bounty has accumulated to 8 million. And he also comes with two boxes of precious spiritual potions. If, if you can kill him, 
you will have no worries about food and clothing for the rest of your life. Whose life is so valuable? Su Xia was confused. Coral City was just a small place. And the lives of many people were not even worth a piece of bread. With this thought in mind, he walked into the hall. The ordinary assassination missions on the screen were released on a rolling basis. But the top 10 with bounties were all pinned to the top. The first one on the list was a name that Su Xia was particularly familiar with. Northwind Commander, Level 3 Psionic Creature. Chapter 44 Bottom Line I am the one with the highest bounty on the assassination list? In post-war cities, even 100 yuan could save a refugee's life. But those people were willing to offer 8 million to kill him. 8 million. At the current exchange rate of 10 colon 1 for game currency, if converted into real-world notes, that would be 800,000. When she thought of this, Su Xia wanted to cut her head off. In addition to the Lord and Lan of the Waste Armor City and the Lord Yutua of the Coral City, some wealthy people from these two cities also provided part of the bounty. Which is why the bounty accumulated so high. Friend! This bounty amount is quite high in the entire tavern system. Yemo said while holding the wine glass. I think you have also heard about Commander Beifong escaping from the laboratory. Not only did he escape, he came out and be a robot that was specially trained by the master of Anlin City in the abandoned armor city until only half of its head was left. Well, I've heard of it. Su Xia thought of the thinker robot. Come here and register. After the registration is completed, you can take on this task. Are many people taking this task? Of course. Yemo swung the red wine in the glass. Who wouldn't be tempted by the 8 million bounty? Who can give me 8 million? Even if I am asked to assassinate the lord of Anlan City, I will still dare to try. You want money rather than your life? Su Xia shook her head slightly, not really agreeing with this approach. Ha ha. No wonder you are so poor. One more identity means one more way to get information. Su Xia now has the identity of a commander of the resistance camp, and also has the identity of a pharmacist living in the area ruled by the mechanical tribe. After becoming a killer, he can obtain information about the neutral organization Zero Point Tavern. The more you know, the longer you can live. Yemo took Su Xia to the bar and said to the middle-aged man sitting quietly behind the bar, Teacher, I brought a new person to you. Bringing another one in? The middle-aged man frowned. Is this one reliable? There's nothing serious wrong with it. Right. What's wrong? Su Xia was stunned and looked at Yemo beside her. Yemo tilted his head and deliberately looked away and said, Teacher, don't worry. He is a powerful person this time. And he will definitely achieve great results. Yeah. The middle-aged man took down a bottle of wine from the counter behind him, poured a glass for Su Xia, and then looked at it carefully. Then, he poured himself a glass and raised it to Su Xia. Young man, have a drink first. Good. Su Xia did not hesitate, removed the metal from the corner of her mouth, picked up the wine glass on the table, and drank it all in one gulp. The next second, a line of prompts appeared in front of his eyes. You drank the rare medicinal wine. Tiger Bone Brewing. Within 15 minutes, your life recovery speed will increase by 10%. Su Xia's eyes lit up. This wine is a good thing. If recovery type auxiliary medicines are sold outside, many players will definitely buy them. Good wine. Su Xia praised. Well, young man, what do you think about killing? The middle-aged man put away the bottle and asked calmly. I can kill evil people. Su Xia gave her bottom line. Okay, there are enough villains here to kill you. The middle-aged man nodded with satisfaction, and then took out a document from under the counter. He put this information and the pen in front of Su Xia and said, I don't know what you were thinking before, but some of the members in the tavern are like you. They only kill evil people. You can follow them when you have time. Communicate more. Okay, I understand. But there are also some members who, regardless of whether the mission goal is good or bad, will act as long as they are given money. The middle-aged man warned, if you can't stand these members and have a conflict with them, then you must resolve the conflict outside the tavern. Fighting is not allowed inside the tavern. This is a dead rule. And anyone who breaks this rule will be hunted down by tavern branches throughout the world. Has anyone broken this rule before? Su Xia asked. Yes. They all died later. No exceptions? No one. The middle-aged man's expression was solemn. Explaining this rule again. Even if there is a huge grudge. Even if the other party kills your whole family and smiles in front of you, you can't do it in the tavern. Even the middle-aged man himself, as the owner of the Coral City Tavern branch, does not dare to break this rule. By the way, I haven't introduced myself yet. My name is E. 
a level 4.0 psychic creature. And I am the boss here. Level 4.0. After coming to this world, apart from Lord Anlin, this is the second level 4 psychic creature Su Xia has seen. Even Enlan and Su Xia have only seen his projection. But the person in front of her is the real deal. No wonder I can't see through his panel data. The gap between the two sides is too big. Su Xia borrowed all her power from her main body and is now only at level 2.7, which is the same level as the MO next to her. This is my apprentice AMO, who has the same last name as me. He pointed at EMO. You should know each other. Su Xia answered honestly, I know you, but I don't know you completely yet. He smiled. Let's talk more later. You young people have a lot of common topics. Now sign your name. You can use your real name, or you can think of a pseudonym. It doesn't matter. Most of them are used when acting in pubs. It's a code name. Good. Su Xia picked up the pen and signed the words. Li Difu. On the tavern's contract. Emo licked the red wine on his lips. When he saw these three words, he couldn't help but raise the corners of his mouth. Friend, even if it is a pseudonym, your name is too rustic. Real world. Bedroom. Li Difu. Who was killing monsters. Suddenly sneezed. Ah sneeze. He rubbed his nose. Thoughtfully, is there a girl missing me? Coral City. In the tavern. He smiled lightly and said, I think it's pretty good. It's virtuous and blessed. It's a good name. Yemo shook his head. The generation gap between middle-aged people. Yemo likes to attract new people to the tavern. But the few newcomers in the past were not very satisfactory. The middle-aged man poured another drink for Su Xia. Young man, I hope you can hold on. During the exchange, Su Xia learned about the situation of the first few guys. There was a newcomer who didn't know what he was doing. His first mission was to assassinate the Lord of Anlin City. And his head was hung outside the Waste Armor City that night. There is also a newcomer who didn't even accept the mission. But actually preached. Life first. Love and peace. And other beliefs in a place full of killers, like a tavern. After listening, Su Xia agreed with E.E. E. Yes, there is indeed something wrong with those guys. You seem to be a normal person. E.E. E. handed the bottle to Su Xia directly. You can be cautious on the first task. Practice your skills first. And then try more difficult tasks later. Can I accept the mission and not do it? It depends on the wishes of the mission issuer. He explained. Some missions are one-on-one. -on -one, and some are open to all killers. It doesn't matter if you take it or not. For example. The difficult mission of assassination of Commander Beifong. Many of the tavern member who took over the mission didn't even know where the Oasis camp was. Chapter 45 Commander Dahl. Mysterious Organization. The Oasis camp is still relatively hidden now. But this concealment will not last long. The arrival of players changed everything. Maybe before long. A group of killers will sneak into the camp and assassinate Su Xia for the 8 million adventure. Mr. E. Does Lingian Tavern know the location of the Oasis camp? Su Xia had doubts and asked. Of course I know. E. smiled. The tavern knows the location of some of the human race's resistance camps. And also knows some secrets of the machine tribe. This is one of the strengths of the tavern to remain neutral. Otherwise the machine tribe would have destroyed us long ago. But we will not provide this information to the killer who takes the task. All information is provided by the task issuer. Even the machine tribe doesn't know where the oasis camp is. But Zero Point Tavern actually knows? Something doesn't sound right. How strong can a neutral organization be? Who can control such an organization? Mr. E, will you accept the mission? Su Xia felt uneasy. His level 4 armor had not healed yet. And his body had not recovered. If this level 4.0 boss went to assassinate him, he would have no choice but to send it. And the entire Oasis camp would receive news of Commander Baifeng's death the next day. He shook his head. I can take it. But it's not necessary. Why? Commander Baifeng is different from people like us. He always believes that there is still hope for the human race. He sighed. He is a legend. Many people admire him. I am the same. I want to see how far he can go. Even a killer who lives in the shadows will occasionally want to see what the light looks like. Saying that, Yi Yuan smiled softly. More importantly, although the tavern is neutral, some members are not neutral. For example, young people like AMO admire the Beifong commander very much. She is a person who regards wealth as her life. But this time, she can resist the temptation of 8 million. If I take action, she will probably sever the master-disciple relationship with me. And no one will support me in my old age. Yemo frowned. Teacher, don't share this kind of private information. 
You have to bring that puppet with you every time you take action. After you drink too much, you often take out the puppet to show off. Many people know it. And it's not too personal information. This is an amulet. Teacher, people of your age will not understand it. Emo took out a small black doll from his arms and placed it on the table. Su Xiao was stunned for a moment. This doll looks so familiar. Commander Beifong doll. There is also a small doll like this in Song Zhong's place at the Oasis camp. The two dolls are identical and are obviously mass-produced. Who is selling this thing? This is the area ruled by the Machine Clan. So no one should dare to sell it. Su Xiao immediately asked. Missy, where did you buy this doll? Why do you ask? I also admire Commander Beifong. Su Xia made up a reason. He once saved my life. So I also want to buy one as an amulet. Okay. As long as you respect the commander, we will be good friends. Emo took off his long black robe and threw it casually on the sofa behind him. There was a clanking sound of metal colliding in the robe. There are a lot of assassination tools hidden in this robe. She took off her voice changer, coughed twice, and regained her sweet voice. Friend! Please fill out the registration information first. Remember to pick a nicer code name. And then let's go inside and have two drinks. Chat. Well, code name. Su Xia stared at the registration information in her hand and thought about it seriously. In Lingyan Tavern, code names are identities. And members basically call each other by code names. Yi Yi's code name is Coral Drunkard. While Yimo's code name is Black Robe Man. Both of which sound a bit mysterious. Yimo suggested. He wears a metal mask. Why not call him Mr. Jean? No. There are already several Mr. Jeans. He shook his head. They can only be distinguished by their registration numbers. Which is very troublesome. What's his registration number? 00020523912391. Then why not a 91 foot at the beginning to distinguish it? No. Forget it. Su Xia shook her head repeatedly. This number cannot be added. And it is easy to get into trouble. He thought seriously for a moment, then took up a pen and wrote the words, Mask Stranger, in the code column. He looked at it and couldn't find the same code name in the employee system. So he entered these four words. Later, Su Xia got her own identity card. The money awarded for each mission will be transferred to this identity card. He can use this card to spend money at zero-point taverns around the world or exchange it for cash. EMO picked up the red wine glass and raised her red lips slightly. Friend, do you smell the fragrance of money? Um, Su Xia took a deep breath and only smelled the smell of air freshener. Speaking of which, his metal storm skill gives him a certain amount of metal sensing ability. As long as he has enough time, he can go to the wilderness to search for precious metal mines and serve as a human detector. Unfortunately, he didn't have time now, and the wilderness wasn't safe. Come on, come into the house with me and let's have a nice chat. Emo took Su Xia and took him to a single room deep in the tavern. The single rooms in the pub are all soundproofed. So you can talk safely in them. She sat on a soft leather sofa, gently playing with the puppet in her hand, and asked, Friend, do you really admire Commander Beifong? Or are you interested in the 8 million bonus and want to get it from me? Is there some news here? You shouldn't doubt me. I, Li Difu, have always had a very good reputation. Friend, you are wearing a mask. Emo took a sip of red wine, you don't even dare to show your true face. So let's not talk about credibility. I'm so ugly that I scare people easily. Su Xia sat on another sofa and answered calmly. At this moment, in his dormitory in the real world, Lady Fu sneezed again and couldn't help but wonder if he had a cold. Okay, this excuse sounds more reasonable. Emo threw a bottle of wine to Su Xia. This little doll is the symbol of the North Wind Story Club. And each team member can get one. Story Club? Are you an organization? Su Xia thought. Maybe she could find a way to absorb members of this organization and strengthen the resistance. Of course, the premise is that all the members of this organization are okay. He planned to ask Song Zhong when he had time. Emo nodded. Only those who respect Commander Beifong and dare to go against the mechanical tribe can join our organization. I should meet both conditions. No, friend. You have just entered the assessment period. Emo smiled faintly and stretched out three white fingers to Su Xia. She said, You can officially join after three months. During this period, please make money with me first. Do you like money? Nonsense. Who doesn't like money? Emo took a sip of red wine, then took out a small money bag, raised the corners of his mouth slightly, leaned over, 
and waved it in front of Su Xia's eyes. The gold coins in the bag collided with each other and made a jingling sound. She lay back on the soft leather sofa, crossed her long white legs, opened her red lips slightly, and breathed out a breath of wine. Friend, the sound of money shaking is the most beautiful in the world. Better than the pleading of a dying person. Be nice. Yeah, that makes sense. Su Xiao raised the bottle and was about to talk more about the North Wind Guards. But suddenly, his expression changed slightly. Something happened at Oasis Camp. Sure enough, some bugs couldn't help it and wanted to eat his piece of cake in advance. Missy, I still have something to do. So I need to take the first step. What's so urgent? My relatives are here. In the Oasis Camp, a scream woke up countless people in their sleep. This was followed by the shrill sound of insects. The camp administrator Xiang Wei looked worried and hurriedly summoned the heads of other departments. Someone asked anxiously, What should I do? Go find the commander now? No. Xiong Wei rejected the proposal and could no longer let the commander take risks. He planned to find several other third-level psychic creatures in the camp to hunt the bug. Chapter 46 Critical Moment The heavy rain in Stone Town seemed to have drifted to the oasis camp. Cold rain fell from the sky, and the patter of rain suppressed many small movements. Every house in the camp turned on the lights, and the combat-ready adults took up arms and walked out of the house. While the children were left at home, Did you hear the scream just now? I heard it. It seemed to come from the southeast corner, followed by an unpleasant cry, like a pig being killed. That sounds like the sound of insects. People wearing black raincoats and boots stood outside their homes, exchanging information with their neighbors. In addition to the permanent residents, more than a dozen resistance groups temporarily stationed in the camp also took action. These resistance organizations range from dozens to hundreds of people, and together they are a force that cannot be ignored. Among them, the leaders of the three resistance organizations, Blue Light, Blue Bird, and White Horse, are all third-level psychic creatures, and the names of the organizations are named after their personal names. However, neither their own strength nor the organization behind them could make these three people feel at ease that night. Blue Light, you have seen live bugs before. Does that sound sound familiar to you? Bema stood under the eaves, looking through the rain curtain at the dark and dangerous forest in the distance, with a little worry on his face. It's just bugs. Lan Guang's face was heavy. There is indeed more than one bug in this camp. We are really troubled. Before, when the insect body was dragged back by Xiong Wei, Lan Guang had this guess in his mind. But he didn't dare to say it. Once spoken, the entire camp is thrown into panic and chaos easily ensues. And chaos is good for bugs. There must be an insect nest hidden in the forest. We can no longer act alone. Blu-ray took a deep breath. We must bring all our forces together to survive this crisis. That's right. Xiong Wei's voice came from the rain curtain. Wearing rain boots, he stepped through deep and shallow water and came to the camp area where many organized houses were located. Leaders of many organizations are waiting for him, including Song Zhong and Chung Pingin. Chung Pingin is currently in charge of the entire Beifeng organization. Xiong Wei said apologetically, Everyone, I'm sorry for not telling you before that there is actually more than one bug in the camp. We understand. Many leaders are smart people and can think clearly about the pros and cons. What matters right now is the bug that shows up. The insect nest has not yet burst out, which means that the insect race is not sure. It must use thunderous means to get rid of the arrogant insect that appears and show the power of the human race to the other insects. Xiong Wei made arrangements for the manpower of all organizations as quickly as possible, and then called away the blue light trio. At the same time, the heads of the three departments of logistics, education, and technology in the camp also came. They are also third-level psychic creatures, including Xiong Wei himself. There are seven people. Among them, the strongest one is Minister Yin, who is in charge of education. He has level 3.4 psychic powers, and is also the physical education teacher of many children in the camp. There are no frail and sick physical education teachers in this world, and physical education plays a large role. Where is Commander Bei Feng? Bei Ma asked. With him here, this battle will be easier. No, Commander can't come out. Xiong Wei did not explain the reason, but shook his head slightly at the white horse. Bema's face changed slightly as he thought of a terrible situation. The Commander may have been seriously injured, but as long as he did not appear, he was the reassurance in the hearts of everyone in the camp and could also deter the other bugs hiding in the dark. But once he appears and shows weakness, the situation becomes dangerous. Everyone, 
That bug should be swimming in the forest in the southeast corner right now, Xiongwei said in a serious tone. It's dark night and rainy day now, and the environment is very unfavorable to us. This battle may never come back. I hope you can be mentally prepared. We understand. This is a cruel era, and most members of the resistance organization are ready to sacrifice for the human race. With the strength of Lan Guang and others, if they are willing to surrender to the mechanical tribe, they will definitely receive excellent treatment. Have no worries about food and clothing for the rest of their lives. And enjoy endless glory and wealth. But they didn't. They chose this seemingly hopeless path. Before that, I need you to prick your palms and let me see the color of your blood. Good. Everyone pricked their palms together. And the red blood in their palms confirmed their human identity. At this time, mechanical repairman Xu Chung came. He is also a third level psychic creature. But he is not here to fight. But to bring everyone top notch night operation equipment. If possible, he would also like to participate in this battle. But this battle is too dangerous. Once he dies, no one will build level 4 armor for Su Xia. Xiong Weili landed and put on the night fighting equipment. Then walked to Xu Chung and whispered in his ear. Ba Xu, please go to the hot spring room and have a look. If the commander wants to come out, please persuade him to let him go. He believed we could do it on our own. Okay, Mr. Bear, take care. After saying that, Xu Chung rushed into the icy rain again and ran towards the hot spring room behind the camp. In this rainy night full of dangers, everyone is trying to find ways to contribute. Players also sensed a sense of crisis. It doesn't make sense. Why do bugs appear one after another in this kind of early map? Do you want people to play? The player stood outside the forest, staring at the dark forest, wanting to enter, but not daring to enter. A few guys who were not afraid of death had gone in before. But before they could see anything clearly, they were chopped into two pieces by the insect's sharp front claws. One of them was experienced in VR Hive. The pain was adjusted to 30%. And the pain was so painful that he almost couldn't breathe. How about we report it to customer service? It's a bug. Let's take a look first. It should be a battle between NPCs. Just wait until the NPCs finish fighting. Although it is already past 2 o'clock in the morning, there are still many players who are awake and busy opening up Wasteland. The reappearance of the bugs interrupted their progress of clearing the land, forcing them to stop and wait and see. Under the watchful eyes of many players, Xiong Wei and his team of seven entered the dark forest in the southeast corner. In the camp, almost all the adults who could fight had joined the patrol and defense teams, and it was destined to be a sleepless night. Even the gangsters in Song Zhong's organization took up arms and joined in the defense. The members of his organization all have the same personality as him. They are timid and afraid of death. One of the guys asked in a low voice. Boss, these bugs haven't launched a large-scale attack yet. Do they not want to attack us? Maybe we can negotiate with them. Song Zhong pondered for a moment. This? No. Put that idea away. Chung Ping and said coldly. When the tiger bites your head, you can't negotiate with him. Chapter 47 Wounded Prey The new Beifong organization led by Chung Ping and has expanded to more than 100 people. The vast majority of newcomers come here for the word, North Wind. At this time, they all had similar doubts in their hearts. That is, why hasn't the commander shown up yet? The bug was killed by the commander before. And it was said that the commander killed it easily without any effort. Logically speaking, the commander should not be absent this time. Boss Chung, has the commander sent you a message? A newcomer asked. Don't worry, the commander will show up. Chung Pingan looked determined and did not answer directly. Song Zhong also echoed. I guess the commander is preparing for battle and will appear soon. As he spoke, he took out the small black commander puppet from his pocket, hung it around his neck as an amulet, and then prayed silently. Compared to the human race's unified external approach, a few bugs in the camp started internal strife. Su Yun Song was particularly angry at Erui's early action. He wanted to rush into the forest himself and kill this disobedient insect for Xiong Wei and the others. Stop the grass and scare the snake. Su Yun Song looked angry. Two bugs in a row couldn't help but move. And the oasis camp was completely alert. The Zerg lost the opportunity and could not sneak attack. A young insect sneered. I think there is nothing wrong with Ares' actions. The north wind hasn't appeared yet. Which explains a lot of problems. Take back your stupid idea. Su Yun Song said angrily. Are you stupid? The insect retorted. The situation tonight is already very clear. Without the North Wind, the few remaining third-level psychic creatures in the Oasis camp will not be a concern. I think we can definitely take action together. 
directly destroying the high-end combat power of the Oasis camp. Eco Ward is right. Another young bug expressed support. At the same level, the Zerg and machine races are stronger than the human race. Counting Eri who has already taken action, they have a total of six bugs, which can take down Xiong Wei and the others in one fell swoop. There is no need to wait for the master of the insect nest to complete the breakthrough. They can lead the rest of the insects in the nest to destroy the oasis camp. You worms. Su Yun-san's lips were slightly opened, and his body was shaking with anger. The intelligence and planning of these insects are all at the level of prenatal education. It is too difficult to lead them into hiding. At this moment, a loud noise suddenly came from the forest in the southeast corner. Boom! The whole earth seemed to tremble, and people all cast worried eyes in that direction. It's a miniature psychic cannon. Minister Wang's most proud work. Members of the technical department identified it. Minister and the others have already fought with that insect. The heavy rain poured down, and even the sounds of fighting were suppressed. Anxiety, worry and other emotions are rushing back and forth in everyone's psychology. Many people want to go in and help but they know that they are weak and participating in the war will only distract the big bosses and hold them back. In the hot spring room, Su Xia had already put on her equipment. The clone in Coral City left the Zero Point Tavern, and after making sure no one was following him, he left it in the custody of the bracelet. The main body is equipped with full status cards, half a set of level 3 armor, and level 4 poison refined by Dad. This series of combined punches is enough to knock that insect down. At the same time, Perhaps the appearance of this bug completely broke the peace of the Oasis camp. And the task of saving the Oasis camp jumped out again. Save Oasis camp mission 1. Task description. The appearance of another bug has made people in the camp panic. Please kill it with thunder to encourage people and scare the other hidden bugs in the camp. Task reward 1. Intermediate psychic potion x1. Mission reward 2. Skill. Titan affinity. There are also rewards for psychic potions. The more of these the merrier. Just when Su Xiao was about to walk out of the hot spring room, Xu Chum came. He advised worriedly, Commander, you haven't recovered yet, so it's not a good time to take action now. Just stay here and give the insect to Mr. Xiong and the others. That's it. Boss Xu, do you want me to be a spiritual symbol? Su Xiao heard what he meant. Xu Chum shook his head. That's not what I meant. Now you are the hope of the entire camp. Nothing can happen to you. Doesn't this mean the same thing? Su Xia doesn't want to be a clay statue. This is a world where fists speak. Boss Xu, if I don't go, someone will die tonight. Su Xia looked straight at Xu Cheng. The fighting instinct of insects is far superior to humans. And the speed of action and reaction is also very human. In this situation tonight, under the conditions, even if Mr. Xiong and the others can win, it will only be a miserable victory. And it will make the remaining bugs even more arrogant. This, Xu Cheng opened his lips and wanted to say something. But Su Xia had already crossed his body and walked straight out of the hot spring room. The moment he appeared, the many patrolling guards around him breathed a sigh of relief. And their tense nerves relaxed a little. Great! Commander Beifong is finally out. With him here, that insect will definitely die. In this era where heroes are needed, every hero will provide a strong bonus to one's own morale. But, the few people who knew Su Xia's physical condition were even more worried. In their worried eyes, Su Xia crossed the crowd, braved the heavy rain, stepped on the stagnant water, and quickly entered the dark and cold forest. There are already many traces of fighting in the forest. The land is devastated. The ground is in a mess. Flowers and plants have been trampled into the muddy water. Countless towering trees have been broken, and craters of various sizes can be seen everywhere. In a pothole, Su Xia saw blood stains. Red blood. Someone has been injured. The sound of fighting was not far away, and Su Xia quickened her pace. After going 200 meters deep, Su Xia picked up a severed hand. The cross section is very neat. It was severed by the insect's sharp forelimbs. There is still hope of reattaching it. He quickened his pace again, almost running towards the direction where the sound of fighting came from at a galloping speed. At this time, Xiong Wei and others were in a very embarrassed state. They all experienced the terror of bugs. Too fast. This thing came and went without a trace. Like a ghost. Constantly swimming around them. Jumping out to attack from time to time. And the bunch of attacks they fired seemed to be powerful. But they didn't hurt the opponent at all. His. Blu-ray covered his severed hand. His face turned pale. And cold sweat broke out on his forehead. He couldn't help but ask. Mr. Xiong. How did Commander Beifong fight against the enemy last time? Close combat. 
but we can't get close at all. Even if we could, it would be difficult to entangle it. It's too dangerous. Last time, Su Xia used a card to restore to full level 3.6 at the beginning of the battle, catching the insect off guard, but still got a bloody and terrifying scar. This time, this bug has a spiritual power level of 3.3, which is stronger than the 3.1 last time, but Xiong Wei and the others are weaker than Su Xia. Suddenly, there was a movement in the trees on the right side of the crowd. Minister Wang from the technical department immediately picked up a big gun and fired at the area. But a ghostly figure suddenly jumped out from another direction and headed straight for the injured blue light. This insect can actually attack in the east and west. It is indeed a race full of fighting talents. Watch out! Xiong Wei roared and raised his shield to protect the blue light. The bug prefers weak and injured prey. So blue light becomes his primary target. Chapter 48 Bone Eroding Poison Blu-ray gritted his teeth and showed a ruthless expression. He has no intention of walking out of this jungle alive. He just wants to give this insect a hard blow before he dies. But at this moment, another ghostly figure suddenly jumped out from the front. With the double blessing of the skill jump slash and the jet power on her back, Su Xia jumped out, holding a short sword, and cut off the insect's lower limb with a sharp sword. Crack! A limb of the insect covered with a brown exoskeleton fell to the ground and the fracture surface was extremely neat. Green blood splashes. The insect screamed and quickly retreated into the dark jungle nearby. This was the first time he had been injured since the beginning of the battle, which made him shocked and angry. Lan Guan was overjoyed. Commander, why are you here? You have nothing to do. Come and kill a bug. Su Xia approached the crowd, shook off the green blood on the sword, then reached out and threw the severed hand to Lan Guang. With the camp's medical technology and the life intensity of the blue light, the severed hand can be reattached tonight, and it will be fine after a few months of recovery. Blue Ray is a single man without a girlfriend, and one hand is very important to him. Thank you, Commander. Lan Guang was grateful. No one wanted to be a cripple. Commander, is this sword of yours a level 3 psychic weapon? Bema looked at Su Xia's bloodstained dagger, and the image of Su Xia's sword cutting off the insect's limbs kept flashing through his mind. Um, to be honest, this dagger belongs to the Thinker robot. After defeating the Thinker, this sword became Su Xia's trophy. He followed him to instantly kill the lame wolf mercenary Lao San, and also pierced the head of the insect Urger for him. It can withstand up to nearly 4.0 level of psychic infusion. Extremely sharp, indestructible, and a must-have for killing people and stealing goods. When she thought of this, Su Xia couldn't help but want to say, Thank you, Thinker. Now the sword has changed into the shape of Su Xia. Xiong Wei looked worried and asked in a low voice. Commander, is your injury okay? It's a small problem. Just don't worry. Su Xia smiled calmly, her tone full of confidence, which made the others relax a lot. I don't know why, but the moment Su Xia appeared, they felt so safe that they were not afraid even if a few more bugs came. Protect Mr. Lan and leave the rest to me. Commander, are you alone? Xiong Wei was still uneasy. One more person means more strength. Commander, we can help you interfere with that insect. No need. Let's retreat to the camp first and fish out the bugs first. Su Xiao waved his hand, knowing that the insect would not give in. From the scream of the severed limb just now, Su Xiao heard the anger. This bug is young. He doesn't have the patience of an old guy like Su Yunsong. Being injured will not make him want to quit. It will only arouse his ferocity. Sure enough, Less than half a minute later, there was movement in the surrounding grass again. There was just a swipe sound, and the insect jumped out with violent murderous intent, heading straight for Su Xia at the front of the team, like a hungry tiger attacking a sheep. Idiot! Su Xia gave a cold shout, then advanced instead of retreating, and slashed deep and terrifying marks on the insect's forelimbs with a backhand sword. Bugs hiss. His upper and lower jaws were split open. His mouth opened wide with blood and pus dripped from his mouth. His deformed appearance was like a strange monster in a horror myth. Regardless of the injury, he pressed his whole body crazily, as if to try to kill Sue. Sia swallowed it in one gulp. Insects are countless times more tolerant of pain than humans. When sneak attacks are useless, they will choose to attack by force, exchanging injuries for injuries, and letting the enemy die in pain and fear. Commander beware! Xiong Wei yelled and wanted to step forward to help. The insect's three spider-like lower limbs held his twisted body up high, while the other four upper limbs surrounded Su Xia, condescending, in the eyes of everyone, 
He seemed to really want to swallow Su Xia up. Commander, be careful of that insect's mouth. But Su Xia yelled. Everyone retreat. Immediately. Retreat far away. With his current full speed. Jetpack. And jumping slash skill. How could he be easily approached by bugs? He can completely entangle the insect. Fight in close combat. And consume the insect to death, just like he did with Urger. But time is running out. And half of the three minute status card has passed. So Su Xia took out a poison. Retreat! Listen to the commander and retreat quickly. Xiong Wei did not hesitate. Although he did not know what Su Xiao wanted to do. He chose to believe it unconditionally. The other people were also obedient and quickly retreated. Moving back 56 meters in less than 10 seconds. At this moment, Su Xia stuffed a poison into the big gaping mouth of the insect. Bone eroding poison. Level, level 4 potion. Description, life again medicine. Effect, it is horribly corrosive and can instantly turn an ordinary person into blood. Please keep it out of reach of children. Boom! Su Xia's right palm mechanical module fired a psychic laser, directly shattering the poison. The next moment, a dark green poisonous mist visible to the naked eye floated out of the insect's mouth. What followed was the sizzling sound of the insect's flesh and teeth being corroded. Even insects can't bear this severe pain. In just a few moments, a terrifyingly large hole was corroded into the split bloody jaw, and the surrounding flesh and blood dripped like melted ice cream. Hiss his dash. He escaped. He kept screaming, vomiting smelly pus and blood from his mouth, and ran frantically towards the camp. The trees and flowers along the way were corroded by the pus and blood. There was no chance of survival along the way, and a ground rat that had no time to avoid was corroded into slag. This power, this horrific scene made Xiong Wei and the others tremble with fear as they saw this horrific scene in the distance. If they had rushed to help Su Xia just now, their end might not be much better than that insect. Su Xia took the corresponding antidote, and wisps of blue mist continued to appear around him, helping him offset the influence of the poisonous mist. Xiong Wei asked loudly, Commander, are you okay? It's okay. Please pay attention. Su Xia started to chase. It will take a minute or two for these poisons to dissipate. Remember to stay away, and stay away from the path that the insect has taken for the time being. Okay, okay. Several people nodded. Although they are both third-level psychic creatures, they feel that there is an insurmountable gap between them and Su Xia. Even Minister Luo, who has level 3.4 psychic power, thinks this way. Although the difference is only 0.2 levels, he feels that once the war starts, Su Xia can kill him instantly. The commander actually has such a powerful trump card. No wonder he escaped from the laboratory in Waste Armor City. Xiong Wei sighed repeatedly, knowing that he had underestimated Su Xia before. Even if Su Xia was seriously injured and only had half his life left, he would still be the legend. Chapter 49 Powerful Insecticide In the Oasis Camp, every member's heart is hanging. The insect is wandering in the forest in the southeast corner and is extremely dangerous. Xiong Wei and others went in, but haven't come out yet. Commander Beifong also went in but still hasn't come out. The rain was freezing, and the atmosphere in the camp was becoming increasingly tense. Commander, please don't let anything happen. Song Zhong stared closely at the southeast corner. His palms became sweaty, and he kept praying for Su Xia in his heart. In comparison, the atmosphere here at Chengzi is completely different. The old guy Su Yun Song still had a sullen face, his anger still lingering, and he disagreed with Erui's reckless behavior. But the other three young bugs were much more relaxed. One of them smiled lightly. Bei Fong has been in there for so long and still hasn't made any sound. I'm afraid it has become Ares' meal. TSK. Eating a legendary human commander makes me feel good just thinking about it. The other one said. That Bei Fong looks quite young. And the meat must be tender. Not necessarily. I think his flesh should be firmer. After all, he has been fighting outside all year round. The three young insects were talking and laughing. Not paying attention to Su Yun Song beside them. They actually started discussing which piece of meat on Su Xia's body tasted best. But a moment later, a shrill scream suddenly came from the rain curtain. The scream was full of pain and despair. Several insects trembled and looked in the direction where the scream came from. What happened? They looked at each other for a few times. And they all recognized that the hoarse and crazy scream was coming from Eri. In the oasis camp, many humans also responded to the cry. It's that bug. He's coming out. Get ready to fight. The elite psychic creatures from various major organizations moved forward to block the front. Then came countless ordinary warriors. 
The tension in the entire camp instantly rose to the extreme. Everyone tensed up and stared in that direction. Drops of cold rain hit the black raincoats. Under the raincoats were countless resolute and young faces. They clenched their weapons and faced the unknown fear in the darkness. Hiss hiss dash. The insect screamed twice more. And the sound was quite close to the camp. As if it would rush out of the forest area in the next moment. The campground was getting quieter and quieter. Everyone was waiting. And it was so quiet that the only sound left was the sound of rain and the sound of their own heartbeats. Xiong Wei's seven people and Commander Beifong all entered the forest. But the bug was still alive and was about to come to the camp. This made everyone feel heavy. As if they were weighed down by a huge boulder. But at this moment, a mature and steady voice suddenly came from that direction. Don't worry. This insect is no longer a threat. This familiar voice. It's him. It's the commander. The moment he heard this voice, the tense atmosphere in the camp instantly shattered. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief and felt a sense of security from the inside out. Even the rain in the sky seems to be warmer and no longer so cold. As long as this man is here, even if the sky falls, it won't be that scary. A few seconds later, a rumbling sound suddenly came from that direction. Su Xia's dagger pierced the insect's tail and then let the jet power carry herself and the insect into the sky, rushed out of the dark forest, and stood under the tall night. This insect is on the verge of death, and has paid the price for his arrogance. Most of his mouth and the smaller half of his chest were corroded away, and his harsh bones and fishy internal organs were exposed. His breath was dying, and his life was weak. His, during the last period of his life as a bug, he remembered Su Yun Song's warning to him. But it seems too late now. Guys, this is a living bug. Su Xia raised the dagger in her hand, and the insects hanging on the sword let out a few weak hisses. In the previous chase, all of his sharp limbs were chopped off by Su Xia. Now, he couldn't even make the most basic counterattack and could only struggle feebly. Below, people in the camp raised their heads. It was the first time many people had seen a living bug. As expected of the commander, this insect can't even resist in his hands. It's like a little chicken. Many people felt reverence and mentioned the word Beifong in their hearts to something that no name can compare with. Hi! The children who were hiding at home could finally come out, raising their heads and looking at the powerful man in the sky with curiosity or fear. This scene may remain in the psychology of many children and accompany them throughout their growing lives. Many players are not idle either. Either take screenshots or record videos, and then upload them to the game forum. It's past 2 o'clock in the morning, and the forum is still busy, with new posts appearing every moment. Many posts were just short-lived and were pushed down by other posts. But these posts about Commander Northwind remained popular and attracted the attention of countless people. It's this NPC again! Why is he so handsome every time he takes action? I want this picture. It can be used as a computer wallpaper. The most popular picture was taken by player Lin Shan from a special angle. In the screenshot, heavy rain is pouring. Su Xia is wearing broken armor with calm eyes and a resolute face. She is holding a dagger in one hand and stands above everyone, like an invincible god of war. A player posted a question. Where is the Oasis camp? If I create a new character, what is the chance that I will randomly find this novice map? Someone replied below. Don't try. I have opened more than 10 alt accounts before and never randomly arrived at the Oasis camp. This kind of thing can only depend on luck. Maybe there are such powerful NPCs and other novice maps? Oh. I feel bad talking about this. The strongest NPC in my map is an old-fashioned village chief. His combat power is about half as good as the wild dog monsters outside the village. What's 50-50? Please don't spend. It seems that there is never an absolutely fair game. And everything depends on a little bit of luck. Lin Shan has become the European emperor in the eyes of many players. And many people envy him for being able to embrace Su Xia, a powerful NPC, in addition to envy and jealousy. The players can only console themselves with one sentence. The lifespan of the European catfish is extremely short. In the camp, Su Xia dropped from the sky with a bug and ended the bug's life with a sword. You killed a Zerg level 3.3 psychic creature, Airy. You obtained Titanium Particles X2850. Your current Titanium Particles are upgraded to level 5, 1285-5375. Save the Oasis Camp Task 1 has been completed. The rewards have been distributed and can be withdrawn at any time. Get a bunch of rewards. Su Xia's confidence is getting stronger and stronger. On the Zerg side, the three young bugs all lost their smiles. Except for Su Yun Song. 
Erui was the strongest among them. So Erui dared to act alone. But he was still killed. And his death was extremely miserable. Fortunately, we didn't take action. These three bugs couldn't help but feel a little lucky. If they had done it, the end would have been even worse than Ares. This made them suspicious. Is Commander Beifong pretending to be weak? How can you pretend to be so real? At this time, Su Yun Song suddenly raised his head slightly, narrowed his eyes, and stared at the rainy night sky. The adult sent him a message. Chapter 50 Harvesting Supplies Hide better in the last few days. The Lord is gathering the warriors in the lair. The flesh and blood in the entire camp will be ours. There is no rush now. Su Yun Song stood in the cold shadows, looking towards the center of the camp, looking at Su Xia who was surrounded by countless people, with deep greed hidden in those old eyes. Commander Beifong is a high-end ingredient. This ingredient does not require any cooking and can taste the best flavor when eaten raw. He will definitely eat it. But the time has not come yet, and he still needs to endure it. This old guy's forbearance ability is much more terrifying than the other young bugs. He walked out of the shadows, forced an old smile on his face, walked into the crowd, walked little by little in front of Su Xia, and asked, Commander, can you sell me the corpse of this insect? I want to study it, find out the weakness of the bugs, and use the bugs' organs to try to make new medicines. No problem at all. Su Xia also had a smile on her face and stepped forward to hold Su Yunsong's hand cordially. In life, Acting is what you strive for. Mr. Su, you are the highest level pharmacist in the camp. You must study this bug carefully this time. I will. The two of them were too close. Su Yun Song smelled Su Xia's scent, swallowed, lowered his head slightly, and almost couldn't help but attack Su Xia in full view of the public. Once you take action here, the previous forbearance and lurking will be meaningless. Xion Wei said happily. Okay. Mr. Su is also the backbone of our camp. If you join forces with the commander, our camp's chance of winning will be even higher. Old man, please take care of yourself and rest early. You are no longer better than a young man. Minister Luo also said with a smile, an old person in a family is like a treasure, and the camp still needs care. Su Yun Song is highly respected in the Oasis camp, and many people have been treated by him. With his old and kind face, it is really difficult for people to associate him with the terrifying bug. Even if he tells everyone now that he is a bug, some people will not believe it unless his green blood is injected. Come out. Ahem. Su Yun Song coughed twice, seeming to be a little weak. He sighed. Oh, I'm old, and I can't stand you young people anymore. Could you please manage your Xiong to help me take this big bug to the pharmacy, and I won't get involved in your young people's affairs? Okay, Mr. Su. Walk slowly. Xiong Wei agreed to the matter and planned to deliver the insect corpse to Su Yunsong later. After Su Yunsong left, everyone gathered in the center of the camp and began to discuss what to do next. The death of a bug made everyone in the camp briefly happy. But then, there were more problems. The biggest problem right now is, do you want to evacuate the Oasis camp? No! Blu-ray knew the terror of bugs and rejected the proposal. He held the severed hand and said in a deep voice, There must be a bug nest in this forest. We must find it. Otherwise, we will always be passive. During the evacuation, the bugs will definitely attack us. No one can leave. Staying in the camp, there is still some hope. Once evacuated, you will need to walk through a huge forest area from the camp to the outside world. In the past, these towering ancient trees were the best protection for the camp. But now, the situation has reversed. And the forest has become perilous. Blu-ray's opinion is quite firm. If you don't withdraw, you won't die. Mr. Lon, go and reattach the broken hand. We are here, Su Xia said calmly. Good. Blu-ray left in a hurry, and the remaining people continued to discuss. If you really want to stay at the Oasis camp, you must strengthen the camp's defenses. At this time, another task popped up in front of Su Xia's eyes. Save Oasis Camp Mission 2. Task Description. The insect nest is ready to move, and a new attack is coming. Please let the camp have more defenses. Task Reward. Depends on the completion of the task. Make the camp more fortified? Su Xia's heart moved. This task did not require him to complete it by himself. All he wanted was a result. He can mobilize players. And these sleepless guys must be very willing to move bricks in the game world. But what kind of reward should be given? Su Xia looked at the titanium particle quota given to her by the system and thought to herself. The quota given to me by the system has increased to 6,000 per day. At this stage... The rewards for ordinary tasks are only 100 or less. 
Many people cannot receive tasks at all. I can only slowly kill mobs to upgrade. In addition to titanium particles, I can also provide players with other things I have. Su Xia's body is a treasure house with many things. As long as he wants, he can give everything he has to a player, including his own psychic energy and titanium particles. Players can buy psychic weapons and potions from him, or they can recognize him as a mentor and learn skills from him. Skill. Su Xia suddenly thought that she hadn't had time to read the Tiet Affinity that was rewarded in the previous mission one. He immediately clicked to view. Name, Titanium Affinity. Grade, no grade. Type, passive skill. Description, after learning. Your affinity for titanium particles will be improved. Every time you kill a monster, you can get an additional 5% titanium particle reward. After reading the description, Su Xia's eyes lit up. Isn't this a permanent 5% experience increase? Nice one. He raised his head slightly. Looked at the players who were diligently killing monsters in the darkness in the distance and had an idea in his mind. At this time, Xiongwei suddenly said, Commander, we may have to discuss it until dawn. Your injury is not healed yet. Go back to the hot spring room to rest first. Don't be too tired. This battle made Xiongwei deeply realize that without Su Xia, it would be extremely dangerous for them to face the bugs themselves. The bug played with them like a hunter playing with his prey. Seven of them can't compare to Su Xia alone. Well, thank you for your hard work, Mr. Bear. Su Xia did not refuse and immediately returned to the hot spring room. Strength is the most important thing. Absolute strength can defeat all conspiracies. He continued to soak in the hot spring and handed over his body to the bracelet. His consciousness returned to the clone in Coral City. It was almost three o'clock in the morning. But Su Xia did not return to her father's pharmacy. Instead, she rented an off-road vehicle and drove out of the city with a box of ordinary bullets as the rental fee. This barren game doesn't know how to open a portal between the city and the wilderness dungeon. Even if you only charge a penny for each transmission, the game company can make a lot of money. Su Xia went to the wilderness, this time for the supplies hidden by the Blood Red Mercenary Organization. The road was empty at night, and Su Xia drove to the extreme speed, driving much faster than the driver of the old bus before. Buzz! The engine roared and the off-road vehicle was like a steel monster running wildly in the wilderness. Chapter 51 Another Great Harvest The night falls. Off-road vehicles speed through the wilderness. In less than two hours, Su Xia arrived at her destination. This place is located at the foot of a low mountain. There seems to be no trace of human civilization. As far as the eye can see, there are dry vegetation everywhere. Su Xia got out of the car, slammed the car door, and walked towards the detailed location given by Chen Ze under an old tree that had been dead for who knows how many years. He found a rusty iron door covered in grass. Crunch. Su Xia opened the iron door, and a staircase extending toward the ground suddenly appeared in front of her. This is where the Blood Red mercenaries hide their supplies. The materials they looted and purchased from various places are hidden here, and they can come and get them when they need them. With a calm expression on her face, Su Xia walked down the steps and arrived at the warehouse at the bottom within a short distance. There is a rusty old generator and battery at the door. Snapped. He pressed the switch next to the warehouse door. The old chandelier's overhead lit up one after another, and the lampshades were covered with dust and cobwebs. Under the light, rows of cold metal shelves were filled with various supplies. Medical supplies, food and fresh water, firearms and ammunition, psychic weapons, biological specimens. Among them, food and clean fresh water are the most numerous accounting for almost half of the entire warehouse. In addition, there are biological specimens, although there are not many firearms, ammunition and psychic weapons. They are enough to arm a small group of dozens of people. Su Xia even saw two old-fashioned toad guns. Next to it lay several large boxes of brand new artillery SH. LS. These cannons can still be used. It's a good choice to get them back to the camp and fight in positional warfare. Su Xia was very satisfied and patted the cold muzzle of the cannons. If Brother Yunlong had had this thing back then, he could have conquered the Milky Way. Su Xia walked to the middle of the warehouse and found what he wanted most on a small shelf a box of psychic potion. Click! He pressed the switch and the box slowly opened. A total of 14 precious psychic potions lie quietly on the soft foam cotton. Among them, there are 11 low-level psychic potions, and the other three are intermediate-level psychic potions. Intermediate potions are for Su Xia's own use. When he recovers to level 3.6, he can put these potions into his body. Good baby! Su Xia was in a good mood. 
put away the potions, and continued searching in the warehouse. As a poor creature who can sense metal, he smells the smell of money in this warehouse. Sure enough, Su Xia found a small wooden box in the corner of the warehouse. Opening the box, the dazzling light almost blinded Su Xia's eyes. Crown? Inside the box was a golden crown studded with precious stones. This is probably the stuff of a certain royal family in the west. How could it end up in the south of the mainland? Su Xia picked up the crown and felt heavy in it. This thing cannot be sold for the time being. For fear of being targeted by interested parties. After the war between the human race and the machine race, many royal families fell from the altar. It is said that in the west of the continent, many resistance organizations were formed by the former royal family. Those nobles wanted to defeat the mechanical tribe and regain their former glory. Keep it for now. Maybe it will be useful later. Su Xia put away the crown and then began to collect the rest of the items in the warehouse. There are too many things in this warehouse. There are not enough storage grids for his personal account. And there are not enough for the commander's account. As a last resort, Su Xia could only temporarily control the commander's account to leave the hot spring room. Find Song Zhong. And ask Song Zhong to get him an empty warehouse. Commander, what do you want with such a big warehouse? Transform it into a secret laboratory? Song Zhong was still so curious. You'll know in a few days. Su Xia remained mysterious and asked Song Zhong to leave first. He stayed alone in Nuota's warehouse and began to take out supplies one by one. The two towed artillery pieces were the largest, with each cannon occupying ten grids of storage space. This long transportation lasted for more than ten minutes, filling up one-third of the large warehouse before finally ending. Su Xia carefully selected some weapons and equipment and placed them in the store column of her commander account so that those players can see them. After doing all this, he went back to the hot springs. On the Coral City side, the clone drove back to the city. Seven in the morning, the clone finally returned to his father's pharmacy, climbed gently to the second floor, and returned to his room through the window. Call. After doing all this, Su Xiao lay on the bed and breathed a long sigh of relief. Not long after, he heard his father getting up. Older people seemed to get very little sleep. Only five or six hours a night. Dad made himself a cup of coffee, then went out with his hands behind his back to buy breakfast for the three apprentices who were sleeping in. Su Xia also took advantage of this time to go offline and have a simple breakfast. The other five guys in the dormitory were still fighting, as if they were not tired. Their eyes were red, but they were still staring at the screen. Su Xia noticed that these guys have already reached level 2. In another hour or two, they can reach level 3 and put on the complete level 3 novice suit. Are you going to have breakfast? Su Xia asked. Brother Su, now is the land reclamation stage. Li Difu said solemnly. Eat when you are hungry. You are not hungry yet. Games can make people forget about hunger. He was too lazy to care about these guys. Ate his meal in a hurry and got back online. In the pharmacy. The old man was wearing small round glasses and a yellow mantle that would not change for hundreds of years. He was carrying traditional tofu puffs and fried dough sticks in his hand. He patted the table and shouted, You lazy fellows! Come down and eat! Got it! Coming! As soon as he heard about eating, Hong Bafu jumped up, his fat body making the entire second floor tremble. The aroma of fried dough sticks filled the shop, dispersing the weird medicinal smell. This game does not set physical strength or hunger values. But Su Xia's body will still feel hungry. He and his two brothers went downstairs. The three of them sat at the counter and had breakfast with their father. The tofu brain in the bowl is filled with hot steam and fragrant, making you mouth-watering. However, what was sprinkled on top was a thin layer of white sugar. Um, sweet tofu? It was the first time for Su Xia to eat this kind of food. Seeing that the other two brothers were enjoying the food, she didn't think much about it and just put her head in her mouth. Dad turned on the TV, switched to the news channel, and started listening to the news early in the morning. Sure enough, Stone Town was in the news. As expected, Coral City News never reports the truth. Only lets people know what they should know. On the TV, the sanctimonious human host said, Just last night, the Blood Red mercenaries were hired by the city lord to go to Stone Town to investigate the resistance organization. However, the resistance organization suddenly attacked and fought with the Blood Red mercenaries, causing the entire town to collapse. The town was destroyed and many innocent town residents were implicated. How shameless. Hong Bafu couldn't help but curse. He didn't know that the Blood Red mercenaries had been sent away by Su Xia. So he couldn't help but say, 
When will trash like the Blood Red Mercenaries be punished? The next second, the host on the TV gave the answer. The host said regretfully, but just when the Blood Red Mercenaries were about to succeed, a mysterious man suddenly appeared and launched a shameless sneak attack on the Blood Red Mercenaries. Chapter 52 We Meet Again All members of the Blood Red Mercenaries are loyal to the City Lord and are loyal. Everyone is well educated and is a righteous force. But they were attacked by a sneak attack last night. When they heard this, the two brothers, Hong Bafu and Lan Bafu, stared at the TV screen with their eyes wide open and even forgot to eat breakfast. The entire mercenary organization was wiped out. According to the information given in the news, shortly after they left, the Blood Red mercenaries suffered retribution. The identity of the person who did it is very mysterious. He wore a metal mask on his face and was very powerful. He left after killing without leaving any information that could determine his identity. Good. Good kill. Hong Bafu picked up his rice bowl and drank a bowl of tofu now. He felt comfortable all over and the depression of being hungry last night was swept away. Lan Bafu was also very happy, and clapped his hands repeatedly. The management of this world is very loose, and the bloody scenes on TV are not coded, so the two of them can clearly see the miserable conditions of the members of the Blood Red Mercenaries. The worse those guys died, the happier the two of them were. Su Xiao laughed twice and expressed that she was also very happy. The father took a sip of coffee, looked at the TV screen, and then looked at the expressions of the three apprentices. Thoughtfully, on TV, the host actually offered a reward at the end of the report. The Lord of the City has issued a reward of 100,000 for the head of this mysterious man wearing a metal mask. If you can provide valid information, you can get at least 50,000 yuan. Thousands of bonuses. Residents, if you see a mysterious person appear, please do not hesitate to call us immediately. The reward is only 100,000. Who do you look down on? Su Xia pursed her lips and thought of the 8 million in the commander's account. Compared with that, her claw was a bit shabby. Lan Bafu asked cheerfully, Teacher, you have many connections. Do you know this mysterious man wearing a mask? Never seen it. The father raised his glasses, peeled off a few cloves of garlic, and threw them into the bowls of the three apprentices. Don't think so much. Just eat seriously. Oh, this masked man does not belong to the machine tribe camp. As for the resistance organization, I have never heard of such a person. Dad said lightly, either he has recently come to Coral City, or he is someone from the neutral camp. In the neutral camp, the most arrogant and largest organization is undoubtedly the Zero Point Tavern. Shortly after this news was broadcast, the host got another piece of news. He immediately stopped what he was broadcasting and said seriously, now here is an urgent news. Just two minutes ago, Lingin Tavern announced that it was responsible for the attack by the Blood Red Mercenaries. The murderer was a killer from Lingian Tavern. Codename Mask Stranger. It turns out to be the Lingian Tavern. No wonder. Hong Bafu said. Only they have the courage to directly declare responsibility for such a thing. Unfortunately, they are just a group of guys who get paid to do things. Many neutral organizations are not actually neutral. Because they must rely on a big figure or some force to exist. But Zero Point Tavern is different. This organization is purely neutral. Previously, the Machine Tribe issued a notice to the tavern, asking it to hand over the specific locations of the gathering places of many human resistance organizations. But the tavern did not reply at all and directly treated it coldly. Many people want to know, what does this organization have to rely on to dare to be so bold? On the news, the host said, we strongly protest and condemn the behavior of Lingian Tavern and hope that the pub can have a peaceful dialogue with us. Hey. It would be great if these two fight. Lan Bafu laughed a few times, even though he knew that was impossible. After this news, there was some very daily news, and the Machine Clan didn't seem to notice the sudden appearance of many players. It seems normal when you think about it. Compared with the huge number of residents in the city, there are only a few players. On the forum, someone posted a message saying that he tried to attack a refugee NPC, but was suppressed by the refugee with one hand. Some people were caught by soldiers patrolling the streets as soon as they started, and then were thrown into a dark prison to pick up soap. At this stage, players cannot make any waves. Su Xia buried her head and planned the construction plan of the Oasis camp while eating. While several people were eating, the pharmacy was not open. But before the meal was finished, a middle-aged man suddenly walked into the store and said to his father, Master, I'm here to get something. Dad looked calm. Well, Come with me. In Su Xia's confused eyes, 
The middle-aged man followed his father to the second floor. He sensed that there was a weapon on the middle-aged man, and the steps taken by his right foot were relatively short. When he went up the stairs, his body leaned to the other side. He must have been injured. There were cuts from grass blades on the back of his right hand, and there were marks on the soles of his shoes. Minor mud stains. Not like a city dweller. Lon Bafu whispered. Teacher has some strange customers. Brother, please don't care about them. Don't ask about them. Just bow your head and eat. That's it. Well, thanks for reminding me, bro. Su Xiao lowered her head and drank the sweet tofu now in the bowl silently. After a while, the middle-aged man went downstairs with a box of medicine in his arms, opened the store door, and left in a hurry without saying anything. Dad slowly went downstairs, sat behind the counter and said, After dinner later, you guys will deliver a box of medicine to the rich man in the city. It's very close this time, so there won't be any trouble. The world after the war is still very complicated. All major pharmacies offer door-to-door medicine delivery services. After the three of them had eaten, they received a box of health potions from their father. Many wealthy people in the city like health-preserving potions, especially those that can improve their health. They took an old bus until they reached the central area of the city. This area was the first to undergo reconstruction work. The roads were clean and wide, and there were no refugees in sight. After getting off at a platform, Hong Bafu walked at the front, leading the two of them towards the rich area. What Su Xia didn't expect was that he actually saw an acquaintance. Zhao Si, the trader is now living a prosperous life. He is now also a member of the rich area. He has just had breakfast and is taking a few beautiful servants for a walk, enjoying themselves. After seeing Su Xia and the others, Zhao Si's eyes lit up. He stepped forward with a smile and asked, Three young men. Are you apprentices at dad's pharmacy? Yes. Hong Bafu's expression remained unchanged, and he answered calmly. Jalousy waved over a few security personnel, and said with a smile, There are many big shots in this area. I have to search you for any dangerous items. Do you have any objections? No comment. It seemed that the same thing had happened before. So the Hong Bafu and the Blue Bafu were both calm. Several security guards came over, and took the three of them away separately taking them to different areas for body searches and asking some normal questions. Zhao Si, on the other hand, followed Su Xia all the time and said with a smile, Young man, we meet again! Chapter 53 Friends Are For Sale In the orphanage before, Su Xia left a very good impression on Zhao Si. He always remembered this polite and patient young man. Zhao Si was a traitor and was trusted by the city lord. He was directly parachuted into a very important management position but there were not many useful people around him. The other human managers were ostracizing him, as if they were afraid that he would report to the city lord, which put a lot of pressure on Zhao Si. Young man, I remember your name is Su Xia. Right. Yes, Mr. Zhao has a good memory. Good memory is one of the prerequisites for becoming a manager. Zhao Si smiled warmly, and as before, he stretched out his hand and patted Su Xia on the shoulder like an elder. He said, I had a premonition that we would meet again soon. I didn't expect to meet again so soon. I'm just here to deliver medicine. Su Xia behaved very honestly, with the word purity written all over her face. His voice was not loud and seemed a little reserved. Zhao Si said, Yes, you have become a pharmacist apprentice as soon as you entered the society. You have already been in front of many people. Thank you for the compliment, Mr. Zhao. But although the profession of pharmacist is good, it still relies on skills and connections, and it is difficult to reach the heights of power. Zhao Si began to induce. When others need you, they will call you with respect. Master, but once others no longer need you, your status will not be much different from that of ordinary people. Yeah, I understand. Su Xia nodded repeatedly, looking so honest as to be honest. Zhao Si continued. Besides, Dad's pharmacy where you are located may not be peaceful for long. Mr. Zhao, what does this mean? Su Xia raised her head, widened her eyes, and acted surprised. Although he was not a professional performer, it was enough to fool Zhao Si. And, he was actually a little surprised. Did dad mess with someone he shouldn't have messed with? Zhao Si suddenly sighed, shook his head and said, Coral City has been unstable recently. Someone in the city seems to be contacting the resistance organizations in the wilderness. And the rebels are providing supplies. Could it be that? Teacher? That's right. Zhao Si's face became serious. Su Xia, your teacher, that old man, 
has probably been providing medicine to the resistance organizations outside the city. Do you know what the crime is? This? You're still young and it might be difficult to accept this. Zhao Si's tone softened a little. And his serious face became a little gentler. He said slowly, It is precisely because you are still young and I don't want to see you go astray. In fact, there are many suspects in Coral City. Dad is just one of them. However, Dad's personal strength is quite good and Coral City cannot monitor him all the time. And there is no way to judge whether Dad is providing medicine to the rebel organization based on the purchase and shipment volume of the pharmacy. After all, there is a certain possibility of failure in refining the medicine. Su Xia seemed very worried and asked Zhao Si, Mr. Zhao, what should I do? It's easy. Do you want to be undercover? Undercover? Su Xia's face was surprised. But her heart was untroubled. Sure enough, it was this move again. After this guy betrayed the Beifeng organization, he worked as an undercover agent in the organization for a long time. Otherwise the entire Beifeng organization would not have suffered such a tragic defeat. This guy now wants him to work undercover at his father's place. There are no new tricks. It's a pity that now is not a good time to take action. And the clone has no mission reminder. Otherwise Su Xia really wants to kill this guy on the spot. That's right. He is an undercover agent. Zhao Si said in a deep voice. Su Xia, there is more than one outstanding pharmacist in Coral City. I can introduce you to other outstanding pharmacists as your teachers. And after that, I can recommend you to the city lord. Let you enter the management team and rise to the top in one step. This, Su Xia seemed to be hesitant and lowered her head slightly. But Zhao Si immediately added, Su Xia, what do you think of the rich area here? How does it compare with the pharmacy? It's good here. Su Xia answered honestly. Then do you want to live here? Um, then we've made an agreement. Zhao Si took out a roll of banknotes. After this is done, you can also live here and become a master. And you will have no worries about food and clothing from now on. Upper class. Su Xia used her acting skills to make her face look more yearning. And then she nodded vigorously. In this way, he had an undercover identity again. Jossie patted Su Xia happily and said, Go! Your two friends are waiting for you. Don't feel any psychological pressure. Always remember that friends are meant to be betrayed. Yeah, I remember it. Su Xia took a deep look at Zhao Si and then walked quickly towards Hong Bafu and the other two. Security personnel had finished frisking them. Hong Bafu waved to Su Xia and asked, Brother Su, why have you been searched for so long? Do you have any grudge against that guy named Zhao Si? You don't know Zhao Si even if you don't have an elder brother? Of course I know. This is a notorious traitor. When mentioning Zhao Si, Hong Bafu looked disdainful. Commander Beifeng had a great influence on him and Lan Bafu. So they hated Zhao Si quite a lot. Oh, I see. Su Xia was thoughtful. The three of them continued forward and soon arrived at the rich man's home and completed the potion transaction. Before leaving, the rich man gave each of them a red envelope of 300 yuan, which was considered as their hard work expenses for running errands. The time soon came to 9 o'clock in the morning. They took the car back to the pharmacy. But before Hong Bafu and Lan Bafu could sit down, their father sent them out to deliver medicine again. Su Xia, on the other hand, stayed in the store because she was just getting started and needed a lot of practice. After the two people left, Dad sat behind the counter as usual, brewing a cup of coffee and wearing small round glasses. He picked up today's newspaper and told Su Xia, Don't disturb Dad. If you really don't understand, go ahead. Suck it up. Wait for those two guys to come back. And ask them, Teacher, do you know Zhao Si? I know. What's wrong? Zhao Si wants me to be an undercover agent here. Su Xiao walked to the counter and sat down. After the matter is completed, he guarantees that I will get endless glory and wealth. Oh! Dad smiled and put down the newspaper in his hand. He took a sip of coffee and asked, Do you agree? Of course I agree. With such a good condition. Wouldn't I be a fool if I didn't agree? Good. Dad is very satisfied with Su Xia's choice. He threw a key casually and said, The basement has not been cleaned for a long time. You can go and clean it during this time. If you pick up some potion formulas, you can learn them yourself without telling me. Thank you, teacher. Su Xia was delighted and grabbed the key. It's time to harvest another batch of goodies. Chapter 54 Alien Conspiracy Undead the basement is actually very clean. Various books, specimens, antiques, etc. are arranged in an orderly manner on the shelves. 
But since Dad gave the key to Su Xia, he naturally had his intention. Just after clearing a few shelves, Su Xia found four poison formulas hidden in books. And they were all second level poisons. Black Mandala, pure deadly poison. Blood Mist, a weakened version of the bone corrosive poison. Highly corrosive. Death laughs, makes the opponent laugh continuously. Grey Ghost, the great poisonous mist condenses into a ghost warrior to help the pharmacist fight. These poisons are simply tailor-made for Su Xia now. With these gadgets, Su Xia has officially taken the first step on the path of becoming a poison master. He looked at the time and saw it was almost 10 o'clock in the morning. Today is Monday. There is still class at 10.15 in the morning. Su Xia handed the clone to the bracelet for custody and then hurriedly logged off. In the dormitory, the other five roommates were all asleep. The snores came and went, like a group of walruses performing a chorus. In the dormitory group, the head of the room left a message for Su Xia. Brother Su, if you wake up later, please bring us some lunch. We need to sleep for a while. It seems that these guys are planning to skip class. Su Xia shook her head, took the textbooks, left the dormitory, and hurried to the teaching building. After entering the classroom, he found a seat and sat down. What he didn't expect was that after class, only half of the people in the entire major showed up, which looked sparse. Few of the students who arrived were paying attention to the lectures. They were all playing with their phones with their heads down, basically playing the mobile version of the game. Looking up at the stars, the teacher also turned a blind eye to this situation, picked up the list of students, and randomly clicked on them. Su Xia, arrive. Li Di Fu, arrive. Su Xia answered in six tones alone. No one in the entire dormitory was absent. After school was over at noon, he went to the cafeteria to buy six lunches. Like an old father, he returned to the dormitory with his lunch box and then slammed the dormitory door. Hey, 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 it's time to eat. Hum, hum, hum. The five roommates, who slept like pigs, got up from the bed unsteadily. Each of them had messy hair and without even opening their eyes, they opened their lunch boxes and started eating. Su Xia was also eating a box lunch. Seeing this scene, she couldn't help but think of the scene when her grandmother fed pigs when she was a child. I don't know why, but his body doesn't feel tired at all. It seemed that when his consciousness came to the game world, the body in the dormitory was really sleeping. He is quite energetic now. After eating, the five roommates lay back straight. Su Xia tidied up the dormitory briefly, then returned to bed, activated the bracelet, and traveled through time again. The clone has nothing to do here, so he will simply clean the basement and read some of his father's books. Su Xia noticed that there were a large number of records about the historical development of this world in her father's book collection. There is a pile of information and documents about the meteorite's arrival 20 years ago. The spiritual energy brought by meteorites promotes the evolution of the entire planet. Many people think this is a gift from God. However, some experts and scholars believe that so-called psychic powers may be the conspiracy of extraterrestrial civilizations. Before psychic energy was used in the energy field, some experts suggested that this energy may have been deliberately dropped by aliens in order to transform the environment of Blue Star and facilitate aliens' resource harvesting. Su Xia frowned and slowly looked through the information. At that time, this extraterrestrial conspiracy theory had many supporters and even gained the upper hand for a time, with a large number of supporting voices in parliaments of various countries. Some have even suggested that the leader of a certain superstate may have been controlled by aliens. This has led to the delay in passing bills that would replace traditional energy sources with psychic energy. But then, traditional energy suddenly and strangely skyrocketed in a very short period of time, reaching an astronomical figure. Many people could no longer afford to drive cars and had to support new energy sources such as psychic energy. It's really weird. Judging from the data, the period 20 years ago was full of weird feelings. But now that the war has broken out, there seems to be no point in exploring it anymore. Su Xia handed the body over to the bracelet and returned to the Oasis camp. In the camp, hot spring room. After a morning of soaking, this body has recovered to level 2.9 spiritual power and is on the way to level 3.0. Su Xia put on her equipment, looked at the supplies in her personal store, and then opened the door of the hot spring room. As soon as he walked out of the room, he saw the frowning administrator Xiong Wei. Mr. Xiong, what's going on? Su Xia looked around. Logically speaking, the construction of fortifications should have started in the Oasis camp. But the atmosphere in the camp was a bit strange. Commander, I was looking for you. Xiong Wei looked confused. 
What happened? Someone from Dragon City is here and wants to take over the management of the Oasis camp. What? Su Xiao was stunned. Dragon City, one of the seven remaining large-scale human resistance organizations on Blue Star. The current leader of this organization is named Su Yulong. He has the same name as Su Xia's old father, who was hit by a dump truck. He even looks exactly like Su Xia's old father. The reason why Su Xia was so interested in this game was to get the pass to Dragon City and go to Dragon City to see if that person was his old father. But now that he hasn't gotten the pass, Dragon City has taken the initiative to come. Commander Beifong? I've heard of your name. A skinny middle-aged man came over. My name is Zhang Fang. From Dragon City. Mr. Zhang wants to take over control of the camp? Su Xia didn't want to waste time chatting. So she asked directly. He glanced at the person's faceplate and determined that he was a member of the resistance organization. Zhang Fang nodded slightly and replied. In the past two days, there have been some changes around us. I think the commander should be able to feel it. You mean those weirdos? Yes. We call them the undead dot. The player has the characteristic of immortality, which arouses the vigilance of Dragon City. Dragon City contacted six other large-scale resistance organizations and determined that such people appeared all over the world. After discussion, the seven major organizations named the players. Undead? Like psychic powers 20 years ago. Within the seven major organizations, some people believe that the undead may be another conspiracy of extraterrestrial civilization. But talk of aliens is too far away. The biggest problem right now is the emergence of the undead has made various resistance organizations less hidden. Large-scale resistance organizations can fight head-on. But once the gathering place of small organizations is discovered by the mechanical tribe, there is only one way to destroy it. Therefore, Ma Chung sent many envoys to various small gathering places. The Oasis camp is no longer hidden. Everyone must leave. Chapter 55 Argument Pest Control Plan No. The camp is facing the threat of insects and cannot be evacuated now. At the camp, Su Xia, Xiong Wei, and others had the same opinion. But Zhang Fang was very tough. Commander Beifeng and Mr. Xiong, do you want to watch the Oasis camp be destroyed? Mr. Zhang, what do you think of the Zerg? Su Xia asked indifferently, her expression unchanged. With Su Xia's support, Xiong Wei and others became more courageous. The main reason is that the two words, Dragon City, are too famous. They had wavered before and wanted to risk annihilation by evacuating the men, women, and children from the Oasis camp. If we are willing to evacuate, will Dragon City provide us with a new garrison? Will Dragon City send troops to protect us? How can Dragon City ensure that the new garrison will not be discovered by the undead? Su Xia stared at Zhang Fang and asked several questions in succession. He knows the player's death-seeking characteristics better than anyone else. No matter where the Oasis camp is moved, the player will eventually find it. The world is just that big. There are not many players who like to explore maps. Zhang Fang's face changed slightly when he was hit by a series of questions. He coughed twice and said, About the new station. Su Xia interrupted directly. Mr. Zhang hasn't answered my question about the Zerg yet. Commander Yu. Zhang Fang's tone paused. He frowned, faced the crowd directly, and slowly released his own spiritual energy fluctuations. This force is stronger than everyone present. I have level 3.8 psychic power. Although it is not very powerful in Dragon City, I don't have to worry about the bugs in this small place. Zhang Fang said confidently. I have seen the corpses of those two bugs. They are both weak. If it were me who took action, I could still easily get rid of them. This guy is very smart. In this world where strength is paramount, level 3.8 psychic powers can convince many people. At the same time, he also wanted to suppress Su Xia. Although Xiong Wei is the manager of the Oasis camp, Zhang Fang can tell that many people in the camp are vaguely headed by Su Xia. He is stronger than Su Xia. And that is enough. Su Xia was not angry, but asked calmly, Mr. Zhang is really sure to deal with those bugs? Of course. I don't think you, Commander have received any systematic training and don't know the characteristics of bugs. Zhang Fang felt that Su Xia's attitude had softened a little, and there was a smile on his face. He introduced, According to past cases, the fear parasite is one of the top units of the insect hive. The strongest insect in this unit is not much weaker than the leader of the insect hive, and those who can sneak into the human camp are the strongest ones. Those who dare to launch a sneak attack are bugs who are absolutely confident in their own strength. The implication is that the strongest insects are only around level 3.3.
so the leaders of the nearby insect nests are not much stronger. Moreover, in a small place like Coral City, the probability of level 4 creatures appearing is too low. The odds of running into one are about the same as winning the lottery, Su Xia calmly suggested. Since Mr. Zhang is so sure, we might as well compromise. Commander, you said? On the way out, the bugs will definitely attack, and there are still many children in the camp. What do you mean, Commander? To get rid of this insect nest first? Zhang Fang looked at Su Xia. But the forest is too big. If the people in the camp are dispersed to find the insect nest, they are likely to encounter mishaps and be regarded as prey by the insects. A hunt. Mr. Zhang, have you forgotten the undead? Su Xia turned her head indifferently and looked at the players outside the camp who were working hard to kill monsters. Zhang Fang frowned and said, No, the undead are all lawless guys. There is no way to restrain them with rules, let alone drive them. Regarding these words, Xiong Wei and others had nothing to refute. Just this morning, there were several incidents of players attacking camp members. One player is even more obsessed with killing chickens. When I see free-range chickens, I want to go up and poke them a few times. On the Dragon City side, the players left a deeper impact on the Dragon City managers. These guys who were not afraid of death dared to attack the city lord and even tried to belittle the women in the city. Fortunately, the game system has restrictions and players cannot do whatever they want to NPCs. Who said the undead can't be driven? Su Xiao looked at Zhang Fang. In the past two days, many undead have helped eradicate the rats around the jungle. They are just after the titanium particles on the gophers. There is no way they will be obedient. It's never impossible. Only the method is wrong. Su Xiao was too lazy to communicate with this person anymore. Turned around. And walked straight towards the many players around the camp. Seeing this, Xiong Wei and others hurriedly followed. Commander, are you sure? Xiong Wei whispered in Su Xia's ear. It's difficult for these undead to communicate. Don't worry, Mr. Xiong. Su Xia didn't say much. He had already seen Lin Shan, who was working hard to open up Wasteland. Zhang Fang also followed, wanting to see what Su Xia could do. Su Xia didn't have a good impression of this middle-aged man. Zhang Fang was too confident and seemed a little keen on power. He wanted to take away control of the Oasis camp when he first arrived. He had a vague feeling that the interior of Dragon City might be a bit decayed. In the distance, Lin Shan also saw Su Xia approaching. He felt happy and hurriedly threw away the monster in his hand and ran over. He has reached level 4, wears a complete novice suit, and kills monsters very quickly. All thanks to the corpses of the gophers he picked up last night. Lin Shan patted his chest. Commander, I am strong enough. Can I join your organization? Let me see. Su Xiao looked Lin Shan up and down. In his eyes, this guy is still very weak. He can kill him with just a flip of his hand. On the side, Xiong Wei was a little surprised. He still remembered Lin Shan, but he didn't expect this undead person to admire Su Xia so much and always wanted to join the Beifeng organization. Zhang Fang and others were also a little surprised. But what surprised them even more was yet to come. In the monster spawn area, some players saw the scene. No. We can't let this guy take the lead again. This time the commander is mine. Thinking of last night's scene and the psychic potion in Su Xia's store, these players couldn't sit still. They all shouted, Commander, I am willing to fight for the human race. I do too. My life belongs to the human race. Commander, just accept me. Fight for humanity. The slogan seemed to endear itself to the commander. These guys were like locusts, swarming over one after another and quickly surrounding Su Xia. But after they saw the dazzling array of goods in Su Xia's store, their eyes widened. Damn it! It's only been one night. How come there are more than 10 psychic potions in the store? Yes. Su Xia also put the 11 primary psychic potions obtained from the blood red mercenaries on the shelves. And these weapons! Much better than this crappy sword I have. Wait a minute. It seems you can still learn skills. After seeing the skill, T and Affinity, the crowd suddenly burst into exclamations. Permanent increase of 5%. Chapter 56. For the sake of humanity, we are duty bound. In addition to titanium affinity, Su Xia's other skills can also be taught to players. But these skills are currently too buggy. Especially, psychic explosion. A group active skill can kill a large number of people as soon as it is used. It is simply a crushing level against low level monsters. Of course, these players currently do not have psychic powers and they cannot use active skills even if they learn them. In Su Xia's shop, 
all weapons are very expensive. An ordinary pistol plus a few boxes of bullets can be sold for tens of thousands. Some psychic weapons are sold for more than 100,000. Currently, individual players can only check it out and get addicted. But skills are learned for free. There is just one requirement. The intimacy with him needs to reach 10 points. How can we improve intimacy? The players were excited to see it. But they couldn't learn from it. The official website of the game doesn't give a specific method. It just says that you need to communicate more with NPCs. Commander, I want to serve the human race. Someone yelled. But my speed in getting stronger is too slow. Can you teach me the skill of titanium affinity? Commander, I can die repeatedly for the human race. More and more players are coming around. Everyone realizes that this is an opportunity for them to get ahead of the rest of the novice map players. Every time you kill monsters, you can get 5% more titanium particles. You won't see much in the early stage, but in the middle and late stages, through accumulation time and time again, the level of players in the Oasis camp will firmly occupy the first echelon. Seeing this scene, Zhang Fan was a little confused and stared at the enthusiastic players. These undead are actually willing to fight for the human race? Why are they different from the lawless undead people in Dragon City? Are they not accustomed to the local climate in Dragon City? Zhang Fang stepped aside and looked at Su Xia's back seriously. He realized that the problem lay with Su Xia. He has gained huge appeal among the undead so quickly. Commander Beifeng's charisma far surpasses the rest of the people in this camp. He is a natural leader. Although there are differences of opinion. Zhang Fang also thinks about the human race. If we can really get these undead to help find the insect nest, then there is no problem in eradicating the insect nest first. He is very confident in his level 3.8 strength. In the player center, Su Xiao waved her hands and said loudly, Dear adventurers, the Oasis camp is facing an unprecedented crisis. Those despicable bugs are watching in the dark. Once the bug outbreak breaks out, the entire camp will be destroyed. And you will too. Lost your footing? Lost the newbie map? The players' voices became much quieter. They looked at each other and began to communicate in low voices. According to Su Xia's description, there will be a group of high-level monsters attacking Novice Village. This seems to have never happened in previous games. Once this camp is occupied by bugs, where will we go to level up? Some people worry. Is there any other place in this forest where we can buy supplies and equipment? No. I finally hooked up with the equipment store owner's daughter. She just convinced her father to give me a 20% discount. We can't let this camp disappear. The Novice map is related to the vital interests of every player. On the game's official website, there is a description specifically about the Zerg. This race is terrifying and greedy. Once it occupies the Oasis camp, it will quickly drain all the resources around the camp. At that time, players in the Oasis camp will lose the novice village and become wanderers in the wilderness. And the speed of leveling and development will be greatly reduced. Commander, I can enter the forest to look for traces of the Zerg. Lin Shan took the lead and shouted loudly. Yes, Commander, we can help find the insect nest. Just issue the mission. That's right. We are duty-bound for the sake of the human race. These guys spoke out one after another. Although he was thinking about benefits in his heart, he still said he was for the human race. Su Xiao looked at the many players with a serious face and said, Okay, everything is for the human race. I recently learned a good skill. If I can survive this crisis, I will teach it to you. Upon hearing this, many players' eyes lit up. Opportunity for everyone to learn. But Su Xia solemnly reminded, Don't take it lightly. Bugs are more terrifying than many of you imagine. You must use all your strength in this battle. Commander, please give your orders. What do you want us to do? We are not afraid of death. Very good. Su Xia nodded with satisfaction, and then began to make detailed arrangements. The players are divided into two parts by him. Some who are brave and adventurous go deep into the forest to look for traces of insect nests. Others stayed in the camp and used stone and wood to build defenses. From the inside out, layers of defenses surrounded the oasis camp. At the same time, Su Xia also revealed a piece of news that excited many players. After the mission is over, I will select a few people who have performed well and reward them with an additional psychic potion. What? This news was like a raging fire, completely igniting everyone's enthusiasm. Since the launch of the server, no player has obtained the psychic potion. The person who can get the first one will definitely get a lot of attention. In front of Su Xia's eyes, the task progressive, saving Oasis Camp Mission 2, began to slowly advance. And it had been pushed to 0.3%.
Zhang Fang walked up to Su Xia and asked, Commander, why should such a precious thing as psychic potion be given to these undead? Su Xia, these NPCs are so busy. No wonder I couldn't get good things when I played games in the past. Although she hasn't played many games since she went to college. Su Xia played some games during her middle school days. He thought for a while and said, Mr. Zhang, I don't know what the situation is in Dragon City, but we cannot use strong methods to manage these undead people. The tougher they are, the less obedient they will be. We have to use benefits to induce them. Benefit. Zhang Fan looked at the players who were working hard to build the camp. Thoughtfully, in this way, the Dragon City representative and the Oasis camp temporarily unified their opinions. Get rid of the bugs first. Even if Zhang Fan doesn't come, the camp will find ways to get rid of the insects. There are too many old people and children in the camp. An evacuation is simply unrealistic in the face of extremely fast-moving insects. Zhang Fang's arrival only added a high-end combat capability to the camp. Mr. Zhang, have you ever fought against a level 4 psychic creature? Su Xia didn't want to miss every opportunity to improve her winning rate. He hoped that Dragon City could send a level 4 creature to help. Is the commander worried about this? Zhang Fang smiled confidently. Don't worry. If the leader of the nearby insect nest was a level 4 creature, those insects would have taken action long ago. Su Xia asked. Over there at Dragon City. Commander. Dragon City can't spare any manpower right now. Zhang Fang interrupted Su Xia. He said that Dragon City was very busy, and many members were sent to gathering places of various small resistance organizations. Don't worry. Leave the leader of the bugs to me. Chapter 57 Difficulties Owing Money The construction of the Oasis Camp has begun in full swing. In game forums, the topic of camps has once again become a hot topic. Shock! The first large-scale mission since the launch of the server. Where is the game balance? Why can Oasis Camp learn such powerful passive skills? That night, the secret that Chumzi and I had to tell. They are also beginner maps. And some maps are so poor that they can't even scrape out a few drops of oil and water. In the Oasis Camp, not only did the magical skill, Titan Affinity, appear, but there was also an opportunity to obtain psychic potions. This caused many players to complain that the balance of the game itself was broken although players and players are equal. But clearly, some players are more equal than others. For a time, envy, jealousy and hatred were like a tide, swallowing up the players in the Oasis camp on the game forum. Oh, damn, I've decided. I want to leave my novice village. Even if I go through all kinds of hardships, I still have to find the location of the Oasis camp. That's right. We can't let those despicable guys in the Oasis camp have the exclusive use of Beifong a high-level NPC. On the forum, someone issued a call to find an oasis camp together. But there are many monsters in the wilderness. And many high-level monsters block their way. This journey must be very difficult. At the same time, there has also been a craze in the game for looking for high-level NPCs. Many people felt that there must be a powerful NPC like Commander Beifong in their novice village. But they just didn't appear. As a result, the mayors and mayors of many villages and towns suffered. On the forum, a player posted. I think our village chief must be a master. I can't see his attributes at all. I decided to lure a nearby high-level monster to the village chief's home to let the village chief show his strength. The follow-up to this kind of post is basically not very good. Either the player is repeatedly killed by high-level monsters when attracting monsters, or the village chief flees with many villagers. But there are always some surprises in this world. And a few high-level NPCs who have escaped from the world have actually been found. Su Xia didn't care about these things. In the camp, after he made sure that everything was going in an orderly manner, he returned to the hot spring room and continued to soak in the hot springs. The battle with the bugs is getting closer and closer, and this body must recover quickly. The two insects that sneaked into the camp dared to act without authorization, which shows that they are very confident. But the insect nest has not attacked yet. What are they waiting for? Su Xia's heart was always filled with a sense of crisis. The atmosphere in the camp is very strange now. And the few bugs still hidden are all honest. And Su Xia doesn't want to start a war without sufficient preparation. So she hasn't exposed the old guy Su Yunsong yet. Both sides seem to be waiting. With this sense of crisis, Su Xia's consciousness returned to the clone in Coral City. Coral City was still covered in a layer of gray in the afternoon. The sky was gray. With only a small amount of sunlight squeezed in. Which seemed a bit depressing. Crunch. Su Xia opened the door, walked out of the basement, 
and walked to her personal experimental table with four recipes for poisons and their antidotes, including the ecstasy powder. He had five second-level poison formulas in his hand. There are still many areas in the basement that have not been cleaned. Su Xia plans to improve his strength first, refine these potions, and then go to the basement. Anyway, the key is in his hand, so he can go there whenever he wants. The two brothers, Hong Bafu and Lan Bafu, have finished delivering today's medicine. Brother Su, come here quickly, and I will teach you how to refine the lowest level of healing potion. Hong Bafu remembered the promise he made before going to bed last night. The materials for the first level potion are not expensive. Just go to dad and pay an IOU. That's it. If it's not over yet, you can rely on daddy for the rest of your life. Sorry. Brother. Su Xia was not pretentious and immediately started making healing potions under the guidance of Hong Bafu. His talent was ridiculously high. His hands were as steady as a robot. And with the help of the Hong Bafu, he made almost no mistakes during the experiment. It didn't take long for him to refine a first level healing potion. But this potion was very ordinary. There is no bonus of psychic talent. And the effect is average. Similar to the potion sold by outside merchants. Hong Bafu himself has the talent of healing. The healing potions he refines are at least 10% more effective than ordinary healing potions. At this point, neither Su Xia nor Lan Bafu could compare with him. Lan Bafu's talent is related to psionic amplification. The temporary psychic supplementary potion he made is at least 10% more effective than ordinary supplementary potions. Brother Su, hurry up and level up. From now on, we can leave all the poison orders in our store to you. Okay, I'll try my best. Time flies by. In the pharmacy, night came before I knew it. Throughout the afternoon, Su Xiao was proficient in several first-level potions with the help of two elder brothers and also tried to refine second-level potions. The second-level potion is much more troublesome. Its refining time is several times longer than that of the first-level potion, and the impact of the materials on the quality of the potion is gradually increasing. Many times, even if you follow standard refining procedures, the final product will be unsatisfactory. There are a lot of first-level potions besides Su Xia, but the second-level potions have not been successful yet. Brother Su, you have to find a feeling. Hong Bafu patiently guided. The feeling of a pharmacist is very important. When you reach a certain stage, as long as you feel that you can succeed this time, you will have a high probability of success. Feel? Su Xia's mind moves slightly. For people in this world, it's a feeling. And for players, it's proficiency. However, there is no proficiency column on the personal panel. And experience can only be gained through repeated failures. Don't worry. This guy Lan Bafu. It took him seven days to successfully refine the second level potion. And the success rate was not high for a long time after that. The teacher even praised him for his good talent. The Hong Blessing was the first to get started. And he directly explained the second blue blessing to Su Xia as a typical case. Lan Bafu curled his lips and said, You're not much better. The teacher said you spent five days and wasted materials that made him heartbroken and almost fell ill. Brother Su, you have to work hard. Well, I'll do my best. As soon as he finished speaking, the bottle on Su Xia's experimental table broke. He sighed, seeing that it was getting late, and began to calculate today's profits. On the shelf next to him are more than a hundred newly refined first-level potions. This is the result of a whole afternoon's hard work. Now his success rate in refining first-level potions is quite high. Under the shelf were piled several large bags of medicinal dregs after he failed to refine them. I already owe the teacher more than 4,000 yuan in material fees. And the first-level potions I refine can only earn more than 3,000 yuan by selling them at market prices. And I still owe a thousand more. After settling the accounts, Su Xia's heart felt cold. Although a lot of the materials were wasted by trying to refine the second-level potion, he was still a little surprised that he owed so much when he just started. How much will the two brothers Hong Bafu and Lan Bafu owe? If these two people attack the fourth-level pharmacist, the waste materials will only be more and more precious. Su Xiao looked at the two of them and asked a question, but both of them hesitated and refused to say anything. Chapter 58 Death Laughs In fact, Su Xiao is lucky. Dad has enough materials here, and the materials for refining various potions can be found on the first floor or in the basement. There is no need for Su Xia to find a way to get the materials by herself. There is no need to rush to pay back the money you owe for materials. You can figure it out later. So Su Xia could keep trying without any scruples. Without interruption throughout the afternoon. 
Hong Bafu leaned against the window, tossed a few potions in his hand, and said, Brother Su, do you know that in other pharmacies, apprentices don't get many materials at all, and they can try one or two a day. It's pretty good once. In the early stage, I can basically only do some errands and odd jobs. Su Xiao was stunned, raised her head and said, Are we the only exception? That's right. The only exception is the teacher. In other pharmacies, many poor apprentices can barely refine first-level potions after several months of entry, and they can only be promoted to second-level potions after several years of entry. Those apprentices would never dare to think about Su Xia's random attempts. The sky outside the pharmacy window has darkened. The sun is setting, and the time has reached 7 o'clock in the evening, and it's time for dinner. The economy after the war was very bad. Many people in the city changed their three meals a day to two or even one meal. If it were not for the lack of food, not so many people would choose to join the army. After all, the mortality rate of soldiers in this era was quite high. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> the night wind shuttles through the city, drifting from the wealthy center to the edge of the ruins. In the simple refugee camps, many refugees are still hungry. The relief food promised by the city lord is getting less and less. I don't know where the food is gone. Many people are so hungry that they are skin and bones. Like living skeletons. People who starve to death are not buried. But become new food to help the living survive longer. No one knows when these desperate days will end. In the pharmacy. The aroma of food has filled the entire first floor. The waiter at the restaurant across the street brought a sumptuous eight dishes and one soup. Master, this is tonight's dish. Are you satisfied with it? Facing Dad. Several waiters were very respectful and kept bending down to talk. Dad looked at it lightly and said, Okay, go back. I'll come over to clean up later. Yes. Several waiters retreated respectfully. As a highly respected pharmacist, Dad is not short of money, and many people around him want to please him. In terms of quality of life, Dad can live more comfortably than those guys in the wealthy areas of the city center. But he has always been relatively simple. The reason why I order so many dishes is just because my apprentice is so good at eating. The father called to several apprentices. All of them are coming over for dinner. Come on! Hong Bafu swallowed his saliva, and his plump face was filled with a smile. Su Xia and Lan Bafu also walked over. The four masters and apprentices took their seats one after another. The shop was filled with fragrance, and the yellowish lights were a little more warm. At the dinner table, Su Xia learned more about the life experiences of the two brothers. Both of them were orphans. Their parents died in the war. After meeting their father, they have been living in the pharmacy and considered it their home. Brother Su, what about you? Lan Bafu asked. I never knew where your home was. I am from the Waste Armor City, and my parents also died in the war. Based on the memory of the original owner, Su Xia made up an orphan life experience for herself. Anyway, the two cities of Waste Armor City and Coral City are not far apart. During the war, residents of the two cities often fled to each other. A large number of civilians died or disappeared during this period, which is now difficult to verify. Oh, we are all orphans. Lan Bafu lamented in a low voice that war is a cruel thing. Although the large-scale war is over, small-scale frictions continue. One day in the future, either the human race will counterattack or the machine race will attack, and a large-scale war will eventually break out again, and the shadow of war will hang over everyone, even without a new war. Life in the areas dominated by the machine tribe is quite difficult. People can't see hope. They are like puppets whose souls are gradually distorted. Living in the gap between reason and hysteria every day. Many resistance organizations are not really bent on opposing the machine tribe. If the machine tribe can really allow the humans in the ruled area to live a stable and happy life, then it is not impossible to lay down their weapons. But the cruel reality proves that the machine tribe's concept of ruling people with people simply doesn't work. It just allows a small group of people to have power first, and then squeezes the remaining majority. We must give up our illusions. Resistance is the only way out. After dinner, Su Xia continued to try to refine the second-level poison. Boom! As soon as the refining started, one of the bottles was broken, and wisps of poisonous mist filled the air. Hong Bafu knocked down a bottle of universal antidote, handed one to Su Xia, and comforted him. Brother Su, Make some first-level potions to recoup your costs first. And then try the second-level potions tomorrow. Yes, we are not short of time or materials. There is no need to rush. Lan Bafu also said, The most important thing is to relax your mind first. The more anxious you are, the more likely you are to make mistakes. Based on their own experience, 
They estimated that Su Xia should be able to refine the second level potion in about five to seven days. This speed, to the outside world, is enough to cause a sensation as a super genius. Now I'm afraid that Su Xia is too impatient and loses her temper. Every pharmacist goes through a long road of failure. Su Xia nodded. Okay, I'll try again. He is not impatient and can accept countless failures. The reason why he continues to try is because he has found a bit of the feeling mentioned by the Beatitudes. This feels very special. Like an epiphany in a novel. When he put the materials into the Erlenmeyer flask again, he actually had a feeling of about to succeed. Kaka. The needle on the wall moves. Time gradually passed, and it came to 10 o'clock that night. During this period, Su Xia never succeeded. Fail. Still failed. I have experienced countless failures. The pile of scrap materials next to Su Xia was already higher than him. And the material bill he owed from his father was so long that there was no end in sight. Perhaps because he hadn't rested for too long. There were a few bloodshot eyes in his eyes. But he was still in high spirits. Just after 10 o'clock, he finally had a tube of dark green poison in his hand. Name, Laughing Death. Level, Second Level Potion. Type, Poison. Description, Happy Life Pill. After inhaling the poison gas, the enemy will fall into crazy laughter. Note, under the influence of the talent. Tenderness of death. This potion has an additional 13% efficacy. Success. An indescribable joy surged into her heart. Su Xia was too lazy to care about how much money she owed. Success was the most important thing. He immediately handed the tube of poison to Hong Bafu and said, Brother Hong, take a look. This is. When Hong Bafu saw the potion, his heart trembled suddenly and he stood up directly. Chapter 59 Kill the Boss Success! Hong Bafu held the potion tightly. Lan Bafu, who was dozing off, raised his head blankly, rubbed his eyes, wiped the saliva from the corner of his mouth and asked, What succeeded? Brother Su's second level potion. What? Lan Bafu was stunned. Did I sleep until a week later? What day is today? Snapped. Dad came over and slapped Lan Bafu on the head, so that the guy woke up a lot. He stretched out his old hand and said, Show it to daddy. Teacher, look. Hong Bafu did not dare to neglect and immediately handed the death laughter to his father. Dad held the potion with two dry fingers, lifted the small round glasses on the bridge of his nose, looked at the light for a moment, then opened it roughly and put it directly to his nose to smell. This scene made Su Xia's eyelids jump, but he couldn't imagine his father laughing like crazy. But dad seemed to be immune to this poison. He looked indifferent. After sniffing it, he just nodded slightly, then put it next to Lan Bafu's nose and said, Smell it. Ah? Oh? Lan Bafu was unprepared and took a breath of laughter poisonous gas in an instant. The poisonous gas was leaking out from the mouth of the pipe, and both Su Xia and Hong Bafu took half a step back. The next second, Lan Bafu's honest face twitched. The corners of his eyes raised, and the corners of his mouth lifted uncontrollably, revealing the upper and lower rows of slightly yellowed teeth. Ha ha ha. He smiled and couldn't stop laughing. I laughed so much that tears came to my eyes. But I still couldn't stop. Ha 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 ha. Lan Bafu's stomach began to hurt. But he could only laugh funny. Like a clown who had to perform. He felt bitter. You don't want to trick your disciples like this. Lan Bafu hurriedly found a pile of universal antidotes under his workbench. And poured the antidotes into his mouth while laughing with his mouth open. Fortunately, this is only a second level poison not a high level, and normal universal antidotes will have a certain effect. After a while, when Lan Bafu's face froze with laughter, his laughter finally stopped. Oh, teacher, you didn't even prepare me mentally. I laughed so hard that my cheeks were sore. He rubbed the sides of his cheeks in frustration. The father grunted twice, slapped him on the head again, and said, If you are at the bottom of the store in terms of talent and don't know how to work hard, you only know how to sleep all day long. When will you be promoted to the fourth level? Oh, I won't dare next time. Lan Bafu rubbed his head and was about to mutter a few more words. When suddenly, he was startled and caught the key words in his father's words. The talent is at the bottom. It only took Su Xiao less than a day to refine the second level potion. And her talent was even higher than that of Hong Bafu. Before his arrival, the blue blessings were at the bottom. And now the blue blessings are still at the bottom. Brother Su, this is amazing. Lan Bafu grabbed Su Xia's shoulders excitedly. With such a fast speed, he is probably much better than the teacher back then. Snapped. Dad slapped Lan Bafu on the head again. 
Lan Bafu's neck shrank, knowing that he had said the wrong thing. He closed his mouth angrily. No one knew how long it took Dad to refine the second-level potion, and even the disciples didn't dare to ask. The father capped the potion and threw it back to Su Xia. He said calmly, It's not bad, but the second level is just the starting point of the pharmacist's journey. Practice more in the past few days to increase the success rate. Yes. Su Xia looked serious and nodded vigorously. Then Dad stopped saying anything, turned around and walked back behind the counter with his hands behind his back. In the corner of the shop, three apprentices began to communicate quietly. Hong Bafu asked Lan Bafu, you smiled so happily just now. Did you think of something happy? Blue blessings. It was such a terrible feeling. And without an antidote, he might just keep laughing until, laughing to death, his tombstone will probably be engraved with something like, died laughing on X. Month. X. XXXX. Su Xia shook the potion lightly, shook her head and said, Brother Lan has level 1.6 psychic power. He is strong enough to resist some of the potion's properties. He will stop laughing soon. It's a bit scary when used on ordinary people. Lan Bafu thought about that scene and felt a chill running down his spine. After a while, the exchange ended and the three of them continued what they were doing. For the rest of the time, Su Xia continued to try to refine the remaining second level potions. Once you have a successful experience, the rest will become much simpler. Before midnight, second level poisons such as Grey Ghost, Blood Mist, Ecstasy powder and black detura were released one after another. Call. Another day has passed. Su Xia stood up and stretched. Very satisfied with today's results. At this time, Dad had gone upstairs to rest. The two brothers also finished washing up. And after telling Su Xia to go to bed early, they all returned to their rooms. Su Xia packed up her experimental table, threw away the trash, closed the doors and windows of the pharmacy, and then went up to the second floor. He walked into his room, closed the door, and fell heavily on the bed. Offline, in the dormitory, five roommates were fighting with a huge monster. Lee Defuse's eyes were bloodshot. His forehead was sweating, and he was clicking the mouse and keyboard with both hands wildly, controlling the character to move around to avoid the monster's attacks. Su Xia sighed and asked, Meeting the boss so soon? That's right. A big boss at level 12. Can you kill me? Su Xia noticed that these guys were only at level 5. After fighting for so long, the boss's health is still above 90%, and he looks alive and well. Let's try it! Li Difu gritted his teeth. Brother Su, I originally wanted to ask you to come over to deliver the final blow and gain experience from the boss. But this thing is too difficult to kill, and I'm afraid it will be targeted by other studios. Send me the location, and I'll try the newly developed potion. Su Xia returned to bed, turned on the computer and logged in to the clone. Another roommate, Li Sihua, asked, Brother Su, is it a healing potion? We are just short of this. No, it's poison. Huh? Li Sihua was stunned. This monster has already exceeded level 10. So first level poison may not be of any use. Send me the location first. Su Xia didn't want to talk too much, as she would be embarrassed if the poison didn't work later. After going online, he dug out the pharmacy from the window and hurried to the mine, where his roommates were located based on the location set by them. The boss is at the bottom of a certain mine. He is a humanoid monster, with immense strength, and red hair all over his body. The five roommates were miserable, dodging left and right in the narrow mine. Boom! The character controlled by Lady Few was accidentally hit, and one-third of his health bar disappeared in an instant. He was so frightened that he broke into cold sweat, and hurriedly controlled the character to retreat. Not far behind. There were many individual players, like silent lone wolves, staring at them silently. Chapter 61 Test of Poison Su Xia came to the bottom of the mine with a bunch of potions. It was almost one o'clock in the morning, and the boss still had more than half of his health. So several roommates were about to give up. No, this monster regenerates blood too quickly. If this continues, we will definitely not have enough potions. Yu and Xuxia, the room leader, took two steps back. His character is called SpongeBob Squarepants the lord in yellow, and he is the best equipped in the entire team. The individual players in the back are all watching, and they will definitely attack when the boss has only the last bit of health left. Li Difu was a little unwilling. We still have too few people. If we can recruit more people to form a team, tonight this boss is what we have in our pocket. While speaking, he was a little distracted and was hit by the boss again. The character he controlled slammed into the wall of the mine, 
and another third of his health bar disappeared. Li Difu happened to see Su Xiao walking towards him and shouted, Brother Su, give me a drink. Then, Su Xiao didn't think much and just threw a healing potion over. Li Difu hurriedly drank the potion, and his blood bar quickly rose. He was overjoyed and said excitedly, Brother Su, the efficacy of your healing potion is exactly the same as the one sold by the merchant. There is no difference at all. Does the cost really only cost five game coins? Moreover, my success rate is not 100%. Counting the failures, it costs about seven or eight yuan apiece. Su Xia set a fairly conservative price. As he becomes more proficient in refining medicine, the success rate will only get higher and higher in the future. Infinitely close to 100%. Li Siwa said loudly, Brother Su, give me one and let me have a taste. Okay, go on. Su Xia was so angry that she gave one to each of her roommates. Later, many individual players who saw this scene became uneasy. They wanted to let Bikini Castle fight the boss first, causing damage to both sides, and then grab the boss at the critical moment. Unexpectedly, Su Xia suddenly appeared. Who knows how many healing potions Su Xia still has in her hands. The mine is narrow, and two people can block everyone's way. At the last moment, Bikini Castle Studio can separate two people and use healing potions to withstand the attacks of many individual players. No, we can't wait any longer. Drive this studio out first, and then we will assign a boss. A player launched a call, and many people responded instantly. Okay, I hate the studio the most. These guys just know how to dominate the leveling maps and bosses. Come together and flush them away. The levels and equipment levels of these individual players are not uniform. Some are even only level 1. But their appetites are not small. They were numerous. Although the five people in the studio are well equipped. It is difficult to withstand the attacks of so many people. Another roommate. He Ju. Asked hurriedly. Do you still want to kill this boss? No more killing. Let's retreat. You and Shushia. The room chief. Made a decisive decision. Change the map to level up. And level up first. Good. The five brothers in the dormitory are very united and have no disputes. The boss will let them go as they please. They were ready to retreat immediately. Su Xia suddenly threw out a few antidote potions and said calmly, Drink these potions and let me try them first. Brother Su, do you want to use poison? Li Difu asked. Um, there are a lot of them. We'd better retreat. It wasn't that Li Difu didn't believe Su Xia. He was just afraid that Su Xia didn't have enough poison in his hands. In the early stages of the game, the gap between top players and ordinary players has not widened too much. And there is rarely a scene where one player beats up a group of players. Several other roommates thought the same way. And gathered around Su Xia to protect her. In their eyes. Su Xia is still a level 1 pure cuteness. But Su Xia still faced the many individual players who were approaching. And reminded her roommates again. Have you all drank the antidote? Drink. I drank it too. And it was apple flavored. Good reviews. Can you taste the taste of apple through the screen? Seeing that several of her roommates had drunk. Su Xia no longer restrained herself. With a calm expression, he took out two gray potions, holding one in each hand, and then used his thumbs to open the seal of the potions. Boom! Only a soft sound was heard, and the potion was opened. The gray ghost appears. Wisps of gray poisonous mist drifted out from the mouth of the bottle, and two ferocious-looking monsters condensed in the mine. They seemed to have just crawled out of H. L. They roared and pounced on many individual players. What the H. L. The man only had time to scream before his head and body separated. The combat power of the two gray ghosts is completely weaker than the boss at the back. But their existence time is very short. This is a one-sided massacre. Many individual players fell to the ground before they could react. And the scene was very bloody. And I'm Ma. How come there is such a thing? Someone is cheating. Report him quickly. The group of players, who were still alive, were shocked and hurriedly fled towards the exit of the mine. The two ghosts followed behind waving their ferocious claws, and taking away a player every time they struck. Su Xia spread her hands and said casually, What kind of mentality do these people have? They play well but just die. All right. He does have a problem. Beside him, several roommates looked dumbfounded. Li Difu was the first to rub his eyes. And then he asked, Brother Su, what are the backgrounds of these two men of yours? Are they both boss-level monsters? Yeah. Almost. Is the profession of pharmacist so scary? I thought it was the kind of profession of wet nurse that can save the world by hanging on to the pot. Yuan Shushu exclaimed. 
his heart beating a lot faster when he saw the blood all over the ground. But it's not over yet. Some players who were killed by Grey Ghosts before are being resurrected. And they still have the numerical advantage. Seeing this, Li Difu asked worriedly, Brother Su, do you still have such a powerful potion? Well, don't worry. Su Xia didn't want to waste it. So she looked at the players quietly to see if they planned to leave or try again. Obviously, most players chose the latter. Someone shouted, With such a powerful method, I don't believe he can do it again. Yes, let's rush forward and take revenge. Anyway, the game world will not really die. These guys were unwilling to give in and rush forward again. Screaming. Seeing this, Su Xia was not polite. He threw out blood mist with one hand and laughing death with the other. Bang bang dash. The two potions smashed against the cave wall. Blood red and dark green poisonous mist floated out instantly, blocking everyone's vision. Soon, a cacophony of screams and laughter came from the poisonous mist. Many players stared at the system prompts in horror and found that the characters they controlled were poisoned and were dissolving under the influence of blood mist. Their lives were rapidly depleted and they died again. The game has a death penalty. And every time you die, you will drop 5% of the current level of titanium particles. When they were resurrected again, the poisonous fog had not yet dissipated. So their characters died screaming or laughing again. After dying several times, no one wants to be resurrected. Chapter 61 Player Team Recruiting Troops 1.15 in the morning Without interference from other players Bikini Castle Studios successfully killed the boss. According to the game mechanism, the person who delivers the final blow to the boss monster will receive an additional portion of the titanium particle reward. Several roommates want Su Xia to complete the kill. But Su Xia knew that this body could not be upgraded and killing it would be a waste. So she gave the killing to the room chief. In this way, Room Chief Yuan Shushua was promoted to level 6. Killing monsters will not destroy equipment. You can use monster corpses to merchants in exchange for corresponding rewards. But just as Yuan Shushua was dragging the boss's corpse, a dark red crystal the size of a thumb suddenly fell from the boss's eyebrows. Click. The crystal rolled on the ground and rolled to Su Xia's feet. Later, the boss's red hair faded away, turning into a skinny miner covered in injuries. What's this? Su Xia bent down and picked up the crystal. And the information about the crystal suddenly appeared in front of her eyes. Name, Camouflage Crystal. Grade, No Grade. Type, Auxiliary Items. Description, After using crystals, you can change your personal appearance. Personal Description, etc. Allowing you to disguise yourself as another person. Note, Please do not use Camouflage Crystals for a long time. Some Camouflage Crystals are difficult to remove if worn for too long. It's an auxiliary prop that can disguise your identity. Su Xia shook the crystal. This thing should be useful to me. If you have no objection, I will accept it. No objection. Absolutely no objection. If it weren't for Su Xia, this boss would have been snatched away by others. And of course, the other people would have no problem with it. This thing would be of little use in their hands. Brother Su, it's all thanks to you this time. You and Shu Shu aside, we originally planned to raise your level first and then take you to gain experience while lying down. But we didn't expect that we were the ones who were taken flying. Su Xia shook her head and said, There are too few people in our studio. Otherwise, we wouldn't be so passive this time. Brother Su, what do you think? Have you ever thought about expanding the team? The time was almost here. And Su Xia proposed this idea. He said in a deep voice, This world is very big. There are only six of us in the dormitory. Even if we are all top players, it will be difficult to make waves. But a large team is different. This, in the dormitory, the other five roommates stopped what they were doing and looked at each other. The original intention of establishing the studio was to make money. They didn't take a long-term view before. Everyone was satisfied if they could earn a few hundred yuan a month for living expenses. But Su Xia's words were like a pebble, stirring up waves in the quiet studio. The main mission of the current version will definitely involve the ultimate battle between the human race and the machine race. Su Xia continued, We have too few people to make much profit. But if we have enough people, we may be able to influence the game world in the later stages. Development can even change the direction of the game. Brother Su, I always thought you were a nerd before. Why do you suddenly have the temperament of a war madman now? People always change. Su Xia sat on the edge of the bed, her legs dangling casually. Several roommates looked up at him. Li Difu asked, Brother Su, how many people do you want to grow to? Su Xia stretched out her right hand. 
spread her fingers, and made a slow five sign. 500 people? Li Difu was surprised. It was really difficult to manage so many people from all over the world. No. Five figures. Ah? It's up to people to plan things. And it's up to God to make things happen. Su Xia put her fingers together. I just set a small goal. Whether we can achieve it or not depends on our own abilities. Anyway, as long as we manage it properly, there is nothing wrong with having more people. In the history of online games, there have been many brutal battles involving tens of thousands or even more than 100,000 people, which almost brought down the game server with the popularity of the game. Looking at the stars, this will definitely happen in the future. Room Chief Yuan Shushua clenched his fists and was the first to make up his mind to support. Yes, Brother Su is right. With Brother Su's secondary profession, we can't just focus on making money. It's time to take a long-term view. With his support, the other roommates quickly nodded in agreement. So, in this silent night, the little-known Beachburg studio changed its course of action. The next workload will be huge. Recruit troops and buy horses. Su Xia sent screenshots of her previous killings with potions to the room director and asked the room director to use his identity as a pharmacist as a gimmick to attract a group of players who couldn't afford potions. At the same time, Su Xia thought about the Oasis camp. Over at the camp, the speed of personnel integration also needs to be accelerated. It seems that we need to put some pressure on the guy Chung Ping in and get some more money and supplies. Su Xia thought like this and closed the curtain of her bed. There is no need to worry about the new Beifeng organization in the Oasis camp for the time being. Xiong Wei is taking care of them. So supplies will not be a problem. But Su Xia was not satisfied. He controlled the character on the computer, left several roommates, and came to the vicinity of Lingyan Tavern. Then, he activated the bracelet and traveled back to the game world. Su Xia took out the camouflage crystal and pressed it between her eyebrows. Like running water, the crystal slowly blended into the center of his eyebrows and disappeared. Then a line of text jumped out in front of Su Xia's eyes. Do you want to modify it? Su Xia clicked yes. He briefly retouched his facial features. And then, did, a major overhaul of his personal information. The first was the player's name above his head. Su Xia directly erased it and replaced it with a normal NPC white name, Mask Stranger. And at the same time modified his personal description. In his personal description, he wrote, This person's appearance is too good. Beyond what the world can bear so he has to wear a cold metal mask. In this way, from the player's perspective, he is just an NPC that comes with the game. Afterwards, Su Xia put on a metal mask and walked to Lingyan Tavern. At the door of the tavern, he met Yemo who happened to be coming out. Yemo was wearing a black robe, and the corners of his mouth were slightly raised. And he said, What a coincidence! I just accepted a mission. Let's do it together, and you will get a share of the mission bounty. Give me a share? Su Xia looked at her. Given your personality, you probably don't like sharing money with others. This is not a beheading, but a group mission. We have to get rid of a 90-person mercenary organization. Of course, I alone won't be enough. Yemo explained with a smile. Let's go. I should also take you to see a few Beifong storytelling clubs. Members. Through Yemo's description, Su Xia learned the content of the mission. The target of this mission is a mercenary organization called Pishio. This organization has done many evil things, and its blood debt is no less than that of the Blood Red mercenary before. According to the information provided by the mission publisher, the Pichio organization will attack a suburban town in two hours. Luoshing Town? Su Xia was secretly surprised when she learned the name of the town. This town is one of the novice maps where players come. Chapter 62 Resurrection Will The members of the Beifong Story Club are not weak. The strength and qualifications of the few you are going to meet in the meeting are very high in the story club. Just behave normally, and don't leave a bad impression on them. Good. Su Xia followed Yemo, and the two of them walked into an extremely narrow and dark alley one after the other. At the exit at the end of the alley, parked next to the streetlight, was a black van with a high chassis. There were two men and one woman sitting in the car. After getting in the car, Yemo began to introduce Su Xia. The driver is Mr. Yuan Hua. She pointed at the driver and said, Level 2.8 Psychic Creature, one of the founders of the North Wind Story Club. Is this a new member? Yuan Hua started the van, looked at the rearview mirror, and asked with a smile. Right. Yemo took Su Xia and sat in the back row. The woman sitting next to her is named Shinyu, a level 2.9 psychic creature, and one of the founders of the Beifong Story Club. 
The man in the passenger seat is named Yang Liang. He is the strongest among the three and is a level 3.0 psychic creature. Through communication, Su Xiao learned about the original intention of the Beifeng Story Club. They hoped to raise a resistance organization in the city. And on the day of the final decisive battle, they will cooperate with the resistance organizations outside the city to dismantle the rule of the mechanical tribe in Coral City in one fell swoop. Shen Yu said, When we were founded, the gap in our strength was not big, and no one could convince the people as a leader. In addition, we all basically admired Commander Bei Feng, so we chose the commander to be our spiritual leader. You're just telling me, a newcomer, such secret information? Su Xia pursed her lips, feeling that this organization was not reliable. Shen Yu smiled and said, This bit of information is far from secret. You haven't come into contact with the real core information yet. So you should spend the three-month trial period first. Okay. This organization is assessing Su Xia. And Su Xia also wants to assess them. It's a two-way trip. Now that Su Xia's strength has returned to level 3.1, she can easily see through the personal panels of these three people. Their information is clean. They are not undercover agents. And their personal descriptions are quite normal. I hope the rest of the organization's members are fine. A group of five people rode in a van and quickly entered the suburban area surrounded by darkness. Evading several Coral City patrols along the way, two hours flew by. At four o'clock in the morning, the five people arrived in Luoshing Town. Yuan Hua stopped the car, frowning, and stared at the town ahead of the road. It's too late. Those damn mercenaries have already arrived. Several mutilated corpses were hung at the entrance of the town, dripping with blood and swaying in the wind. Like tattered scarecrows, the fire rises in sin and devours the night wantonly. This time, not only the residents of the town were brutally slaughtered, but also the players who descended on this town. There are corpses everywhere. Some are still intact, and some have no human shape. Broken limbs, broken arms, broken flesh and blood clots can be seen everywhere. Bloody human heads are impaled on both sides of the road with tall bamboo poles, and pairs of empty and dead eyes. Watching everyone who enters the town, under the raging firelight, the shadows of blood-stained bamboo poles intertwined and swayed on the road. Like a demon with teeth and claws, players can still be resurrected. But the inhabitants of this world only have one life. A player stood on the bloody pile of corpses, hugging a corpse and roaring angrily. You idiots! You guys killed my teacher! Boom! A gunshot rang out and smoke filled the air. There was wanton laughter under the night. And the shooter turned his gun and continued to look for the next target. In this town, no one, no matter the elderly, children or women, could escape this cruel and brutal massacre. Some players have given up on resurrection and are helplessly waiting for the massacre to end. But there are many players who don't play games just to be angry. They are angry and unwilling. They clenched their fists, gritted their teeth, and resurrected again and again. Even if they were exhausted, they would kill these arrogant mercenaries. It is because of these players, who are constantly resurrected that the members of the Pichot mercenaries stay in the town, and enjoy the pleasure of killing again and again. It's weird. Why can't these refugees be killed? No one can't be killed. If it doesn't work once, just kill it a few times. Although these mercenaries found it strange, under the stimulation of fire and blood, they did not feel scared, but became more and more excited. Some players were caught, tortured and covered with bruises. Someone was tied to a pillar disemboweled, and covered in blood. The mercenaries were laughing and timing the game nearby, trying to outlast the player who caught them. Ha! The one I caught lasted two minutes before dying. I won. Give me the money! Damn it! I'm going to catch someone with more tenacity! In the eyes of these bloodthirsty mercenaries, players are like livestock waiting to be slaughtered. New gameplays were developed one after another. Someone was nailed to the wall to serve as a living target for the knife-throwing contest. Others were locked in red-hot iron cages. And every time they were resurrected, they would only be greeted by another scorching fire. Ah! What kind of rubbish game is this? I want to complain! Heck! Who can help me kill these stupid mercenaries? Some players couldn't stand it anymore and were forced to log off the network after being caught, leaving this bloody town. There are also some players who grit their teeth and resurrect again and again, and together with the last living force in this town. They make seemingly meaningless resistance in the desperate night. As time passes, fewer and fewer people resist. Madness and killing died the entire town bloody. At this moment, Su Xia and the other five entered the town. Su Xia stood under a bloody bamboo pole. She raised her head and looked upward. 
With the help of the firelight, she saw the head of a boy. The sharp bamboo pole pierced his chin, and his eyes widened with fear. Everyone, do you want to start? Yuan Hua's eyes were burning with anger, and his fists were clenched. Let's start! After finishing speaking, the five people split up and acted like five sharp knives piercing the heart of the town. This is a cruel era, where order is trampled by absurdity and rules are broken down by artillery fire. The lives of ordinary people are more humble than the weeds in the wilderness. No one knows when death will come to them. The only thing that can stop violence is another, more powerful kind of violence. After returning to level 3.1 psychic power, Su Xia can control more metals. He walked towards a few mercenaries who were torturing the players with a sullen face and waved his hands. Boom! Countless electrical appliances exploded and turned into thousands of tiny red-hot metal fragments rushing out of the fire like shining fireflies under the night. Chapter 63 This Crime The killing shocked the entire gaming forum. Although they have known that this world is crazy and disorderly, this is the first time that players have experienced it firsthand. Looking up at the stars requires you to be at least 18 years old to play. But there are many younger players who have unlocked the game using the identities of their brothers, sisters, or other family members. This type of blood, violence, and extreme images should not be seen by these children. What's going on? Why aren't these images mosaic ed? What kind of game are you playing? This game of yours is really harmful. This early morning, countless voices of doubt pressed on Blizzard Game Company. However, the answer given by the company is quite simple and crude. The game world has already run independently, and the company will not interfere. Anything that happens in the game is unpredictable by the company. As for the mosaic, that thing, what's the point of the game? As soon as these words came out, countless parents immediately called to complain. Of course, some of these parents are real, and the other part is the operation of other game companies. Complaining in the name of parents, destroying the products of rival companies, and finally directing all public opinion to parents and grading is a trick that has been tried and tested. Look up to the stars. is so popular that many game companies are watching him, waiting for him to make mistakes. But the tricks that had worked so well in the past actually failed this time. Those complaints received no response and fell into disarray. Such a serious incident didn't even make a hot search. As a result, some conspiracy theories have emerged. For example, the boss of a game company is someone's second generation and has connections somewhere. But no external interference can affect the game. The game runs as usual. At this moment, Luashing Town. The hunter becomes the hunted. Boom. The body of a mercenary fell to the ground. Covered in tiny holes left by metal fragments. The joining of Su Xia and others instantly reversed the killing situation. In the eyes of many players, this battle turned into five high-level NPCs, crushing this group of low-level mercenaries. Is this how the game works? Will evildoers be punished? Some people muse that even if no players participate, there will be NPCs who will save the town. Others kept cheering. Well done. Send these damn mercenaries to H. L. That's where they should stay. What an awesome ability. Controlling metal. Did you buy Magneto's copyright for this game? Many players' eyes were attracted to Su Xia. But of course, all they saw was the game NPC named Mask Stranger. Su Xia also deliberately left some mercenaries unkilled. He severely wounded some of the mercenaries, and then threw these guys in front of the resurrected players and the remaining town residents, letting them deal with it on their own. This body cannot be upgraded, and it will be useless no matter how many monsters you kill. It would be too cheap to kill these mercenaries directly. Su Xia knew that the mercenaries who fell into the hands of the town residents would die in a more painful and tragic way. Some mercenaries were frightened and begged for mercy and horror. Let me go! I'm innocent! And I don't want to do those things! But if I don't do them, other people in the organization will treat me as an alien! One player kicked him viciously and cursed. Damn it! My teacher and his whole family died at your hands! He also begged for mercy. Have you let him go? I... The mercenary's face turned pale. His lips trembled. And he was desperately thinking of words to beg for mercy but any words pale in comparison to his previous actions. Some mercenaries were still arrogant and shouted loudly, You untouchables! Do you know who I am? Snapped. Regardless of his identity, the angry town residents went up to him and gave him a few slaps. The mercenary was beaten until the corners of his mouth were bleeding. But he still yelled crazily, I was hired by the city lord to eliminate the resistance organizations. How dare you untouchables resist? You will all die! Ha ha ha! What? Hearing this, 
many of the surviving town residents looked at each other. Little is known about the license to plunder. The players also don't know. So they can't understand why this guy dares to be so arrogant when his death is imminent. Who gave him the right to be arrogant? Seeing everyone's confused looks, the mercenary laughed arrogantly. In my left pocket, there is a robbery permit. Take it out and take a look. You untouchables. What I am doing here is legal. Even if it's legal, it's legal to kill your whole family. What license? Some players didn't believe it. So they immediately stepped forward, slapped the guy in the face, and then reached into his left pocket. Soon he took out a yellow certificate. It is exactly the same license as the previous Blood Red Mercenary, which allows the mercenary organization to attack problematic villages and towns. Hack. It's really a plundering license. What kind of behavior is it to bring heroes? Many players stared wide-eyed. It is really unbelievable that the minimum limit of the city lord of Coral City is so low. Shocked. They handed the permit to the town residents who were still alive. The residents couldn't believe it when they saw the bloody lines on the permit. How could this happen? Problem towns? Who is going to prove that the problem exists? Just because of a vain accusation? Did everyone die in vain? Some people stepped back blankly and sat down next to the bodies of their relatives. Nothing has been done in this town. There is no resistance here. The war has passed. And everyone just wants to live an ordinary life. As long as they can live and have a bite to eat. They can live here for the rest of their lives. But now, life has become a luxury. Some players yelled angrily. What kind of garbage world is this? Come on. Yes, it's the other way around. If you stay here, you're waiting to die. Damn. I'm just trying to force people to rebel. The players were filled with indignation. They were all visitors from a foreign land. Without this novice village, they could go to the next one. At this time, Su Xia came over carrying the half-dead boss of the Pixiu mercenary organization. This man's name is Zhao Daolong. And he also has a robbery permit. The arrogant mercenary just now was the second in command of the organization. And what the players found on him was a copy of the license. Zhao Daolong has level 2.8 psychic power and is considered a strong person anywhere. But at this moment, Su Xia had her legs broken. Boom! Su Xia threw it away casually, like throwing garbage, and threw it in front of everyone. Zhao Daolong was covered in blood, lying on the ground, shouting, I am the city lord's man. Who are you? How dare you attack me? Didn't you watch the news yesterday morning? Su Xia stood down and stepped on his head. Zhao Daolong was so angry that he struggled wildly, like a twisted reptile on the ground, roaring angrily. Let me go! If you dare to kill me, your whole family will die. Oh, I'm an orphan. Chapter 64 Killing for Life What? Orphan? Zhao Daolong felt a chill in his heart. There was no point in threatening his family. But he still spoke harshly and changed his threat. If you dare to kill me, from now on, you and your friends will remain on the wanted list in Coral City. And you will never have a good life in this life. It seems like you really didn't watch the news yesterday morning. Su Xia's expression remained unchanged as she stepped on Zhao Daolong's head, slightly increasing the force on her foot, causing Zhao Daolong to scream. Only then did Zhao Daolong react and shouted quickly. Wait! Are you the killer of Lingyan Tavern? Who assigned you the task? How much did he pay you? I am willing to give you three times the price. Yeah, that's right. I have a lot of supplies here. If I take them to Coral City, I can exchange them for more money than I can use in a lifetime. Xiao Dalong lay on the ground, looking miserable, and tremblingly took out a wad of cash from his pocket. At a rough glance, this pile can be said to contain six to seven thousand. This is just the emergency money he carries with him. As the leader of a small mercenary organization, he can control all the materials in the entire organization's warehouse. And those materials are the bulk. On the side, a town resident was pleading anxiously. My lord, please don't let this damn executioner go. I am willing to spend all my wealth. As he spoke, he hurriedly took out more than ten scattered banknotes from his clothes. At the same time, the remaining town residents, who were still alive, also began to pay out. They were all worried that Su Xiao would let Zhao Daolong go because of money. The players were also confused. They didn't expect that the masked NPC who seemed to be enforcing justice turned out to be just a killer who worked for money. Someone hurriedly shouted, Boss, this guy can't be kept. He belongs to the city lord. If you let him go, there will be endless troubles in the future. What are you so anxious about? Su Xia glanced at them 
and her tone was calm. He stepped on Zhao Daolin's head and ignored the other chips this guy gave him. His face was indifferent, and he quietly waited for the other four to end the battle. After a while, the killings in the town gradually stopped, and the mercenaries from other directions were all beheaded. There was a lot of blood splattered on the bodies of the four people in Yimo. Xin Yu had a scar on his arm, and Yuan Hua had a gunshot wound on his shoulder, both from previous battles. Psychic creatures are not invincible, and some specially designed weapons and psychic bullets can still hurt or even kill them, because he was too angry. Yuan Hua was not as cautious as before when taking action. So he was shot. Are you okay? Su Xia glanced at Yuan Hua's shoulder. The blood flowing from the wound dyed half of her shirt red. Little things. Yuan Hua didn't feel anything about the gunshot wound on his shoulder, but was surprised by Su Xia's speed. It's just too fast. In this short period of time, Su Xia killed and injured more mercenaries than any of them. Even the first and second leaders of the Pishio mercenaries fell into Su Xia's hands. You know, Zhao Daolong is a level 2.8 psychic creature, which is the same level as Yuan Hua himself. Yuan Hua asked himself, if he had faced Zhao Daolong, he might still be fighting, and it would be impossible to trample him so easily. Caught Zhao Daolong so quickly! Xin Yu and Yang Lian came over and were a little stunned when they saw the scene. They were also worried that something would happen to the newcomer Su Xia, but what they saw was completely beyond their expectations. Even Emo was stunned and couldn't help but ask, you filled in the profile with level 2.7. This Zhao Daolong is better than you. Su Xia spread her hands. Your teacher said that you can fill in whatever you want in the tavern registration information. The teacher only said that you can fill in the name casually. But you can't fill in the level randomly. It is related to the difficulty of your task. Just assume I misunderstood. EMO was suspicious. As if he was meeting Su Xia for the first time. Those deep eyes looked at Su Xia carefully several times. When we met in Stone Town before, she was standing by the road. But Su Xia didn't notice her disguise at all, which shows that Su Xia's combat power should be similar to hers, or weaker than hers. Even if he is strong, he is not that strong. But based on Su Xia's current combat performance, he is not just a little bit stronger. He is at least a psychic creature above level 3.0. Don't think too much. Come over and take a photo or record a video for your employer. Su Xia waved to let the task publisher confirm that this guy was killed by them. Hearing this, Xiao Daolong, who was being stepped on, quickly shouted, Wait! I have a lot of money! I'll give you five times! No! Ten times the price! As long as you are willing to let me go! If I kill you, won't your money still be mine? Ah? Uh? Xiao Daolong's heart trembled, and his whole face turned a little pale. The place where their organization hides supplies is not hidden and many members know about it. Currently, there are still more than 10 members alive. As long as Su Xiao wants to, it is too easy to ask them where the materials are hidden. Next to them, many small town residents who were still alive breathed a sigh of relief, and all looked at Su Xiao gratefully. Players are also applauding. A gentleman loves money and gets it wisely. This NPC is okay. I was worried before that he was just greedy for money, someone said with emotion. How about we follow him and accept him as a mentor? We will definitely learn something good. Changing jobs to a killer? That sounds good. A group of players gathered around, looking at Su Xia and talking about it. A high-level NPC from the neutral camp is right in front of them. And of course, they won't let this opportunity go. Someone tried to come forward to talk. But Su Xia just said coldly, You are not strong enough. Joining the Zero Point Tavern is just asking for death. Come to me after you have experienced it for a while. Boss, where should I find you? Players asked one after another, knowing that their level was too low. We will meet each other if we are destined. Oh, it depends on fate. The players are at a loss. Someone came forward and took a photo with Su Xia using the game system screenshot tool as a souvenir. This small town incident shocked major game forums. They are all major participants. If they leave a few screenshots, they can have more capital when bragging in the future. Subsequently, Zhao Daolong's execution began. Su Xia interrupted his hands and feet, while Yemo took out a psychic suppressor. This suppressor looks like a black collar, which is similar to the one Su Xia wore in the laboratory before. After wearing it, it is no different from ordinary people. Okay, now he's no longer a threat. At Yemo's signal, the living town residents swarmed forward with hatred, and in a rather extreme way, they tore off Zhao Daolong's flesh and blood piece by piece. Under the night, the firelight swayed, and the screams continued for a long time. 
only in the end, when Zhao Delong really couldn't do it anymore. Did Yamo take action? Click! The silver sword flashed, and the bloody and broken head of Zhao Delong was chopped off with one strike. Chapter 65 Growing Like Weeds The disaster in Luoxing Town is over. But there was not a single living person left in the town. And the buildings in the town were reduced to ashes in the fire. Where else can the rest go? They can rebuild their homes on the same spot. But no one knows when the next disaster will come. Wandering mercenaries in the wilderness are like a swarm of locusts. No grass grows wherever they pass. And ordinary people cannot resist them. Looking around, I couldn't see any hope. This lord, an old man with injuries all over his body came out on crutches and limped towards Su Xia. He was holding a wad of cash wrapped in a plastic bag. With some odd parts and some neat. He is the mayor of the town. He was hanged in the central square of the town by those mercenaries before. But luckily he survived. The old mayor tremblingly handed the stack of cash to Su Xia, with a sad look on his face, and begged, Sir, my grandson is a soldier in the city. Please find him and let him talk to the people above. The situation here is that this money should be regarded as my commission. At this time, you still place your hopes on the managers in the city? Su Xia frowned, took out the robbery permit, and opened it in front of all the living residents of the town. The words are in black and white. Clear. This disaster was caused by the city managers. We have no other choice. The old mayor looked bitter. My grandson has been a soldier for several years. He should be able to say a few words. At this time, a task popped up in front of Su Xia's eyes. Do you want to accept the mission? Old mayor's commission. Seeing these words, Su Xia was silent for a moment. Since it's a task, and it doesn't seem difficult, let's help him along the way. He has to go back to the city anyway. Yes. He clicked accept. Then he said to the old mayor, Keep the money. I am not short of this money. Give me your grandson's information. And I will find a way to send you a message. Thank you. Thank you, sir. The old mayor's lips trembled and his eyes filled with tears. He bowed tremblingly to thank Su Xia. The little money in his plastic bag only added up to two to three thousand yuan, which was not enough for Su Xia to spend an entire afternoon refining medicine. Su Xia put away the robbery permit and said indifferently, Let me say it for the last time. Don't put your hope in the city. Find a way to save yourself. The world is about to change. And no one can predict what will happen in the future. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Sir. The old mayor took the lead. And all the living residents of the town expressed their gratitude to the five Su Xia. Their home was destroyed. And they really couldn't offer anything else except the word. Thank you. In front of Su Xia's eyes. The detailed information of the mission appeared. Quest. Old mayor's commission. Task description. The old mayor's grandson, Li Xiang, is a soldier from Coral City. He is affiliated with the Coral City 004 Regiment Infantry Battalion. He is responsible for patrolling the southwest area of the city during peacetime. Please find him and tell the old mayor what he said. Task reward. Primary Psychic Potion X1. Since binding this body to the bracelet, Su Xia can no longer see the mission level. The rewards are average, indicating that the task is not difficult. After finishing the conversation with the old mayor, Su Xia began to torture the remaining mercenaries who were still alive. It didn't take long before he got the detailed location where the Pichio mercenaries hid their supplies. This time, five people acted together, so they couldn't monopolize the supplies. What should I say? Shin Yu asked. Go get the supplies first. Or go back to the tavern to hand in the mission first? There are too many supplies. We can't take them all in one car. Su Xia knew that these mercenary organizations were extremely rich. So she suggested going back first and thinking of ways to get the supplies later. Okay, let's go back first. After this battle, several people paid a lot of attention to Su Xia. In terms of combat power, Su Xia may be the strongest among them. Stronger than Yan Liang who is level 3.0. At close to 5 o'clock in the morning, the group returned to the car and embarked on their return journey. Yimo drove the car on the return trip. She drove very fast and returned to the outside of the tavern at half past six. Su Xia had to return to the pharmacy. So she excused herself and left before leaving. Before leaving, she said, Just transfer the mission bounty to my card. Let Yimo keep those supplies first. Wait! Don't leave yet. Yimo grabbed Su Xia. How can I contact you in the future? Let me see. Su Xia pondered for a moment. In this world, he didn't even have a mobile phone and his place of residence couldn't be disclosed. So he asked, Does the pub have a card service? Mobile phone cards. 
Yes. Come in first. In the Alacart Tavern. All kinds of businesses are fully equipped. With the help of Emo, Su Xia got a new mobile phone and applied for a Geely Digital Mobile Phone card with all the last four digits being four. After confirming that there was no tracking device on her phone, Su Xia left the tavern. He removes his mask, removes the disguised crystal, and resumes his identity as the pharmacist. But when he took off the crystal, he actually felt a trace of resistance. The crystal seemed to want to stick to his face. This thing is a little weird. Su Xiao weighed the crystal and thought of the miner with red hair all over his body. He put away the crystal and walked towards the alley behind the pharmacy. Midway, Su Xiao saw a group of patrolling human soldiers. A line of prompts suddenly popped up in front of his eyes. Discover the mission target Li Xiang. You can come forward to communicate. It happened that the old mayor's grandson, Li Xiang, was in that group of soldiers. It takes no effort to get it. Saving Su Xia the trouble of looking for it herself. He used the camouflage crystal again. Made out an unfamiliar face. And then walked towards the group of soldiers. The soldiers were immediately alert. All pointed their guns at Su Xia. And shouted. Who is it? Don't be nervous. I'm just a messenger. Su Xia waved her hand. And then took out a photo from her arms. This is the photo the old mayor gave him to win Li Xiang's letter. He shook the photo in his hand and said calmly. Mr. Li Xiang. Your grandfather asked me to bring you a few words. Grandfather? Li Xiang was confused and didn't know that Luo Xingzhen was in trouble. So he asked Su Xia to come forward and speak. Su Xia stepped forward, handed the photo to Li Xiang, and then said, Something happened in Luo Town. Your grandpa hopes you will follow the people above. He didn't miss anything and repeated all the old mayor's words to Li Xiang. After learning the news, Li Xiang was shocked, with an expression of disbelief on his face. He held Su Xia's shoulders tightly and asked loudly, Is what you said true? Absolutely true. How could this happen? Li Xiang's face turned pale, and he looked towards the city center. The people he had been protecting for the past few years actually allowed those damn wandering mercenaries in the wilderness to plunder his hometown. What did he protect? Su Xia took a few steps back and said, Mr. Li, I have brought you the message. I hope you can handle it calmly. Etc. Li Xiang also wanted to ask something about those mercenaries. But Su Xia ducked into a side alley. When Li Xiang ran over, the alley was empty and there was no one left. Hateful! He held the photo tightly and planned to go find the person on it to ask for details. The rest of the day was uneventful. On the game forum, the discussion about the small town incident continues with unabated intensity. And the game world continues as usual. Su Xia is familiar with the second level potions in the pharmacy. The construction of the Oasis camp is in good order. And several roommates have begun to recruit troops. Everything is on track. Before I knew it, the day had passed by. In the evening, the afterglow of the setting sun dyed most of the sky red, giving this dilapidated city a more aesthetic feel. The evening breeze was very mild. Before dinner, Dad asked several apprentices to go out and deliver a box of medicine, and then come back for dinner after delivery. Come back early. Don't delay too long. Yes. The three of them hurried out and took the medicine box to their destination. But just when passing by the ruins of a war, Su Xia saw Li Xiang. To be precise, it was Li Xiang's body. Gallows. On top of the ruin stands an ancient gallows. The young soldier was hanged in public. Accused of collaborating with the enemy. A gust of wind blew by. And his cold body swayed gently under the crimson sunset. Like countless weeds swaying on the ruins. Chapter 66 Rats there were many people around the gallows. Players, refugees, ordinary residents, etc. Everyone looked at the body swaying in the wind with different expressions. There were children around, perhaps because they had seen too many dead people. So they were not afraid. But just a little curious, a middle-aged man with a big belly stood beside the gallows. His status was obviously not low. And he was followed by a group of elite soldiers. My fellow countrymen, things are taking an extreme turn. The middle-aged man had a straight face, his hands behind his back, and looked around at the crowd. Then, he said loudly, Peace is hard one. The lord of the city is working hard for our lives every day. But there are still some people who are not satisfied. Some people are eating the food of the lord of the city. But they are doing the dirty work. His fat face was full of seriousness. He took a step forward and patted the gallows hard. The heavy fat hands made a dull sound on the gallows. He seemed a little angry and spoke louder. In the past, I always felt that the rebels were far away. But now it is becoming clearer to me 
that the trouble we have is not in the wilderness or the suburbs, but right here, in Coral City. Obviously, this is to scare the monkeys. Even such an ancient method as the gallows was used. Is Lee Siam guilty? As long as the city lord says it is, then it is. A charge of collaborating with the enemy not only solved Lee Siang, but also cleared the name of the Pisho mercenaries who robbed Luoshing town. Su Xia saw the middle-aged man's character panel clearly. This man's name is Wu Zhengui, a level 0.4 psychic creature. He was once a member of a small resistance organization. Later, he betrayed the organization and found a good position in Coral City. He wears the same logo as Zhao Xi on his clothes. He should be Zhao Xi's subordinate, specializing in traitor work. Hong Bafu also knew about this person. He looked indifferent and snorted. A villain who betrays his compatriots to gain glory and wealth. Lan Bafu said hurriedly, Brother Hong, please keep your voice down. That guy must be a psychic creature too. I'm afraid he can hear you. Humph. Such a villain will be judged sooner or later. Hong Bafu held the medicine box and stared coldly at Wu Zhongui on the ruins. This guy clearly has a simple and honest appearance but he has a heart full of hatred and hatred. Last time in Stone Town. If he hadn't taken care of Su Xia and Lan Bafu, he would probably have had a fight with the Blood Red mercenaries. Hong Bafu said to Su Xia, Brother, you must never become this kind of person in the future. Su Xia nodded. Well, don't worry. That little guy Zhao Xi now sits in a very high position. And Wu Xingui is his subordinate. The Beatitudes explained. Moreover, he has secretly developed undercover agents in many families and companies in the city, causing everyone in the city to feel in danger. I am worried that he is targeting our pharmacy, and you are the most vulnerable link. If he were an ordinary apprentice, he might have been bribed by Zhao Xi last time. On the ruins, Wu Shengdui stepped on bricks and activated a projection device to project a masked figure in front of everyone. He pointed at the masked projection and said loudly, This killer, codenamed Masked Stranger, previously despicably attacked the blood-red mercenaries hired by the city lord, and then attacked again early this morning. It is really shameless. Um, Hong Bafu originally planned to take the two of them away, but when he saw the projection, he stopped. The topic shifted from Li Xiang to Su Xia, all related to Luo Xingjin in the early morning. Wu Zhongguid looked at everyone with anger and said, The city lord has granted permission to increase his bounty to 500,000. Anyone who has information about this killer can come to me to receive a bounty of at least 10,000. Even if you are also the killer of Lincoln Tavern. So you can come too. The managers of Coral City are well aware of the nature of the killers in Zero Point Tavern who only care about money but not people. So we just use money to open the way. And the price offered was quite high. This is how neutral organizations are used. But Su Xia's identity is too mysterious. He always wears a mask. He has only appeared in the tavern two or three times so far. No one knows his true identity. Around him, some players became interested and asked loudly, Boss, do you have more detailed information? No. There are only a few pictures at the moment. Could he be here? Good question. Wu Shengdui sneered. This man is wearing a mask and doesn't dare to show his true face to others. He is just a rat who hides his head and shows his tail. Give him a hundred courages. And he won't dare to show up here. As he spoke, he narrowed his eyes slightly, looked around, and then took two steps forward. He opened his hands and said loudly, Mask weirdo, if you have the courage, stand up and confront me. A gust of wind blew, carrying his voice far away. People around the ruins looked at each other, wanting to see if anyone would come out. But after a while, no one responded or moved forward. The group of soldiers behind Wu Zhongdui cheered up and waited for Su Xia to show up not far away. There were several groups of soldiers arranged by Wu Zhengdui. They seemed to be doing nothing. But in fact, they were extremely vigilant. Did you see this? This kind of rat can only make despicable sneak attacks in the shadows. How dare he show up in broad daylight? Wu Zhengdui laughed. Masked stranger, come out! I'm standing here. If you have the guts to come, attack me, call out. As soon as he finished speaking, a sharp sound suddenly sounded from the ruins. A piece of metal was like a flying sword, moving at extremely high speeds, drawing a faint shadow in the air. Everyone present only felt a flash before their eyes. Ah! Oh? Wu Shengdui was horrified. His face changed rapidly, and he only had time to turn his face. The next moment, his right eyeball was pierced by a sharp metal, and blood gurgled. The scene was very bloody. Ah! Oh. My eyes, 
He covered his right eye and howled in pain. The soldiers behind were shocked and hurriedly protected Wu Zhongui. This sudden attack caused the crowd around the ruins to instantly become confused. People ran away screaming and making so much noise that it was impossible to tell who the attacker was for a while. The players mixed in the crowd were so excited. They didn't expect that the masked weirdo was actually here. And he started to attack even if they disagreed. He is a cruel person. Su Xia's face was calm and she stood beside the two brothers. Motionless. As if everything that happened had nothing to do with him. Wu Zhongdui took the initiative to ask him to attack and shouted so loudly. Su Xia had never heard such a mean request in her life. On the ruins, Wu Zhongdui covered his right eye. Terrible blood flowed from his fingers and shouted in pain. Don't let anyone go. He is in the crowd. Stop them. Hurry. Call out. Another metal fragment flew over the crowd and violently shattered his kneecap. His poor level 0.4 psychic energy was directly crushed by Su Xia. Ah! Wu Zhongdui knelt down in pain and let out a scream that was not like a human voice. He knelt in front of the gallows, unable to straighten up due to the pain. His fat body was stooped like a shrimp, and blood flowed from his right eye, as if he was crying and repenting to the dead Li Xiong. Chapter 67 Burning Weeds Coral City is in shock. A blatant attack. How long has this not happened? Many resistance organizations are in the wilderness. Even if they have deals with certain forces in the city, they only dare to do so secretly. Even a level 3 psychic creature wouldn't dare to do this kind of attack on Coral City management staff in broad daylight. No matter how strong you are, it will be difficult to escape from the siege of Coral City. Check it for me! Zhao Si's face turned red, and he roared angrily. He saw the scene as quickly as possible, and saw the mess. Wu Zhengdui was one of his most comfortable subordinates. And now he was destroyed like this. Damn it! Damn it! How dare he! Zhao Si looked angrily. Call the Lingdian Tavern and tell them that it's too much. Are you going to go further to break up the relationship? Boss, we have contacted Lingdian Tavern. A subordinate said solemnly. What do you say over there? What they say over there is that the individual behavior of members should not be elevated to the level of the organization. The subordinate swallowed his saliva and buried his head low, fearing that Zhao Si would take it out on him. Sure enough, Zhao Si became furious and shouted, Who gives them the confidence to this damn organization? They, they? Zhao Si was so angry that his lips trembled, his chest heaved, and his whole body felt bad. But he also knows that Lingyan Tavern does have the confidence. It's okay to curse. But if you really want to break your skin, the city lord will definitely not agree. According to internal information, the owner of the Zero Point Tavern branch in Coral City is a level 4 psychic creature. The same level as Yutua, the mechanical city lord of Coral City. A level 4 killer that no one wants to mess with. Zhao Si's eyes were scarlet, and he was furious. He completely ignored the rules. Arrest all the untouchables around here. Torture them one by one, and kill them if they don't tell you anything. On the other side, the three brothers Su and Xia have gone far. The city looked strange under the red sunset, as if it had been stained with blood, and it was so red that it made your heart tremble. The pharmacist's status was very noble, and he encountered almost no questioning along the way. He quickly finished delivering the medicine and returned to the pharmacy. Dinner is still eight dishes and one soup, full of aroma. Ong Bafu looked excited. While eating, he told his father what happened before. It's so satisfying. Hong Bafu toasted to his father. Teacher, that masked weirdo's behavior is too comfortable. Killing the guy directly is not enough to relieve his anger. I first make the guy crippled, and then let him kneel on the gallows. It's really a relief. Humph. It's okay to talk about this kind of thing in the store. Don't talk about it outside. The father smiled lightly, knowing the temperament of this great disciple. Lan Bafu also said excitedly, There are so many resistance organizations in the wilderness. But except for Commander Beifeng, no one has ever made such a big noise. Although it has only been used a few times, the name, Masked Stranger, has already left a deep impression on many people. These days, there are too few people who dare to stand up against the Machine Clan. On TV, every news channel was reporting on it. Yutua, the mechanical city lord of Coral City, was angry and increased the reward to one million. The neighboring city of Waste Armor also issued a joint reward. City Lord Anlin personally provided resources worth half a million yuan. The last person who was jointly served by two cities was Commander Beifong who escaped from the laboratory. Lan Bafu lamented. I heard that the commander was seriously injured, but I don't know if he is okay now. At the dinner table, Su Xia did not participate in the discussion. 
but texted with her hair down. Emo sent a text message asking him, You guys drank too much? How dare you do it in front of so many people? Su Xia replied, The man himself asked me to attack him. I have never heard such an outrageous request. Emo, in a private room in the tavern. Emo and several members of the North Wind Story Society were there. The North Wind Story Club will definitely be against the machine tribe in the end. But now everyone is striving for development. And just carrying out some attacks secretly is, okay. No one dares to be so arrogant in broad daylight. The killing in the small town in the early morning had already refreshed their understanding of Su Xia. This incident once again refreshed everyone's understanding of him. Yuan Hua smiled bitterly and said, This new guy is too brave. Ah, Emo, have you contacted him? I contacted him, but he kept going around in circles with me and wouldn't tell me the reason. Emo was angry, slapped his phone on the table, picked up a bottle of red wine and took a sip. At this time, her teacher he came to the door and knocked gently. Emo immediately ran to open the door. Ee's face was very gentle. After entering the room, he said calmly, Ah, Emo, tell Lee Defu to keep a low profile. We are already talking about it. Emo shook his phone. Teacher, why are you so concerned about this matter? We are killers. Some things should not be solved openly. He said it very directly. This time, the newcomers Emo recruited are indeed very impressive. But it was so powerful that he was a little surprised. There is a tacit understanding among the major organizations that killers should do what killers do. Usually when someone is killed. The most everyone can do is quarrel in the news and newspapers and condemn each other. But to take action forcefully in broad daylight would be a slap in the face of the mechanical tribe and break everyone's agreed upon rules. Emo nodded obediently. I know. Teacher, don't worry. I will teach him a lesson. In the pharmacy, Su Xia received another text message from Emo. Please calm down and stop making trouble. Okay, it's up to you. Su Xia replied briefly, then put away her phone and continued eating. After dinner, it was time for potion training as usual. Su Xia went offline once, left the clone in the custody of the bracelet, and returned to the real world to have dinner. In the dormitory, the five roommates were sleeping again. The routines of these guys have been completely messed up. They are taking advantage of their youth to exchange their bodies for money. Su Xia brought back a box of instant noodles, made a pot of hot water, placed it at the door, and then left a message in the dormitory group. I bought a box of instant noodles. It's Lee Defu's favorite pickled cabbage flavor. You can eat it by yourself after you wake up. Then, he returned to bed, pulled up the bed curtain, and activated the bracelet. Returned to the game world again. It was already 9 o'clock in the evening. Su Xia originally wanted to use the remaining time in the evening to refine more potions to increase the success rate. But as soon as he went online, a line of text popped up in front of him. You have triggered the mission, Burning Weeds. Do you want to accept it? Su Xia was stunned. Where did the mission come from? Judging from the name of the mission, it sounds like a job to put out fires in the wilderness. He clicked, yes, and was immediately given the mission details. Quest, Burning Weeds. Task Description, Angry Zhao Si ordered action against the refugees. Please go and stop it. And find out the truth why the refugees have not been properly resettled so far. Task reward depends on the completion of the task. After reading the task description, Su Xia thought for a moment. The tavern asked him to take it easy and not cause any more trouble for the time being. Many people also speculated that the masked stranger would definitely not dare to take action again under such circumstances. But this mission directly required him to confront Zhao Si. Chapter 68 Action Begins Su Xia turned on her phone and connected to the internet. Various news apps on his mobile phone instantly pushed more than 10 messages to him. Most of the news is related to Masked Stranger. This time in full public view. It really slapped the Machine Clan in the face. So much so that all forces in the city condemned Zero Point Tavern. Will that despicable killer continue to attack? On the evening news, the host used a series of adjectives such as despicable, despicable, and shameful to describe Su Xia. In his description, Su Xia was comparable to every famous villain in history. The tavern still didn't respond and treated it coldly. In the news, the host's tone was extremely tough. The city lord is very angry. And the consequences are quite serious. The strength of the city's guards has increased several times. As long as that masked stranger appears, he will die without a burial place. Many people know that there is another reason why Coral City is so angry this time. Wu Shenggui is a traitor to the race. The more comfortable this kind of traitor lives, 
the easier it will be to shake down the hard-living resistance groups in the wilderness. Coral City wants to use them as propaganda targets. Otherwise Wu Zhongdui would not be allowed to appear in the evening hanging event. But Su Xia's slap was too loud. And it indirectly told everyone that surrendering might not necessarily lead to a comfortable life. And there would still be a risk of disability or even death. On the console next to him. Hong Bafu was also watching the news. He moved his stool. Got closer to Su Xia. And whispered. Brother Su. I just read a piece of gossip. Someone said that the masked weirdo was rescued by Commander Beifong in his early years. Is that so? No wonder he took the initiative. Su Xiao looked stunned and said that the news made sense. If you guessed it right, this gossip was released by the tavern to further distinguish the relationship between individual members and the organization as a whole. The Zero Point Tavern is just an organization that releases tasks. As long as the bounty is reasonable, bounty tasks from the mechanical race or the human race will be accepted by the tavern. Many killers in the tavern are also free agents. A very few members took action because of personal emotions when there was no bounty mission. The tavern has no control over this kind of thing. Now everyone is speculating on the whereabouts of the masked stranger, Hong Bafu said mysteriously. Over at the Zero Point Tavern, a killer revealed that the masked stranger did not go back. Many people think that he has left the city limits in order to avoid the search. There are also a few people who believe that he is hiding in the city. And the more dangerous the place, the safer it is. The matter was so big that everyone knew about it. Even a few waiters from the restaurant opposite were leaning against the door talking about it. Su Xia shrugged and said, Everyone thinks that the masked weirdo doesn't dare to do anything again. If I were him, I would take advantage of this moment to fight back and slap the machine race in the face. It's too dangerous to take action at this time. Lan Bafu also came over. The news said that the defense department dispatched many experts. And even level 3 psychic creatures took action. Well, level 3 creatures are indeed dangerous. Su Xiao looked out the window, her mind moving slightly. He has recovered to level 3.3 psychic energy and should be able to fully recover tomorrow. At this time, the father sitting in the back knocked on the counter and said in a calm tone, Why are everyone playing with their mobile phones? Is the business still going? When will the money owed to dad be repaid? Teacher, we were wrong. The three people immediately put down their mobile phones and continue their great work of refining medicine. The success rate of Su Xia's second level potions is still not high. She is still losing more and more as she practices. And she is too lazy to calculate how much money she owes. The night outside the window was thick. And the moonlight was not as bright as in the wilderness. Every once in a while, a group of patrols hurried past. And occasionally soldiers came in to ask if they had seen any suspicious people. Su Xia noticed that there were also many mechanical soldiers in Coral City. These mechanical soldiers belong directly to the city lord. And their appearance means that the city lord is indeed angry. Time passed quickly. And it was half past nine in the evening before I knew it. Dad stood up from behind the counter. Seemed a little irritated. Picked up the coffee cup and said, Close the door. Go to bed early tonight. Those soldiers are running around. Making dad not in the mood to do business. Yes. Hong Bafu jumped up from his seat. Closed the window and tidied up his console. Lan Bafu began to sort out the remaining materials that were not used today. Su Xia began to clean up the scrap garbage. More than 10 minutes later, the pharmacy closed and the lights on the first floor went out. The four masters and apprentices washed themselves and returned to their room soon after, finishing their business for the whole day. Su Xia was lying on the bed, not sleeping, quietly listening to the movements in the rooms to the left and right. Not long after, the voice came out. Who's easy, easy? The two brothers fell asleep. Su Xia took out the red camouflage crystal, pressed it on her forehead, and began to modify her personal appearance and even her body shape. He changed himself into a sallow complexion and a skinny figure, looking like a refugee who had not had enough to eat for a long time. Then he climbed out of the window and walked quickly to the mission location. Along the way, he tried to avoid main roads and took dark alleys to avoid the patrolling soldiers. More than 40 minutes later, Su Xia arrived at the mission location. Refugee camp. After the war, half of Coral City was in ruins. However, the reconstruction work has not been started. And even the most basic cleaning has not been done. The exposed and twisted steel bars on the ruins have long been covered with rust. And the gaps between cement boards and broken bricks have been filled with weeds. At first, the refugees wanted to take matters into their own hands to clear the rubble and rebuild their homes. But it was quickly stopped. At that time, 
The city's administrators promised to provide funds and materials to help all refugees rebuild their homes in an orderly manner. This promise has been delayed to this day. What was once a temporary refugee camp seems to have become permanent. The poor people live in houses built with iron sheets, rags, waste bricks and other materials picked from the ruins. They have no jobs and lack of food. They want to cultivate land in the suburbs outside the city. But the land is held by the rich. The wealthy area in the city center has been rebuilt in the past few years. The streets and houses there are clean and tidy. And there is no trace of war. In this way, the poor are getting poorer and the rich are getting richer. Looking around, there are countless low and dilapidated refugee houses connected together under the night. Like slums from the old era. Boom! Before Su Xiao could get closer, she heard a gunshot. Someone was executed for failure to report knowledge and concealing information about the masked monster. The human soldiers held guns with cold faces, like emotionless executioners. Many of them were poor people who did not have enough to eat before they became soldiers. Now they have picked up guns and turned their guns on other poor people. Chapter 69 Dark Night Murder There are many refugee camps in Coral City, but for the many in the southwest area of the city, tonight is destined to be a sleepless night. From time to time, gunfire rang out, and blood and fear filled the night. No one knows who will die next. Some people were brutally killed just because they complained in a low voice. The refugee camp marked in the mission is very large. Outside the camp is the ruins where Li Xiang was hanged. And the gallows are still there. Su Xiao waited for a while. And after all the soldiers left, she chose a hidden direction to enter. He walked toward where the gunshots had been fired. More than a dozen bodies lay there. Someone was kneeling on the ground, with tears streaming down his face, covering his mouth and sobbing softly. You, 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 you. Those brutal soldiers could come back at any time, facing the corpses of their loved ones. The people here didn't even dare to cry loudly. They could only huddle next to the corpses, like humble reptiles, letting tears roll down from their red and swollen eyes. This night is too long. If Su Xia doesn't do something, more and more people will die. This mission has two requirements. The first requirement is to stop the killing, which is not difficult. Su Xia could make a noise to distract all the soldiers, and then create the illusion that she escaped from the city, and everyone's attention would be focused outside the city. The second requirement is to explore the truth that a large number of refugees have not been properly resettled so far. Su Xia noticed that among these corpses, the death condition of one was particularly miserable. The surface of this corpse was covered with scars. The left arm was broken into several sections, and the surface of the right arm was burned black. The eyes were gouged out, and the ears were cut off. It suffered inhumane torture before death. You found a special corpse, and his identity seems to be unusual. The task prompts were only given so much, and Su Xia had to figure out the rest by herself. Su Xia knelt down and took a closer look at the body with the help of the faint light. Then, he asked the refugee next to him in a low voice, Who is this person? Who are you? This refugee was extremely skinny, like a skeleton covered with withered human skin. He took two steps back, as if he was worried that Su Xia was an official from Coral City, and he acted a little nervous. Su Xia took out a few bills and said gently, Don't be afraid. I am a writer, and I want to record what happened tonight. His fabricated identity as a writer is clearly unconvincing. But those banknotes were extremely convincing. The refugee hesitated for a moment, stretched out his hand like a dead branch, and carefully took the banknotes from Su Xia's hand. This is Mr. Tang Zhong. He clutched the banknote and said, He is the agent chosen by our refugee camp. He has been helping us fight for food and shelter. He is a good man. Why did those soldiers torture him? They said that Mr. Tang colluded with the resistance organization and was related to the masked weirdo. Understood. Su Xia stood up slowly. If it was just for this reason, those soldiers could have killed Tang Zhong directly without any need to torture him. The reason why he was tortured was probably because he had been fighting for the interests of a large number of refugees in the refugee camp, which angered the people above him, likely Xiong. He was regarded as the chicken who killed the chicken to scare the monkeys. As long as he is tortured to death in front of everyone with extremely cruel methods, the rest of the people who want to fight for the interests of the refugees can be deterred. You have obtained the mission. Burning weeds Tang Zhong's last wish. The task has been automatically accepted. As the agent of this refugee camp, Tang Zhong had always had illusions about the city's managers before his death. He kept making requests to the superiors, hoping that the food and reconstruction work he had promised could be implemented as soon as possible. But every request was rejected. Dismissed. He was disappointed again and again until tonight.
before dying. Tang Zhong finally figured it out. Humble prayers cannot find a way out for the many refugees. But fists and bullets can. Current task link requirement. Crush the illusions of the remaining refugees. Mission details. Mysterious disappearances often occur in refugee camps. Many people's husbands, children, wives, etc. are kidnapped and become tools for the rich to make fun of. Please go to the place where they are imprisoned and take them home. Task reward. It depends on the completion of the task and will be issued after completing all aspects of the current task. It was another last wish. The mission location had been given. It was not far from here. But the strength of the guards at that location and other information were not given. Su Xia took a deep breath and looked up at the gloomy night sky. After coming to this world, he received too many last wish missions. Maybe this world is too incomplete and everyone has regrets. The wanton kidnapping of the refugees here cannot be something that only the rich are involved in. The city managers must know about it. Su Xia walked towards the mission site with a sullen face. What he would do next might completely shake the entire coral city. At this moment, the city center, office buildings, one message after another was reported to the mayor's office in an orderly manner. The human city lord of Coral City is called Chi Lang, a level 3.0 psychic creature with acceptable strength. But his management level is questionable. Under his governance, all management measures in Coral City were tilted towards the rich in the city. He has always believed that as long as he has the support of the rich, he will not fall. As for the problems exposed by these measures, just leave them to the secretary to solve them. His secretary, Chian, was born a commoner and had experienced the sufferings of the common people at the bottom of Coral City. He was skilled in business and could perfectly handle various low-level affairs and upper-level affairs. Xiao Chai, what's going on with Xiao Si? Chi Lang asked, sitting in front of the window of a high-rise building. Where is the masked stranger hiding? Has Xiao Si found any clues? My lord, there is not much progress at the moment. Secretary Chian, wearing glasses and holding a stack of information answered respectfully. Chi Lang showed displeasure and said, If you continue to push him, if you give him so much money every month, he will have to produce some results. Sir, we can't push it any further. Why? Zhao Si was too impatient and killed many people in the refugee area. Chian was a little worried. If this continues, it may arouse the resistance of those refugees. Those untouchables dare not. Chi Lang sneered. Very confident. But Chian took half a step forward. And this secretary, who had always been very respectful, unexpectedly said something rare. But sir, the food promised to the refugees has not been solved yet, and the reconstruction problem has been delayed for a long time. They still live in a very small area, in a dilapidated house. Even basic survival is a problem. We can't delay it any longer. Shut up. Chi Lang was a little impatient, turned his back to the secretary, and waved his hand. These damn untouchables. They want a house now. What else will they want in the future? Have you ever thought about it? Chapter 70 Survival Game House is only secondary. Food is the big issue. Su Xiao walked in the refugee camp and saw only skinny people. They had no food to eat and no clothing to cover their bodies. Many of them were so hungry that they had no energy left and lay in front of their shabby homes. Struggling to survive the day. Disease and hunger are eternal topics here. And being born here seems no different from being born in H.L. Personal power cannot change this. Su Xia thoughtfully left the refugee camp and walked towards the location of the mission instructions. It was an estate. According to the mission description, the missing refugees were kidnapped here. The manor was brightly lit and there were many luxury vehicles parked. There were quite a few guards on the surface. But their equipment was ordinary and they looked a bit lazy. The entire manor was full of loopholes in Su Xia's eyes. Just as he was about to sneak in, a car suddenly drove out of the manor at a slow speed and slowly left along the road. Su Xia is no stranger to this car. Previously, he followed two brothers to deliver medicine to a rich man named Su Jalin. The car was parked outside Su Jalin's villa. According to Hong Ba Fu, the driver of this car is a legendary killer who is extremely ruthless and has killed countless people. So few people dare to take advantage of this car. Su Xia's mind moves slightly and she immediately followed. After leaving the manor, Su Xia immediately used her skills to force the entire car into the air and control it to fly into the grass beside the road. Then he waved casually. Click! The car door, which was bulletproof on all sides, was instantly torn apart and scattered on the ground. The people in the car were shocked, and two bodyguards tightly protected Su Jalin. Who is it? 
the driver shouted angrily and took out the gun in his arms. But with a bang, the front half of the car collapsed instantly. The driver died suddenly on the spot and was crushed into a bloody cake. Whoosh! Whoosh! Several small pieces of metal whirled past quickly, slitting the throats of the two bodyguards. Blood gushed out like a fountain, and the two bodyguards fell down before they could even say a word. The only person left alive in the car was the rich man Su Jolin. Everything happened in a flash of lightning. Su Jolin was still confused. He didn't react until the warm blood dyed his clothes red. Don't kill me! He shrank. His face turned pale, and he put his hands on his head. The mysterious attacker hasn't killed him yet, which means that he is still useful. But the result after using it is unknown. Su Xiao walked in, knocked on the broken roof of the car, and said indifferently, Come out! I want to ask a few questions. Yes! Yes! I'll come out right away! Su John walked out of the car tremblingly. His legs were a little weak, and he was half leaning on the broken car body. He is nearly 50 years old, but he is well maintained, has a rich face, and looks steady no matter what he does. But he was completely panicked at the moment, because Su Xia's ability to kill people with metal reminded him of the cruel, violent, and crazy masked weirdo in the news. The bloody pictures on the news were not coded. Those mercenaries died extremely miserably, and none of their bodies were complete. Are you guessing my identity? Su Xia asked coldly. It should be similar to what you guessed. Don't look so ugly. You still have a chance to survive now. Yes. Su Jian forced out a smile that was uglier than bitter. His front was wet with blood. His back was wet with cold sweat. And his calves were trembling. What do you want to know? Tell me everything you know about that manner. Oh, I'll tell you right now. Su Jian's heart was beating wildly, and he swallowed. Contrary to what many people had guessed, this brutal masked stranger did not find a place to hide, but planned to continue acting. Why is he so confident? Isn't he afraid of Coral City's encirclement and suppression? That manor is just a place where we usually gather. Under the manor, there are some means for us to relieve stress. Most of what he described was similar to what Su Xia thought. There is nothing new under the sun. This kind of thing happens in another world. In addition to this manor, there are many similar places throughout Coral City. Su Jian also mentioned some special bloody experiments, such as injecting the power of the Zerg into the bodies of human subjects. Su Xiao waved her hand, and the broken car flew deeper into the grass with several corpses, and then said, Let's go. Change a car and go back. Just say that I am your bodyguard. Yes, I'll call you a new car. Su Jian took out his mobile phone and called the servant at home, asking him to drive another car and bring a new set of clothes. Not long after, the servant arrived in a luxury car. Mr. Su, please get in the car. This servant was very smart. He didn't ask anything. Didn't say anything. He just did what he was told. Su Xia and Su Jolin got into the back seat and closed the door. After Su Jolin changed his clothes, the car started again and drove towards the manor. At the entrance of the manor, the security personnel did not block it and just said, okay. The car drove into the manor and stopped on the right side of the manor. After getting off the car, Su Jian took Su Xia into the interior of the manor, walked to the right side of a magnificent hall, passed the elevator on the right, and went all the way down to the bottom of the manor. The two came to the underground world. Sir, this is it. Su Jian's expression returned to normal, and he walked at the front. Su Xia walked behind him, expressionless, holding a gun, no different from an ordinary bodyguard. As soon as she stepped out of the elevator, Su Xia smelled a faint smell of blood. He frowned. This was a place where the light of humanity could not shine. Nothing he saw was surprising. A masked waiter stepped forward and provided Su Jolin with a list of items. There are a wide variety of projects on the list. And the first one is called a survival game. Su Jolin explained in a low voice. This survival game is to put a group of refugees in a large iron cage and let them fight each other. Only one person can come out alive. Oh, I understand. This project called Hunting Time allows us to take part in it ourselves. These game projects built with the lives of poor people will definitely cause quite a stir in the outside world. Ordinary people in Coral City can never imagine how crazy the lives of these upper-class people are. In the underground hall, there are many prominent figures in Coral City. Two people, one old and one young, walked towards me. They looked like a father and son. The child looked to be only six or seven years old. The adult smiled at Sue John and said, Why are you here? Lao Su, what are you going to play today? I've been here a long time ago, but I didn't feel like I had enough fun. 
So I just came back. Su Jian also smiled and did not show anything unusual. He looked at the child and asked, Why did you bring all the children here? The child was unhappy at home. So I brought him here, the man said with a smile. Everyone can find happiness in this place. The child raised his head, his big eyes flashing with confusion, and asked, Dad, can everyone be happy? The people who were fighting in the iron cage just now didn't look happy. They bled a lot. Oh, kid, those aren't people. Chapter 71 Do Whatever You Want The underground world is huge. After finishing the exchange with the father and son, Su Jian took Su Xia to visit most of the underground areas. The evils seen along the way include almost everything that can be recorded in human history. The refugees kidnapped here are even lower than animals. In the outside world, if you are lucky, you can exchange a life for a few pieces of bread. But here you can't exchange for anything. Su Jian looked very normal. But he was sweating all the time on his back. Every time he introduced a project, he felt that Su Xia's murderous intent grew stronger. I don't know how many of the people here tonight will make it out alive. Apart from fear, he also had some doubts. A brutal killer like the masked stranger should have seen this kind of thing all the time. So why would he feel so angry? It's as if he is an ordinary person who has traveled through time. In Su Xia, he felt a sense of separation. If it were the other killers in the Lingan Tavern, even if they were angry about this situation, they would not openly oppose Coral City without a mission. Sir, this is the last area for fun. Going further inside is the area for experiments. Good. Su Xia herself escaped from the laboratory. And she had many memories of Commander Beifong rescuing humans from various laboratories in her mind. She didn't need to think about it to know how cruel those experiments were. The two did not go to the experimental area, but stopped in a long corridor with separate small rooms on both sides. A series of cold iron doors separated the room from the corridor. The smell of blood here is particularly strong and there are still some blood stains on the corridor floor that were not cleaned in time. In the room, there were many kidnapped refugees who were suffering in human torture. What's your truest feeling when you enjoy these projects? Sir, it is a sense of power that is superior to ordinary people. Su Jian lowered his head and explained, There are rules and regulations outside, and it is inconvenient to do many things. It is like wearing a hypocritical mask. Even for yourself servants at home cannot be killed at will. It will be very troublesome to deal with them later. But here, here, as long as you have money, you can do whatever you want, Su Jian said. Sir, the so-called equality is actually a joke. I think you also know it. Um, when I tortured those people and took away their lives little by little, the pleasure of controlling their lives was more comfortable than knocking on the head. Su Jian said that when he was very young, he liked to torture and kill some animals. But after all, most animals are no match for humans. The happiness he found in these animals continued to decrease, and he gradually began to focus on his own kind. He also knew that he was mentally disturbed, but he had read a psychology book, which said that most people have psychological distortions, but the degree is different, and many people can't find a channel to vent. Su Xia's expression remained unchanged as she walked to one of the rooms. With a thought, the lock on the iron door broke instantly. Crunch! The door opened, and the smell of blood hit his nostrils. In the room, a skinny refugee was tied to an iron bed and wailing. He was covered in blood. The skin of one leg had been peeled off alive, leaving only bloody flesh. Next to the iron bed, there were two people holding sharp metal tools, enjoying the process very much. When they heard the door open, they both turned their heads and looked at Su Xiao with doubt in their eyes. Who are you? The older man asked. Just come in and take a look. Su Xiao didn't answer and walked directly into the room. The younger man frowned and said, We have paid, and according to the contract, this room belongs to us from now until six in the morning. You are a father and son? Su Xia felt that the two people were somewhat similar. That's right. Su Jian explained for Su Xia from behind. The older one is Dr. Liu. He works at a private hospital in the city center and has a high reputation in the circle. The young man is his son. The two father and son are here, of regular customers. Seeing Su Jian, the father and son named Lu were stunned. They knew the rich man, but they didn't understand why he was here. Moreover, Su Jian was so respectful to the stranger standing in front of him, which was really puzzling. What is the identity of this stranger who broke in? Although they saw the broken metal door lock, they did not immediately think of the masked stranger, because they now basically thought that the masked stranger had hidden himself and would not appear in a short time. Su Xiao looked at the older man and asked calmly, 
How does it feel to be deprived of life? Why are you asking? You can try it yourself. The lives of these untouchables are not valuable. Dr. Lu frowned, feeling that Su Xia was a little strange. A few of the people who come here come here to select young female refugees. But most of them come here to experience this life-depriving project. Su Xia nodded. Okay, I'll try it myself. He raised his hand and waved lightly. On the metal tray next to the iron bed, a sharp scalpel floated. Seeing this scene, Dr. Lu shuddered, and a name suddenly appeared in his mind masked stranger. Before he could scream in surprise, the scalpel flashed past with a hiss and plunged straight into his son's eye. Boom! His son fell to the ground instantly. The scalpel penetrated too deep and rotated more than ten times, shattering everything in his brain. No! Dr. Lu's eyes were about to burst. He fell to his knees, roared, and hugged his son's body. One moment, his son was enjoying the joy of skinning with him. But the next moment, he was completely separated from him. White-haired people give black-haired people a gift. His eyes were red. His whole body was trembling. And he was crying and roaring. Why? Why did you kill him? Su Xia said calmly. When those ordinary people faced your butcher knife, they should have asked why. He is only 20 years old. He just wants to kill a few untouchables. What is wrong with him? Dr. Liu was in great mourning and shook his son's body in despair. A heartbreaking pain rolled in his chest. And tears rolled down his face. Why would someone kill his child for such a ridiculous reason? What kind of world is this? Su Xia turned around calmly, walked out of the room, and waved casually. Boom! The iron doors of all the rooms on both sides of this corridor deformed instantly. Seeing this scene, Su Jian's eyelids jumped. He knew that a killing had begun. In this huge underground world, metal is everywhere. Not long after, news of the attack on the manor reached the office building in the city center. Chi Lang was furious and slapped the desk. Smashing the desk made a precious wood in front of him into pieces. A bunch of trash! He roared angrily, his voice penetrating. Countless staff stood outside the mayor's office, trembling with fear. No one dared to go in except Secretary Chian. Tell everyone to go! We must catch that damn masked weirdo tonight! Chapter 72 Survival On this gloomy night, many people died underground in the manor. There are many guards in the underground world and their levels can crush current players. There are even elite guards with psychic powers among them. But in this world full of metals, Su Xia's killing them is no different than killing a chicken. At the beginning of the attack, many guards were fighting against Su Xia without fear of death. The manager of this manor distributed an auxiliary potion to them. After injecting the medicine, their inner fear of death will be greatly reduced. Their pain will also be reduced. And their entire spirit will be in a state of extreme excitement. Come with me! If we can kill the masked stranger, the million dollar reward will be ours. Come on! Under the dual effects of the potion and the heavy bounty, the guards of the underground world were all red-eyed. Bullets flew out from all directions and crashed into Su Xia like they were free of charge. But they could not break through the layers of flying metal around Su Xia. Many bullets were even affected by the skill and exploded in midair. Boom! A heavy iron door flew out sideways and hit the two guards hard causing blood to splash everywhere. Unknowingly, Su Xia became a seen person like Magneto. He waved his hand gently, and all the metal objects around him, whether they were lamps, tableware, corridor railings, or anatomical tools, were all suspended in the air. The scene looked extremely spectacular. In the next moment, these metal objects turned into a deadly storm of weapons, directly sweeping over the crazy guards. After a metal storm, the ground was covered in blood with mutilated intestines and limbs mixed together, like a picture of H, L drawn with blood on the cold ground. There are no living guards in front of Su Xia. His expression remained unchanged as he walked in the bloody corridor. From behind, new guards are arriving in a steady stream, each of them injected with a potion that makes them crazy, like the $50 good brothers in the interstellar. Come on! Kill that damn guy! He released the people in the experimental area and killed them all on sight! The first place Su Xia visited was the experimental area. He saw many mutated experimental subjects. They were all once ordinary people who were kidnapped here and, through brutal and bloody experiments, turned into monsters that lost their human form. Most of them even lost their minds. Although some were sane, they had been tortured to despair and could not bear to look like monsters. After being rescued by Su Xia, they rushed towards the guards at the rear, hoping to die. In these laboratories, the most common ones are Zerg samples. 
Large and small jars contain Zerg organs, or complete Zerg corpses. And various glass vessels are filled with special tissues, or energy extracted from Zerg bodies. It is ridiculous to allow humans to combine with Zerg under the guise of researching lifespan. But they are actually researching a new human warrior dot. Su Xiao looked cold, and killed a group of researchers with a wave of her hand. Those experimental subjects, who turned into monsters, had the characteristics of various bugs all over their bodies. Some of them grew ugly carapace. And some were covered with green pus bubbles. They were worse than dead. Some experimental subjects appear normal on the outside. But their internal flesh, flesh and organs have already changed. Whether it's luck or misfortune, the human insect experiment at this stage is still quite immature. And all the experimental subjects cannot live long. Even if Susia doesn't come, their pain will not last long. There are a few people who have a strong desire to live. After being rescued, they begged Susia. I don't want to die. My wife and children are still waiting for me. What will they do if I die? Please save me. Try this potion. Su Xia took out the second level healing potion she learned from Hong Bafu. This kind of healing potion is a miracle medicine for players at this stage. One bottle can directly fill the blood. It is also very effective for low level NPCs. As long as they are not seriously injured and dying, they can basically save them. But this time, the effect made Su Xia frown and was very dissatisfied. After the man drank the potion, his health bar recovered for a while, but soon began to decline again. The power of Zerg is extremely destructive. It is like cancer in the human body. If it cannot be completely eliminated, the experimental subject will only die and cannot be saved at all. Su Xia figured it out quickly, but there was nothing he could do. He captured several researchers and tortured them, but these researchers couldn't separate out the power of the Zerg injected into the human body. Their current experiments are basically relying on luck fooling around every day to cheat money. And there is no logic at all. After learning the news, the experimental subjects collapsed and cried loudly. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Sorry. I will kill more people for you. Su Xia didn't waste time. Turned and left. In addition to these experimental subjects, there are many refugees who are locked up like slaves in various areas of the underground world. He waved his hand casually. And the terrifying metal storm instantly swept away the chasing soldiers clearing a path paved with flesh and blood for him. Along the way, he also cleaned up many wealthy people who had no time to escape. There are many escape passages leading to the ground in this underground world, but perhaps because they have been at ease for too long. These escape passages are filled with debris, so that a large number of wealthy people who come here to enjoy themselves are now blocked at the exits of the escape passages. Extremely anxious. Hurry! That damn executioner is about to kill you here! What do the people in your manor do for food? I am Zhao Si's man. Let me go first. I'm still the city lord's man. Why should I let you go first? These upper class people, who were usually a harmonious group, immediately fell out at this time, scolding each other and exposing countless dirty and dirty things. In addition to these escape passages, other normal elevators are also full of people. The sounds of killing were getting closer and closer, and the smell of blood was nauseating. Don't squeeze. Hurry up! Hurry up! They pushed and cursed each other, each trying to get out first. But, at this critical moment, many guards, who were supposed to be responsible for resisting Su Xia suddenly rebelled. The guards turned their guns and no longer rushed over like crazy to fight Su Xia. Instead, they pointed their weapons at all the rich people crowded in the escape tunnel and shouted, Get out of my way! This road belongs to me! What? The rich people couldn't believe it. Aren't these guards all drugged? under the influence of the medicine. Their pain was reduced to a minimum. And they should resist Su Xia without fear of death. Now this. What's happening here? The reality is that these guards were afraid of being killed. The masked man is like the god of death. Who will die wherever he goes. At this time. No matter how much medicine is injected. As long as there is still a trace of sanity left. There will be no rush. Chapter 73 Freedom. If you rush forward. You will die. In the face of life. The million dollar reward seems bleak. So, under the leadership of several captains, the guards of the underground world rebelled and made way for Su Xia. They pointed their guns at the rich people who were escaping, drove them all out, and then swarmed into the escape passage. Come on, it'll be safe when we get up there. Although the guards were frightened, they were trained and their escape was less chaotic. There are also people who are responsible for cutting off the rear and forcing the rich to stay where they are. At this moment, there was a sudden rumble deep in the underground world. 
and then most of the lights in the entire underground went out. The power supply was cut off, and the backup power supply could only barely maintain important areas. Warning, warning. In most areas of the entire underground world, only the dark red color of warning lights remains. Looking around, every direction was filled with an evil feeling. The terrifying mass death seemed to be everywhere and might come out of the dark corners at any time. The fear brought by the unknown makes those who stay here feel even more frightened. At this moment, in a certain area, a group of imprisoned refugees were rescued by Su Xia. Come out. You are free. The cold iron doors open for these refugees, opening the way to a new life. Free? Free. They walked out of the cage cautiously, covered in bruises and skinny as firewood. But their eyes were still bright, and they kept breathing the fresh air smelling of blood outside. Even in the darkest days, these people never gave up their desire to live. After being tortured, their mentality changed a lot after they regained their freedom. They picked up their weapons and followed Su Xia step by step. There were too many guards killed by Su Xia before, and weapons were everywhere. There were many small rooms underground where weapons were stored, enough to arm these refugees. As each cage was opened, more and more people followed Su Xia. They were either passionate and angry, or silent, and walked out of the cage, like drops of rainwater, merged into the torrent behind Su Xia. After seeing the darkest side of Coral City, they have understood that all the measures taken by the current city lord are tilted towards the wealthy. If the ruling class does not change, their home will never be rebuilt. On the ground, the first mass of soldiers was approaching. Most of the people responsible for patrolling tonight were soldiers from the 002 ND Regiment of the Coral City Army. The two infantry battalions of this regiment were the first to rush towards the manor. Since there were a large number of wealthy people in the manor, many of whom were members of Coral City's management, the 002 group did not dare to use heavy firepower for bombing. Even if there weren't these rich people, this was peacetime, and it was impossible to bomb the city for a killer. This gave Su Xia the opportunity to lead everyone out of the siege. Several military vehicles were hovering in the sky above the manor, and they were about to lower their altitude when they suddenly received a message from the headquarters. A bunch of retarded people. That masked weirdo has the ability to control metal. Are you flying so low because you think your life is too long? After receiving the news, several helicopters hurriedly raised their altitude. Su Xia's abilities gave Coral City's commanders a headache. Now we can only let the top combat power of Coral City take action to kill Su Xia at the minimum cost. And then find a way to solve the subsequent mess. If it doesn't work, just use human life to fill it. And pray that Su Xia doesn't have too many temporary psychic supplements to slowly wear him to death. Have those level 3 psychic creatures arrived? We usually spend so much money to provide for them. But now is the time to use them. Where are they? Wait a minute. They are coming. The general direction was wrong before. But now that it has been rearranged, it looks messy in all directions. In the headquarters, someone suggested. Why don't you ask you to a city to take the initiative? The lord of the city is a level 4 creature. If he takes action, wouldn't the masked stranger be captured easily? Damn it. Which retard is speaking? The level 4 store manager of Lingyan Tavern didn't even take action. Why did city lord Yutua take action? Do you want others to see the joke? Many people know very well that even this kind of thing has to be done by the city lord himself. What is the meaning of the existence of Coral City's defense department? At present, the situation underground in the manor remains unclear. A few people escaped from below, but the information given is rather vague. Everyone now only knows that the masked stranger released many kidnapped refugees. It's really hacked. These gentlemen enjoy themselves down there every day, but they make us pay for it with our lives. The news spread quickly and there were complaints within the defense community and among ordinary soldiers. This is not a good sign. How to resettle the kidnapped refugees after they escape is also a big problem. If you are not careful, the entire city may be plunged into turmoil. But at this moment, a call came directly from the mayor's office to the headquarters. The instructions given by the human city Lord Chi Lang were simple. Kill them all. Killed? Everyone at the headquarters widened their eyes. According to the description, there were at least hundreds of refugees alive underground. Were they all killed? Chi Lang suppressed the anger in his heart and said angrily, Peace requires a price, and the lives of hundreds of untouchables are a price that can be paid. No one can be allowed to leave. Yes. A few minutes later, a loud noise came from the ground of the manor. After that, countless tiny sounds gradually approached the ground, like thousands of tiny bees chirping, and then rushed out of the ground with a bang. 
after seeing the overwhelming metal fragments. All the soldiers who were ambushing around took a breath and felt their scalps numb. Back off! Back off quickly! Damn! Why do you want us to ambush in such a forward place? I will kill that mentally retarded officer when I get back. Under the night, gunshots continued. The soldiers retreated while firing, and from time to time someone would scream and fall down. Under the cover of the metal storm, Su Xia brought hundreds of refugees to the surface world. At the same time, dozens of tied up rich people came out. Su Xia's face turned a little pale, which was a sign of excessive consumption of spiritual energy. He had already consumed more than 10 bottles of second level temporary supplementary potions, but the feeling of weakness in his body still did not diminish. If he hadn't been a pharmacist, he might not have been able to hold on long ago. Behind? Some refugees asked. Sir, what are we doing now? Do you want to go home? Su Xia turned around and asked them loudly. These refugees nodded. They also wanted to see their families. The refugee camp is not far from here, but there are many people blocking our way home. Su Xia said loudly. You have left the underground cage, but you are still in another bigger cage. If you don't rush out, you will never be free. Regardless of the mission requirements or the actual situation, Su Xia cannot leave these refugees behind. He turned sideways and pointed to the distant world. Freedom. And. Chapter 74 Bloody Road. Under the leadership of Su Xia, many refugees embarked on their way home with weapons in hand. Many people will die along the way, but there is still a glimmer of hope for them. And they no longer want to be lambs to be slaughtered. Take cover and pay attention to your surroundings. Su Xia began to save psychic energy and shrink the scope of metal control. He alone could not kill all the soldiers in Coral City. And these refugees also needed to go through blood and fire. It was a night destined to be bloody. Gunshots rang out. And countless people woke up from their dreams. The acrid smell of gunpowder smoke permeated the night. Like a deadly death. Gradually occupying the city outside the manor. Every road and every building has become a battlefield for harvesting lives. Duh 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 duh. Flames spit out and bullets fly. On a low-rise building not far away. Coral City has deployed multiple firepower points. The sound of heavy machine guns and light machine guns firing alternately is non-stop. Hot golden SH. LS jump out one after another. And the bullets clink on the ground. The battlefield is more cruel than anyone imagines. One second you may be alive. And the next second half of your head may be gone. Now, human life is more important than bullets. They are only responsible for suppression and do not need to make effective kills. Even from a distance, one can hear the continuous gunshots. Like fireworks. But more deadly than fireworks. Whoosh whoosh dash. Several small metal fragments penetrated the night wind. Penetrated the necks of these soldiers. And brought out a puff of blood mist. Su Xia took action. Took away this firepower point. And then wiped out several mechanical dogs exploring the path with a flick of her hand. He conveniently took away these weapons. And also took away the night vision goggles and other equipment from the dead soldiers. Now that her family is not rich enough, Su Xiao will not let it go as long as it can be used. Keep moving! Take cover! The refugees with weapons followed, tying the upper class people who had been brought out from the underground world and the manor to the front, and used them as human shields to advance step by step. Most of them used the ditches on both sides of the road as cover, although almost none of them have received formal training. They can still shoot, but their posture is not very standard. On several roads and buildings around the manor, dozens of corpses of Coral City soldiers, who were too late to evacuate were already lying. Boom boom boom! Several shoulder-fired rockets exploded not far from the crowd, making a sound like thunder. The Coral City soldiers opposite had some veterans with rich experience. They didn't care about the specific location of the enemy. They only fired in the general direction and ran away after the attack. The reality is different from the game. The game is full of warrior kings who just want to kill more enemies, and they can be resurrected after they die. But in reality, everyone just wants to survive. In a complex urban environment, an enemy will appear out of nowhere. In this case, you must rely on awareness and experience to save your life. No matter how good the equipment is, it may not guarantee your survival. Remember, the bullet belongs to the city lord, but the life is yours. The experienced veteran leader said this to the new recruits and set an example with practical actions. They pointed directly at the dark area where many refugees might be, and said, Don't worry about the bullets. Just shoot in that direction. Whether you can hit it or not depends on what God thinks. Yes. Under the dark night, the sound of bullets spraying was constant. In this area, 
Gunfire can be heard in every street and corner of every building. As if enemies are everywhere. The civilians were hiding in the corner of the room shivering. Praying that the battle would end soon and that neither side would bombard the building where they lived with heavy firepower. The human soldiers in Coral City lack night equipment. And most of the soldiers have close to zero experience in night city fighting. And there is even a situation where they cannot distinguish between ourselves and the enemy. There seems to be some disagreement at the headquarters so that the command from the beginning of the war can only be described as chaos. A light infantry company that came to support met another one that came to support. The two sides exchanged fire across the street. Heavy machine guns, grenade launchers, and individual rocket launchers were all called upon. The fight lasted for more than 10 minutes. Only then did they discover that the other party was a friendly force. Damn it! Where are the enemies? There seem to be remaining enemies near the manor. Redleaf Street. We are fighting the enemy. And the enemy's firepower is very fierce. Please support. Watch out for civilian casualties. Gone. My home is on Hungya Street. On Hungya Street? Under the devastation of artillery fire. SH. L craters of various sizes have appeared on the street. On both sides of the road. Residential buildings were filled with holes left by bullets. And countless glass windows were shattered. The screams and cries of civilians were mixed with the smoke of gunfire. Which was particularly harsh on this night. This street is a key point in the first few blockades outside the manor. And we must break through here. In the residential buildings beside the road. There were actually Coral City soldiers hiding. Completely ignoring the safety of the civilians in the room. Duh 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 duh. Firepower intertwined. And a hail of bullets rained down. There were snipers hiding in the dark. And as soon as a refugee poked his head out of the ditch. His head was exploded. Their tactics are very old but very practical. They demolish the wall and drill holes under residential buildings to deploy machine gunners. The muzzle of the gun is at a certain distance from the wall, so that when the gun is fired, the fireworks from the muzzle cannot be seen outside, while machine gunners are deployed high on the floor, individual rockets and snipers. At the same time, a large number of temporarily deployed mines were buried in the dark corner of Hungya Street. This street is very critical. If you get out of here, the next road won't be so difficult. Time is running out. If we delay any longer, the reinforcements arriving will complete the encirclement. Su Xia took the lead. Regardless of the loss of spiritual energy, pieces of metal were attached to his arms and legs, allowing him to rise into the air and fly under the night. Like a missile, he crashed directly into a residential building that was spitting fire. He was like a god of death. With blood everywhere he passed, and the warm blood dyed the dusty cement bricks red. Amid the screams of civilians, the Coral City soldiers in the building fell one by one. Don't be afraid. You are safe for now. Su Xia comforted these civilians and flew to another residential building without stopping. Below, many refugees were fighting with the remaining Coral City soldiers. And the fight was very stalemate. There were injuries on both sides. But overall, the refugees were suppressed and suffered more deaths. At this moment, a special psychic bullet passed through the heavy metal barrier and headed straight for Su Xia like a deadly poisonous snake. Boom! although Su Xia blocked it in time. The force of the bullet's explosion still sent him flying several meters away. If the bullet exploded inside him, he might burst open on the spot. Someone is coming from the other side. It is at least a level 3.0 psychic creature and has awakened psychic talents related to sniping. Chapter 75 Hero Unit This is an era that needs heroes. Not only does oneself need it, but the other party also needs it. Seeing the terrifying masked stranger being shot away, the Coral City soldiers on the battlefield all breathed a sigh of relief. And some even cheered a few times. Good! The psychic boss of the defense department has finally arrived. This is a big shot who is good at sniping. I heard that he used to be a killer at Lingian Tavern. Later, he was hired with a lot of money. He has killed several powerful creatures of the same level over the years. With him taking action. It's a sure thing! In the previous battles, many soldiers were overwhelmed by Su Xia. In terms of overall quality, they are stronger and better equipped than those refugees. But no one can defeat Su Xia head-on. Su Xia's existence is too buggy. Like a Superman who is invulnerable and can fly suddenly appeared on the ordinary battlefield. Ideally, they could not retreat even one step and use their lives to consume Su Xia's spiritual energy. It would not take long for them to kill Su Xia. But both veterans and recruits cherished their lives. So they retreated again and again. Retreating to Hongye Street? Joining the guards here and blocking the many refugees who escaped. If no psychic creatures come to suppress Su Xia, 
Hongye Street may not be able to defend itself. It seems like we should be stable tonight. Everyone, work harder and keep these damn rebels here. Under the order from the headquarters, the officers leading the team no longer called the people who escaped, refugees, but directly called them, rebels. Moreover, he asked many soldiers to use a unified voice to facilitate subsequent publicity reports. Boss, what to do with those hostages? A soldier asked. I seem to have seen an officer in charge of logistics. And that officer was also kidnapped. Try to avoid it. But if it doesn't work, kill them all together. Yes. According to the instructions from the city lord. These refugees who escaped must be killed no matter what the cost. We cannot allow them to return to the refugee camps. Otherwise the trouble will be endless. In the streets below, the refugees were worried about Su Xia's health. Sir, are you okay? It's okay. Don't worry about me. Su Xia glanced at the direction where the bullet was flying. Her expression did not change. And she said in a deep voice, You guys keep going forward. Don't stop. I'll be right back. After saying that, he knocked on a bottle of temporary psychic supplement potion. Then, he took out a level 4 auxiliary potion. This is from dad's medicine box. If you use one, you will lose one. Su Xia is really reluctant to use it until the critical moment. She used a poison to kill insects at the Oasis camp last time. This auxiliary potion can greatly improve the perception ability and lasts for half an hour. Although this kind of perception is not as good as the death prophecy that can be called a bug, it is enough for Su Xia to cope with tonight's scene. He took the potion without hesitation. Call. The world around Su Xia changed. The chaotic and noisy sounds surrounding him suddenly became clear. Soldiers loading guns. Children crying in residential buildings. Animals chirping in flower beds. Etc. All the sounds seemed to be separated into layers. Separated. Without disturbing each other. He could even hear the gentle sound of the evening breeze blowing through the leaves under the distant night sky. In addition to hearing. Vision. Smell. Etc. are also greatly enhanced. Everything has become more three-dimensional. Under this wonderful feeling, Su Xia's ears moved slightly, and then she turned sideways. Call out! A fatal psychic bullet passed through the gaps between countless flying metals and shattered two weaker pieces of metal. After precise calculation, it should have penetrated Su Xia's heart. But Su Xia turned to one side, and the bullet directly hit the telephone pole behind him, blowing it to pieces with a loud bang. The next moment, Su Xia moved. He went straight to the roof of a residential building at an extremely fast speed. But when he arrived, the sniper had already run away, leaving only a piece of gray camouflage cloth on the spot. Not far yet. Su Xia's eyes were sharp. And with a bonus of temporary super perception, she seemed to have opened a map. He flew downstairs, killed two soldiers who tried to fire shoulder-fired rockets at him, and then headed straight for a dark and narrow alley. Then he waved his hand and a metal trash can in the corner of the alley deformed and twisted instantly. Boom! An embarrassed figure broke open the trash can, rolled twice on the ground, and then continued to run away holding a sniper rifle. As a level 3.0 psychic creature, this creature can actually hide in a trash can with a stench that even ordinary people can't stand. But before he could even take two steps, the sniper rifle in his hand exploded instantly, and the flying metal fragments made small holes all over his body. Masked stranger! Don't bully others too much. We are all from the tavern. He growled and continued running without looking back. As a killer with sniper talent, Su Xia felt bad when he dodged the fatal shot he was determined to get. Su Xia was more than one and a half stars stronger than the 2.7 level filled in the tavern information. The sniper didn't want to be caught up close. But Su Xia just remained silent, without saying a word, and kept approaching the man, attacking from time to time with some ordinary metal like a cat playing with a mouse. After a while, the man was finally cornered. He gritted his teeth and shouted, What the H, L? Do you really think I'm afraid of you? A third level creature. The power it can unleash under extreme circumstances should not be underestimated. He took off all the mechanical equipment on his body, turned around and attacked Su Xia, as fast as a ghost. But there were countless sharp metal fragments flying around Su Xia. These metals were layered one after another, like perfect barriers firmly protecting him. This man couldn't get close at all. And he said angrily, I don't believe you can keep using so much metal. I want to see how long your psychic power can last. Oh, without changing her expression, Su Xia took out a replenishing potion in front of him and drank it in one gulp. The man's face turned pale instantly. You can't escape. You can't fight. 
You can't fight. On Hongya Street, after Su Xiao left, the refugees tried to attack forward for a certain distance, but were quickly suppressed back. During the fighting, more people died on the refugee side, and ammunition was gradually running out. Bullets from both sides crossed each other, and the street lights, stop signs, and trees on the left and right sides of the road were smashed into sieves and turned into battle damage versions. Those rebels will not be able to hold on any longer. The person in charge here has a very keen sense of the battle situation. After Su Xiao left, they moved out drones, mechanical dogs and other sharp tools for street fighting to speed up the encirclement and suppression. With the use of these tools, the gap between regular troops and refugee groups has widened further. But just when they thought victory was coming, something unexpected happened. Kacha kacha. The drones in the sky emitted sparks and thick smoke, and then exploded one by one, like fireworks, lighting up this cruel night. Burning mechanical fragments fell from the sky in hundreds and thousands, like a meteor shower, which actually looked a bit beautiful. 